just because he was knocked over by the old man when he went to the market. His body lost its balance and fell into the girl's chest. Mistaken for a pervert by the girl and her boyfriend, was punched and hit by a truck under the front of the car. All living beings are equal. When he woke up, he found himself in his mother's womb, next to his younger brother, who was biting his leg. Born as a villain, Tan Feng can only try his best to cultivate. If later on he is defeated by his younger brother, the child of destiny, when he grows up, he may be defeated by him. On the full moon night three years later, the final 100-year deadline finally came to an end. After beating his younger brother, Tan Feng decided to leave the womb immediately. The two children in the womb, each with a different look. The older brother was born a villain, possessing countless peerless skills. As long as he defeats his younger brother, the child of destiny, he can increase his cultivation. The younger brother is the child of destiny, born with all kinds of positive auras, but now he is just a weak child. Today is finally the day when the two children are born. As a villain, the older brother must of course punch his younger brother before leaving. The birth of the younger brother was accompanied by the mother's screams. All the women of the Tan family gathered in front of the tower, cheering for the mistress who is a man. Of course, the master could not speak up to encourage her. He could only pace back and forth to relieve his tension. The cry of a newborn baby rang out. The old man's face finally had a smile. Looking at the healthy newborn baby, the mother's heart was also somewhat relieved. At that moment, the midwife was surprised to find that there was another one, hastily bending down to help under the expectant eyes of the mistress. The midwife concluded that the second child did not want to come out. Hearing this, the master did not mind at all, reaching out to hold Tan Feng in his arms, laughing and saying that if he could not be born this time, he would be born next time. It is the duty of parents to respect their children's wishes, or next time the third child will be born with his younger brother. Tan Feng was stunned by his father. This immortal world is too strange. The son does not want to come out, but the father wants to stuff another one in. Unable to bear the torment of his son, he handed Tan Feng over to the wet nurse to take care of. But the moment he was held in his arms, Tan Feng felt the familiar warmth of his mother. In order not to disturb the cheering women, the maid decided to carry Tan Feng outside, which made the vigorous 20-year-old man in the body of a newborn baby panic, struggling to get out in a panic. His hand accidentally patted the maid's breast, found that the master had completed the mission of the villain of destiny, rewarding 50 points of love. The sudden reward made Tan Feng dizzy. Tan Feng curiously reached out and touched the maid's breast again, found that the master had completed the mission of the villain of love, rewarding 50 points. The unexpected reward made Tan Feng not know what to do. Not long after sniffing the maid's fragrance, the zero-year-old newborn gradually smiled wickedly. In the past three years, he lived very unrestrainedly, either molesting young and beautiful wet nurses every day, or cuddling and hugging sisters who are not related by blood, relying on the innocent and innocent appearance of children. He did evil things without anyone suspecting him. Sometimes being found out was also overlooked because he was still young. But then he continued to act like a beast. All of that was to improve his cultivation. Seeing Tan Feng become a villain from the moment he was in his mother's womb, he knew that the time to increase his realm had come. In a flash, a stream of mysterious qi poured into Tan Feng's danshan. The bone-chilling pain seemed to condense into pastries all over his body. Suddenly, the qi surged. The wild energy that was born gradually dissipated. Everything returned to normal. At this time, Tan Feng was surprised to find that he had surpassed past the level of the first stage. At the same time, in the palace hall, two men sat on the couch flirting, stroking each other's faces and whispering sweet and creepy words. At that moment, a thunderclap tore through the sky, causing the two men who were infatuated with each other to startle and separate. The scene was like a husband catching a mistress. Very vague, the old man immediately jumped up, spreading his divine consciousness to see what had just happened. Not long after, Tan Feng's face appeared in the sea of his mind. Seeing that Tan Feng was so talented, he immediately decided to do something against his ancestors, which was to kill the brat. That day, he targeted the bathroom of the Tan sisters. Looking at the sisters taking a bath. Tan Feng, who had been single for 20 years, could not hold back any longer. In order to persuade his conscience, he swore that he would only complete the task of the system and would not do anything evil otherwise. At that moment, the system's voice sounded, activating the task of taking a bath with the sisters. Completing it will reward 500 villain points. Before he could finish speaking, Tan Feng had disappeared. 
At this time, the three Tan sisters still did not realize the seriousness of the situation. Only seeing Tan Feng with a flushed face in front of Tring Wet, saying that he wanted to take a bath together, Tring Wet seemed to hesitate. Seeing this, Tan Feng threatened Biyue behind him with a worm, not letting me take a bath together. I'll throw the worm at you after a while of threatening. The sisters had to give in to them for them. Tan Feng was only a three-year-old child, not understanding the relationship between men and women like this. Tan Feng once again completed the villain's mission. That night, Tan Feng looked at the bulletin board. Can't help but wonder, he immediately bought the newly unlocked Lingbo Weibu. Lingbo Weibu can move lightly and without a trace in the snow. More importantly, the user walks every day. Running all increase their power, they can be released immediately in case of emergency. As long as you want to run, no one can keep up with you. It is really the old king's inseparable thing when flirting with women around the family. Thinking about this, Tan Feng felt that he had regained his senses. A few days later, Tan Feng observed the stars to guess the day his younger brother was born. Imagining how to exploit his younger brother in the future, he noticed the distant sky. A group of people were flying. Before he could react, a violent energy slammed down on Tan Feng. Followed by a second at that time, the emperor came to Tan Feng himself, looking at his young face, intending to torture him right away, and also wanted to check Tan Feng's cultivation. But Tan Feng quickly jumped behind the back of the Tan family's master. The speed was so fast that the emperor was surprised thinking that a three-year-old child had surpassed the first level of the first stage and mastered such a martial art. Thinking about this, the emperor became more determined to eliminate Tan Feng. At this time, Tan Feng poked his head out, began to cheer the emperor. My admiration for you is like a rolling river that never ends. A series of actions made the old man extremely happy, but Tan Feng's mind was still very flexible. The emperor is wise. Going to someone's house must have a gift. Even if it's not an ancient beast, it must be a thousand year old Lingji. The child's words made everyone in the Tan family laugh. The emperor immediately pulled out a treasure chest, opened it, the golden light rose. In the chest were nine accessories of the Changqing Nine Swords. This is the sword of the god of Changkong's sword, 10,000 years ago. The sword is divided into nine parts to kill immortals. Kill gods, destroy Buddhas, subdue demons. Subdue demons, kill saints and chase souls. Guard the soul, break the army. Each part of the sword is a rare and evil weapon in the world. The sword door can be ranked among the top 10 strongest swords in the ancient times. The power can rival thousands of troops. After speaking, the emperor put the box away, asked Tan Feng which one he wanted. But as soon as he said it, the nine swords flew out of the box. The emperor was thinking when a black shadow rushed out, making him unable to react. Only seeing Tan Feng standing still, his face was innocent, but he was cursing in his heart. Emperor Xiaoyang, do you still want to compete with me? The three-year-old child openly robbed the emperor of his weapon and then thanked him, making the emperor embarrassed. Tan's father and grandfather saw this and urged him to say that it was your majesty. As soon as he appeared, he gave him a divine weapon. But to your majesty, this is just a small amount of money. Talking about money with your majesty really hurts your feelings. Then he pretended to be generous, saying that the Tan family would respect your majesty with all their hearts. After speaking, Tan's father touched Tan Feng's head, told him to thank the benefactor. The child understood, immediately bowed his head and thanked him repeatedly. At this time, the system notified the host that he had publicly robbed the emperor of the divine weapon, Chang Kong Nine Swords, gained 1,000 villain points. The emperor felt goosebumps with his family. Cold sweat poured out, but Tan Feng was still not satisfied. Holding the treasure chest in his right hand, his mouth changed its tune. I heard that when meeting a junior for the first time, the senior must have a gift to celebrate the meeting. Seeing this, his father and grandfather urged him again, saying that there was such a custom. The emperor was completely embarrassed. Although he had ruled the world for hundreds of years, it was the first time he had met such a shameless family. Seeing the emperor hesitate, Tan Feng added fuel to the fire. What's wrong? Doesn't your majesty know about this? The emperor couldn't save face, immediately took off the divine gourd from his waist, gave it to Tan Feng and said, this is a heavenly treasure gourd. As long as you wear it on your body, it will increase your cultivation speed. It is really a top-notch supporting magic weapon. Tan Feng thanked the emperor, 
This old man is quite generous, but in his heart, the emperor wanted to die but couldn't. On the surface, he still expressed his gratitude. The emperor was so angry that he almost vomited blood. At this time, the system notified that the host had enthusiastically helped others keep the heavenly treasure gourd for free, awarded 1,000 villain points. The emperor saw Tan Feng's thoughtful expression, really scared what is he going to do again, only to see Tan Feng blink his innocent eyes, saying that there is another younger brother. But before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by the emperor. I suddenly remembered that the clothes at home have not been packed yet. I'll go back first after speaking. He immediately used his flying skills to fly away. If he didn't run away early, he would be afraid of having to sell his underwear. But Tan Feng's words, I'll bring my second brother to visit you when I'm free, made the emperor who was flying up into the sky almost fall down. In just a blink of an eye, he disappeared into the sky. After watching the emperor's figure, Tan's father secretly snatched the treasure chest of weapons and said, you are still young. You can't hold these things. Let me keep them for you. Then he ignored the child's cries for help decided to take it away immediately. Then Tan's grandfather kicked Tan's father away for more than 10 meters. The grandfather smiled and stroked Tan Feng's head, returned the treasure gourd to the little boy. Tan Feng cried for a second before, after receiving the treasure gourd, his face changed. It's not good to cry. I'm just pretending suddenly, a strange natural phenomenon appeared. Thunder roared in the sky. A golden phoenix swooped down into the Tan family's courtyard. Tan's father also remembered that his wife was giving birth, hurriedly ran into the house, Tan Feng muttered, my silly younger brother. I've missed you so much these past three years. Not long after, Tan Feng appeared behind his father, his whole body blackened. In just a moment, seeing his elder brother, the younger brother trembled, cold sweat pouring out. In his eyes, his elder brother was like a devil from hell approaching. Tan Feng blinked and turned into his usual harmless appearance as soon as his father turned his head. Seeing his elder brother coming, his father bent down and wanted to show Tan Feng the newly born, chubby younger brother. Seeing that his younger brother didn't cry as soon as he was born, Tan Feng muttered something and slapped his younger brother's butt hard. The slap made the frightened younger brother burst into tears. His father was also very surprised. Tan Feng was usually obedient. Why did he hit his younger brother like this? But Tan Feng put on a pitiful face, saying that he was worried about his younger brother and reluctantly did so. But immediately after that, for beating the son of heaven's choice, awarded 100 villain points. For making the son of heaven's choice cry, breaking the innate halo, awarded 30,000 villain points. For destroying the fate of the son of heaven's choice, get a chance to draw a lucky draw. Since breaking through the Kaiyuan realm, a few days later, Tan Feng's cultivation had not progressed. But the system's lucky draw opportunity, the little boy did not hesitate. Tan Feng immediately drew. Immediately, countless first prizes appeared on the wheel, spinning and stopping at the heaven slashing hundred swords technique. The system notified, congratulations to the host for winning the heaven slashing sword technique. Tan Feng immediately entered meditation. Countless sword intents surged and enveloped him. In his mind, a mysterious swordsman appeared, sometimes as agile as a snake, sometimes as domineering as a dragon, completely teaching the secret manual of the sect. When he woke up, Tan Feng had completely mastered the sword technique. Not only that, his physical strength had also increased by a level. Overjoyed, he continued to exchange points for the system's light of understanding to become proficient in the sword technique. The news of Tan Feng's rapid progress in swordsmanship spread. When his grandfather heard about it, he immediately came to guide his grandson in swordsmanship. Seeing that his grandson didn't care, he told Tan Feng not to be arrogant when practicing martial arts. He needed to be humble and and cautious. Then he raised his hand, his chi surged out, and the sound of his sword rang out, tearing through the sky, smashing the rock in front of him into pieces. He said that this was the result of his nearly 20 years of cultivation. But before he finished speaking, Tan Feng had already exerted his strength. His fierce internal force enveloped the fallen leaves and pierced straight into the rock. He scratched his head and asked, I don't understand. It takes dozens of years of hard training to do that. Five years later, Tan Feng was taking a bath when he suddenly felt something strange in his body. Then a golden light emanated from his whole body, flying 
flying straight up into the clouds. Witnessing this scene, his father and grandfather couldn't help but be shocked. At the age of eight, he surpassed the ninth rank. At the age of five, he surpassed the Kaiyuan realm. Are these two brothers still normal? At that time, Tan Feng passed by and asked his father if he had seen his younger brother. Seeing that his elder brother was too easygoing, Tan's father had a headache and his grandfather just sighed, saying that he had been breaking the house every year. Who could bear it? Just then, the system's voice rang out, activating the world-class villain mission. Take your younger brother's supreme bone, awarded invincible in the supreme realm. Tan Feng thought, are you trying to provoke me? I just want to be a leisurely villain. Now you're activating such a high-level mission. But the system said that the supreme bone can grow back. It's like you can't milk a cow dry. Tan Feng hadn't accepted this explanation. He needed some time to calm down. Two old people wondered who was talking. At this time, Tan Hao was still sleeping soundly, unaware of the danger approaching. Tan Feng jumped onto a tree branch, looking at his adorable younger brother. His sense of guilt rose. In this life, he only wanted to live a debauched life. But for the sake of the system, he had to do this to his younger brother. Perhaps this is fate. Tan Feng aimed at his adorable younger brother. Raising his hand with the knife, the sound of the blade rang through the forest. When he woke up, his younger brother was completely unaware, only happily telling Tan Feng to take him out to play. Hearing this, Tan Feng was overjoyed. Not long after, the sound of children's cries echoed through the streets. Seeing that the two children had become orphans so early, the crowd was heartbroken and took out money to put in their bowls. After everyone left, the two brothers counted the money in the corner. Tan Hao said innocently, there's so much money. His younger brother said, brother, let's go eat something delicious. Tan Feng chuckled, let me treat you to bamboo shoots with meat. His younger brother's eyes lit up. Is it delicious, brother? Tan Feng lied. Of course, it's delicious. But in his heart, he remembered the recipe for bamboo shoots with meat. His poor younger brother was about to meet his doom, but he was still unaware. After the two brothers Tan Feng had gone far away, the man who had been lying motionless suddenly sat up. Everyone screamed in horror, thinking he was a zombie. He scratched his head in confusion. When did I die? Why don't I know? And then ignoring everyone's fearful gazes, he walked away, not caring anymore. Being hungry was the most important thing. At this time, in the Tan family's house, Han's father was using a belt to beat his younger son. While beating him, he scolded him, you little thief. Crying and deceiving your father, Tan Feng, who was standing beside him, covered his eyes and said that it was all his idea and had nothing to do with his younger brother. Why are you looking for me? Don't touch my younger brother. But in fact, he had put all the blame on his younger brother. At this time, his younger brother was crying loudly, and when he looked up and saw Tan Feng wiping away his tears with concern, he couldn't help but love his brother even more. But Tan Feng thought, my dear younger brother, your childhood is not complete without experiencing my bamboo shoots with meat. My poor younger brother was being deceived all the time. He didn't know that his older brother was being beaten up. Looking at his younger brother, who could only lie on his stomach with his butt in tatters, Tan Feng was very upset. His future happiness depended entirely on his younger brother's butt. But what if his butt is gone? His poor younger brother still kept expressing his love for him. Tan Feng didn't beat around the bush either and immediately comforted his younger brother. But in his heart, Tan Feng had already planned his next trap. He leaned close to his younger brother's ear. I have a way to help you get revenge for being spanked. The father is our dearest relative. Rest assured, I will not betray you. Tan Hao nodded and quickly promised. Tan Feng pretended to be serious. If you want to know, I will generously tell you. There's a small safe hidden under. If mother finds out about this, it will be bad. His younger brother's eyes lit up and he nodded in agreement. Then under the tree in the backyard, his younger brother dug up six jars of gold, silver, and jewelry. His father was shocked at the wedding. He said he would sacrifice everything, even his salary for you. But if Hauer hadn't told me, I would never have known about such a secret place. So it turns out that this unfilial son went and reported me. He immediately picked up his 82-year-old whisk and chased after Tan Hao. His younger brother couldn't escape and ran into Tan Feng's arms. But his father rushed forward and grabbed him, and the beating rained down on him again. Tan Feng pretended to wipe away his tears and said, this time it's fun, this little brat is dead for sure. Husband and wife do not blame each other overnight. 
quarrel at the head of the bed and reconcile at the end of the bed. The innocent child did not know what his parents were doing. In the middle of the night, he pulled Tan Hao into his parents' room. Looking at his beautiful and charming mother and his strong father, who were still working hard, his younger brother asked the important question, why does father look so excited pressing on mother? For his older brother, who read a lot of books, this was just a small matter. He immediately explained seriously that his parents were practicing cultivation and should not be interrupted. But hearing this, his younger brother was overjoyed. Great, then if we interrupt him, father will not have the strength to continue. Tan Feng suddenly felt something was wrong. Although the reward for this prank was very tempting, if he really did it, he would probably be beaten to death by his father. But when he looked down, his younger brother was nowhere to be seen. He only saw Tan Hao with his eyes shining brightly rushing to the window, shouting loudly, Father, what are you doing? The mighty man was startled and, like a deflated ball, fell down powerlessly. On the other side of the screen, Tan Feng shivered and broke out in a cold sweat. My dear younger brother, this time it's really not my fault. Next came a tragic cry. The butt of the chosen son blossomed. Reward 500 villain points. The chosen son was in great pain. Reward 1,000 villain points. Ever since the night his younger brother had charged into his parents' battlefield, his younger brother's butt had never healed, which had prevented Tan Feng's cultivation from progressing. Just as he was having a headache, a roar suddenly sounded from the sky. Looking closely, he saw a luxurious carriage rushing towards him. Behind it, countless sword cultivator disciples were flying. On top of the carriage was a man holding an ancient sword, and inside a girl was looking down. Tan Feng knew that something was wrong. Why did the neighbors come here? At this moment, the system sounded, detecting the chosen son of the world-class villain. Tan Feng was overjoyed. Finally, someone had replaced his younger brother. Half a month ago, an auspicious five-colored sign suddenly appeared in the sky. This made the head of the Lin family, Lin Hao, know that the Tan family had given birth to another warrior. Looking at his foolish seven-year-old daughter bragging beside her dim-witted master, Lin Hao's heart was heavy, seeing his father sigh. His daughter immediately ran in front of her father and blinked her big eyes and asked, What's wrong, father? Lin Hao's mouth twitched, and he laughed bitterly. Father is just too full. Saying that, he stroked his daughter's head. He said, Father heard that Tan Feng from the Tan family is famous for being flirtatious, a womanizer. Although he has a bit of a hooligan character, his cultivation talent is unmatched. And then asked his daughter if she wanted to marry Tan Feng. His daughter immediately became angry. Father wants to sell me to a hooligan. She shouted, I'm just a child, father. But he said it's love, even if it's early. When father was young, it was the same. Don't worry. Father is very open-minded. Hearing this, his daughter turned her face away in anger, saying that even if she died or jumped off a building, she would never marry him. But as soon as they met, her cheeks flushed. She muttered to herself, this must be Tan Feng. He's so handsome. Tan Feng also noticed someone staring at him. At this moment, Lin Xin suddenly changed. Her face hardened. You handsome thing. With that little bit of looks, you dare to bewitch me. Then she put her left hand on her hip and pointed her right hand at Tan Feng. You are Tan Feng. Tan Feng immediately replied, yes, that's me. Lin Xin pointed to the cold girl behind her. This is my new servant. Her name is Lin San. If you want to marry me, defeat her. Prove your ability. The head of the Lin family immediately scolded his daughter for being rude. But Tan Feng didn't think so. Well, let's put the girls aside. In front of me is the chosen son of the world-class villain. In the past, I didn't dare to go all out with my younger brother because I was afraid of embarrassing my parents. In the past five years, I've only gotten 240,000 villain points. Now it would be great to have a stranger to practice with. Thinking of this, Tan Feng let out his signature evil laughter, cough cough. After the two families agreed, Tan Feng's father told him to just have a friendly match, not to hurt the other party. Although Tan Feng promised with his mouth, he was eager to try this fat boy. After Lin San bowed, his momentum suddenly soared, immediately using the technique he had learned from his grandfather. Thousands of fallen leaves were caught in the violent air current, rushing straight towards Lin San. Lin San hurriedly defended. Fortunately, he was not injured and immediately circulated his whole body, sending out a sword strike. Lin Xin praised him for being a hero, but she didn't know that that block had used up all of Lin San's internal energy. Now he only had a little bit of energy left. Seeing this, Tan Feng immediately approached Lin San, intending to kill him. At the same time, a fist wrapped in electric light aimed at Lin San's vital point. A terrifying blow created a loud sound. The system notified that the host had beaten up the chosen son of heaven, awarding 200 villain points. The smoke cleared, and Lin San was still safe and sound. 
His right hand gathered his strength, ready to slash Tan Feng's waist. Tan Feng cursed in his heart, not good, immediately using his own movement technique, fortunately avoiding the fatal blow. Seeing this, Lin Xin became even more confident that Lin San would win. She shouted loudly to cheer him on, while Tan Feng felt bitter in his heart. Is this the feeling of being directly suppressed by a protagonist? But just then, the silent sky suddenly thundered. The young man stood in the midst of the wild air, just quietly hesitating. Seeing this, the head of the Lin family was stunned. This is the ancient Nine Swords of the Void. Seeing this, the head of the Lin family was shocked and opened his mouth wide. But then he calmed down again. At first, he thought that the eldest young master of the Tan family was being rude, that the story of him swindling the emperor's divine sword was fake. But today, a real sword had truly shown its power. Compared to when the arrogant hero pursued the saintess in the past, it was not inferior. Seeing Tan Feng's serious face, he quickly corrected his words. While the nine swords were unified, Tan Feng received the mysterious sword. But Lin San was not afraid at all, saying that even with the support of the divine sword, you can't defeat me. Then he unleashed a violent sword chi. The two patriarchs were shocked. This is the sword technique of the Nine Swords of the Void. The Nine Swords and the Nine Sword techniques both originated from the Void Sword God. Although there was the support of the Divine Sword, the power of the sword technique could not be underestimated. Thinking of this, the old man immediately jumped in to help his son. But Tan Feng stopped him with a wave of his hand. Don't stop me from showing off. He stood firm, concentrating on infusing his energy into the Divine Sword. Then he swung the Heavenly Slash, a hundred sword technique that could tear through space. The two sword chi collided, instantly destroying everything around them. Lin Hao exclaimed, what kind of move is this? No longer caring about his face being affected by the force, he rushed over to grab the two children. You two are dead. If not, he would have already flown up to heaven. In the courtyard, Lin San's face was filled with disbelief. How is it possible? No one has ever been able to withstand my sword strike. Who is he? Just as the sword was about to cut the guard to pieces, the system's voice rang out. The chosen son of heaven Dao heart has been broken, rewarding the host with 100,000 villain points. Tan Feng's heart skipped a beat when he heard this. Just a scratch is worth 100,000. Then a stab in the heart must be worth a few billion. Thinking of this, Tan Feng immediately approached the guard, swinging his sword down, injuring the chosen son of heaven, awarding 500 villain points, causing the chosen son of heaven to be afraid, awarding 500 villain points, killing the chosen son of heaven, awarding 500 villain points. Just as Tan Feng was about to kill the guard, he was pulled away by a pair of strong hands. It was Tan Feng's father who shouted, it's fine to play, but don't damage the harmony. The head of the Lin family also hurriedly stepped in front of Lin San thinking to himself that Lin San was a martial artist who came once in a hundred years. He couldn't let this kid ruin it. Then he stepped forward and said to Tan Tian, we should discuss the marriage agreement between our two families. Tan Tian was secretly delighted. Tan Feng's performance this time would definitely be a success. After the two patriarchs left, Lin Xin gracefully approached Tan Feng, her mouth constantly praising him. All the arrogant aura she had before had disappeared, replaced by the loving look of a young girl. But Tan Feng was different. His turbid eyes stared at Lin San. The girl who introduced herself was also ignored by him. His eyes were still fixed on Lin San. Lin San felt goosebumps. Suddenly Tan Feng pointed at him, asking Lin Xin if he could allow Lin San to visit often. Lin Xin was angry and scolded Tan Feng for being stupid. I treat you as my future husband, but you are looking at my bodyguard. Then she turned away in anger, leaving Tan Feng standing there in a daze. The girl's heart is hard to guess. Towards the girl's feelings, the young man completely ignored them. He was determined to invite another young man to play in the evening. In the face of the wooden man's heartless love, the girl was very angry and turned away in anger. But when she returned to her room, she heard a big news. Her father really wanted to marry her to the younger brother of the Tan family. Tan Hao, but Tan Hao is only five years old now. But Lin Hao said that his daughter refused to marry the eldest young master of the Tan family. Lin Xin was stunned, as if struck by lightning. Her face was flushed red, and she said to her father that she was two years older than that younger brother. If it gets out, her father will be laughed at. But Lin Hao was very generous, saying that the sister-brother relationship is also very popular. At that time, her father almost married the eldest daughter of the Lin family. In order to persuade her father, Lin Xin often used her feelings to move her father. A daughter, who is older than her husband, will definitely be criticized for marrying her husband for money. As a result, the Tan family refused to marry their eldest son. 
Tan Feng, and married their younger brother, Tan Hao, to their daughter. Hearing this, Lin Hao was furious. Whoever dares to speak ill of my daughter, I will destroy their entire family. At this moment, Lin Hao was completely angry. He would not allow anyone to hurt his daughter. Lin Xin was embarrassed and told her father to speak softly. Then she said that no matter what, she would not marry Tan Hao. Hearing this, he was surprised and asked, Do you like Tan Feng? Lin Xin's face flushed red, and she awkwardly denied it. Who would like that idiot? Lin Hao slapped his thigh, so the marriage with the younger brother of the Tan family is decided. Lin Xin was completely stunned, crying and running away. Father doesn't love me at all. Therefore, girls should confess their feelings bravely, because boys are very simple. Meanwhile, Tan Feng, after playing family with his younger brother, found himself in a difficult situation. Didn't you say that if I defeat the bodyguard, you will reward me with a wife? Tup, why did she become my younger brother's wife? My eyes are only on you. I don't believe in any love. In my heart, there is only you. Lin San suddenly felt uncomfortable, as if someone was looking at him. In the backyard of the Tan family, Lin Xin sat down on the ground. The little girl did not understand Tan Feng's feelings for her. She had to use the method of peeling leaves to guess if he liked her. But the last leaf was dislike. Lin Xin, of course, did not believe the result, angrily threw the bouquet into the grass. Now she wanted to confront Tan Feng directly about his feelings for her, but she accidentally witnessed Tan Feng begging Lin San to go out with him. Lin Xin immediately pretended to be majestic, shouting at Lin San, why didn't you call me when you went out? The two patriarchs who originally intended to match Lin Xin and the younger brother of the Tan family agreed, then instructed Lin San, oh, take Xiner and the younger brother of the Tan family, go out with the eldest young master Tan Feng, be sure to protect the safety of the children. The corner of Tan Feng's mouth twitched, his heart was full of sarcasm. Okay, I'm a free gift, never mind, the important thing is that brother Tam is here. At the market, Tan Feng kept following Lin San. Lin San was about to take the herbs, Tan Feng quickly snatched them away. Lin San was obviously hesitant and turned to get the medicine, Tan Feng quickly snatched it again, because the chosen ones are all supreme treasures. After getting it, he can cheat him again, earn villain points. Then no matter where Lin San goes, Tan Feng follows, and his eyes gradually change when he looks at him. At this moment, Lin Xin rushed into Tan Feng's arms. She couldn't control her feelings anymore. Tan Feng, can you take a walk with me in the woods? Tan Feng pushed her away and said, don't get in my way, then left Lin Xin angry, not looking back to chase after Lin San. Bad man, women don't love. For the boy, the girl pursued but was ignored. Lin Xin likes him more, not knowing that her love is thirsty for others. Meanwhile, the younger brother remained silent. As the three passed by a shop, the two chosen sons both discovered an antique. The two immediately quarreled over who would get it. Tan Feng realized that this object was worth a lot. He immediately picked it up and said, How much is this? The old shopkeeper said it was originally 1,000 spirit stones. If the young master wants it, how about 880? Although he doesn't know the value, it must be good to be favored by the chosen son of heaven. Beside Lin San said, You don't pay. Tan Feng smiled and said, It's only 880 spirit stones. Why do you need to pay? The system informs that the owner has broken the great fortune of the chosen son of heaven. Reward a lottery chance. Tan Feng was surprised. It really is a treasure. He observed the antique carefully. It seems no different from ordinary. Or have I been cheated? At this time, Tan Hao pulled Tan Feng's sleeve, brother. Can you give this to me? Tan Feng thought, perhaps this object needs the chosen son of heaven to activate it. He said, I bought this for 880 spirit stones, but looking at your younger brother's face, I'll sell it back to you for 880 spirit stones. The simple Tan Hao immediately took out 1,000 spirit stones from his pocket. You don't have to give me back the 200 stones. Thank you, brother. But Tan Feng was very honorable, said 800 is 800, and immediately returned 200 to his younger brother. This alone increased Tan Hao's affection for him found that the owner deceived the chosen son of heaven, reward 500 villain points. At this time, Tan Feng found that Lin San was buying goods. He immediately approached and said with a smile, shopkeeper, I'll buy all your goods. Lin San was shocked. Could it be that the eldest young master of the Tan family likes me? But I'm a man. But Tan Feng just sighed and almost didn't have time to rob. After packing all the items that Lin San's store had just selected, Tan Feng followed him into another store. This time, Tan Feng's hand reached for the weapon. His eyes became more turbid, and Tan Feng quickly robbed the item again. Then looked at Lin San. His eyes became more evil. Aren't you buying anymore? 
Lin San hurriedly bowed his head to apologize and then hurriedly left, afraid that even his underwear would be robbed. Looking at Lin San's figure going away, Tan Feng was very, very confused. These two masters and servants are really strange. Not long after, Lin Xin followed Tan Feng again. She knew that Lin San was not in good health. This is a good opportunity for the two to be alone. She invited Tan Feng to go shopping with her, but was rejected. At this moment, a head appeared, and Tan Feng said cheerfully, I only think of one person now. That sentence made Lin Xin believe that Tan Feng was a man who didn't care about women, an upright man who does not succumb to power. The girl fell in love with him even more. She put her hands on her hips and said, the world would be incomplete without Tan Ge. I'll come again tomorrow. Looking at Tan Feng's increasingly tall figure, Lin Xin's feelings for him grew deeper, but she didn't know that those jokes made Lin San behind the wall tremble. Soon it was late at night. Lin San sat trembling, covered in cold sweat. At first, my goal was to become an elite servant, but thinking of the wolf-like behavior during the day, the dream of becoming a playboy is not far away. A few days later, the marriage ceremony between the Tan and Lin families was announced, marking the official alliance of the two families. The newlyweds are Lin Xin and Tan Hao's younger brother. After a few days with Lin San, Tan Feng's feelings for him also deepened, but that was just treating him as a tool to find treasure. At this time, Lin San also noticed Tan Feng's gaze. He immediately turned away, but his cheeks were flushed. His heart was beating wildly, and at the same time, Lin Xin also noticed Tan Feng's gaze. Is he looking at me? It turns out that he still loves me. Looking at the figure of the Lin family gradually going away, Tan Feng felt uneasy in his heart, but had to accept it and go home. The first thing he did was turn off the lights, open the system to comfort yourself with a lottery draw, pursing his lips and silently reciting the mantra, wishing to be able to escape from home with Lin San, press the lottery button with one hand. The roulette wheel spins and stops at the great mighty heavenly dragon. God level great mighty heavenly dragon. Combined with the dragon pattern, you can use the god level Buddhist method. Enhance your own defense. At the same time, you can get the eyes of the phoenix, see people and love clearly. Suddenly Tan Feng found himself in the deepest part of his consciousness. This place is surrounded by golden light. The dragon pattern roared and suddenly a huge golden armored dragon swooped down in front of Tan Feng. The dragon opened its mouth and attacked Tan Feng. But unexpectedly, it didn't hurt him. Instead, it turned into a stream of golden energy and flowed into Tan Feng's heart. Tan Feng woke up with a start, just practiced the imparted kung fu, just launched the great mighty heavenly dragon. Immediately, a dazzling golden beam of energy shot straight into the sky and then shot straight to the top of the cloud. This caused the newly repaired roof to be punched with a large hole. In order not to be blamed, Tan Feng pretended to break through the cultivation point. He immediately took out the system system and said, I have to upgrade. Then another golden light appeared. This time, it was even stronger, and the grandparents immediately ran over. The grandfather shouted, well done, another breakthrough. But the father just sighed, the house has to be repaired again, beside Tan Feng, who was enjoying the joy of breakthrough. Suddenly, the system announced that the host has broken through the second heaven, costing 30,000 villain points. Breaking through the third heaven costs 100,000 villain points, a total of 130,000. Hearing this, Tan Feng was stunned, fainted, it's over. All the villain points I've saved over the years are gone. Seeing this, the grandfather and father panicked, immediately stuffed Tan Feng's mouth with precious herbs, forced him to swallow it. The two powerful families formed an alliance. Of course, no one could stop it. But this attracted the attention of the emperor of the great Xia. For this alliance, the court was divided into two factions. One side wanted to destroy the two houses of Qin and Lin in order to stabilize the country. The other side thinks that we should work together to deal with foreign affairs. Affairs. Resist the increasingly powerful enemy, the Yinyue Empire. The more masters in the country, the better to resist the invasion. The emperor is very concerned about this. In order to resist foreign invasion, the clans in the country need to unite. This also brings opportunities for the growth of the Qin family's warriors. Internal strife, external trouble, it's really a headache. When will the royal family give birth to such a warrior? On the other hand, Detective Qin reported all the major events that had happened in the palace recently. It is said that the foreign Yinyu imperial dynasty is threatening the great Xia more and more clearly. How could the great Xia imperial family do such an ignorant thing? That's because with their Qin's prestige, once they grow up, 
the position of emperor will definitely be overshadowed. So they want to act quickly, destroy us. Hearing clearly outside the door, Han Feng's brain immediately came up with the idea of running away. But then he negated the idea, because I'm a transmigrator, didn't intend to invest too much emotion at first, because having feelings will have weaknesses. But over the past eight years, the Qin family has treated him very well. He also has feelings for the Qin family. Tan Feng thought of something, immediately pushed the door and walked in, but was immediately scolded by his father and reprimanded by his grandfather. But seeing his smiling face, Qin Tian sighed. He really dotes on you. Tan Feng immediately said that the reason is that the appearance of his son and younger brother makes the royal family feel threatened. Just hide the two brothers. But the grandfather understands that the royal family is always cruel and vicious. Unless the two brothers are dead or crippled, otherwise they will not let go. What Tan Feng was waiting for was that sentence. He had planned to dig out his young younger brother's supreme bone, make him a cripple. Hearing this, his father jumped up. Hao Er is only five years old and can't bear the pain. But Mr. Chin just sighed, wanting to become a supreme career. Only the divine bone is not enough. We need great will and spirit. Perhaps it is destiny. Although Hao Er's bones can be dug up, in the future, the family will be revived. Supreme achievements. But what about you? Funger. But soon after, Tan Feng's words stunned everyone. Tan Feng was jealous of his younger brother Tan Hao, so he dug out his younger brother's bones. Take the supreme bone as your own. After being discovered, he fled the Qin family. His whereabouts are unknown. Qin's grandfather was furious, ordered to hunt down Tan Feng all over the world. Qin Tian couldn't bear it any longer. How could the Qin family do such a cruel thing? If you want to fight, then fight, but you can't surrender. Then Mr. and comforted Tan Feng not to mention this matter again. Father will not let anyone touch you. But Tan Feng retorted, for the survival of the family, I'm willing to plead guilty. Finally, the grandfather asked again, do you regret it? But Tan Feng was still determined. I believe everything I do, and my younger brother will understand in the future. But in his heart, he had long wanted to dig out his younger brother's bones, leave the village to be a new person, go and see the outside world. The grandfather immediately agreed to Tan Feng's request. Hearing this, his father couldn't believe his ears. When he reacted, he knelt down and begged his ancestor to withdraw the order. That's my son. He's only eight years old. Looking at his father kneeling down frantically, Tan Feng quietly wiped away his tears. He stepped forward to help his father up and promised to return. Then he turned to look at his father. His eyes were firm, begging his father to continue to protect his mother and younger brother until his younger brother grew up. Without looking back, even though his father called, Tan Feng was determined to leave. Looking at Tan Feng's back, his father knelt down on the ground, tears streaming down his face. It's my fault that I didn't do right by you. I didn't do right. He rushed into his younger brother's room in the middle of the night. Tsing, instead of being angry, he was very happy, opened his arms to hug him, but was immediately punched in the heart by him. Then he dug out his younger brother's vertebrae one by one. He couldn't believe it. Before he died, he still called him. But Tan Feng knows that only in this way can he save his younger brother's life, protect the lives of his parents and loved ones. For the Qin family, Tan Feng is willing to bear the sins of the ages, even if the result is to be chopped into a hundred pieces. After digging out his younger brother's supreme bone, the system rewards as promised for killing the dying son of heaven, reward 800,000 points for obtaining the supreme bone of the son of heaven, complete the legendary task, reward the invincible pupil. Tan Feng's eyes changed dramatically immediately. The invincible pupil also appeared as promised. At this moment, his younger brother's furnace fell down. That's what Tan Feng sold back to his younger brother when he went out to play. I didn't expect that he still kept it with him until now. After receiving the invincible pupil, Tan Feng also noticed the difference in the furnace. He just grabbed it and then stopped. Seeing that his younger brother was only breathing his last, Tan Feng decided to leave it to him. The invincible pupil is a path that no one can stop. There is no need to borrow the hands of others. Younger brother, take care. I don't know if we can meet again, but this is a farewell. At this moment, the young man knelt before the door. Without saying anything, he just bowed his head and prayed continuously. In the room, Qin Tian was in a panic, trying to rush out, but couldn't open the door. Tan Feng knelt outside, praying to his parents countless times. Each time it sounded like a nail being driven into their hearts. After a while, Tan Feng stood up. Rain and tears streamed down his cheeks. Disciple Tan Feng kowtows to his parents for the last time today. Thank you for your care over the past eight years, parents. Today we part. We may never see each other again. I hope my parents will take good care of my younger brother, especially to take care of yourself. 
Take care, listen to your filial son. The mother couldn't bear it any longer, rushed out and cried out Tan Feng's name miserably. But it was too late, the person was gone, and the water was cold, without looking back, before. As long as you call Tan Feng, he will answer immediately. But now it is no longer there. The mother cried and fainted. At this moment, the entire Qin family was unusually empty. Outside the gate, Tan Feng heard everything, but refused to return. In the rain, he looked at his home for the last time in eight years, and the figure gradually disappeared into the clouds. From now on, will he be chopped into a hundred pieces or fly straight to the sky? It all depends on him. The sunshine the next day was still bright. The maids of the Chin family still happily called the little boss to get up. If you don't get up early, you will be scolded. But the little boss still didn't get up. The maid panicked and ran out to ask for help. In no time, the Chin family's room was full of people. Everyone was talking, and it was said that the culprit was Tan Feng. How is that possible? Don't talk nonsense. The maid didn't believe it. Tan Feng was a child she watched grow up. He couldn't have done such a thing. But at this moment, everyone noticed the silent person. In fact, they also don't believe that Tan Feng can do such a terrible thing. But suddenly, Qin Tian turned around and screamed in pain that it was him. It was the traitor who did this. Immediately after that, he felt his internal organs being torn apart. Recalling the time with Tan Feng, his heart ached and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Everyone hurriedly supported him before he collapsed. It's me who did wrong to you. At this moment, the ancestor of the Qin family suddenly appeared behind everyone. Tan Feng was jealous of his younger brother's talent, so he dug out his supreme bone in the dark. Now chase and kill everywhere and kill Tan Feng at all costs. Everyone was in a panic, and those who were hunted down everywhere died miserably. It seems that the ancestor is really angry this time. Tan Feng, your life is no longer in your hands. Meanwhile, the royal family was very excited to hear that Tan Feng was about to die. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope he will die on the run. And then ordered that he was having breakfast and wanted to get drunk with his concubines before returning. In the meantime, Tan Feng has met the system's redemption conditions. He immediately chose to upgrade the Bai Fa Don, spend one million points. The system informs the owner to change the Great Consummation card into a gasification card. Use the card to achieve 100% gasification. When Tan Feng was feeling the joy, a familiar voice came from nowhere, breaking the peace. He immediately deployed his magic, jumped out of the donkey he had just stolen, fell to a branch more than 10 meters above the ground. Looking closely, a group of fierce men were surrounding a young woman. The young girl is very beautiful, with slender and white legs, fair and white skin, and a shy face, which makes anyone who sees it want to eat it alive. At this moment, the robber suddenly slapped the girl's hand, knocking off the jade pendant on her chest. Tan Feng realized that the situation could not be allowed to deteriorate, so he shouted his famous slogan, let her go. But someone was faster, kicking the bald robber in the head. A terrible kick made the bald man scream in pain, unconscious during the day. How dare you do such a shameful thing to an innocent young woman? It's really a capital crime. Don't be afraid. Let me teach them a lesson for you. Tan Feng stared at him. What? Lin San appeared out of nowhere and also robbed me of my lines. The robber boss was angry with the boy who dared to obstruct his good deeds. But at this time, his subordinates hurriedly warned the boss. Look, it's exactly the same as the wanted order. He compared Tan Feng's face with the poster. It turned out to be this one. It's that crooked mouth. But the man quickly confirmed that it was Tan Feng. We're going to be rich. Then he took off all his clothes in front of Lin San and the girl. Lin San hurriedly asked Tan Feng to explain the situation. Did you hire these guys? Because of Tan Feng's previous wolfish words, Lin San mistakenly thought that he was gay and liked him. Tan Feng was shocked. What was this guy talking about? Because of the previous misunderstanding, he thought Tan Feng was gay and that these guys were also hired by him. But why do you have to take aphrodisiac when you're having fun? Does Tan Feng have any special hobbies? Thinking of this, Lin San couldn't stop shivering, covered in cold sweat. Anyway, we must destroy them all before the medicine takes effect. But in the blink of an eye, Tan Feng's sword lit up and then went out again. The robber boss didn't have time to react before his carotid artery was cut and he breathed his last. Killed three robbers, reward 300 villain points. Lin San was shocked. In just a few months, Tan Feng's strength had increased to such a terrifying level. Tan Feng put away his sword and greeted Lin San. At this time, the girl also came forward to thank him. Seeing Lin San talking excitedly to the girl, and he was left alone, Tan Feng could only smile wryly. It's really discrimination. When everyone was talking, the corpse suddenly moved. You little bastard, you won't escape today. 
When the boss arrives, you will pay the price, especially the girl. You'll have to obey the boss. Don't be afraid. We will protect you. But then Tan Feng suddenly appeared, holding the girl's hand and running away. Third brother, come on. We believe you can hold them back. Then left Lin San standing there, laughing sinisterly. This time, I won't give you a chance to rob me of my equipment. His accomplices in the blood clothes relic also discovered this. The leader was overjoyed. It seemed that the brothers had discovered the attacker in the middle of the action. Immediately gather the disciples who are surveying the ruins. Arrest Tan Feng first. Leave the ruins for later. Arrest the boy first. At this time, looking at the two people going away, Lin San fell into deep thought. I can't fight the large number of robbers alone. He hurriedly called back Tan Feng who was leaving. But the girl turned back and felt uncomfortable with Lin San's distrust, obstructing the chosen son of heaven from impressing the goddess. Reward 500 villain points. Tan Feng was annoyed. Can I catch up with this method? Lin San was full of doubts. With his extraordinary status and strength, why did he have to hide? Tan Feng couldn't say that he had dug up his younger brother's bones. Now he is wanted. He can only lie. I don't rely on my ancestors, but I will use my own hands to create the world. Lin San hurriedly clasped his hands in respect. Your ambition is really admirable. Tan Feng was embarrassed. Don't say any more. And then asked Lin San why he was here. Didn't you go back to the city with Lin Xin? Lin San said that he wanted to go to practice before going back. The girl also hurriedly said that she was going to practice. But Tan Feng could see through this bad acting. He thought that the main character was lying. In fact, he was going to find the treasure. And the girl must be a young lady who ran away from home and also brought a lot of useless things. But it is precisely because the main character does not abandon the useless girl, that he can openly live off her in the future. Looking at this beautiful but stupid appearance, she must be a young lady from a rich family. Should I kneel down and lick her shoes, and then I can live off her in the future? Tan Feng determined that the girl behind him must be a young lady from a famous family. So at dinner, he gave her the last piece of roast chicken. The girl took it without thinking and thanked Tan Feng. Looking at her eating like a starving ghost, Tan Feng thought to himself, she's eating mine now, and I'll live off her later. Then he said he was going to take a bath and told Lin San to go to bed early. In fact, Tan Feng wanted to use the opportunity to redeem the previous reward when he dug up his younger brother's bones. So he needed a moment of privacy. The roulette wheel spun and stopped. The system announced congratulations to the master for winning the god-level stone hand. Can take things from a distance. Tan Feng's eyes changed immediately. He could clearly see the minerals buried in the ground. Using magic, the minerals immediately flew out and fell into Tan Feng's hands. Tan Feng was overjoyed. This magic could not only take things but also penetrate. He glanced at the two people who were sleeping soundly. His eyes gradually became cloudy. Some evil thoughts arose in Tan Feng's mind. He used magic on the sleeping girl. Immediately, an indescribable object appeared in Tan Feng's hand. At the same time, the girl felt something strange and woke up in shock with a flushed face and hurriedly covered her chest. What was this strange feeling? Then she realized that there were only three people here. Me, Tan Feng, and Lin San. Tan Feng was only eight years old, so only he was left. It was him who did this. She punched the pervert who was hiding under the cloak of civilization. Fall. Hearing the noise in the cave, Tan Feng immediately ran in and asked what had happened. The girl pointed at Lin San and said, Ask this guy. He's a pervert who slandered the chosen son of heaven, helping him get 500 villain points and favor from the goddess. The girl pointed at Lin San, intending to ask him to return her underwear, but she was too embarrassed and ran away. Lin San was stunned. What's wrong with her? She hit me and told me to return something, but he didn't know that it was all staged by Tan Feng. First, he used the star attraction technique to steal the girl's underwear, and then he blamed Lin San, destroying his image as a gentleman in her eyes. Then Tan Feng would take the opportunity to conquer the girl. While the two were talking, suddenly, the girl's cry for help was heard outside the cave. Realizing the danger, Lin San immediately rushed out. Looking at Lin San's noble back, Tan Feng sighed. Is that the halo of the protagonist? Just after being hated by the goddess, he had the opportunity to save the beauty. And I won't be a decent person anymore. In a flash, Tan Feng had surpassed Lin San. He continued to rush towards the girl, who was about to be torn apart by the beast. Then Tan Feng hugged her like a princess. My dear, don't be afraid. I'm here. Tan Feng used his body technique again, escaped and flew up to the ancient tree. At this time, the girl was trembling and her face was flushed. On closer inspection, Tan Feng was quite handsome. After making sure that she was safe, Tan Feng asked about her well-being. 
Just then, the white tiger at the foot of the tree attacked again. The girl almost fell down, but fortunately, Tan Feng managed to support her slender waist, holding her in his arms. But in just a moment, Tan Feng felt something was wrong. He groped around, and the girl's back was as soft as a bun. His hand was in the wrong place, and he quickly withdrew it, hoping that she would not find out. At this time, Lin San ran over and said that this wild beast had extraordinary strength and that they needed to join forces to defeat it. Tan Feng thought otherwise. The girl's feelings for him had now reached their peak. If he helped, the goddess would surely fall in love with him immediately. With that in mind, Tan Feng smiled slyly. I'm sorry, Lin San. I refuse to cooperate this time. In order to completely conquer the goddess's affection, I have decided to challenge the wild beast alone. After comforting the girl, Tan Feng jumped down from the tree, determined to fight the ferocious beast one on one. But Lin San stopped him and said that Tan Feng should not be reckless. The monster was very ferocious and could only be defeated by joining forces. But Tan Feng ignored him. He drew his sword and unleashed a magnificent sword energy. It was the heaven slaying sword technique. But that powerful sword energy did not cause any real damage to the monster, only making it even more furious. The monster immediately attacked Tan Feng more violently. Seeing that it was about to succeed, Lin San immediately stood in front of Tan Feng. Don't be afraid. Let me handle it. But Tan Feng ignored him, thinking that Lin San just wanted to steal the credit. He immediately took action, chanting a spell. Space tore apart and a five-clawed golden dragon flew out. The dragon rushed straight towards the monster. Only then did it sense the danger, but it was too late. The heavens and earth shook as the torn corpse flew out and did not stop until it hit a tree, obstructing the chosen son of heaven from showing off, rewarding 500 villain points. Witnessing this scene, Lin San was so so shocked that she could not speak. At this time, the girl also ran to Tan Feng's side, praising him endlessly, but they did not know that Tan Feng was very weak at the moment. The move just now had exhausted his body. While the three of them were talking, the leader of the robbers walked over and clapped his hands. The young master of the Tan family is really good, defeating the monster that killed many of our disciples all by himself. We need an explanation today, or it will be difficult to convince everyone who would have thought that Tan Feng would immediately throw Lin San out. This is my cousin. If you want to catch me, you have to get past him first. Then he took the girl's hand and ran away, shouting, Brother, you're so awesome. Let me go first. I'll leave these pieces of trash to you. After Tan Feng abandoned Lin San and ran away, the leader of the robbers sent his disciples to chase after him while he dealt with Lin San. Seeing the man approaching, Lin San realized that she was not strong enough to fight him. He swung his hammer and charged straight at Lin San. But in the blink of an eye, the sword flashed. The moves exploded one after another. The two sides fought fiercely. Meanwhile, Tan Feng also encountered trouble. He had just defeated the last pursuer and took the girl's hand to continue continue, but she was still worried about Lin San. Tan Feng comforted her that Lin San was the son of destiny. With the protagonist's aura, she would be fine. Before he could finish speaking, the girl was shot down by an arrow. Tan Feng was furious. He had been protecting the girl for so long, but now she was being hurt by this little demon. He immediately threw a punch at the rogue's face, knocking him straight into the clouds. Then he picked up the girl, anxiously examining her wound. But he was too tired and had no strength left. The system detects that the host is weak. You can use 1,000 villain points to restore your physical strength. Tan Feng clicked and thought, it's so cheap. He immediately bought it, but the system announced that 10% of his physical strength had been restored. Do you want to continue buying? Tan Feng was furious. He knew that this damned system had ulterior motives. Of course, I'll continue. Buy another 9,000 points. The system's reminder kept ringing for several hours until dawn. At this time, his two hands reached out to touch the girl. The host is Tan Feng. The system reminds you that your sister is injured. What's the use of you fumbling around? Tan Feng turned the girl over to look at the wound, but found that it was healing at a terrifying speed. Looking at his hands, Tan Feng exclaimed that something was strange. Tan Feng went to look for Lin San alone, but what he saw were giant ancient trees that had been cut down by sword energy. Tan Feng recognized that this was Lin San's unique sword move, as expected of the Son of Heaven. Even a fierce battle could be handled so easily. While thinking, Tan Feng heard the sound of horses galloping from afar. The leader ordered his disciples, I heard that that Lin San defeated the eldest brother and went to heal his wounds. We must hurry up and get there first. We can't let him steal the opportunity. Realizing that something big was about to happen, Tan Feng jumped in front of the leader's horse. Do you want to die? Boy, but someone recognized.
recognized him, shouting, It's Tan Feng, the eldest of the Tan family. Seeing that he was famous, Tan Feng asked directly, Tell me where the relic you mentioned is, what's the name? But the robbers only thought of capturing Tan Feng alive for a reward. They immediately drew their knives and charged. In the blink of an eye, the sword light flashed, and the crowd fell, their throats blocked by sword energy. Tan Feng turned back, his eyes cold. I was going to let you live a little longer, but you don't know how to cherish it. Then he picked up the map that had fallen to the ground. It was indeed the address of the ancient relic in the snow mountain that they had mentioned. Although it was not clear what Lin San was doing there, Tan Feng still put the map in his pocket. When he returned to the camp, he found that the girl was still unconscious. Tan Feng decided to absorb his younger brother's supreme bone. He sat cross-legged and took out his brother's bone fragment. Then he took out a knife and stabbed himself in the chest. His hand reached into his chest, feeling for the organs until he found the corresponding bone. Finally, he pulled out all his own bones and then inserted his brother's bone fragment. I hope it works. Immediately afterwards, Tan Feng felt as if his internal organs were about to explode. His bones felt like they were being twisted. His body felt like it was being kneaded into dough. Then he fainted on the ground, extremely weak. After absorbing his brother's bone, Tan Feng fainted in pain beside the girl. The loud noise also woke her up. Opening her eyes, she was horrified to find that a strange man had his hand on her chest. She struggled to get away and kicked the man in front of her hard. Looking again, it was Tan Feng, and he was badly injured. The girl was surprised to find that her body was stronger. The wound on her shoulder had also healed. Looking at Tan Feng, she understood that he had saved her and was badly injured because of her. Seeing Tan Feng in pain, the girl decided that she had received a favor from young master Tan. Now it was her turn to repay him. She hugged Tan Feng, using her body to help him restore his damaged meridians, sharing the pain like burning bones. After who knows how long, Tan Feng woke up and the girl was still by his side taking care of him. At this time, she was horrified to find that Tan Feng's eyes had changed. His hand quickly caught the buzzing bee. She was surprised. Why was young Master Tan's hand so fast? But Tan Feng said that it was easy to catch because it was flying so slowly. Then he understood. It must be because he had just absorbed the supreme bone and improved his physical quality. The system reminded him that the higher the level, the stronger the ability to see through. After Tan Feng's meridians were healed by Zidian, he realized that his physical quality and ability to see through were much stronger, so he begged the girl to slap him in the face. Zidian wondered if young Master Tan's brain had been damaged by the fierce battle just now. But seeing that Tan Feng kept urging her to slap him, and even slapped himself with a smile, she was afraid, so she obediently raised her hand. But immediately afterwards, her hand was tightly held by Tan Feng. Then she watched in horror as he rubbed her hand. Seeing this, Zidian shuddered. Surely young Master Tan's brain was damaged. But Tan Feng kept smiling and saying that her hand was soft. It was very comfortable to hold. And then he kissed her hand. This bold flirting made Zidian's heart flutter. She agreed to go with Tan Feng to the secret place. Not long after, the two of them arrived at the secret place, according to the map. Task of robbing the opportunity from the Son of Heaven was successful. Reward a chest of gold. Fold the map. Tan Feng exclaimed, as expected of the Son of Heaven, even such a secret place can be found. He immediately asked Zidian to go exploring with him. On the first night of entering the mysterious place, the scenery was a bit familiar, but Zidian was still nervous. She just wanted to find young Master Lin. In the blink of an eye, Tan Feng took off his clothes, saying that this was a hot spring. Tan Feng had taken off all his clothes except his underwear. The reason he did this was because earlier in the Tan family library, he had accidentally found an ancient book, which described in detail that in the center of the secret relic, there was a sacred spring called the Mountain Realm. The spring contained a lot of wood energy. Men and women bathing together would help their cultivation. One day there was equivalent to a lifetime of ascetic cultivation outside. It was no wonder that during the eight years he had been in the Tan family, he had rarely seen his parents. It turned out that they had been having fun here. Without hesitation, Tan Feng took off all his clothes and jumped into the spring. The wonderful feeling made him forget that he was not alone. 
Looking at Tan Feng naked, Zidian's brain went numb. What was young Master Tan planning to do? Did he want to do something right now? Is it okay to be so fast? Facing his sister's severe scolding, he pretended to be in pain and groaned. Seeing that Zidian was gradually falling into his trap, the eight-year-old Tan Feng made a bold request. When Zidian found that Tan Feng had suddenly taken off all his clothes, she panicked and screamed. But Tan Feng only saw an opportunity and rushed forward to hug her, lifting her up and throwing them both into the spring. Zidian was confused and accidentally swallowed a large mouthful of water. While struggling, she accidentally kicked Tan Feng in the groin. Thanks to that, Zidian broke free and scolded him. But Tan Feng said that she was shouting too loudly and that it would be dangerous if the robbers heard. Zidian immediately understood that young Master Tan was doing this to protect her. She approached him, wanting to heal the wound left by the kick to his groin. But Tan Feng was a decent person and quickly dived into the water, refusing treatment. If you want to help, then take off your clothes and bathe with me. Hearing this, Zidian blushed. As a young girl, she could not imagine that her savior would ask her to take off all her clothes and bathe naked with him. Seeing Zidian's embarrassed expression, Tan Feng immediately explained that taking off his clothes was to absorb the spiritual energy in the spring, and that men and women bathing together would improve their cultivation. Hearing this, Zidian was a little disappointed, sighing, well then, for the sake of cultivation, we should do it too. Deceiving an innocent young girl, reward 300 villain points. Reading the notification, Tan Feng smiled wryly. I'm not that kind of person. But looking at Zidian's alluring figure, he immediately changed his mind. System, are you sure? Your eyes are very sharp. Then he closed his eyes and placed his palms opposite Zidian. Well, let's begin. Feeling the heat flow into his lower abdomen, Zidian's calm expression gradually changed. Three days later, Tan Feng in the spring felt that his cultivation technique had been completed. Golden rays of light shot out from his dantian, causing the spring water to boil. Discovering that the host had broken through to the third level of the extraordinary realm, reward 1,000 points. Helping the goddess break through to the extraordinary realm, successfully robbing her of her feelings, cutting off the fate of the Son of Heaven, reward 5,000 points. The power of the breakthrough shook the entire region, shattering the surrounding mountains. Tan Feng and Zidian were exposed to everyone. They came here to search for relics, but witnessing this scene also made them confused. Realizing that the situation was about to go too far, Zidian quickly stood up and covered her chest, explaining to Tan Feng, but everyone didn't pay much attention because they recognized Tan Feng. As long as they captured him alive, they would get 100,000 spirit stones. Seeing all the eyes looking at him, like tigers looking at their prey, Zidian couldn't help but wonder, why were they all targeting Tan Feng? Tan Feng said maybe because he was too handsome. Zidian laughed. Handsome is strange, a shameless person. At this time, the leader shouted, Tan Feng, you can't escape. Quickly raise your hands and surrender, and avoid harming innocent people. Tan Feng didn't bother to speak, and just coldly transformed his weapon. Seeing that Tan Feng was still stubborn, everyone rushed forward. The weapon that Tan Feng transformed into was the Nine Immortal Swords of the Immortal Palace. Today, he will show Zidian the power of the Nine Mysterious Weapons. He waved his hand, and the Nine Swords flew straight into the crowd. In just a moment, dozens of people had lost their heads. The leader shouted, What is this? How can it be so powerful? The soldiers behind were also terrified. In the blink of an eye, they fell, losing consciousness. Congratulations to the host. Killing one person rewards 100 points, a total of 2,300 points, achieving the title of 100 Man Slayer. The battlefield showed no sign of life. Tan Feng put away his weapon, turned and walked away with great power, leaving Zidian stunned. Too powerful. Tan Feng was overjoyed. Only this is worthy of me. This time, I will shine in front of the goddess. After dealing with all the roadblocks, Tan Feng and Zidian set off. This time, their destination is the Blood Bodhi Tree. Meanwhile, deep in the forest, a weak woman leaned against the trunk of a large tree. She was tied up with a love rope. It turned out that after Lin Tom defeated the gang boss, he went to find the monster's inner core to restore his strength. Unexpectedly, he met a rabbit demon who had just given birth and easily caught and tied it up. However, the boss didn't know that Tan Feng and Zidian were secretly watching. Seeing them torture the mother, Zidian was furious and squeezed Tan Feng's arm. Unable to bear it, Tan Feng squeezed her thigh. He said, she squeezed my hand and I squeezed her thigh. Now we are even. Zidian helplessly scolded him, you are so petty. Then pay attention to the scene again. 
I don't know when, the rabbit demon had been completely pierced. The rabbit ears were clearly visible. According to the boss's order, they took out their weapons and attacked again. Zidian immediately rushed out and shouted at the people of the powerful gang, Why are you treating your mother so cruelly? But the boss ignored her and recognized Tan Feng. He was overjoyed and decided to capture Tan Feng as well. Last time, you escaped because of the warrior Lin Tam. This time, you won't be so lucky. With that, he gathered his energy and charged towards Tan Feng. Seeing this, Zidian instinctively pushed Tan Feng behind her, but Tan Feng coldly dodged to the side and at the same time pulled Zidian to escape with him. He even turned back to taunt them. You're so slow at beating people, and you still dare to come out and cause trouble. Provoked, the boss of the gang gathered his energy and charged towards the two of them. Han Feng solemnly ordered her to rescue the rabbit demon. I'll stay and deal with him. Looking at the boss who was muscular but brainless and weak, Tan Feng smiled faintly. It's really interesting. He summoned the nine immortal divine swords, and at the same time, a golden dragon with five claws appeared behind him. Feeling despised, the boss was so angry that his hair stood on end. He had to use 100% of his strength to take Tan Feng's head. But at this time, Tan Feng was much stronger than before. The invincible dragon god charged forward like a storm, crushing the tigers and wolves and slashing straight into the boss's heart. The shockwave carrying endless power swept away the remaining henchmen. The battle wiped out 88 enemies, rewarding 8,800 villain points. At first, Tan Feng wanted to spare some of the gang members, but they kept rushing into his moves. As Tan Feng was feeling emotional, Zidian came over with a rabbit demon, trembling and bowing her head to thank the benefactor for saving her life. Then she told the reason. She originally entered the ruins to find fruit for her newborn child, but she didn't expect to encounter those people. Because she had just given birth, she was very weak and was captured. She looked at Tan Feng with pity in her eyes and begged him for some Bodhi fruits to feed her child. As a loving mother, she didn't ask for much, just a few fruits. Lord Tan Feng immediately agreed to her request. But the situation changed. One fruit was worth 100,000 yuan. She didn't want her child to grow up with the idea of being dependent on others. But the rabbit demon had no money. Tan Feng was not discouraged when he heard this. No money is fine. Do you have any valuables at home that you can trade? But the rabbit demon's house was just an earthen cave, sitting on the ground all day long, without even a bed. Tan Feng had no choice but to wave his hand and give her a handful of seeds. The rabbit demon was very grateful to the benefactor for giving her seeds to eat. After Tan Feng gave the rabbit demon the Bodhi fruit, she was very grateful and led the two of them to see her child. Seeing the cute little rabbit, Zidian couldn't help but pet it. At that time, the rabbit demon gave her child to Zidian. You like it very much, don't you? Then take it and raise it. Then she hugged the other two rabbits and ran into the deep forest without looking back. Zidian was shocked. What is this? She had never seen anyone who didn't give money or gifts, but instead gave her children. Beside her, Tan Feng found out that his master had received a primary divine beast, successfully connected. Tan Feng was surprised. This beast's potential is on the same level as my younger brother's. The system reminds that a primary divine beast has been found. Please use treasures to cultivate it. One Bodhi fruit is only enough to sustain it for one day. Tan Feng was upset. It turned out that its mother had to find food as soon as it was born. It's a complete rice bucket, always asking for food wherever it goes. Seeing Tan Feng's serious expression, Zidian thought he didn't want to raise the little rabbit. She angrily pulled Tan Feng's ear. Why don't you say anything? Tan Feng replied, as long as you like it, we'll both raise it. But if you don't like it, I'll still raise it because it's a primary divine beast. Tan Feng's unintentional words were very warm to Zidian. He's so kind and trustworthy. Then Zidian named the little rabbit Yaya. But Tan Feng said that it ate so much that it should be called a rice bucket. Seeing the cute rabbit, Zidian suggested the name Baby or Bunny, but Tan Feng still preferred rice bucket. Finally, Zidian compromised and named it Xiaobai, but it had to be officially called rice bucket. While they were arguing, a loud thunder suddenly sounded from the distant mountaintop. The group of cultivators shot darts and flew towards the sound of the thunder. They had found Lin Tam, but he had discovered the ruins of the Lin family and wanted to eat them all. Today, they had to teach him a lesson. Hearing the people talking, Tan Feng understood that Lin Tam was in danger. He immediately pulled Zidian's hand and ran towards the sound of the thunder. When they arrived, 
they saw that Lin Tom had been surrounded. When Tan Feng and Zidian arrived, Lin Tom immediately gave up the treasure to everyone. This unusual behavior made Tan Feng suspicious. According to the script, if the protagonist voluntarily gives up the treasure, there must be a plot to let others explore the way first. He immediately pulled Zidian into the nearby bushes. Just then, the leader saw Lin Tam give up the treasure chest and sarcastically said that he had only broken a few layers of seals and still called himself a sword god. What a weak warrior. Then he drew his sword and slashed straight at the treasure chest. When the blade touched the treasure chest, the seal structure suddenly changed. Fierce golden energy poured down the blade and stabbed straight into the man's heart. Seeing this, his companions immediately swung their swords and slashed at Shi Men. Let me help you. Seeing this, the rest of the people also drew their weapons and rushed towards the golden energy core. But immediately, the structure began to drain everyone's energy and power, trapping them in the center. Then it shattered, sending shockwaves that sent everyone flying. In the bushes, the two of them witnessed the scene clearly. I knew it. He gave up the treasure. It must not be a good thing. Now that the seal structure has been destroyed more than half, but everyone is seriously injured, can't stand up, and the structure is about to collapse completely. Although everyone is reluctant, they can only retreat. They didn't even have time to take the wounded with them. Lin Tam sneered, pointing his finger to completely destroy the structure. Finally got you, my treasure. But just then Tan Feng stood up, using the telekinesis, calmly holding the treasure in his hand. Completed the villain task, reward a golden chest, destroy the great opportunity of the chosen son of heaven, reward a lottery chance, rob the chosen son of heaven's item, reward one million points. Just then, the Shi Men family returned and saw that Lin Tam had already obtained the treasure and was furious. They drew their swords and rushed towards Lin Tam. But Lin Tam remained calm, summoned the teleportation spell and disappeared. Dark green energy surrounded Lin Tam. Immediately, Shi Men drew his sword and slashed at him. But just as the sword was about to touch him, Lin Tam had successfully teleported to another space. Teleportation distance is limited. Today, even if he has to dig three feet of earth, he must find that guy. Seeing them heading towards his hiding place, Tan Feng quickly hid the treasure on his body. As they were in a hurry to catch Lin Tam, they didn't recognize Tan Feng, just glared at him as they passed by. Unexpectedly, Tan Feng jumped into Zidian's arms, crying out, Sister, I'm so scared, and hugged her tightly. The man sneered. What a timid brat, so inexperienced. Seeing Tan Feng trembling like a wounded kitten, Zidian was touched and hugged him in her arms, stroking his hair. But as soon as she saw them go far away, Tan Feng pushed Zidian away hard, shouting, We've been tricked. The sudden change left Zidian confused. The mother-son beam in her eyes went out in an instant. Then Tan Feng took her and ran away quickly. He knew that even though the man was injured, he was still his opponent. The urgent thing was to increase his strength. Opening the reward chest, the system congratulated the master for receiving the exclusive secret manual. Immediately, Tan Feng's eyes became sharp. Zidian also felt the appearance of a very powerful secret manual. She warned Tan Feng to be careful. While they were talking, Tan Feng suddenly felt danger. Immediately, Zidian screamed to warn him. Having just escaped the pursuit, Lin Tom breathed a sigh of relief. But when he opened the treasure chest, nine, it was empty inside. The unexpected sight shocked Lin Tam so much that he almost dropped the chest to the ground. He was sure that there was a secret mechanism inside. It couldn't be empty. Meanwhile, thanks to the secret manual he had obtained, Tan Feng had successfully dealt with the dangerous situation. But Zidian still found it hard to believe that Lin Tom, the famous martial artist, had only mastered the secret manual at the age of 12 and broken through the desolate realm, whereas Tan Feng was only eight years old. Hearing this, Tan Feng's face became serious. What about eight years old? My five-year-old brother has already broken through. Rules are only meant to be broken. If that's true, then this desolate world is nothing to write home about. Then he opened the system and exchanged one million points for a 100% perfect match card. As a transmigrator, this card could not be seen by the people of this world. Congratulations, Master, for using the match card. Your swordsmanship has reached perfection. After marveling at the perfection of his swordsmanship, Tan Feng decided to use his remaining lottery chance. The desolate world is dangerous. He needed self-defense skills. The system announced congratulations to the master for winning the Invincible Sword Heart. Invincible Sword Heart is the supreme realm of swordsmen. The heart is not infected by beauty, and the sword is drawn naturally. Increases damage by 10 times for all sword skills. For a moment, Zidian felt that the younger brother suddenly became handsome, but blinked and looked again, still the same. 
She asked Tan Feng for half a day. Little brother, what are you doing? Tan Feng replied cheerfully, I'm practicing the male heart sutra, which can make men last longer. Then he closed the system, ending his cultivation. Lying gracefully in his arms, he thought to himself that he and the sword were really destined. At that moment, the object he had stolen from Lin Tom fell out of his body. Zidian also discovered it and hurriedly examined the object. Zidian realized that it was the letter of the saint on bamboo paper, a rare and precious item in ancient times. There were a total of three scrolls, heaven, earth, and man. Before in the Qin family, Tan Feng had also heard his grandfather mention the letter of the saint. Every time it appeared, it caused a bloodbath. Anyone who could comprehend the letter would become a famous figure in history. But Tan Feng picked it up and looked at it, but could not read a single word. Zidian patiently explained that it was not high intelligence that could understand the the letter thoroughly. There were many other factors hidden within it. Hearing this, Tan Feng threw the scroll away. If it's useless, then forget it. There's no need for trash. At this moment, Xiao Bai looked at the scroll with great interest, and then jumped up and lay down on it. It turned out that it thought it was a cool place to lie down. Tan Feng found this rabbit quite interesting, but Zidian asked him where he had gotten such a rare treasure in the world. Just as he was about to be exposed, a loud noise came from the depths of the forest. Tan Feng heard that it was Lin Tam and hurriedly left Zidian and ran over. You bastard! I've missed you so much for so long. Thank Thank goodness I arrived just in time. But when he got there, Tan Feng saw that Lin Tom was explaining something. He immediately spoke up. Brother Lin, don't say anything more. Let me teach them a lesson. Seeing that the two men were speechless from Tan Feng's words, Lin Tom was furious. While he was in a daze, a golden light flashed, and Tan Feng launched a sneak attack. He held the divine sword of the bow and swung it towards the West Gate, but was defeated after a brief fight. The West Gate realized that Tan Feng was just an ordinary martial artist and could not threaten him, like a fly drowning in a river. Tan Feng had heard these words over and over again. As a villain, he said it bluntly, although it was a bit painful. Tan Feng immediately activated his invincible sword heart. Immediately, countless streams of violent energy enveloped Tan Feng. The sudden sight terrified the West Gate group. Even Lin Tam was surprised. In just a few days, Tan Feng had made great progress. Hearing the heated discussion, the West Gate suddenly realized that Tan Feng had not only comprehended the sword intent, but also the invincible sword heart. How could an eight-year-old child do that? As he was thinking, a small hand patted the West Gate on the shoulder. You're just a martial artist who has mastered a secret manual, and you're already so scared. Then the boy pushed the West Gate aside, facing Tan Feng. You're the hateful brat who ran away from the Qin family because you took your brother's supreme bone, aren't you? Oh, I was just looking for a way to defeat you. Tan Feng's killing intent surged. Because you're still young, I'll let you go this time. Then the West Gate soldier drew his sword, intending to press Tan Feng down and beat him. But suddenly he felt his body burning and was lifted up by his elder brother, who shouted for everyone to run. Looking at the two brothers running away in panic, the rest of the West Gate group was very upset by the attitude of the two brothers. Tan Feng praised the two for being far-sighted, unlike the idiots who were still standing still. Humiliated once again, the West Gate group's anger erupted. They decided to use all means to destroy Tan Feng. Tan Feng's eyes were cold. His killing intent surged as he swung his sword, killing one person and earning 100 points. He continued to swing his sword and killed eight people, earning 800 points. Just then, the news of Tan Feng's annihilation of the boss of the Yuihu gang reached the Qin family. His father, Qin Tian, jumped up when he heard the news. The gang boss was close to the third level of the spiritual martial realm, and Tan Feng could only have defeated him with the power of the Supreme Bone. Worried that Tan Feng would get lost in the power that was not his own. He was very worried, but his grandfather was very relieved. According to him, Tan Feng had a lot of guts and would not be affected by the Supreme Bone. At this time, the intelligence continued to report that not only had he destroyed the gang, Tan Feng had also killed people from the West Gate family. Hearing this, Qin Tian was even more surprised. What? But his grandfather was still calm, not surprised at all. The intelligence continued that Tan Feng had not only comprehended the strong sword martial art, but had also mastered the invincible sword shadow. After hearing this, the old ancestor opened his mouth wide. I know that my grandson has the qualities of an emperor. Meanwhile, the emperor of Dashio 
Julia was preparing for the 69th round of concubine selection. Suddenly, a eunuch ran over in a panic. Tanfeng had not only killed a master of the third level of the spiritual martial realm, but had also mastered the sword heart and sword shadow. His true strength was unfathomable, but the emperor disdained him as nothing more than a fugitive martial artist. And this kind of martial artist was the easiest to kill. When he arrived at Ling Shui Mountain and saw Tan Feng playing in the stream with Zidian, Lin Tom was suspicious. At the age of 12, I had mastered the sword shadow and then broke the ancient record, becoming the sword saint of the century. Now, he has been surpassed by an eight-year-old child and has also created the most powerful move, the 1008 Swords, and mastered the sword intent and sword heart. The system announced that he had provoked the Son of Heaven, causing him to doubt himself, rewarding him with a 100,000 villain points. Tan Feng was delighted. Just playing with the male lead's goddess can earn points. Then he must provoke her even more. He immediately grinned and giggled, asking Lin Tam about swordsmanship. Lin Tam was furious. How dare you humiliate me again? You have already mastered the invincible sword heart. What else can I teach you? Unexpectedly, Tan Feng rushed into Zidian's arms. Whining sister, I'm so scared of him. I really don't know any swordsmanship. I just swing my sword simply. Swinging a sword, isn't that the 1008 swords? Lin Tam almost went mad with anger. The system announced that the host continued to provoke the Son of Heaven, rewarding him with a hundred thousand points. At this time, Zidian hugged Tan Feng tightly, scolding Lin Tam. Why are you angry with him? He's just a child. Lin Tam was completely paralyzed, being provoked by Tan Feng and also being hated by the goddess. The system continued to reward him with 100,000 points. Eight-year-old Tan Feng looked at Zidian's figure and buried his head in her chest. Seeing Tan Feng robbing the goddess, Lin Tam was so angry that he left, but Tan Feng did not let him go, continuing to provoke him with words and at the same time harvesting another 100,000 points. Lin Tam felt even more uncomfortable and turned around and ran away. Seeing that Lin Tam's figure was about to disappear, Tan Feng panicked. He could not miss the opportunity to milk this cash cow. He rushed forward and hugged Lin Tam. As the two of them were wrestling, a team of armored soldiers flew over. The leader was the emperor's number one general, Chang Kun, who was tasked with capturing Tan Feng. Immediately, the three of them were overwhelmed by his aura and did not dare to move. Lin Tam understood clearly that Chang Kun's strength far surpassed both of them. Moreover, he had brought thousands of elite soldiers with him, and the situation was very unfavorable. After hearing this, Tan Feng thought for a while and came up with an idea. He began to shed tears and looked at Chang Kun. Uncle, who are you looking for? I am Chang Kun, the Imperial Guard, and I am here to arrest you today. But Tan Feng said after you kill me, can you spare the other two? Then turn around and tell Zidian and Lin Tam that I am willing to sacrifice myself for Sister Zidian. Please do it. Chang Kun swung his knife down. Chang Kun shouted today, I will behead you, you little brat. Just then Zidian screamed and crushed the teleportation gem in her hand. Immediately, a golden lightning bolt fell, dividing the battlefield. Then the space spiraled and a giant creature appeared. On its head was a young woman in a red dress of exquisite beauty. Meanwhile, the Qin family detective reported that the emperor had sent Chang Kun and thousands of elite soldiers to kill Tan Feng. This news shocked even his grandfather, who was usually calm, and ordered the 13 grand protectors to prepare for a rescue. At this moment, Tan Feng realized that he was in big trouble. This unrestrained woman was one of the top five experts in the Yin Moon dynasty. Seeing this, Chang Kun shouted, don't interfere in my business. But the woman only glanced at him with a charming gaze. With a seductive look in her eyes, she said, I am just a weak girl. How dare I oppose you, General? Immediately, a purple energy beam shot straight into Chang Kun's heart, piercing through his chest and creating a hole 30 centimeters in diameter. Satisfied, the moon goddess absorbed the energy and gave him a kiss. Before he could react, the guards witnessed their master's body collapsing. Seeing her being so ruthless, Tan Feng did not dare to be careless. But seeing Zidian's panic, he was dragged away. Next, the moon goddess snapped her fingers and energy enveloped the two of them. She asked Zidian gently, where are you going? Making her feel ashamed. Tan Feng just wanted to eat for free and did not want to get involved in personal matters. Seeing Zidian's silence, the moon goddess closed her eyes and activated her internal energy. Immediately, the two of them were transported to a dark world and she ordered them to tell the truth. Realizing that she could not escape, Zidian called out directly, Auntie. This title made Tan Feng interested. Suddenly, the moon goddess became angry and slapped Zidian lightly. Do you still know that I am your auntie? You left home in silence and even invaded the territory of the great Shia. What if something happened to you? 
How can I explain it to your parents? To attract attention, Zidian pulled Tan Feng closer. This is Tan Feng, my spoils of war. At the age of eight, he has already comprehended the meaning of sword intent and sword heart. Isn't that amazing? Hearing this, the moon goddess stopped her hand and looked at Tan Feng curiously. She had heard that the celestial maiden had been pregnant for a hundred years before giving birth to two warriors, Tan Feng and Tan Hao. Recently, there had been news that Tan Feng was being hunted down for extracting the supreme bone from his younger brother. She thought he was dead, but unexpectedly, he was reborn in a difficult situation and had comprehended the extraordinary invincible sword heart. As she was thinking, Tan Feng suddenly ran back and asked, Sister, do you believe in love at first sight? Has this child already learned to love? The moon goddess smiled charmingly. Tan Feng replied seriously, Yes, I like you, sister. When I grow up, I will definitely marry you. Standing beside Zidian, she trembled with anger. You brat, I am worried about you, but you are eyeing my auntie. The moon goddess laughed. Little boy, your ambition is not small. The ambition of a man is not in his height, but in the thickness of his face. What a little hooligan, but I like it. Unable to hold back any longer, the moon goddess laughed heartily, her body trembling. Seeing her auntie being taken in by Tan Feng, Zidian was so angry that her cheeks puffed up and she wanted to kick him. At this moment, Tan's ancestor led the 13 guards and rushed over. Tan Feng's father used a secret technique to send a message. Don't be afraid, son. I will save you. Tan Feng rolled his eyes. You came so late. Why do you want to save me? I was just about to cling to a rich woman and live a comfortable life when you came to disturb me. Then he jumped into the moon goddess's arms. Tan Feng shouted loudly, begging the moon goddess to save him. I am still young, and there are still many wonderful things that I have not enjoyed. Why should I die so early? Before Tan's ancestor could speak, Zidian had already stepped forward. If you want to fight, then fight, but I will not let you take my Tan Feng. Her words caused both sides of the enemy to unite and look at her. Zidian's face was flushed red, and she explained, I mean that Tan Feng belongs to the Moon Goddess Palace. You should all go back. Then she glanced at the Moon Goddess and asked, Is that right, Auntie? After taking Tan Feng back to the Moon Goddess Palace, he was pursued by the female servants. They all fought over each other to show Tan Feng their pair of five-year-old pomelos. The scene made Tan Feng try his best to restrain himself. Unexpectedly, the Moon Goddess invited him to join the Moon Goddess Palace. Of course, Tan Feng would not refuse such a good opportunity, but his goal was still to become a grand god. He said, according to the rules of the pugilistic world, one must repay kindness with one's body. Sister, quickly take me away. Hearing this, the moon goddess was surprised but smiled. You are really interesting. I officially appoint you as a divine son of the moon goddess palace. Tan Feng said, I will cultivate with the goddesses and live with everyone. But the moon goddess replied, divine sons and goddesses are always guided by me directly and cannot fool around casually. Tan Feng insisted, then can I cultivate and live with you, sister? The moon goddess smiled. It is also possible to cultivate together. She was very tolerant of Tan Feng. Seeing that the moon goddess had agreed, Tan Feng's face flushed red, and he suggested that they sleep together. Seeing that her plan had succeeded, Zidian became angry and pulled Tan Feng's ear. Why do you keep staring at my auntie? From now on, you will stay with me in the goddess palace. Don't peek at auntie anymore. Auntie still has a lot of work to do. Tan Feng thought, that's fine too. It's also interesting to, to teach his wife from a young age. Seven years passed, and the sound of the waterfall echoed from the cliff. A group of goddesses looked down at the waterfall curiously, their eyes full of unsatisfied desire. That decent man was Tan Feng, seven years later. Just as he was enjoying himself, Xiao Bai suddenly appeared. Hey girls, the five minute time is up. A ticket costs five cents. Whoever comes first will watch first. Hearing this, the girls rushed to Xiao Bai, showing their eagerness. Give it to me first. Obviously, I came first. Xiao Bai calmly took out a pair of panties and two tickets. The normal ticket price is 20 cents. The temporary ticket price is 60 cents. The two of you can choose between the two types of tickets. Before he could finish speaking, the items in Xiao Bai's hands were snatched away. This time, I made a lot of money. I'm really a money-making rabbit. Xiao Bai happily thought about how to get the items back from Tan Feng. The two girls behind him were arguing about the panties, pushing Xiao Bai away and sending him flying into the water. But when he surfaced, a surge of sword energy suddenly tore the waterfall apart and flew straight towards Tan Feng. The attacker was Zidian, seven years later. She had grown up now 
Her eyes and smile were full of charm. Just now, Tan Feng had simply blocked an invisible sword strike. Then, two beauties appeared on the cliff, the moon goddess and Zidian. Over the years, Tan Feng had been practicing female-only magic with the moon goddess. In the seven years with Tan Feng, the moon goddess's charm had become increasingly strong, making him always want to conquer her. Seeing the moon goddess, Tan Feng immediately showed off his firm abs, trying to seduce her, but was immediately kicked into the water by Zidian. Although it looked ridiculous, in the eyes of the girls, Tan Feng was extremely handsome and manly. Damn, Tan Feng is so handsome. It's worth losing my virginity. His body is so strong. Realizing that her words were ill-considered, she quickly corrected herself. It's okay to do it together. After kicking Tan Feng into the water, Zidian became angry. You've been staring at my auntie since you were a child. I am such a beautiful woman, but you don't even bother to look at me. But Tan Feng didn't care and even splashed water on Zidian. The water fell right on her chest, clearly revealing her plump figure. It's quite big. It can be smashed flat. Zidian's face turned red, and she rushed to fight with Tan Feng. The moon goddess was used to Tan Feng's teasing, and calmly said, in a few days, it will be the Yin Yu Dynasty's once-in-a-decade elimination tournament. Do you want to participate? Her words aroused Tan Feng's interest, and he immediately stopped joking. But Zidian couldn't stop and bumped straight into him. The elimination tournament is like the college entrance exam nowadays. Clans will send their warriors to the arena. Those who pass will be trained by the dynasty, and those who fail will die without leaving the arena. Hearing the name, Zidian shuddered with worry. She didn't care about the exam. She was just afraid that Tan Feng would be in danger. But the moon goddess said that those who passed would usually become princes. Zidian's future would be the moon goddess, and Tan Feng would become the emperor, protecting the people. However, who knows if anything unexpected will happen. Tan Feng might die. Feeling his body tense up, Tan Feng quickly withdrew. There was an important task waiting. He decided that he hadn't exploited the Son of Destiny for many years, and his villain points were almost gone. If he didn't find a victim, or rather, a new Son of Destiny, he would have to go and steal. Feeling the excitement rising in his abdomen, Tan Feng couldn't hold back any longer. His little brother stood up straight away. It felt like being attacked by an 8x microscope and an assault rifle, making people uncomfortable. At this moment, Zidian also felt something hard and cold poking her stomach. She immediately used the tiger capturing divine art. Tan Feng felt the danger and immediately pushed Zidian away, shouting, There's a snake, run! This action not only frightened Zidian, but also startled the three girls who were watching secretly with Xiao Bai underwater. Seeing everyone rushing out in surprise, Tan Feng quickly covered his chest. I'm dead, I've been seen all over. Knowing that they had been discovered, the three girls knelt down and begged the moon goddess for forgiveness. I'm sorry, moon goddess. We know our mistake. The moon goddess said according to the rules of the moon goddess palace, those who watch secretly will be severely punished. Then she turned to Tan Feng and said, Divine Son, please carry out the punishment. Immediately, the three girls were spanked by Tan Feng, followed by painful moans, seeing their pitiful appearance. Tan Feng said, You girls have realized your mistake. This time, I will forgive you. Then he signaled them to quickly thank the moon goddess. The three girls immediately bowed their heads to thank her and then left. The moon goddess said, Tan Feng was too lenient, but he thought the girls were too lonely, and it was inevitable that they would be moved when they met a handsome man like him. Then suddenly turned to look at Xiao Bai, who was about to run away. There are some guys who need to be taught a lesson. Xiao Bai shivered and hugged the money bag in his arms tightly, running into Zidian's arms. Sister Zidian, I miss you so much, sister. But he was still caught by Tan Feng. He said to the moon goddess, I ask for permission to go back and prepare first. And he pinched Xiao Bai's face. The moon goddess announced that in the next few days, Da Xia will send an envoy to watch the fight. The emperor has always regarded you as a thorn in his side. You need to be careful. After thanking the moon goddess for her concern, Tan Feng continued to increase the strength of his hand. Xiao Bai felt that his life was about to end. At that moment, a young girl ran over and reported, Divine Son, there is a student from the imperial court outside who wants to challenge you. Tan Feng was a little surprised. A student from Da Xia had come to challenge Tan Feng. Seeing that Tan Feng didn't come out to confront him, 
the student cursed him as a traitor and then gathered his chi into a ball and smashed the moon goddess palace. Young girls of the moon goddess palace bared their teeth and brandished their swords, pointing them at him, but he was still fierce, looking down on everyone. He was a member of the Dashia envoy who had come to challenge him. Killing a student from Dashia meant declaring war on Dashia. At this moment, the sound of footsteps was heard. Zidian appeared. She was determined to teach the student a lesson, but Tanfeng stopped her. Calm down, he's just a pawn in someone else's hands. Zidian understood what he meant. Someone was targeting him. Tanfeng closed his eyes and thought, it's not me they're after. It's the Dashia clans and the Yinyu imperial court. For seven years, Dashia has been selecting students from the Dashia clans who were then taught directly by the emperor. On the surface, it was to recruit talents, but in reality, it was to target the clans and weaken their power. The reason for this was that Dashia was strongly supporting the group of poor warriors. This time, all the envoys sent to Yin Yue were warriors from the clans. If anything happened to them on Yin Yue territory, clans would declare war. At that time, the Da imperial family would benefit. With that, Tan Feng flew out of the moon goddess palace. Let's give it a try. Outside, there was already a large crowd gathered. When Tan Feng appeared, everyone cheered excitedly. Ever since he announced his perfect physique seven years ago, everyone had wanted to see the number one warrior of the ancient times. But ever since he became a divine son of the moon goddess palace, Tan Feng had never fought anyone. Seeing that Tan Feng had finally appeared, the student exuded a fierce aura, like a wild boar with sharp tusks, throwing his large knife at Tan Feng to take his head. Watching the knife come closer, Tan Feng remained calm, dodging the attack with ease. He patted the dust off his clothes and said with disdain, What did you think you were? You're just a little guy at the fourth level of the spirit martial realm. You've dirtied my clothes. The Dashia student was furious. I'm a Dashia student. Who are you to look down on me? Tan Feng proudly declared, I'm at the ninth level of the transcendent realm. He was shocked. He had originally planned to ask Tan Feng's realm, and if he was at the Tao initiation realm, he would surrender immediately. But he didn't expect him to be at the ninth level of the transcendent realm, a useless kid. What had he been doing in the moon goddess palace all these years? Tan Feng asked, how do you want to fight, one-on-one -on -one or as a group? Of course, wars one-on-one. -on -one. Only an idiot would choose a group fight. Tan Feng nodded. I understand. Then he turned to the young girls. He chose one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone, go together. The divine son's order was law, and the girls rushed forward enthusiastically, beating the student to the ground. More and more girls joined the fierce battle. The Da Xia student was knocked to the ground by the girls, but he still refused to give up. Tan Feng looked at him like he was crazy. Whether you give up or not has nothing to do with me. Then Tan Feng pulled out a calculator from his pocket and began to calculate the damage to the level 2 three-way gate, the level 3 main door, all the pillars, and the mental damage to the moon goddess palace girls. In total, a compensation of 1 million top-grade spirit stones should be enough. The Dashia student shouted, 1 million top-grade spirit stones? Why don't you just go rob someone? These things are only worth one spirit stone. But Tan Feng replied honestly, That's right, I just want to rob you. Da Xia student's words silenced the entire moon goddess palace, and then the girls admired the divine sun's thick skin. The student still resisted. Even if you sell me, I don't have any spirit stones. But Tan Feng laughed wickedly. Who says I can't sell you? Not long after, Tan Feng appeared on the main street, holding a drum and shouting, Stop by if you're passing by. A strong man from the Dashia dynasty. No need for 998 or 888. For just 98, you can take him home right now. The student was furious with Tan Feng. Dashia will not forgive you, and neither will my Chu family. But Tan Feng said coldly, You should worry about yourself first. Then he continued to sell his goods. The crowd was amazed by what they saw, their mouths wide open. Just then, a foreigner stopped the carriage. Divine son, my sister likes your slave and wants to buy him. Suddenly, a plump young woman appeared in front of the crowd. Tan Feng was afraid that the student would be crushed to death, so he quickly changed his tune. You can add more money, no problem. The two quickly came to an agreement. The student struggled desperately, not wanting to be crushed to death. Seeing the pig's head's displeased expression, Tan Feng sighed. Don't make that face. I carefully selected this slightly plump girl for you. Being plump is the best. Then he stuffed a pill into the student's mouth, which Tan Feng said was a super VIP pro aphrodisiac. Everyone's view of Tan Feng changed completely. He's not the number one warrior, but the number one pervert of the ancient times. At this moment, the Dashia student was expressionless, like a breeding machine, but Tan Feng still urged the fat girl to touch his stomach and see. Because Tan Feng urged her, the girl reached out and touched his stomach. Suddenly, 
In his eyes, the girl was like a fairy from heaven, and he took her hand and confessed passionately. The girl was also moved by his unexpected confession. The two agreed to meet in bed to learn how to spell, watching the two of them happily leave. Tanfeng smiled with satisfaction, but as soon as they were gone, he broke out in a cold sweat. Just then, the sound of a bronze bell rang out. The Shia dynasty, Princess Nanfeng has arrived. Make way for the princess. Nanfeng was the most beloved youngest daughter of the Da Xia Emperor. She was also the head of the Da Xia delegation to Yinyue this time. So the student was led by Princess Nanfeng. A cold voice rang out from inside Tan Feng's carriage. You dare to humiliate my Dasha student like this. What is your crime? But Tan Feng sneered. A Dasha student dares to humiliate the divine son of the moon goddess palace on my land, and even broke into the gate of the moon goddess palace for no reason. And yet you dare to question me on the land of Yinyue. Has Dashia already conquered Yin Yu? Nanfeng was furious. Tan Feng, you're being impudent. Seize him and behead him. Seeing the guards rushing towards him, Tan Feng sneered. Is this how you mess with other people's homes? You really are a bunch of pigs. Then Tan Feng shot out a few money needles. The money needles were filled with a sophisticated poison. After blocking all the needles, the guards found that they could not move and said, you poisoned us. Tan Feng spat out, I am a gentleman. Why would I poison you? The guards breathed a sigh of relief. But immediately, Tan Feng replied, It's aphrodisiac. Immediately, the guards were stunned, and scenes of kissing and hugging appeared in their minds. They were so scared that they knelt down and begged for help from the person in the carriage. A sigh was heard, and then a man in a black uniform stepped out and bowed to Tan Feng. Great, a senior in the martial arts world, please forgive us on behalf of the princess. I hope you will let this go for the sake of the friendship between our two countries. Then he turned to the guards and said, let me help you detoxify. Suddenly, the system announced, congratulations, master, an epic level chosen son has been found. Tan Feng was overjoyed. Finally, after seven years of waiting, he wanted to eat this man alive right now. But on the surface, he remained calm. I will help you. Then a kick flew out, shattering his genitals. Although he had saved them from the effects of the aphrodisiac, this kick had also destroyed their manhood. At this moment, a beautiful woman with snow-white skin, wearing a luxurious dress, stepped out of the carriage. Seeing the guards in pain, Nan Feng was furious and accused Tan Feng of being cruel. But Tan Feng still turned on the rotten mode. I thought the princess was a fairy, but I didn't expect her to be a prostitute who keeps men in her carriage. Nan Feng had never been so humiliated and slapped Tan Feng in the face. But Tan Feng blocked it and smiled mockingly, just a little bit, and you're already reacting so strongly. Do you two have an improper relationship? Thinking of this, Tan Feng was excited. If that's the case, he will get a lot of villain points from this chosen son of heaven. Just then, a sword blocked Tan Feng's neck. Let go of the princess. Your body cannot be touched by you. Tan Feng couldn't help but sigh. Just a little touch and you're already reacting so strongly. Then it will be easy to conquer. Tan Feng tightened his grip and then brought his face close to Nan Feng's. Princess, do you want to have a duel with me? The rules are very simple. One on one. No help from others. The princess quickly agreed. The princess of Dashia thought that Tan Feng only knew how to rely on women and play dirty with aphrodisiacs. She decided to teach Tan Feng how to be a man. The two bowed to each other, and then she drew her sword and charged at Tan Feng. Tan Feng was a little surprised by the princess's speed. She was not like the other royal family members. Should he fight seriously? While thinking, Tan Feng subconsciously raised his hand to block. He blocked this fatal blow, although he could kill the princess with just one slap compared to the villain points, that was nothing. Nan Feng sneered. Is this all the number one martial artist in ancient times? Tan Feng coldly took out a piece of cloth and wiped the blood, but Nan Feng realized that it was her underwear. It turned out that he had stolen it at some point. The princess's face flushed red. This pervert is so shameless. But on the other side, Tan Feng was still bragging and waved his hand. Do you guys want to see the secret under the princess's skirt? Outside, there were shouts of shame on him. How shameless. Hurry up and continue fighting. Why stop? Seeing the princess being humiliated, he couldn't bear it anymore. Fang Chang roared, Tan Feng, you are so despicable, but the audience cheered for Tan Feng. This is the fighting culture of Yin Yu. All tricks are allowed, as long as it benefits the match. For humiliating the goddess in the heart of the chosen son of heaven, Tan Feng received 10,000 more villain points. Seeing this, the villain Tan Feng provoked the princess. Why don't you fight anymore? If you can't beat him, then get lost. In his heart, he muttered, wait until I destroy you. Nan Feng shouted and attacked Tan Feng. But Tan Feng dodged easily, put his arms around her, and squeezed her tightly. 
not allowing her to resist. In front of Fang Chang, Tan Feng hugged the princess tightly in a very intimate position. She is an innocent girl. Nan Feng was moved by the sudden contact with a strange man. Tan Feng hugged Nan Feng tightly. In her surprised eyes, he kissed her on the lips. Although it seemed reckless, Tan Feng actually did it on purpose and glanced at Fang Chang's reaction. Seeing his face turn black, Tan Feng smiled as the villain points were added. Then he gently lifted Nan Feng's chin and forced her to open her mouth. Before Nan Feng could react, Tan Feng kissed her directly on the lips. Unlike last time, she felt a tongue foraging in her mouth. Her mind went blank, her face flushed. She wanted to push Tan Feng away, but he was too strong. She couldn't fight back. The crowd under the stage witnessed this shocking scene. Everyone was shocked. In broad daylight, Tan Feng dared to forcibly kiss an unmarried girl and even licked her. It was too depraved. Fang Chang completely lost control, and the constant provocation had completely broken his spirit. With a roar, a golden Buddha statue dozens of feet tall appeared. Tan Feng, I will tear you into pieces. Seeing that Fang Chang had gone mad, Tan Feng immediately pushed the princess away from him. Finally, he focused on the chosen son of heaven. Facing Fang Chang's overwhelming power, Tan Feng did not dare to be careless and exuded a murderous aura. His energy surged, and with a serious face, he summoned his divine weapon. Finally, the moment he had been waiting for had arrived. Tan Feng used the trick of the charming man and licked his tongue to provoke the other party. Facing the giant golden Buddha, Tan Feng also had a plan. He upgraded the illusory shadow escapism secret manual, costing 100,000 villain points. Immediately, Fang Chang's attack stopped. A bright golden light tore through the illusion and flew straight at Tan Feng. At this moment, Fang Chang had completely gone mad and used all means to destroy Tan Feng. The sword was like a dragon, and the sword energy was like a rainbow. It was the illusory shadow escapism sword technique. The golden Buddha seemed to be disturbed by an invisible force and was cut off by illusory shadow escapism and turned into nothingness. Fang Chang spat out a mouthful of blood, and a deep wound appeared on his chest. Seeing this, Tan Feng couldn't help but praise you. You are the first person who can move the acupoint before being hit by the Trem Thienbet Kim in the vital point, and avoid death but only seriously injured. Among those who have fought with me, you are the first one to do so. At this moment, Nan Feng ran over in a panic and took out medicine to heal Fang Chang's wounds. But he shook his head and refused the princess's help. Nan Feng realized that Fang Chang's attitude had changed. The look in his eyes for her was no longer as loving as before, but cold and evasive. But she still tried to give him the medicine for breaking the feelings of the chosen son of heaven. Tan Feng received 100,000 villain points and unlocked a new mission. To continue the will of the Prime Minister, coveting other people's wives, Tan Feng pretended to be innocent. What do you think I am? Then he understood. The system asked him to play such a role. He is a gentleman. How can he do such a thing? But the system still kept the task and rewarded a glorious divine-level treasure chest if completed. Hearing the reward, Tan Feng had to reluctantly accept it for the sake of the mission. He approached the princess couple. Did you kiss me just now? The question made everyone fall silent, and all eyes were on the two of them. Fang Chang's eyes flashed with a hint of doubt. Nan Feng blushed with anger and wanted to bite Tan Feng to death, but Tan Feng just raised his hand. I don't know if you have teeth or not, but you kissed me very passionately. But it doesn't matter. I know exactly how many teeth you have. But the flustered reaction that Tan Feng had imagined from Fang Chang did not happen. Fang Chang stared coldly at Tan Feng and then turned and left alone. Tan Feng knew that Fang Chang still had some ultimate moves that he had not used. Mission Progress 5 by sowing discord between the couple. Seeing this, Nan Feng also turned away. She intended to take advantage of this opportunity to get rid of Tan Feng and increase her influence. But she did not expect Tan Feng to not only steal her first kiss, but also sow the seeds of discord in her relationship with Fang Chang. Has the princess left? Tan Feng called out. Seeing that the princess had turned around, Tan Feng took out the pink cloth and threw it at her. Realizing that it was her underwear, the princess thought to herself, Tan Feng, you hooligan, does the princess not need it anymore? Then I'll take it back. Tan Feng continued to tease. Seeing Tan Feng's outrageous behavior, the princess hurriedly grabbed the bra and gave him a glare. Tan Feng, just you wait, I'll punish you. Mission completed 10 by making Fang Chang feel compassionate. 
Late at night, Xiao Bai sat on Tan Feng's shoulder, yawning. It's so late at night, why are we not sleeping but here? Xiao Bai asked. Tan Feng replied, of course it's to earn money. He looked around curiously and saw that it was very quiet behind Nan Feng's room. Hearing about earning money, Xiao Bai immediately became interested, saying that it was very familiar with this matter. In the past seven years, it had done everything to earn money to buy food. Just now, Tan Feng's words made Xiao Bai misunderstand that he was really poor and had to be a pimp for others. Without waiting for Tan Feng to explain, Xiao Bai had disappeared into the night and started to look for women. At this moment, Nan Feng was opening the window, looking up at the sky with a sad face and an umbrella in her hand. The bright moon was occasionally obscured. Bunny, Nan Feng was startled by the sudden appearance of the creature. But when she looked closely, she immediately liked this furry animal. Xiao Bai blinked its big round eyes and asked innocently, Girl, do you need love? Need a man? The straightforward question embarrassed Nan Feng, and the image of Fang Chang suddenly appeared in her mind. Was this little animal sent by Fang Chang? The more Nan Feng thought about it, the more she felt it made sense. Fang Chang is always mysterious, often doing things she has never seen before. It is normal to send a talking rabbit to confess. Nan Feng nodded shyly, I really need love. Need a man. Xiao Bai took out a spreadsheet and said while pressing the calculator, miss, we have been specializing in this business for seven years. That big-headed pig keeps pretending to be innocent and holy. Nan Feng nodded. Although she did not understand everything Xiao Bai said, it was true that she and Fang Chang had known each other for seven years. Now her first kiss was taken by Tan Feng, and it was because he had been joking with her for the past seven years. Xiao Bai continued. Xiao Bai continued. Now being poor, I can't afford to keep rabbits. Finally realized it. Quality of service is guaranteed. I won't say much more. As a middleman, I will charge you 10,000 top-grade spirit stones. Nan Feng was confused. Seeing this, Xiao Bai waved his hand and took out a small and exquisite bottle of medicine. Drink this, and your happiness will double. Finally, she agreed to pay. As a rabbit raised by Tan Feng, it was understandable that Xiao Bai would carry a super aphrodisiac. Nan Feng was still in a daze and did not understand anything, but she still paid 10,000 spirit stones and opened the bottle of medicine, as Xiao Bai said. In just a moment, her face flushed, her heart beat faster, and her body began to get excited. At this moment, Tan Feng followed Xiao Bai to the attic. You idiot. I finally caught you. He jumped in and grabbed the rabbit's ear. Xiao Bai showed off to Tan Feng. You came just in time. I finished the business. Now it's your turn to act. Tan Feng was confused. When he looked at Nan Feng, her eyes were full of love. She was eager to fight Tan Feng. Nan Feng seemed to have sobered up and hurriedly threw the bottle away and kept her distance from Tan Feng. Your master is Tan Feng, isn't he? She asked Xiao Bai in a panic. Xiao Bai replied innocently, who else could it be? Nan Feng did not expect that this rabbit belonged to Tan Feng. She had been tricked so easily. Nan Feng hurriedly circulated her internal force to resist the medicine, but with her cultivation level, she obviously could not resist. In just a few seconds, she collapsed. Then under Tan Feng's gaze, she tried to get up and staggered forward. Under the influence of the medicine, Nan Feng mistook Tan Feng for Fang Chang. Her eyes were full of love for him. In front of the fake Fang Chang, she did not hesitate to express her feelings for him over the past seven years. Don't lose your temper. Tan Feng tried to stop her. I'm not the kind of person who is promiscuous. At this moment, Fang Chang came to Nan Feng's room with a bouquet of fresh roses. After a whole day of thinking, he decided to treat the incident the day before as just an accident. In order to continue living, it was inevitable to have conflicts. He also decided to participate in the arena of life and death and kill Tan Feng with his own hands to avenge his humiliation. But when Fang Chang smiled, ready to make up with Nan Feng and reconcile with himself, the scene before him stunned him. He saw Nan Feng and Tan Feng playing intimately under the white moonlight. They looked so well matched. Tan Feng also discovered Fang Chang's intention and immediately pulled Nan Feng into his arms. His hands groped all over her body, making her unable to resist. The smile on Fang Chang's face instantly froze. He couldn't believe his eyes. Seeing Fang Chang go crazy, Tan Feng decided to add fuel to the fire. He asked in a loud voice from above, Why are you here? The question was like a bucket of cold water poured on Fang Chang. He didn't understand what Tan Feng meant. This can't be happening. 
It's absolutely impossible. You just said you like me. Is that true? Nan Feng looked at him with eyes full of affection, completely immersed in the illusion. Of course it's true. Fang Chang felt as if he had been hit hard in the head, losing his balance and stepping back continuously. They had only met twice. How could they compare to his seven years? How could it be? For attacking the lover of the chosen son of heaven, Tan Feng received another 200,000 villain points. At the same time, the progress of the Prime Minister's mission reached 50%. Too good, Tan Feng was overjoyed. 50% progress plus 200,000 villain points made him decide to give up his morals. He gently stroked her waist and whispered in her ear, You hate Fang Chang the most, don't you? Under the influence of the medicine, Nan Feng was very confused. The person in front of her was obviously Fang Chang. Why ask her who she hated? She decided to answer, no matter what happened. The person she liked the most was still Fang Chang. But before she could finish her sentence, her mouth was covered by Tan Feng. He hugged her tightly and did not let her continue. Tan Feng's question, coupled with the name Fang Chang that Nan Feng uttered, made Fang Chang misunderstand that it was the answer to the question of who she hated the most. In the end, he he was still mistaken. For completing the mission, Tan Feng was rewarded with a glorious divine grade treasure chest. At the same time, he also received 500,000 villain points for causing the chosen son of heaven to lose faith in love. The successive shocks caused Fang Chang to collapse completely. Tan Feng, I'm gonna tear you apart. Fang Chang screamed, his hair in disarray. His aura became evil, and the energy in his body increased several times. The golden Buddha that had been emitting light now turned black. It is indeed easier to follow the path of evil than to cultivate righteous thoughts. One night was enough for Fang Chang to fall into the trap of the devil's way. Even though he had cultivated for thousands of years, in the end, he still couldn't get over this emotional shock. At the same time, Tan Feng, who was acting, also received a notification from the system that by forcing the chosen son of heaven into the devil's way, he was given the opportunity to draw a lottery once. Has he already fallen into the devil's way? Tan Feng felt very confused and cursed in his heart. At this moment, Nan Feng approached him, opening her mouth and waiting for Tan Feng to kiss her. She also put his hand on her chest and turned her body slightly to show her desire. But Tan Feng immediately withdrew his hand, preventing her actions because Fang Chang had become a devil. He was no longer the chosen son of heaven. Tan Feng would not get any villain points from him, so Nan Feng also lost her value. Tan Feng couldn't help but sigh. With ten years of experience reading novels, he understood the pain of being possessed by a devil. The next time he met Fang Chang, he had to focus 200% of his energy to save the situation. Nan Feng was heartbroken when she saw her lover pushing her away, but Tan Feng just waved his hand, deciding to end this play. He honestly told her everything about her taking the wrong medicine and that he was not Fang Chang. Hearing the name Fang Chang, and Feng's will finally broke free from the effects of the medicine. She shouted at Tan Feng to leave. Seeing Tan Feng's figure disappear, Xiao Bai knew that he had completed the perfect money-making mission. It approached Nan Feng and said, I won't return your money, but I'm a reasonable rabbit. We follow the rules of business. I can help you detoxify with this carrot. Then it disappeared into the night after Tan Feng. Nan Feng frowned and picked up the carrot, her face showing a bit of confusion as she tried to see if it would detoxify her. Inside the Moon God Palace, Xian was sitting by the holy water pool, fuming. She was lifting her heavy breasts with one hand, while lifting her pink dress with the other to reveal her long, slender legs. I have breasts, and I have a nice butt. Why did Tan Feng dare to kiss that princess but not me? What's she got that I don't? It must be because she's more revealing that she attracted Tan Feng. She swore that she would not forgive Tan Feng when he returned. At this moment, Tan Feng was worried. It was so late, why hadn't she gone to bed yet? Then his eyes suddenly stopped, discovering Xian's half-naked body, her soft figure, her waist as slender as a willow branch, her snow-white skin, her long, slender legs, very beautiful. Xian also realized that Tan Feng's fiery gaze was fixed on her. Secretly overjoyed, she began to stand up, posing for Tan Feng to admire. In his heart, Tan Feng exclaimed that Ziyan's figure was perfect. If he hadn't been a swindler in his previous life, he definitely wouldn't have been able to control himself. But as soon as he finished speaking, Tan Feng pulled his clothes to cover Ziyan's chest. The wind is so strong, it will be cold and you will catch a cold. Ziyan thought that Tan Feng would finally lay a hand on her, but unexpectedly, he was only worried about her. She became even more angry and said, it's none of your business. Where did you run off to in the middle of the night? 
Seeing Xian's angry expression, Tan Feng didn't dare to tell her the story of how he tricked Nan Feng into taking the medicine and then teased her. He had no choice but to take out a hot meat pie, lying that he had gone out to buy a late-night snack for Xian. Looking at the delicious pie, Xian was suspicious but still took a bite. After chewing carefully, she realized that the pie had no salt. Just as she was wondering, Tan Feng calmly exchanged thousand villain points for a bouquet of purple roses. Villain points were as easy to come by as water for Tan Feng. He handed the bouquet to Ziyan, his eyes deep in love. You don't need much salt. In the middle of gobbling down the meat pie, Ziyan was stunned by Tan Feng's actions. Her face flushed red, her brain unable to withstand the pressure and freezing up. Then she hurriedly took the flowers, her face embarrassed, as she ran away. After Ziyan, Tan Feng's actions were just useless flattery, but Tan Feng was obviously unaware of this. Watching Ziyan's back disappear, Xiaobai thought that sooner or later, Tan Feng would win her over. Tan Feng returned to his room. By now, his villain points had reached 1,047,000. He could exchange them for a great perfection card, a divine level treasure chest from the quest, and a lucky draw due to Fang Chang falling into the devil's path. Tan Feng decided to exchange for the great perfection card first first, spending one million villain points. Thanks to this card, Tan Feng's strength reached the great perfection level. He felt the surging power in his body. A golden dragon appeared on Tan Feng's body, so vivid that it seemed like a god. Xiaobai's ears immediately stood up, his whole body trembling. He recognized that it was the dragon tattoo on Tan Feng's body. In the seven years he had followed Tan Feng, Xiaobai had never seen him use it. He just felt a strange fear. Well, it's best to go to sleep. Next, open the divine level treasure chest. System, open the divine level treasure chest. Tan Feng ordered. Thanks to opening the treasure chest, Tan Feng received a sword intent upgrade card. Tan Feng was a little surprised, not understanding what it was. The system explained that sword intent has different levels. Higher levels deal greater damage. So that means that level 2 sword intent is stronger than level 1. Tan Feng nodded in understanding. No need for a long explanation, just use it. After using the card, Tan Feng's sword intent increased to level 2. Suddenly, eight large characters resounded in his mind. The chi that can swallow the eight desolations. The sword is like the river. A figure appeared in his mind. It was still the familiar John Tian Dao technique, but this time it carried the power to sweep away the world. Anyone who saw it would be terrified, their hair standing on end, goosebumps rising. After an unknown amount of time, the sword chi around Tan Feng gradually retracted. He gradually regained consciousness. After his sword intent reached level 2, Tan Feng's Zhan Tian Dao technique became even stronger. At this moment, a fly that didn't know how to live or die rushed over, only to see the fly immediately cut into five pieces, exploding with blood. Tan Feng exclaimed that this pure saber technique seemed to be quite good. He immediately decided to use the lucky draw brought about by Fang Chang's fall into the devil's path. Beep bop, congratulations master, you have won the heavenly overlord's body. The heavenly overlord's body is a divine battle physique, possessing an extremely strong body. It is known as the indestructible golden body. The more you fight, the stronger you become. The more you fight, the more powerful you become. When you reach the great perfection realm, you can possess a terrifying fighting strength that reaches the realm of immortals. Tan Feng was overjoyed and excited. In the seven years of cultivating the moon god's art, the reason why Tan Feng always kept a low profile was to consolidate his foundation, but also largely because the entire ancient universe knew his true strength. He could easily crush others, but if he encountered a child of destiny, it would be dangerous without a treasure. Suddenly, a thunderclap sounded in Tan Feng's mind. History seemed to rewind to the ancient battle battlefield. As Tan Feng stood firm, he realized that the entire land was shaking violently. In front of him, countless black shadows rushed about on the battlefield, creating a powerful force that made the heavens and earth change color. The shouts of battle filled the air, hot blood splattering. The divine sword in Tan Feng's hand, the skyless sword, also clattered as if eager to fight. At this moment, a heavily armored general, holding a spear, charged towards Tan Feng. He thrust his spear straight at him, but Tan Feng immediately blocked it, counterattacked, and killed him, disappearing into the sky. This was the power of the heavenly overlord's body. Tan Feng felt the blood in his body boiling. He stepped forward lightly, rushing straight into the ancient battlefield. I'm here to fight my heart out. The next morning, in Tan Feng's room, Xiao Bai seemed exhausted, while Tan Feng had been sleeping since yesterday. Xiao Bai was in a hurry, so he slapped Tan Feng's face twice to wake him up. In order to wake his master up completely, Xiao Bai decided
decided to use his ultimate move. He revealed that the girls from the Moon God's palace were wearing short black dresses in preparation for the battle arena. Upon hearing this, Tan Feng, who had been closing his eyes, shouted excitedly, Where are the black dresses? Show me! But the sharp pain on his face made Tan Feng wake up completely. He hurriedly looked in the mirror, but Xiao Bai had already hidden it. He lied to Tan Feng that he had been injured from overexerting himself in cultivation, and that going to see the girls in their black dresses would cure him. Tan Feng believed him and began to prepare to spy on the girls. His tense mood also eased somewhat. Xiao Bai breathed a sigh of relief. It was almost a disaster. At the same time, as the bell signaling the start of the battle arena rang, large screens appeared in the major cities of the Yinyue Imperial Dynasty, using magic to broadcast live from the arena to all corners. Before the arena opened, a comprehensive ranking of strength, voted on by many martial arts masters, appeared. Tan Feng is currently ranked 30,000 or below. What Tan Feng is only ranked 30,000? Everyone was shocked. They couldn't believe their eyes. Although Tan Feng had not made any significant achievements in the past seven years, but with the title of the number one martial artist in ancient times, how could he be ranked 30,000? In the face of such doubts, the screens in the city, a beautiful girl appeared on the screen. Next to her was an old man with silver hair. It was Ma Guoguo, the famous martial arts master of the Yinyue Imperial Dynasty. The girl's sweet voice spoke to the doubts of the people. We invite the famous martial arts master Ma Guoguo to analyze the reason why Tan Feng is ranked 30,000. Ma Guoguo waved his hand and introduced himself. After the martial arts experts analyzed, the conclusion was that Tan Feng was talented but not refined. That was why he was ranked low. The girl asked again with a doubtful look, Mr. Maguoguo, please explain in more detail. Maguoguo continued, Everyone knows that Tan Feng can drive countless masters crazy with just one ability, but it is precisely because too many abilities are concentrated in one person that his strength is dispersed. The fact that it took him seven years to reach the ninth level of the extraordinary realm proves this. Ah, so that's it. The audience nodded in agreement. So that's why it took Tan Feng seven years to surpass the ninth level of the extraordinary realm. I heard that after he arrived at the moon god's palace, he only knew how to have fun with the maids. Too lazy to cultivate, the girl continued to ask. Then, do you think Tan Feng can surpass himself like a dark horse and win the battle arena? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Magogo shook his head resolutely. With his low level of cultivation and his unrefined and abilities, Tan Feng's limited fighting strength, how could he surpass so many masters? Someone like Tan Feng can only rely on others. It is impossible for him to turn the tide. The analysis was convincing, causing everyone to nod in agreement. As expected of an expert at this moment, in Tan Feng's room, he kept sneezing without noticing the transmission circle that had appeared beside him. Immediately afterwards, in a flash of light, Tan Feng and Xiao Bai were teleported to the battle arena. Looking around, this space was covered in a dense forest. The corpses of giant monsters lay scattered. The roars of monsters could be heard from time to time. Inside the corpses were human and beast heads. The scene was very terrifying, emitting a strange cold air that sent chills down one's spine. The battle arena of death and life truly lived up to its name. Xiao Bai looked down and at the same time felt that there were many terrifying beasts around. Rumble the sound of explosions and fierce fighting could be heard from not far away. It seemed that someone was already engaged in battle. Tan Feng looked displeased and turned to run in the opposite direction. Seeing Xiao Bai's puzzled look, Tan Feng explained that in addition to the 100,000 contestants, there were also many beasts lurking around. Fighting at this time would not only be of no benefit, but would also be drawn into the melee. It was best to avoid the initial fighting, conserve one's strength, and then make a move later. Tan Feng's insightful analysis made Xiao Bai admire him, further strengthening his reverence for his master. Thus, a day and a night passed. The MC was surprised to find that martial artist Tan Feng had dropped from 30,000th to 50,000th. Meanwhile, Ma Guoguo remained calm, believing that Tan Feng was too complacent and would collapse as soon as he encountered an obstacle. Pride goes before a fall. But the audience outside the arena thought that Tan Feng had been defeated by another strong opponent, 
which was why he had dropped in the rankings. And that person could very well be the young master of the famous sword villa. At the age of 18, he had already reached the first level of the Tao, comprehended the third level of the sword intent, and possessed the legendary body of the heavenly world. Compared to him, Tanfeng was too weak. Meanwhile, in the palace of the Moon Emperor dynasty, a man wearing a black robe, with a dignified expression, sat in the center. That was the Six Paths Emperor who ruled over the moon. Below, Princess Nanfeng looked at Tan Feng's miserable ranking and couldn't help but sneer, secretly rejoicing in her heart that it was Tan Feng's turn to suffer this fate today. On the contrary, Zian looked very worried. What was this disciple doing? She believed that Tan Feng must have his own plan. Meanwhile, Tan Feng calculated the time and saw that it was time to act. Aren't we here to fight? Xiao Bai exclaimed excitedly and hurriedly handed the empty god sword to Tan Feng. Tan Feng shook his head. What did I teach you? Confucius said that a gentleman does not use weapons to kill people. A truly noble person does not need weapons to destroy his enemies. Xiao Bai felt that something was wrong, but he couldn't refute it. After a day of fierce fighting, those martial artists must be very thirsty. As long as we throw a few pounds of medicine, even pigs will go crazy and go down to the water source, and we can wait for the points to come to us. But soon after, Tan Feng and Xiao Bai appeared fully protected, holding a large bag containing a few hundred pounds of aphrodisiac. Without saying anything, Tan Feng cut open the bag, smiled, and poured all a few hundred pounds of medicine into the water. Let's double the population of this world. A moment later, some beasts came to the riverbank. After drinking the water, the beasts immediately became aggressive, continuously displaying 18-plus actions that made Xiao Bai's eyes widen. At this time, a group of contestants discovered the beasts mating and rushed up to kill them. Their fun interrupted, the beasts angrily attacked the contestants. They just wanted to quickly eliminate their opponents and continue their business. The battle was really fierce. Tan Feng clearly felt that the intensity of the fighting was much higher than on the first day. Not long after, the fierce fighting stopped. The contestants stepped on the corpses of the beasts. After the first day of melee and the battle just now, the contestants were extremely thirsty. They rushed to the river and drank water continuously. Wait a minute, why do I feel that something is wrong? The bald man was the first to finish drinking. He clearly felt that his body was unusually hot. The three of them glanced at each other and saw that their friends around them suddenly looked very handsome. Their lips were so attractive, he really wanted to rush over and press that person down and do something rough with him. But when they had taken off half of their clothes, the three of them suddenly came to their senses, turned their faces away, and slapped themselves hard in the face. Impossible. How could I desire the bodies of my comrades? This must be an illusion. The three of them tried to convince themselves that they could not play gay. Meanwhile, the two girls also came to the river to fetch water, but were immediately spotted by the group of contestants. Women, the two girls drew their swords in displeasure, preparing to fight. What do you want? The men's eyes were bloodshot, and they let out a giggle. Don't be nervous. We just want to make friends. With that, they took off all their clothes. Stark naked, crash. The two girls were so frightened that they dropped their swords, screamed and covered their eyes. Don't come near me. But by this time, the men had lost their minds. The more they were resisted, the more excited they became. Just when the two girls were in despair, a righteous voice rang out from the sky. You beasts, let those girls go right now. Tan Feng appeared in the costume of a great, like a celestial being, descending to earth. He is the king of justice. The two girls seemed to see the light of hope, looking up at Tan Feng with eyes of admiration. Tan Feng is really a savior. The gray-haired man saw that his fun had been ruined and angrily shouted, Get lost! But in the blink of an eye, he saw a flash of light and his manhood was severed. And at the same time, the system reported that he had cut off his opponent's manhood in half. Tan Feng completed the achievement. He gained thousand villain points. Seeing their friend fall to the ground in pain, the warriors drew their weapons and charged at Tan Feng. Who are you? Before they could finish speaking, they all felt a chill in their lower bodies. Their miserable little dicks were cut off one after another. In the blink of an eye, more than ten men were lying on the ground, moaning. Xiao Bai sneaked up and took their luggage. Xiao Bai's eyes lit up with greed, exclaiming, I'm going to be rich after finishing the job. Tan Feng stood up straight, his face solemn. Heaven is merciful. I hope you guys will live a good life. Tan Feng's hypocritical words not only won over the two girls, but also made the contestants who were under the influence of the drug wake up. They all hurriedly bowed their heads to thank Tan Feng. Then Tan Feng pretended to scold them 
telling them to leave quickly, so they all relied on each other to leave. One person put his arm around another's shoulder, and they all left one after another. Meanwhile, in the palace of the Yinyue dynasty, the experts glanced at the moon god with a meaningful look. The moon god sat still as a statue, wishing there was a hole she could crawl into. She never expected Tan Feng to defeat his opponent in this way. Even if he had no self-respect, he should at least think about the face of the Yinyue palace. At this time, Tan Feng had just finished his harvest and said seriously, I came here for three things, to beat eggs, beat eggs, and beat eggs. Xiaobai also said seriously, I came here for only three things, to make money, make money, and make money. When the group of warriors gradually realized that there was something wrong with the water source, combined with the fact that Tan Feng had used aphrodisiacs on pigs before, they quickly guessed that he had put drugs in the water. You bastard! Everyone gritted their teeth, wanting to tear Tan Feng to pieces. At the same time, the group of warriors also had to face the problem of running out of water. So what were they going to drink now? But Tan Feng immediately set up a tea stand by the river, a bottle of water for a thousand top-grade spirit stones. Too shameless, the contestants could not bear it any longer, and formed an alliance to attack Tan Feng. Seeing the hateful warriors, Tan Feng was also shocked. Handsome people are easy to be targeted. He quickly packed up his shop and ran away. Before leaving, he also sprinkled a bottle of aphrodisiac in their direction. That's it for today. You guys enjoy it. Seeing the powder Tan Feng sprinkled, everyone knew what it was, and panicked and retreated. Everyone was scared to death, if they were not careful. But suddenly a figure appeared. Walking into the middle of the powder, the warriors admired the man's courage, who dared to face the aphrodisiac head on. It was Fang Chang, after he had become a demon. He did not know what Tan Feng was doing by the river. He only knew that he had joined the battle royale to kill Tan Feng. Following the direction of the warrior's fingers, Fang Cheng also saw Tan Feng running away. Without hesitation, he rushed forward to attack. Everyone was impressed and called Fang Cheng a hero, but Tan Feng had no intention of fighting Fang Cheng. He used his ghostly movement skills to wander around the forest, conserving his strength to harvest points tomorrow. At this moment, he only challenged and gently stepped on a branch, flying thousands of meters away. In his outfit, he was like a celestial being flying in the air. Fang Chang angrily chased after Tang, but suddenly he felt his head burning, and he could no longer control his body. He stopped and used his chi to check his body. He quickly discovered that it was caused by the aphrodisiac powder just now. Did Tan Feng give the princess that thing? The more Fang Chang thought about it, the more likely it seemed. He seemed to find hope knowing that the princess was still pure. The nightmare had disappeared, and Fang Chang began to chant a mantra to purify himself. Form is emptiness, emptiness is death. At the same time, a statue of Buddha appeared behind Fang Chang, with half of the Buddha's golden body and half of the devil king's dark body. One thought becomes a Buddha, one thought becomes a devil. The Six Paths Emperor was shocked. If Fang Chang only followed the devil's path, it would be fine. But now he had understood the nature of Buddha and devil. This was completely different from that hooligan Tan Feng. When he saw that Fang Chang was slow and did not chase after him, Tan Feng wondered in his heart. At this time, the system sent a mission asking Tan Feng to sabotage the process of Fang Chang, the chosen son of heaven, to comprehend the great seal of Buddha and devil. Completing it will reward him with a sword intent card. Tan Feng chuckled and let out a chuckle. If there is a reward, don't blame me for being ruthless. Tan Feng decided to stop being polite. Tan Feng returned to where Fang Chang was comprehending Buddha and devil. Fang Chang was shocked. He didn't expect Tan Feng to come back. What is he going to do now? Princess Nanfeng jumped up. Fang Chang is at a critical moment. If he is disturbed by Tan Feng, he will go astray into the devil's path, leading to serious injuries. But she was quickly pulled back by the old man. Don't worry, princess. Fang Chang has the protection of Buddhism. Even if Tan Feng had three heads and six arms, he would not be able to break through the line of defense. The Buddhist relic is a sacred object formed after the Buddha's death, capable of resisting all poisons all hatreds. At this moment, Fang Chang was no longer concerned about anything else. His body emitted a golden jade, enveloping him in the dazzling light of Buddha. The light from the Buddhist relic alone, let alone all the contestants in the arena, could not break through Fang Chang's line of defense, let alone Tan Feng alone. The system only responded to Tan Feng with one sentence. Master, come on. Tan Feng understood that the system had given up, now he had no choice but to use his last resort. Under the eyes of the three great masters, Tan Feng slowly pulled out a small book that he had collected for many years. The virtuous lady, Princess Nanfeng, was shocked. 
not understanding what the virtuous lady's secret manual was. Meanwhile, the moon goddess had a bad feeling. Han Feng sat down on the ground and began to read the main passages in a lively tone of voice, even acting it out with gestures in front of Fang Chang. Fang Chang was at the age of vigor. The effects of the medicine had not worn off, and he could not hear this. The nightmare had just been extinguished, and now it was flaring up again. Fang Chang almost lost control. The Six Paths Emperor did not expect that the noble moon goddess would give her disciples such a depraved thing. The moon goddess quickly denied it, insisting that she was not that kind of person. At the same time, she hated Tan Feng in her heart for destroying the image she had built up over many years. Meanwhile, Tan Feng's reading speed became faster and faster, causing the image of the golden Buddha behind Fang Chang to gradually disappear. Tan Feng started to mess around again. Tan Feng's continuous reading of the story would stimulate Fang Chang and almost push him to the brink of death. At this moment, a soft swish was heard, only to see in the dim forest, an arrow surrounded by a dreamy purple color shot straight into Tan Feng's chest. Tan Feng's first thought was that he had been ambushed. His body reacted instantly, flashing like lightning and dodging it. The arrow passed through Tan Feng's illusion and continued to shoot through several ancient trees before coming to a stop. More dangerous than a sniper rifle. Damn it, he dodged it. The man muttered and quickly drew three arrows and shot them again. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Three arrows like chains of iron shot towards, aimed at the vital points on Tan Feng's body. Damn it, you still want to fight? Tan Feng was annoyed by the shots. He felt that if he did didn't make a real move, the other party would not respect him. At this moment, the audience outside realized that the attacker was Bai Ri, one of the seeds of the competition with super talent, whose cultivation had reached the most important level of the Tao. Tan Feng had met a formidable opponent. Tan Feng cursed inwardly as he quickly dodged, releasing a high-level phantom illusion to leave a series of illusions in the forest. But the cold feeling behind him not only did not diminish, but also increased, as if countless poisonous snakes were lurking. It seemed that no matter how he dodged, he would still be shot. Tan Feng knew that he could not confront someone with such a high level, and immediately opened the ancient heavy pupil. The world slowed down. Bai Ri held a bow and arrow like a seasoned hunter, blocking all of Tan Feng's escape routes. But almost at the same time as Bai Ri drew his bow, Tan Feng drew his sword out of its sheath. A dark beam of light erupted like a waterfall. This move, the heaven slashing swordsmanship, combined the second level of sword intent and the heavenly overlord's body, faster and stronger impossible. Byri's eyes widened in surprise, the sweat on his forehead dripping down. Boom, Byri's little brother was cut in half. Byri screamed in pain at the loss of his brother, falling to the ground and rolling around, unable to accept the truth. After ruthlessly cutting off Byri's little brother, Tan Feng turned to harass Fang Chang, who was meditating, continuously reading the story of the virtuous lady in front of him, obviously having the strength to destroy everything. But Tan Feng did not make a move. Due to the inappropriate content, the TV station switched to broadcasting on the private channel of the idiot nation. The girl asked, Master Ma, you said before that Tan Feng is talented but not refined and will not show anything impressive in the arena of life and death. But now, with the ninth level of the extraordinary realm, Tan Feng defeated an opponent of the first level of Tao with just one sword. What do you think about this? Master Ma was a little embarrassed. From that sword strike, it could be seen that Tan Feng's sword intent had surpassed his level. But even if he had reached the second level, there was no way he could defeat the first level of Tao with just one sword. Did that sword strike contain some other special power? The girl probed, meaning that Tan Feng might possess a special physique. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Master Ma denied it immediately. Everyone knows that Tan Feng possesses the ancient heavy pupil. How could he possibly have a special physique? Tan Feng must have taken some kind Kind of temporary power enhancing drug. Master Ma continued Tan Feng's sword intent has reached the second level, which shows that he has focused on the way of the sword for the past seven years. But his supreme bone and ancient heavy pupil are not strong. From defeating Bai Ri, who is ranked 153, we can see that Tan Feng's maximum strength is only around the top surpassing that number around the top 100. He no longer has any advantage. 
The audience nodded in agreement. The expert's analysis was too accurate. The scene changed. The unhealthy content ended. The situation on the battlefield changed again. After listening to Tan Feng finish reading the short story, Fang Chang could not restrain the demonic nature in him. Immediately, the spirit of Buddha and demon behind Fang Chang shattered, evaporating into particles of stars that disappeared into the air. Fang Chang gasped and spat out a mouthful of red blood, collapsing. Beep bop. Congratulations to the master for completing the mission, rewarded with a sword intent upgrade card for seriously injuring the son of heaven. Han Feng earned another 500,000 villain points. However, Tan Feng was a little disappointed that he did not get another lucky draw. But very, very quickly, his eyes fell on the Buddhist relic. It's not your fault to have a treasure in your house, but it's wrong to take it out to tempt others. When Fang Chang failed to comprehend, the Buddhist light also dissipated. Tan Feng raised his hand and sucked the relic into his hand. Beep bop. Congratulations to the master for robbing the opportunity of the son of heaven. At one last lucky draw, Tan Feng finally smiled with satisfaction. Fang Chang staggered to Tan Feng's feet. That was the foundation for his survival in ancient times, but was immediately kicked away. Never return it. Never return it in my life. After taking the Buddhist relic, Tan Feng immediately ran away, knowing the law of the jungle. But after only a few steps, he was stopped by a young man in black. He held a black sword in his hand. His eyes were extraordinarily determined. As cold as a still lake, his thin body like a sharp sword. Tan Feng did not receive a warning from the system, so he assumed that the other party was not the son of heaven. He ordered the man to get out of the way. But what Tan Feng did not know, the young man was the young master of the famous Sword Villa. Ranked 53 on the overall power rankings, the young man unleashed a series of sword strikes. Not saying a word, not caring whether Tan Feng wanted to fight or not, the sword left its sheath, the clanging sound echoing through the forest. The young man instantly transformed into the King of Swords, his whole body like a sharp sword sword piercing through the clouds. He charged straight at Tan Feng. So strong, Tan Feng was shocked, feeling the formidable power of his opponent. This opponent was in the third level of Tao, the third level of sword intent, and the body of a heavenly sword. He was indeed the strongest person Tan Feng had ever met. The young man swung his sword, creating a dazzling streak of light that shot towards Tan Feng at an astonishing speed. But then he only missed. Tan Feng had avoided the fatal blow thanks to his illusory shadow technique. The young man landed on the ground, his aura rising. He aimed at Tan Feng's position. The sword in his hand descended like a coiling dragon, breaking all illusions in the blink of an eye. Seeing that the other party still did not give up, Tan Feng tightened his grip on the hilt of his sword. His whole body turned into a sharp sword. Exuding a cold air, he raised his sword, preparing to unleash the heaven-slashing sword technique. Although he could defeat this man, if he was not the son of heaven, Tan Feng would feel a great loss. The two swords clashed violently, creating a harsh metallic sound. The audience outside was in an uproar. Neither of them would give way. No way he's ranked 53. His strength is a whole realm above Tan Feng's. His sword intent is also a level higher. Moreover, he has the enhancement of the heavenly sword body, and yet he still can't defeat Tan Feng. The screen switched to the stupid country, who were staring in surprise. Tan Feng and Yi Jian fought fiercely, with no clear winner. The prolonged battle made Yi Jian suspicious. He himself was a whole realm higher than Tan Feng, so why couldn't he defeat him? When Tan Feng was feeling a little tired, Xiao Bai on his shoulder made his move. It extended its sharp claws towards Yi Jian's eyes and gouged them out without hesitation. Yi Jian retreated in pain, almost losing his eyes. Tan Feng praised Xiao Bai's actions, saying, That's my rabbit. He's really brave. On the contrary, Yi Jian didn't scream as expected. Although the sneak attack had blurred his vision, he had gained some insight from the battle with Tan Feng. Yi Jian staggered forward with countless phantoms around him, releasing a series of sharp sword chi. He swung his sword frantically, carrying a murderous aura that enveloped Tan Feng. Tan Feng was horrified by this all-too-familiar sight. This feeling was exactly the same as when he had comprehended the invincible sword heart. Tan Feng immediately opened his ancient heavy eyes. The murderous aura slowed down in his eyes. He used his illusory shadow technique and void cloud steps to dodge Yi Jian's attacks. Xiao Bai on Tan Feng shoulder felt that he was about to run out of energy. The Six Paths Emperor outside side, realizing that Tan Feng's defeat was imminent. Tan Feng's heaven-slashing sword technique was indeed amazing, but if he did not destroy his opponent from the beginning, he would be unable to do anything, and Moon God's face was also serious with worry. In order to deal with an opponent who had entered the Tao, Tan Feng's strength was only enough to hold on. Tan Feng stomped his 
his foot, exuding a sharp aura. Yi Jian immediately became alert. Don't tell me you're about to use the supreme bone and the ancient heavy eyes. You're not qualified enough, Tan Feng replied coldly, and reached into his storage space. He rummaged through and took out dozens of bottles of aphrodisiacs. From afar, one could still hear Bai Ri's cries of pain. Yi Jian immediately lost his composure, hurriedly covering his nose and mouth and taking a few steps back. Even childish pranks have their limits. But Tan Feng was not a good person. He would not be bound by morality. He threw out the fallen leaf agreement, smashing all the bottles of aphrodisiacs. Fly away, my precious. Just as Tan Feng was throwing the powder towards the young man, Yi Jian's sword swung up. Everything dissipated under the murderous aura. The powder was also torn apart. Now was the time. Tan Feng quickly raised his sword, using the heaven-slashing sword technique. At the same time, he called out to the system to use the sword intent sword Dao card he had just obtained. War. Absorb all rivers and streams, return to one pillar. Tan Feng only saw a flash of dazzling light, magnificent and peerless, tearing through thousands of clouds. Idiot, using the same move as a swordsman. Jian was very dissatisfied with Tan Feng's actions. Feeling offended, the sound of swords being drawn echoed, so sharp that it was soul-stirring. No, this is not the heaven-slashing sword technique. The sound of metal clashing violently resounded throughout the forest. Two figures quickly rushed past each other, drawing the sword, entering the sword, sheathing the sword. A series of smooth movements seemed to freeze. Tan Feng's sword had returned to its sheath. Yi Jian stood motionless on the spot. Who was the winner? The audience outside the field was excited, their eyes fixed on the screen, waiting for the result. Tan Feng could not help but spit out a mouthful of fresh blood. Countless wounds appeared on his body. Fang Chang, do you see? Tan Feng has been defeated. Fang Chang had just stood up, declaring that he would not tolerate Tan Feng ruining his reputation. But suddenly Yi Jian knelt down on one knee. Unable to control himself, he spat out a mouthful of blood. A large wound appeared on his body, blood gushing out like a spring. Six Paths Emperor was stunned, completely shocked by Tan Feng. This little brat is awesome. It's just a basic operation. Moon God was smug again looking very pleased with Tan Feng. But in her heart, she had decided to teach Tan Feng a lesson when she returned. Why did he hide from her that he had reached the triple sword intent? The other experts looked at Moon God with admiration. Who wouldn't want a disciple like this? Six Paths Emperor stared at Tan Feng, finding that his wounds were healing at an incredible speed. Moreover, with the power of the heavenly sword body, Tan Feng could not have been so lightly injured. This child was not simple. Yi Jian still managed to stand up, despite his serious injuries. The invisible sword energy around him began to gather, forming a giant, 20-meter-tall sword energy. It was the innate ability of the heavenly sword body. Yi Jian, are you still not willing to give up? Tan Feng was not to be outdone either. His chest flashed with a golden light, and traces of magic could be seen swirling. It's the Supreme Bone. Six Paths Emperor was shocked. The Supreme Bone facing off against the Heavenly Sword body, who would win. The terrifying power surged, uprooting the trees in the area for hundreds of meters. When the storm of energy stopped, Yi Jian was exhausted and panting, kneeling on the ground. It was obvious that he was exhausted and no longer had the strength to fight. While Tan Feng was still in high spirits, the more he fought, the more vigorous he became. The reason was that Tan Feng was strengthened by the immortal heavenly body. Not only did he not feel tired in the battle, but he also felt that his body was becoming stronger and stronger as time went on, and would eventually reach the indestructible golden body. At this time, Xiao Bai's voice rang out from behind, it seems that I don't need to make a move anymore. All right, then I'll sit here and eat carrots. After saying that, Xiao Bai sat on Tan Feng's shoulder and began to gnaw on carrots after the melee. At that moment, Tan Feng noticed someone sneaking up behind him. Brother Yi, we still have plenty of time. Let's make an appointment to fight again. Tan Feng stomped hard on the ground, rushing forward like a cheetah. Who do you think you are? If you want to fight, then fight. If you want to run, then run. The sharp sound of wind breaking made Yi Jian jump. In the blink of an eye, Tan Feng appeared in front of him, carrying with him a sharp gust of wind. Before Yi Jian could react, Tan Feng had already dealt him a fatal blow. Pop! It was the sound of a chicken crowing and an egg breaking. The people around shuddered, feeling a chill down their spines. But Tan Feng had no intention of stopping. He looked around with a smile. 
Are you dead yet? He's about to attack us. Run away quickly. Tan Feng quickly pressed a seal. The divine sword of emptiness split into nine smaller swords that surrounded him. He pressed another seal, and the nine swords flew straight towards the hundred people around him. Spurt, spurt, spurt. Miserable screams rang out one after another. Tan Feng gained thousand four thousand villain points for cutting off the heads of one hundred and four people. Perhaps Tan Feng was not the strongest, but he was definitely the most immoral. At present, Tan Feng's villain points had reached a staggering 7,000-6,000 points, and he had another lucky draw. Suddenly, Tan Feng discovered a shocking scene. Fang Chang was pressing Bairi down under his body. The chaotic situation made Tan Feng very confused. Isn't that Fang Chang and Bairi? Why is Bairi at the bottom? Xiao Bai reminded Tan Feng, Master, you've already cut off that guy's head. How can he be on top? But seeing that Tan Feng was still bragging, as if he had helped them to cultivate wholeheartedly, and even bore a bad reputation to destroy their eggs, Xiao Bai reminded him again that it was getting dark. If they didn't find a place to shelter, there would be another fierce battle that night. Not long after, Tan Feng found a secluded cave. This was a resting place reserved for the contestants. There would be no live filming inside, and martial arts were also forbidden. After understanding this, Tan Feng happily called on the system to start the lucky draw. The lucky draw wheel appeared again and began to spin slowly. Beep. Congratulations, master. You have received the divine level Great River Sword technique. Tan Feng suddenly saw a surging river appear, formed from countless streams of sword energy. Wherever it passed, sword energy filled the sky. Majestic. Suddenly, countless sword energies surged over and wrapped around Tan Feng. He was startled awake. The Great River Sword technique is really powerful. Tan Feng sighed, overwhelmed by the power of the Great River Sword technique. Apart from the heaven slashing swordsmanship, Tan Feng did not know any other sword technique. Techniques. This led to the situation where if he could not kill his opponent with one sword strike, he would fall into a difficult situation, and the Great River Sword technique appeared just in time to solve this problem. Immediately, Tan Feng spent one million villain points to fuse with the Sword Intent Tower. Whoosh! The surging sword energy, like a great river, began to roar. In the blink of an eye, it enveloped Tan Feng's entire body. Tan Feng entered meditation right there and then, surrounded by countless materialized sword energies. He quickly pressed a seal, the sword energies around him flew up, creating a magnificent sight. After it was completed, Tan Feng was very satisfied, nodded his head and called on the system to continue the lucky draw. Beep! Bop, congratulations, master. You have won the divine level seal of unyielding will. Seal of unyielding will, divine level. Its owner will be immune to all soul attacks from heaven and earth. The brief introduction made Tan Feng eager to fuse with it. In the ancient world of immortal cultivation, soul attacks are attacks on the soul. The most evil method, it is said that powerful soul attackers can plant slave marks on the soul, making the victim lose their freedom and become a slave. Now that he had obtained the seal of unyielding will, Tan Feng no longer feared those evil attacks. After comprehending the Great River Sword technique and the seal of unyielding will, Tan Feng's gaze fell on the Buddhist relic. At the same time, the dragon tattoo on his body also began to act strangely. Tan Feng felt very curious, so he began to absorb the relic on the spot. Boom! When he received the Buddhist relic, a terrifying energy, almost berserk, poured into Tan Feng's body. Tan Feng's whole body trembled. He could clearly feel the blood in his body boiling, like a flame burning his bones and flesh. Tan Feng, what's wrong with you? Xiao Bai also noticed something unusual. Anxious as if on fire, looking at Tan Feng in pain, it took out the bamboo scroll with the sage's words written on it and placed it in Tan Feng's hand, hoping to help him resist the energy from the relic. This moment, a group of people had gathered outside the cave. Everyone whispered to each other, Do you really want to deal with Tan Feng? This guy has no bottom line. A person was quite worried, while the long-haired martial artist said confidently, Currently, Tan Feng's ranking points are 51, and his realm is the lowest. No one is easier to deal with than him. But what if he still has aphrodisiacs on him? Don't worry, friends are the greatest asset. The lotus will not wither, we will not disperse. Immediately after, the young man received a warm hug from his friend. In the cave, Tan Feng held the Buddhist relic in one hand and the sage's bamboo scroll in the other. One belonged to Buddhism, the other to Taoism. Thanks to Xiao Bai putting the bamboo scroll in his hand, surging energy from the relic suddenly subsided, no longer as rampant as before. Thanks to the terrifying regenerative ability of the 33 Heavens creation technique, the broken bones and torn flesh quickly regenerated. Tan Feng's body became stronger and stronger after each rebirth. Boom, boom, boom. 
Explosions sounded throughout Tan Feng's body. His body began to tremble. An indescribable pain spread throughout his body, as if all his bones were broken. His flesh was torn apart. Tan Feng skillfully circulated the 33 Heavens creation technique, controlling the energy from the Buddhist relic to permeate his entire body. The golden dragon tattoo on Tan Feng's body let out a roar, frenziedly absorbing the energy from the relic. With this source of orthodox Buddhist energy, the power of the great mighty heavenly dragon would rise rise to a new level. Feeling the abundant energy in his body, Tan Feng decided to break through to the next realm in one go. Seeing Tan Feng's expression gradually return to normal, Xiao Bai breathed a sigh of relief. It almost became a homeless stray rabbit. Suddenly, hurried footsteps sounded outside the cave, causing Xiao Bai's heart, which had just relaxed, to leap into its throat. It looked at Tan Feng, who was at a critical moment. Xiao Bai decided to stand up and block the entrance of the cave. Master, don't worry about anything, just cultivate in peace. Let's see how I, this little rabbit, will handle this. Outside the cave came more than 100 men, all of them above the fifth level of the Tao initiation realm. Hey, hey, my master is discussing a major business deal inside. I advise you to leave immediately. On the surface, Xiao Bai was calm and collected, but in its heart, it was panicking, wondering if it could scare them away. Doing business? That Tan Feng guy has aphrodisiacs on him, so what big business can he be doing? Even with my butt, I can guess what he's doing in there. Everyone was both envious and hesitant. Tan Feng's reputation outside. Within a day, he had made countless brothers call him sister. If they really went to disturb him from doing business, they knew what the outcome would be. It would be better to come back later. However, someone immediately voiced their doubts. This is just his rabbit. How can we believe it? I guess he's healing his injuries in there. But before the man could finish speaking, Xiao Bai had disappeared from its original spot and appeared in front of him, not giving the other party a chance to react. Xiao Bai fiercely kicked straight at his weak spot. Bang! A scream of pain, his entire body shrinking like a shrimp, accompanied by the sound of mourning for the loss of a dear brother. It's space energy. This rabbit has space abilities. Everyone was terrified and stepped back. Everyone looked at Xiao Bai with vigilance. They did not expect this cute rabbit to be a demon beast with the innate ability of space energy. Xiao Bai didn't care and put on the airs of an expert. The rabbit has spoken, who agrees, who opposes. Everyone looked at each other, feeling that Xiao Bai was acting mysteriously. If Tan Feng is really discussing important business in there, then he can't be so silent. Why can't we trust each other more between people and rabbits? Seeing that no one spoke up, Xiao Bai knew that there was no other way but to fight. Poof, Xiao Bai took the initiative to attack first, using its space energy to move quickly and kick, shattering a series of continuous movements. Why is this rabbit as shameless as Tan Feng? Although Xiao Bai displayed great strength and used its skills very skillfully, who would come to the arena of life and death without a few finishing moves? The other party quickly calculated the time and location of Xiao Bai's appearance. The moment it appeared, a series of blows came down like a rainstorm. Xiao Bai was punched and flew far away, its body covered in blood. It lay motionless on the ground, unknown if it was alive or not. Everyone looked eagerly at the cave. Next up was Tan Feng. As long as they could kill Tan Feng, everything would be fine. But Xiao Bai staggered to its feet, blocking the entrance to the cave, its voice weak but determined. As long as I'm here, don't even think about entering the cave. Seeing Xiao Bai's unyielding gaze, Yue Shen felt very emotional in her heart. This little girl is usually immoral, but at critical moments, she is very reliable. Just like that, you want to protect Tan Feng? Well then, I'll kill you to celebrate. Everyone around mocked. Xiao Bai tried to raise its head. Its eyes suddenly emitted a sharp sword energy. Why is there sword energy? Everyone's expressions changed, sensing the change in Xiao Bai. If Xiao Bai was just a cute rabbit before, then now it was like a sword about to leave its sheath. I was born cruel, the way of the sword. Xiao Bai, like the long night, cold and ruthless, the sword and the body merge. It is indeed worthy of being a rabbit raised by Tan Feng. It has not only learned Tan Feng's swordsmanship, but also his aura. Yue Shen suddenly felt a sense of unease. Xiao Bai summoned the Nine Heavens Sword, which flew out of the cave, transforming into nine small swords that surrounded Xiao Bai. That's the Nine Heavens Sword. Everyone was horrified, feeling that something big was about to happen. Poof, poof, poof. The sound rang out continuously, accompanied by screams of pain. The sword energy around it surged continuously. Divine power boiled. The nine small swords seemed to be ordered, transformed into lightning, and rushed forward.
forward, instantly robbing the martial artists of their vital energy. Boom, the nine swords were sent flying away by a force. The chaotic scene was immediately brought under control. A man descended from the sky. With a heroic demeanor, he sent the nine swords flying, exuding the aura characteristic of a master who had entered the Tao. Terrifying power, everyone immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Knowing that an expert had intervened, Xiao Bai's eyelids twitched slightly. Knowing that something was wrong, in the cave, Tan Feng also sensed the fighting outside. He hurriedly took advantage of the time to break through the Lanyu realm, not expecting to be hindered like Fang Chang. At this moment, Tan Feng's eyes opened, pitch black, but with a faint golden glow like a gem. A terrifying aura surged around him. Behind him was a roaring river of sword energy. The terrifying waves shocked everyone outside. That was Tan Feng. They could clearly sense that he had broken through the Lanyu realm. Someone roared, what are you waiting for? Charge in and kill Tan Feng. If not, when he comes out of seclusion, we will all die. Wait, brothers. The majestic voice of the heavenly general rang out. With a spear in his hand, he stepped forward to the front of the crowd, opening up his aura like an invincible warrior, heroic heavenly general. Everyone was immediately excited, as if they had been given a guiding star. Xiao Bai was very worried and prepared to fight with all his might. Thud, the heavenly general knelt down in front of the cave without hesitation, bowing to the ground. Big brother Tan Feng, your little brother, the heavenly general, admires you like a mighty river that never stops. If you don't accept me today, big brother, I will kneel here until I die. Everyone was silent, their clothes falling to the ground. Before he could even finish begging, he knelt down immediately. Xiao Bai was stunned. In his mind he thought, damn, I thought that after following Tan Feng for so many years, I had already understood the spirit of the sword. Unexpectedly, there is always a sky beyond the sky, and there are always more masters beyond the door. At this moment, the sound of footsteps rang out. Everyone shivered when they heard Tan Feng's cold voice coming from the cave. What are you all making such a fuss about while I'm not here? Everyone was horrified to realize that Tan Feng had come out of seclusion. Meanwhile, regardless of the gazes around him, Heavenly General remained kneeling in front of the cave. Idiots, it's not that the heavenly general is shameless and bowing to Tan Feng, but because he sensed an unprecedented terror from that wave. Tan Feng is not only the divine son of the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty, but also the eldest son of the Daxia Imperial Dynasty, and has a deep relationship with the two great imperial dynasties. These people can't even defeat him, and they still want to drag him down with them. Run quickly. Someone shouted in horror and started to run away in all directions. You want to hunt my rabbits and leave nothing behind? Immediately, the nine swords flew up transforming into nine small sword energies that tore through space, furiously robbing the martial artists of their treasures. The heavenly general felt a chill down his spine. The sweat on his forehead dripped down, and the sound of swords whistling rang in his ears. I tried to warn them about Tan Feng's terror, but I didn't expect to still underestimate him. In Tan Feng's hands, the nine swords are completely different from when they were in Xiao Bai's hands. Apart from those martial artists who have entered the Tao, there is definitely no one who can withstand his nine swords. At this moment, an extremely cold voice rang out. A beautiful young girl in white clothes, stunningly beautiful, standing on a flying sword, floating in midair. She was annoyed by the brutal scene, quickly forming hand seals to control the nine swords that were charging forward. It was the Wulan Fairy. The heavenly general, who had seen and experienced a lot, recognized her immediately. At the same time, the eyes of the male audience outside lit up, secretly saying that she was indeed a stunning beauty. Wulan was famous throughout the Yin Yu Imperial Dynasty as the daughter of Lam Ma, one of the four great beauties of ancient times, along with the moon goddess. She had mysterious blood in her body. At this moment, Tan Feng stood still and heard the system notification beep in his ears. Epic level chosen daughter of heaven detected. Tan Feng's eyes lit up. He was a little stunned. Since the system notification had appeared, he had met three chosen sons of heaven, including Zi Yanner and Princess Nan Feng, who had appeared beside them. He had always thought that they were the chosen daughters of heaven, but unexpectedly, they were only playing supporting roles. The real chosen daughter of heaven was someone else. Thinking of this, Tan Feng hurriedly restrained his lecherous nature and muttered, Don't misunderstand everyone. 
I don't like other people's wives. I am a righteous gentleman. Wulan frowned. How dare he look down on her? Then she said coldly, if I'm not mistaken, the one who likes to use such despicable methods can only be Tan Feng, the number one villain of ancient times. Tan Feng replied, Miss, you are mistaken. Wulan slowly landed. Killing people should not be excessive. I don't understand why you are humiliating them like this. Tan Feng pointed to the martial artists behind Wulan. Or should I kill them all? The martial artists were shocked as if struck by lightning. Faced with death, they still did not choose to surrender. Wulan was not moved by Tan Feng's words, but in her heart, she could clearly feel the power hidden within him, which was definitely not something that any ordinary martial artist could resist. Looking at Wulan's attractive figure, Tan Feng's mind could not help but wander. Although she was very strong, compared to Fang Chang, Wulan was still a little weaker. If he were to confront her with the dragon enters the sea and the primordial origin, Wulan could not help but shudder when she saw Tan Feng's lewd gaze fixed on her. It is indeed, as rumored in the world, extremely filthy. Her beautiful face flushed slightly, and she said coldly, You are indeed a piece of trash. Although she was listed as one of the four great beauties of ancient times and knew that her beauty fascinated many men, Wulan still felt uncomfortable all over when she was stared at by the thief Tan Feng. You finally appeared. Seeing that Tan Feng was still safe and sound, Xiao Bai finally breathed a sigh of relief. He sat down on the ground, exhausted. They are really dogs. The rabbit thought that it would never have the chance to sell your underwear personally. Xiao Bai felt his eyelids getting heavier and heavier, and finally he could not resist falling asleep. Tan Feng gently picked Xiao Bai up. Unlike the pet rabbit he had kept at home before, Xiao Bai's whole body was now covered in blood, like a wild rabbit, which was dozens of times worse. At this moment, the Heavenly General hurriedly ran over. Big Brother, my name is Heavenly General. From now on, I am your man. It had to be said that the Heavenly General really portrayed the model of a loyal servant very well. Tan Feng sized up the Heavenly General and did not feel too uncomfortable. Moreover, the Heavenly General was at the first level of the Tao Entry Realm. In the future, he would definitely not be able to handle everything by himself. At this moment, the system notified him that the master had subdued a loyal servant and received the immortal slave imprint. The immortal slave imprint had no and was sealed on the head of the loyal servant, which could allow that person to share half of the master's combat power. If he had any thoughts of betrayal, he would be burned by the flames of hell. This is also possible. Sharing combat power means that he recognizes me as his big brother and helps to increase my strength. Although it seems that I won't benefit much in the short term, since betrayal means death, I'll decide to give it a try. Tan Feng concentrated a mysterious green talisman on his fingertip before the Heavenly General could react. Tan Feng tapped the Heavenly General's forehead. The green talisman appeared and then disappeared on his forehead. In the air, Wulan was anxiously worried. This was the strength of the number one martial artist of ancient times. Just by placing a seal on his forehead, he could increase his strength by five times. Suddenly, the energy in the Heavenly General's body began to burst out. The ground under his feet cracked, and his entire aura increased by four times and five times in the blink of an eye. The Heavenly General could clearly feel the powerful energy in his body, which had indeed increased by several times. It seems that I have followed the right person. He hurriedly bowed his head to thank Tan Feng. Tan Feng looked up and stared at Wulan. If he were to place the talisman on the chosen daughter of heaven and turn her into his person, what kind of reward would he receive from her? Wulan also noticed Tan Feng's burning gaze on her. What is he looking at me for? Although my beauty has fascinated countless men, it is rude to stare at me like this. Tan Feng is indeed a thief. At this moment, the system notified the master that the chosen daughter of heaven had increased her by one and received 100 villain points. Damn, is this woman not not the kind of arrogant and aloof person. It seems that I need to pay more attention to her, and if I can please her, she will have a good impression of me. Because I can conquer her, Fairy Wulan is truly worthy of her name. Her temperament is noble, her beauty is unparalleled, and she is also kind-hearted, not afraid to use her magic power to protect everyone. Such a broad vision makes this Tan Feng admire her. Hearing this, Wulan's cold face showed a difficult-to-guess expression. Wulan quickly hid that expression. Stop talking nonsense. If you want to kill them, defeat me first. Immediately, the system notified him that the chosen daughter of heavens for him had increased by three points, and he received 300 villain points. She is indeed an interesting girl. Tan Feng received the Qing Kong Divine Sword and had thought of a strategy. Today, I will conquer the chosen daughter of heaven at all costs. Wulan immediately said, 
Waving swords and fighting each other can easily harm innocent people. Why don't we fight hand to hand? If you win, I will spare their lives. But if you lose, then heh. Before she could finish speaking, Wulan had already agreed. At first, Wulan wanted to take advantage of the time when Tan Feng was not yet mature and challenge him, but she was always afraid that Tan Feng would avoid her and waste the opportunity. She did not expect that today, Tan Feng would jump into the trap himself. She could not miss such a good opportunity. Just then, a dragon's roar sounded, breaking the atmosphere and spreading throughout the battlefield of life and death. Who dares to fight Little Dragon? Everyone on the battlefield was shocked, and they all looked in one direction. On the battlefield of life and death, not only could one defeat warriors, but one could also receive points for hunting. Among them were two dragons, one large and one small. The large one was the great dragon, and the small one was the horned dragon. Currently, there were experts joining forces to fight the little dragon. If one could jump in and attack it, one could very likely receive a great opportunity. Hurry up, hurry up. If you're late, there will be nothing left. In the blink of an eye, the warriors had scattered in all directions. Wulan's face turned pale as she watched the scene. Just now, you were all trying your best to protect me, but now you're treating me like this. How heartless. Fine, since that's the case, I'll leave too. After saying that, Wulan tightened her grip on the sword in her hand and prepared to leave. However, her wrist was immediately grabbed by a large hand. It was Tan Feng. In order to hug the chosen daughter of Heaven's Thigh, Tan Feng began to talk nonsense. Fairy Wulan, with your cultivation realm, you definitely wouldn't care about those cowards who only know how to take advantage of others. Wulan was moved and felt her face burning. The hand that Tan Feng was holding also began to feel hot. Of course, I'm not gonna fight the little dragon with them. At this moment, Little White, who was pretending to be asleep, also joined in the fun. It hurts. It hurts so much. Master, please kill me gently. It's okay if I die, because in their eyes, I'm just a worthless animal. After Little White's performance, Wulan began to sympathize with it. I will save you. You are not a worthless thing. Immediately, a strange green energy enveloped Little White, and in just a moment, its injuries were healed. Seeing this, Tan Feng and Little White continued to attack her psychologically. One person and one rabbit, one crying and one yelling. Little White is seriously injured and could die at any moment. Why don't you just come with us? Little White also kept using moral pressure on her. After the performance of one person and one rabbit, Wulan agreed to go with Tan Feng. She had already boarded the pirate ship. Seeing Tan Feng smiling and thanking her, Wulan had a feeling that something was not right. But she could not say it. At this moment, in the cave, Tan Feng and the other two were sitting around a fire. Tan Feng said, Little White, please take care of her. Wulan hugged Little White gently. No need to say much. Helping the weak is my duty. No need for thanks. Seeing that Little White had someone to take care of it, Tan Feng waved his hand and ordered the Heavenly Army to take good care of the two of them, while he went out to do his own thing. In the blink of an eye, Tan Feng transformed into a beam of light and shot away. Not long after, he appeared in front of the warrior who had harmed Little White. Tan Feng, what do you want to do again? In the face of Tan Feng's sudden appearance, the warrior was terrified. Everyone was extremely surprised. Do you think I've let you go? At this moment, everyone finally reacted. What are you going to do? Oh, it must be because of that rabbit just now. A guy said, all right, after we kill the little dragon, we'll chop it into pieces for you. Seeing that they were still smiling, Tan Feng could not hold back any longer. Little White is my most beloved family member, and our feelings are as deep as those between siblings. Initially, for Wulan's sake, I wanted to give you guys a chance. You guys still don't know how to cherish it. After saying that, Tan Feng tightened his grip on the Qing Kong Divine Sword and drew out the Dragon Slayer's stance. In the blink of an eye, nine beams of sword light shot out among the crowd, furiously cutting off their testicles. Screams of terror could be heard everywhere. For cutting off 121 testicles, Tan Feng received 121,000 villain points. He was satisfied and sheathed his sword, praising himself. He doesn't remember grudges, but he takes revenge on the spot. Meanwhile, in the Horned Dragon Pool, a group of candidates were joining forces to attack a Horned Dragon that was over 40 meters long. But Fang Chang just stood to the side and calmly observed. But in contrast to their united spirit, the eyes of the other people were lifeless, like zombies. Even though they were injured, they continued to charge forward. What's going on? The new candidates who had just arrived saw the strange scene and were filled with caution. They had a bad feeling. Fang Chang smiled wickedly. You've arrived just in time. Behind him, a statue of Buddha appeared. It was extremely evil, completely opposite to the golden Buddha that had appeared earlier. It looked extremely evil, but also very powerful. Suddenly, the statue of Buddha emitted a strange sound, like the secret language of Buddha. Those with higher cultivation realms 
immediately recognized it and hurriedly covered their ears and ran away in fear. This was the most evil spiritual technique in the immortal cultivation world. If we were controlled by him, we would become mindless zombies like them. But clearly, they had underestimated Fang Cheng's willpower after his dark transformation. Soon, everyone was surrounded by the secret language, and their eyes gradually became lifeless. Only one warrior who was far from the battlefield was still trying to resist. Fang Cheng calmly walked up to him and strangled him. You're quite smart, kid. You're quite smart, kid. But that was all. Fang Chang opened his mouth and bit straight into his neck, sucking his life force dry to heal his wounds. Not long after, he turned into a dried corpse. Fang Chang threw the corpse aside and continued to drain the life force of the next warrior. The scene was extremely bloody. As long as he could kill the horned dragon and obtain the dragon pearl, his strength would soar in a short period of time. At that time, he would enslave even more people, causing Tan Feng to suffer. Princess Nan Feng was stunned, unable to believe that Fang Chang had become like this. He was completely different from the image of the elegant and refined gentleman, the intelligent man in her imagination. Fang Chang was now a complete devil who would stop at nothing to achieve his goals. After a night's rest, the three of Tan Feng arrived at a steep cliff. There was a huge cave above and a field of white bones below, both human and beast. Big Brother, Tian Jun said with a shiver, What are we doing here? Is Big Brother going to kill a dragon? What do you think? Tan Feng twisted his neck in a warm-up motion, preparing for something. We're really going to kill a dragon. Tian Jun felt dizzy, thinking that Big Brother must have gone crazy. Wulin also thought the same as Tian Jun. The Great Dragon was at the fifth level of the Tao Initiation Realm, a rare species among the demon race, much stronger than human warriors of the same level. No matter how formidable Tan Feng's talent was, at the first level of the Tao Initiation Realm, could he really kill a dragon? It seemed a bit unrealistic. Tan Feng also received a notification. The favorability of the Chosen Daughter of Heaven towards you has decreased by one point. Tan Feng's face turned pale, not understanding why her favorability had suddenly decreased. Could it be because she felt that he was too busy with work and didn't care about her? Tan Feng hurriedly grabbed Wulan's hands. Don't worry, big sister. After I kill the dragon, I'll distribute the resources to you. Although she remained indifferent on the outside, Wulan cursed Tan Feng countless times in her heart. He dares to touch my hand? He's really despicable. At the same time, the system continued to notify him that the favorability of the chosen daughter of heaven had decreased by another point. What's going on? Why does her favorability decrease when I care about her? The chosen daughter of heaven is really hard to please. Tan Feng waved his hand. As expected, women only slow down my sword drawing speed. After finishing his warm up, Tan Feng handed Little White to Tian Jun and rushed into the cave at an extremely fast speed. Tian Jun worriedly shouted at the foot of the mountain, Big Brother, be careful. He didn't want to be crushed into a pancake by the dragon just after meeting Big Brother. Looking at Tan Feng's determined back, Wulan fell into deep thought. Last night, in order to save his pet rabbit, he had not hesitated to put aside their grudges. Today, he had promised to share the treasure, even at the cost of his life. These actions showed that he was not as heartless as rumored. Could it be that I've been too suspicious of him? I should be gentler with him. As soon as he entered the cave, Tan Feng received a notification that the favorability of the Chosen Daughter of Heaven had increased by five points, and he had received 500 villain points. System, are you trying to piss me off? At this moment, in the Grand Hall of the Yin Moon Dynasty, even great masters like the Six Paths Emperor were shocked feeling that Tan Feng was too reckless to dare to kill a dragon. The moon god could only shake his head. The reality was that this was a real dragon race, with a natural advantage that was much stronger than the human race. Not to mention that he had just broken through to the first level of Lingwu. Even those at the ninth level of Tao initiation might not dare to provoke the dragon race. In the past, it was always the dragon race that took the initiative to challenge the human race in cross-level battles. It was very rare for the opposite to happen. What What's more, it was a first-level Tao initiation challenging a fifth-level Tao initiation. This had never happened before. Or did he have a trump card? The moon god said innocently, don't look at me. I don't know anything. Now she really didn't know who Tan Feng was anymore. At this moment, continuous explosions could be heard from the direction of the horned dragon. Fang Chang's face was full of madness as the horned dragon was continuously attacked by the bombs. Scales fell off in large pieces and blood flowed like rain. But Fang Chang was still not satisfied and continued to use the secret language to control the many people who had come to watch the battle into becoming his slaves. He was truly ruthless. The six 
Six Paths Emperor had experienced countless bloody storms, but the officials in the palace were filled with indignation and could not tolerate the demon. Princess Nanfeng was stunned and could not believe that Fang Chang had changed so much. The old man protecting the delegation slowly said, Blackening is the release of suppressed desires. That is to say, Fang Chang was originally just pretending to be elegant, but in reality he is a selfish and vicious person. Impossible, impossible. The princess shook her head repeatedly, insisting that she did not believe that Fang Chang was such a person. As soon as he rushed into the cave, Tan Feng immediately activated the ancient heavy eyes. Thanks to the power of his eyes, he could clearly see a huge dragon head sleeping soundly. The dragon never thought that anyone would be bold enough to challenge it. The dragon's eyelids flickered open, as if it had sensed an intruder. I found you. Tan Feng drew his sword as soon as the dragon's eyes opened wide. Dark light shot out from the scabbard. This is dangerous. Before the dragon could react, a red streak shot out. It only felt that its eyes couldn't see anything, and a sharp pain spread from its left eye throughout its body. It hurt so much. A pained roar resounded throughout the sky. The loss of its left eye instantly drove the dragon into a frenzy. Rocks in the cave fell continuously, and terrifying cracks appeared everywhere. Oh no, the cave is going to collapse! Tan Feng hurriedly rushed out with Big Brother. Tian Jun exclaimed in panic. Seeing that Tan Feng was safe, he was relieved, but his heart skipped a beat soon after. Boom, the cave completely collapsed. A black dragon, nearly 100 meters long, soared into the sky from the ruins. A closer look revealed that the dragon's left eye had turned into a bloody socket. It roared furiously in the air, as if declaring that it would find that person and tear him apart. Brawl. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Little White hurriedly lowered its ears. It was almost deaf by the roar. Tan Feng didn't give the dragon a chance to breathe. He jumped onto the dragon's head, and without waiting for it to say a word of revenge, he aggressively attacked with the heavenly illusion light. Boom! The dragon was suddenly hit in the face by a barrage of bullets. A red streak blossomed in the air. This time, the dragon was truly enraged. It had never expected this guy to be so immoral, that he would use a barrage attack on its face as soon as he arrived, and even destroy its face. But before the dragon could retaliate, Tan Feng's eyes flashed with a purple light. The sky around them suddenly darkened, and countless giant eyes appeared. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The eyes in the sky shot out laser-like beams of light, bombarding the dragon's body. The dragon let out a painful roar, and the hard scales on its body were pierced by the Tian Erki divine light. Blood gushed out like a fountain. Before it could react, the dragon felt a chill behind it. The heaven-splitting divine sword had split into nine swords at some point, and they transformed into sword beams that shot straight into its breathing hole. The dragon opened its eyes wide and let out a painful scream. It had never experienced such excruciating pain. Tianjun hurriedly covered his butt when he witnessed the scene. The moon god outside couldn't bear to look directly at it, realizing that Tan Feng's moral limits were even lower than she had imagined. The dragon's mournful roar echoed from afar and then fell silent. Everything returned to silence. Hearing this, Tan Feng knew that the horned dragon was dead. He had to kill the great dragon quickly, or it would surely attract other candidates to fight over it. Life and death depended on this move. Tan Feng solemnly tore open his shirt, revealing the glowing golden dragon tattoo on his chest. Unlike other people's dragon tattoos, the tattoo on his body seemed to be alive, constantly thrashing and roaring. Great, great Ladharma incantation, many Buddhas are in pain, and the dragon is destroyed in the heavens. Immediately, the dragon-shaped tattoo on his body flew out, transforming into a giant golden dragon that was no smaller than the black dragon. One black and one gold, the two dragons roared and lunged at each other to wrestle. Let's see if I kill you or not. Tan Feng continuously unleashed his moves, almost draining his energy. If he didn't resolve this quickly, the only one who would fall would be him. He quickly controlled the nine swords to stir up the mud in the dragon's body. The dragon's eyes widened and its face twisted in pain. Its body had been repeatedly ravaged by Tan Feng to its limits. Unable to control its huge body any longer, the dragon suddenly lost its balance and fell from the sky. It let out a roar that sounded like a burp as if complaining about Tan Feng's cruelty. At the same time, the dragon summoned its last ounce of strength and swung its divine dragon tail towards Tan Feng. But Tan Feng's pupils constricted. He did his best to push Wulan and Tian Jun away. Bang! Tan Feng was hit by the divine dragon tail. His sternum shattered and his internal organs were damaged. He flew backwards dozens of meters and crashed into the mountain wall. Tian Jun was the first to rush over. If Tan Feng hadn't pushed me away, I would be dead by now. I'm fine. You should run 
run quickly. Tan Feng is already in a battered state, ordering Tian Jun to leave quickly. The news of the dragon's death would spread quickly, and it would be too late to run later. Tan Feng forced himself to get up and put the dragon into his space, but the dragon wailed in its last breath. He didn't give the dragon a chance to react, and attacked it continuously with heavy blows to its face. It died before it could even unleash 1% of its power. Quick, carry me. Tan Feng had no strength to stand up and had to ask Wu Lan and Tian Jun to carry him. In the blink of an eye, the three of them fled the battlefield. Meanwhile, at the Horned Dragon Pool, after being continuously bombarded by Fang Chang's bombs, the Horned Dragon was completely exhausted. Its giant body collapsed. Now it could only look at Fang Chang with tearful eyes. As he took its dragon pearl, the Horned Dragon could do nothing. Fang Chang gleefully admired the dragon pearl and imagined that after defeating Tan Feng, he would force him to drink hundreds of pounds of pig urine so that he would experience ten times the pain, hundred thousand times. Ha ha ha, I am the invincible general in this world. Tan Feng, just you wait. But while he was lost in his fantasies, the mournful roar of a dragon came from afar. He could tell that it was the death cry of the great dragon. What? Who dares to kill the great dragon? Fang Chang couldn't believe it. The dragon pearl in his hand suddenly became tasteless. He took out a piece of jade, infused it with power, and projected the score rankings. His original first place had suddenly changed to Tan Feng's name. Pfft. Fang Chong spat out a mouthful of blood, his Dao heart shaken. He didn't understand how Tan Feng could have killed the dragon, nor why. Every time he was confident of victory, that bastard Tan Feng would appear at just the right moment to ruin his plans. This was impossible. After Tan Feng killed the great dragon, Fang Chong's Dao heart was completely shattered. Everything that had once belonged to Fang Chang had now been taken by Tan Feng. He couldn't accept it. Fang Chang was sure that Tan Feng couldn't have killed the dragon without suffering any consequences. Tan Feng must be seriously injured now. If he could just find him, he could not only get revenge, but also take the dragon pearl. At this moment, Tan Feng was treating his injuries in a cave. Although he hadn't been hit by the dragon's tail, he still needed a knight to recover completely. Just then, the system announced, Master has prevented the Son of Heaven from refining the artifact and has received 50,000 villain points. For causing the Son of Heaven's Dao heart to waver, you have received an additional 100,000 villain points. Why is it only Fang Chang? What about Wulan? Tan Feng stroked his chin in thought. Could it be that Wulan has developed feelings for me? If not as the Chosen One, how could she not hate me? A villain. Oh well, I'm someone she can't have. A man must be decisive and not overthink things. He focused on healing his injuries. At this moment, Wulan suddenly said, I'm going to find some food. Tian Jun, stay here and protect young Master Tan. But Tian Jun was a little worried. Wulan confidently said, Don't worry, no one on this battlefield can harm me. She wasn't being arrogant, but rather very confident in her own abilities. In the cave, Tan Feng was healing his wounds when he opened the system interface and saw that he only had 297,000 villain points left. After some deliberation, he decided to use 30,000 points to exchange for one month of 100x intelligence enlightenment in order to break through the 3,000 creations to the fourth level. Suddenly, the system spoke up. Master, you can exchange for 10,000x intelligence enlightenment, lasting for 12 hours and increasing your intelligence by 10,000x. Tan Feng was immediately tempted and decided to exchange for it right away. Boom, Tan Feng felt a thunderbolt in his head, and his whole body felt like it was floating, as if he were about to become a celestial lamb or a god. It seemed as if the whole world was bowing down at his feet. The feeling was amazing. Tan Feng was addicted to it, unable to control himself. His mind began to frantically deduce the 3,000 creations, reaching the fourth level of the desolate realm, and even being able to multitask the primordial yin-yang qi system of the supreme pupil, along with the ultimate moves of the heavenly bone light and the great river sword technique and the great mighty heavenly dragon sword drawing technique. As the sun rose, Wulan and Little White brought back a lot of fruit. But Little White only ate the carrots and warrior food that Tan Feng gave him and showed no interest in the fruit. However, while talking to Little White, an arrow silently shot out, aimed straight at Wulan. Whoosh! The arrow tore through the air and flew towards her. Wulan's left arm was instantly pierced, and the intense pain sent her flying away, abandoning Little White and the pile of fruit. Seeing that his sneak attack had succeeded, the man sneered. He had been targeting Wulan for a long time, but the three of them were always together, so he hadn't had a chance. Wulan going out alone was a good opportunity, and he was determined not to miss it. But when he arrived, 
he didn't see the scene he had expected. Wulan had disappeared, leaving only a pile of scattered fruit. Wulan couldn't believe that someone with her level of cultivation could be ambushed by a mere child. To make matters worse, the arrow was poisoned and her vision began to blur. Come on, we're almost there. Little White encouraged Wulan, using his mouth to bite the hem of her shirt and drag her back to the cave. Thanks to Little White's encouragement, Wulan managed to get up again, but the poison was taking effect, and she lost consciousness completely. Just before she passed out, Wulan suddenly felt someone gently hugging her. At the same time, Tan Feng's voice rang out. You got shot as soon as you went out? The Chosen One and the Chosen One are so easily defeated? Beep bop. Congratulations to the host for activating the selection task. Option 1. Pull up your pants and speak confidently, and you will be rewarded with the second level of the Divine Charlatan Technique. Option 2. Kill the Chosen One with one blow, and you will be rewarded with the Legendary Dragon Slaying Saber. Option 3. Help the Chosen One detoxify, and you will be rewarded with the 100 Poisons in Vulnerability Constitution. Constitution. Tan Feng looked at the system thoughtfully. Ah, I see that you're really quite the womanizer, but I'm a man of integrity, so I can't choose the first two options. Although he wanted to put on his pants and speak confidently, and wanted to kill the chosen one with one blow, he thought of his future mother-in-law, La, Lama, one of the four great beauties of ancient times. And the fact that he had saved her daughter, he wondered if she might be moved to give him her daughter. Oh well, for the sake of my future potential to call her mother-in-law, I'll save her. With that, Tan Feng took off all of Wulan's clothes. To detoxify a man, you don't need to take off his clothes, but for a woman, you have to take off all her clothes. That's the rule. Thanks to the medical knowledge he had learned from the moon goddess, Tan Feng quickly detoxified Wulan. Looking at Wulan's smooth, jade-like skin, he didn't want to stop. But in order to prove that he had saved her, Tan Feng carved the words, Tan Feng was here on Wulan's beautiful back. But on second thought, he wondered if it would be better to change it to Graham. The owner has entered and left in peace. While Tan Feng was hesitating, the system suddenly announced, Congratulations to the host for obtaining benefits from the Chosen One, receiving 100,000 villain points. In addition, for completing the 3-in-1 selection task, the host has been granted the 100 Poisons in Vulnerability Constitution. What? I got 100,000 points, just like that. Tan Feng couldn't believe it. This was much easier than fighting to the death outside. He hurriedly rolled up his sleeves and prepared to do something big. But just as Tan Feng was about to continue, Wulan opened her eyes in a daze. She felt an itch on her back, as if something was crawling on it. Reacting immediately, Wulan sat up in shock. The two of them locked eyes, and the piece of cloth covering her chest flew off, revealing Wulan's bare breasts. Conveniently, Wulan finally saw the scene in front of her and hurriedly covered her chest, shouting, Get out of here! Oh no, I covered the wrong spot. Tan Feng also hurriedly reached out to help her cover up. But just then, Wulan lunged forward and hugged Tan Feng's eyes tightly. You pervert. You can't look. The intelligence of the Chosen One was truly questionable. Tan Feng was stunned by Wulan's actions. He closed his eyes to comfort Wulan while adjusting her clothes. Fortunately, I'm a man of integrity, or you would have been eaten clean a long time ago. Tan Feng held Wulan's hand tightly and said solemnly, Don't worry. When I took off your clothes, I closed my eyes completely. I'm a man of integrity, so how could I dare to peek at you, Fairy Wulan? Your beautiful body, even your scars, I don't know how many you have. With that, he stretched out and glanced at Wulan. I've helped you detoxify, I'm so tired. I wish someone would massage my back and shoulders. Although Wulan was still embarrassed, everything proved that Tan Feng was truly a man of integrity. Moreover, he had saved her life, so Wulan decided to repay him well. She blushed and said, you just lie down and I'll make you comfortable. So Tan Feng began to enjoy the heavenly life. May I ask, in this ancient and desolate world, who else could be treated like this by Wulan, one of the four great beauties? My lord, are my techniques good? Excellent. Your face is so blissful, Tan Feng. Oh, really? I can make you even more blissful. With that, Wulan wrapped her legs around Tan Feng's back and sat down. Holy crap, could it be that I've opened Pandora's box? Although Tan Feng's goal was his future father-in-law, it seemed that having a taste of his daughter first wouldn't be bad either. But just then, Wulan grabbed Tan Feng's wrist and yanked it back hard. Crack! A scream of agony echoed through the cave. You bastard, this is my revenge. You closed your eyes and helped me take off my clothes just now. But you must have been groping me, right? And whether I have scars or not, how did you know? Tan Feng struggled, but Wulan pressed him down and continued to teach him a lesson. A moment later, Tan Feng was lying flat on the ground. Wulan clapped her hands in satisfaction and stood up. 
Don't play dead. I didn't use much force just now. At this moment, Tan Feng was on the verge of collapse. I was badly injured when I killed the dragon today, and I just used my vitality to detoxify you, and now you're treating me like this. You're really heartless. I'm afraid I won't live to see the sun tomorrow. When Wulan heard this, her heart softened immediately. She had no idea that Tan Feng had endured so much for her sake. She hurriedly helped him up, and leaned him against her shoulder. Seeing Wulan's change of attitude, Tan Feng ignored his wounds and rubbed his head against her chest. Sister Wulan, do you believe in love at first sight? Wulan's face turned red. She couldn't believe that Tan Feng was still not taking things seriously at this time. Tell me quickly, where is your wound so I can treat it? But Tan Feng pretended to be serious. My condition is, I know that I'm going to die soon. Before I go, I just hope that you can fulfill my last wish. He grabbed Wulan's hand tightly, his eyes filled with sadness. I hope you will kiss me. Get lost. Kiss you? Wulan never expected Tan Feng's last wish to be this. Seeing that Wulan was wavering, Tan Feng immediately launched a fierce attack. Actually, before I met you, I never believed in love at first sight. But you've made me question my previous views. From the first moment I saw you, my heart fell into your hands. My heart, filled with affection, now beats only for you. Even if I have to die in your arms, I'd be happy. Wulan's face grew even redder, and her heart beat like a deer's. Thinking back to how Tan Feng had been badly injured saving her, and then how he had been badly injured because of her recklessness. Wulan's heart was filled with guilt. Should I just grant his last wish? Wulan blushed and slowly moved closer to Tan Feng. Tan Feng could also smell Wulan's fragrance. Unlike Zidian, Wulan had a more gentle and tender temperament. He couldn't believe that his acting had actually fooled Wulan. But Tan Feng was not satisfied and immediately used his strength to hug Wulan's small waist and his lips moved forward, smooch, smooch. Wulan was surprised. Because of the benefits from the Chosen One of Heaven, Tan Feng gained 100,000 villain points. Reacting, Wulan pushed Tan Feng away forcefully. She finally realized that she had been tricked. This was my first kiss. I can't believe that after keeping myself pure for over 10 years, I lost it to Tan Feng today. Just as Tan Feng was pushed away, he pulled off Wulan's robe. Huh, why is the color different from what I saw before? The system then notified him that he had gained 100,000 villain points for taking advantage of the Chosen One of Heaven. You thief, give it back to me. Wulan was furious. Not only had her first kiss been stolen, but now her robe had been stolen as well. No longer caring about her image, she rushed forward to get it back. Bang, Tan Feng fell backwards, and Wulan fell on top of him because of the momentum. Sister, if you keep lying on top of me like this, I won't be able to control myself. Tan Feng hugged Wulan's waist tightly again, and his lips moved closer. I know I'm very handsome, and my charm is very great, but rest assured I won't resist. Just come on. Wulan was stunned by Tan Feng's series of actions. You hooligan. You're really shameless. Let's see if I don't tear your mouth apart. She then rushed forward to wrestle with Tan Feng, not noticing that a warrior had appeared behind her. Boss Tan, I finally found you. The warrior was a head taller than Tianjun, and his left hand was tightly clamped around the disheveled Tianjun. Receiving the villain points, Tan Feng pushed Wulan aside in disgust. Fairy Wulan, I know I'm a handsome and elegant man, but matters of romance should only be shared with one's beloved. Please don't force me to do something I don't want to do. Wulan was so angry that she couldn't speak for a moment. Seeing that Wulan was bewitching Tan Feng, the giant let go of Tianjun and roared, you, you dare to seduce Tan Feng. Let me cut you in half. Damn it, this guy was too impulsive. Wulan had just escaped death and her strength had not yet recovered. Tan Feng was really worried that Wulan would be cut. He hurriedly stopped him. Big brother, calm down. Let's talk things out clearly. Seeing Tan Feng, the warrior said excitedly, Boss Tan, I'm Wanma. From now on, I will serve you with all my heart. Wherever you go, I will never go west. Oh, Tan Feng was puzzled. He didn't understand what was going on. Immediately, Wanma hugged Tan Feng's thigh like a kidnapped child who had finally found home. At this moment, Wanma looked at Tan Feng with tearful eyes, but Tan Feng found him too disgusting and turned his face away. Big brother, with your appearance like a pear, you'd better not act cute. Boss Tan, won't you accept me? Wanma cried even louder, thinking that Tan Feng didn't want to accept him. All right, all right, I'll accept you. First, cover your face. Tan Feng immediately pressed a slave seal on Wanma's face. He agreed to accept him as a disciple because he trusted in the effectiveness of the slave seal. He was really annoyed by Wanma. Tan Feng just wanted him to get away from him as soon as possible. His combat power had also increased. Wanma's heart was deeply shaken. He knew that Boss Tan was a famous warrior in the wilderness and the future successor of the Tan family. 
but he didn't expect that he could raise the combat power of others by five times with just a wave of his hand. At this moment, the system notified him that the slave seal had reached its maximum limit. To unlock a higher limit, the master needed to upgrade his realm. So there's a limit to this? Tan Feng couldn't help but be disappointed. At first, he thought that he could use this move to gather a million strong army to fight against Fang Chang. But now it seemed that it was impossible. The only fortunate thing was that both of them had decent realms. Looking at the excited Wanma, Tan Feng suddenly felt a sense of familiarity. He recalled his eight years in the Tan family. Wanma's real name was Tan Wan, and when he was young, he was a handsome teenager. Now he had simply grown up. He was the beloved son of the 13th commander of the Tan family. His status in the Tan family was second only to the patriarch. His appearance here must have been arranged by the Tan family's ancestors. Tan Feng wondered if something had happened to the Tan family that they had sent him to ask for help or if they had simply sent him to assist him. At this moment, Wanma seemed to sense something and immediately urged Tan Feng, Boss Tan, hurry up and run. Fang Chang is chasing us. It seemed that nothing had happened to the Tan family. Tan Feng patted Wanma's shoulder and pushed him away. If he wants to come, then let him come. If he wants to fight, then let him fight. Tan Feng was so confident because with the help of the 10,000 times wisdom light, he had comprehended the fourth level of the 3,000 creations and even the primordial dual pupils, sword drawing technique and the great river sword technique all had a sense of familiarity. He didn't need Fang Chang's Dragon Ball at all. Fang Chang, you always appear at the most critical moment to earn villain points. If Wulan didn't call him father, he would make him call him father. Thinking of this, Tan Feng couldn't help but let out a characteristic villainous laugh. Ha ha ha, big brother, why are you laughing so strangely? Tianjun and Wanma looked at each other, not daring to make a sound. The two could only stay in the cave to protect Wulan. Meanwhile, outside the cave, a large group of candidates surrounded the cave, unable to escape but all of them had dull eyes, like walking corpses. Above their heads was Fang Chang, his hair disheveled, his terrifying appearance completely possessed by a demon. Seeing this, Tan Feng sneered, Oh, I thought it was someone. You lost your wife and became possessed? Warrior Fang Chang, it's so cold even though it's so hot. You might catch a cold, Tan Feng. Shut up. Fang Chang wanted to put on a show in front of Tan Feng, but he didn't expect to be reminded of the story of the male prostitute princess. His mental wound was instantly pierced, causing Fang Chang to want to tear Tan Feng apart. He immediately used 10% of his power, carrying an endless amount of power as he kicked straight at Tan Feng. So fast, Tan Feng was shocked and immediately used his two hands to form a seal, then activated the primordial dual pupils to analyze and block Fang Chang. Fang Chang's face was full of shock. He himself had broken broken through to the seventh level of the martial saint realm, and with the additional power of the dark force, he had also absorbed the dragon ball. In terms of strength, how could he be on par with Tan Feng, who had just broken through to the first level of the Tao initiation realm? Tan Feng could clearly sense that Fang Chang was stronger. Not giving him a chance to react, he quickly grabbed Fang Chang's leg and threw him to the ground like Hulk throwing Loki. Rumble, rumble, rumble. After a disastrous battle, Fang Chang lay still in a deep pit. Fang Chang was extremely surprised, his mind filled with question marks. How could Tan Feng, who had only comprehended the first level, be so strong? Didn't he go to kill the dragon yesterday? Why was he not injured at all after killing the dragon? I'm not reconciled. Fang Chang used all his strength to push, breaking free from Tan Feng's control. He stomped on the ground with both feet and flew backwards 10 meters in the blink of an eye. Ordinary strength is not scary. Fang Chang thought that Tan Feng was only stronger in terms of strength, but to think that he could use that little bit of strength to defeat him was too naive. Tan Feng was not panicked at all, his lips pursed tightly. Suddenly, seven or eight clones of him appeared around him, making it difficult to tell which one was the real one. I wonder if you'll be satisfied with this move, Fang Chang. After witnessing Tan Feng's clones, he did not dare to underestimate this move. He had to use all his strength to withstand it. Immediately, the spiritual energy in Fang Chang body surged out violently, transforming into a giant purple aura. He stomped on the ground with all his might, carrying the momentum of a landslide as he charged straight at Tan Feng. Hard against hard, let's see who's harder. Tan Feng's eyes were like lightning, his imposing aura making it hard to breathe. A powerful aura enveloped him. His fair hand drew out the Void Divine Sword. Rumble, rumble, the Void Divine Sword swung gracefully like a dragon, its cry echoing through the sky. The sword light collided violently with the aura, creating a storm that swept through the forest. A howling wind made the hair on the back of their necks stand on end. Holy shit, is this a battle of the Tao initiation realm? Tianjun trembled in 
Wanma's arms. Even they, who were at the Tao Initiation Realm, could not create such devastation. Too good, too good. This is the final battle of the two warriors. The audience outside cheered enthusiastically, their blood boiling, as they witnessed Tan Feng's swordsmanship being blocked by Fang Chang, who was at the seventh level of the Tao Initiation Realm. Fang Chang could no longer hide his excitement. Knowing that Tan Feng only knew one swordsmanship move, Fang Chang did not hesitate, and without delay, turned and charged straight at Tan Feng. Fang Chang was determined not to give Tan Feng the chance to use the primordial dual pupils or any other spells. He also ordered the controlled candidates to attack Tan Feng. Ignoring morality is not Tan Feng's privilege. The two of them looked at each other with grim faces, their disheveled hair trying to rush forward to protect their master. With a loud roar, the controlled candidates charged fearlessly at Tianjin and Wanma. Fortunately, the two of them arrived just in time. Tan Feng calmly turned around, the hem of his clothes fluttering in the wind. His whole body was like a sword unsheathed, extremely sharp. The air around him was filled with the whistling sound of sword energy, as if 10,000 swords were hailing him as their king. The space around Tan Feng vibrated, and the sound of swords echoed incessantly. A vast aura of sword energy surged up like an ocean tide, the sound of wind tearing through the sky roaring everywhere. Thousands of swords screamed, the sound of swords incessant, great torrents surged up in the sky. Countless sword energies converged into a torrential river that seemed to want to swallow everything. Holy shit, the sword energy has converged into a great harmony sword. Fang Chang's pupils dilated, and he screamed in his heart, What the hell is this? I am a person who has undergone dark transformation. How can I be suppressed by Tan Feng? In the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty, the audience was stunned by the Great Harmony Sword. As Tan Feng's guardian in the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty, Moon God must have known about the Great Harmony Sword. So, do you know anything? As Tan Feng's guardian for seven years, you don't know what skills he has, what he has been focusing on for the past seven years. Are you being a guardian or a maid? If Moon God is still responsible for Tan Feng's studies, we feel guilty in our conscience. We are wasting Tan Feng's talent. The old Taoist priests glanced at Moon God, signaling her to withdraw from her position as Tan Feng's guardian. After the Great Harmony Sword, Fang Chang gasped for breath, his face full of fear. He had developed a psychological obsession with Tan Feng. In front of Tan Feng, Fang Chang felt that he had no power to resist at all. He felt like he was Sun Wukong in the hands of the Buddha Sakyamuni, so small and easy to destroy. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for leaving a psychological shadow on the Son of Heaven and receiving 100,000 villain points. Only 100,000? Tan Feng was very dissatisfied. His figure flashed as he took the initiative to attack. Tan Feng's primordial eyes flashed with a purple light. Countless giant eyes appeared in the sky again. Fang Chang, if you don't give me at least one million villain points, don't even think about escaping today. Seeing the sky full of giant eyes, Fang Chang only felt his hair stand on end, and his body trembled uncontrollably. His fear of Tan Feng continued to increase. Puff, puff, puff. The eyes in the sky shot out rays of light that swept across everyone on the ground. Tan Feng, you're deliberately making things difficult for me. Even if I have to sell my soul to the devil, I must kill you today. Fang Chang Chang's face twisted, and he raised his head and screamed violently. A terrifying evil aura rose around him, as if something terrifying was about to be released. A roar that seemed to shake the heavens and the earth resounded on the battlefield of life and death. Demonic pressure surged like a tide, covering the entire battlefield. Tan Feng realized that the situation was critical. Because he had gone too far, he had forgotten that Fang Chang was the son of heaven. He hurriedly withdrew his spells. Then he shouted, Is there a steward here? I accuse Fang Chang of hiring someone to fight for him. Outside, Moon God only felt dizzy at Tan Feng's shamelessness. She had a new understanding of the limits of his morality. When when the smoke cleared, Fang Chang had completely changed from before. In his place was a man with blood-red eyes, exuding an evil aura all over his body. Although he still retained the appearance of Fang Chang, his insides had been taken over by a poisonous snake. Seeing the man walking towards him step by step, Tan Feng panicked. Big brother, let's talk this out clearly. Let's joke around and not hurt each other. Why don't we just call it a day? At this moment, another earth-shattering explosion sounded from afar. A terrifying pressure swept over like a tide, covering the entire battlefield. The man was shocked, and he gritted his teeth and groaned. 
Little Mao from the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty has reached this level again. Only now did he realize that the person who had come was none other than the Six Paths Emperor of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. I didn't expect that Senior is still alive. However, this is a battle between juniors, and it seems inappropriate for Senior to interfere. What if this old man insists on interfering? The man in Fang Chang's body said coldly, Six Paths is not a righteous person either. A terrifying pressure immediately pressed down on the man. Haha, you alone want to kill this old man? The man laughed hoarsely and turned into a black shadow that tore through space and left. You're running now? The Six Paths was filled with energy, and he also tore through space and chased after him. What? The Six Paths called that Black Mass Senior, and the Black Mass called the Six Paths Little Mao. Fortunately, the young master is fine. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The sky over the battlefield darkened as if the end of the world had come. First, there was a slight tremor, then a violent shake, and then it gradually returned to normal. At this time, the Six Paths also stepped out of the space crack with a tired face. Immediately after, two furious voices sounded out. Damn Six Paths, you dare to cut off my 10,000-year Dao sect. Just you wait, I will take revenge. Damn Tanfeng, I will definitely come back. Tanfeng once again realized that the Son of Heaven had no morals. He suspected that he had gone out to learn some kind of secret technique that was even stronger. Forget it, let him run. Tanfeng took out a small notebook and wrote the date on it. The Six Paths has weakened my opponent, making it impossible for me to train properly. He needs to compensate me with 10 million top-grade spirit stones. After Fang Chang was defeated, the contestants broke free from the circle of slavery. Seeing the corpses everywhere, they recalled how they had been controlled by Fang Chang, doing crazy things. Fortunately, heaven had blessed them. Everyone broke out in a cold sweat, secretly thanking their lucky stars for still being alive. But what they didn't expect was that after escaping Fang Chang and Tan Feng, they fell into the hands of a rabbit. Line up quickly, Little White ordered from above, I am the handsome rabbit, talented and brilliant, a symbol of justice and wisdom, the most beautiful in the ancient times. Tan Feng saved you all. Men should pay the protection fee voluntarily, and women should be willing to sacrifice themselves. A young man spoke up, you guys are going too far. Boom. The heavenly soldiers behind Little White stood in a threatening posture. 10,000 horses pounded the ground. Little White stomped his feet. That's how we do things. The young man swallowed his saliva, his heart pounding with fear. They were not experts like those warriors. They just wanted to stick together and survive the life and death battle. From there, they would have the opportunity to join other forces in the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. It was simply like entering a second-rate university. Now that they had encountered the hooligan rabbit, it seemed that they could only obediently pay the money to Lord Rabbit. A young girl said excitedly, Do I really have a chance to become young Master Tan's concubine? Little White said to her, No, you can't. Your breasts are too small. Then, a girl with a voluptuous chest came up. She asked shyly, Can I? This was the first time Little White had seen such a heaving chest. He quickly said, It's too big. It's easy to suffocate. Meanwhile, Wulun was hiding nearby and punched a tree, creating a large hole. Bastard. You just stole my first kiss and now you're openly recruiting concubines. What a hypocrite. At this time, Tan Feng was still unaware of what had happened. He was calling the system to prepare for the lottery draw. The system kept warning him that the favorability of the Son of Heaven had decreased by one, two, three. Tan Feng's face was full of confusion. What had happened? But when Tan Feng stepped out of the cave, the scene in front of him left him stunned. Little White was sitting on a high platform, and behind him was a group of beautiful young women. Young Master Tan, we will serve you tonight. Little White turned his head and saw Tan Feng looking displeased. Master, do you think I'm doing a good job? Tan Feng wanted to kill Little White right away. It's no wonder that Wulan's favorability has decreased so much. Thank you for doing such a good job. Although Tan Feng was trembling with anger at Little White's actions, there was nothing he could do, and he just wanted to get away from Little White as soon as possible. I don't know you. Don't call me anymore. Seeing Tan Feng leave, Little White was puzzled. Master is clearly a greedy and lustful person. Why did he suddenly change his personality? What nonsense are you talking about in front of so many people? Tan Feng coughed and decided that he had to salvage his reputation. So Tan Feng began to talk about morality in a serious manner. Tan Feng explained that being greedy for money was a noble quality of a gentleman, and that as a gentleman, he had to be greedy for money. As for being lustful, it was human nature, and not being lustful was going against human nature. Finally, he blamed everything on Little White, 
and successfully salvaged his image in the eyes of the young women. Tan Feng decided to take advantage of the opportunity and pulled a young woman into his arms. We are destined to be together. I will protect you safely through this life and death battle, but my heart already belongs to someone and I can't make any promises to you. Once we get out of here, we will forget each other as if we had never met. A string of sweet words successfully deceived the young woman. She smiled. Everyone says that young master is cold, but only I know how generous young master's heart is. I have nothing to repay you with, so please Please let me kiss you. The young woman's face flushed as she leaned in to kiss Tan Feng on the cheek. The system announced, reasonable and logical. Taking advantage of a young woman has earned you 500 villain points. Seeing Tan Feng turn to kiss another young woman, the system rewarded him with another 500 villain points. Next, all the young women on the battlefield lined up to kiss Tan Feng. Meanwhile, the system was flooded with a series of reward notifications. As Wulan hid behind a tree and observed, she fell into deep thought. Could it be that I misunderstood him? At this moment, the system reported that the favorability of the Son of Heaven had increased by three points. Tan Feng was secretly delighted. My goal has been achieved. He announced that there were still two hours left before the end of the preliminary round. If you are not interested in fame and fortune and only want to survive, you can stay here. I will guarantee your safety. If you want anything else, you are free to leave. Then he left with a majestic air. But as soon as he turned into the cave, Tan Feng revealed his true self. Rubbing his face full of lipstick, he said, it turns out that I, Tan Feng, am also quite talented. I got what I wanted and earned villain points at the same time. Tan Feng called the system and prepared to draw the lottery. The familiar roulette wheel appeared. Ding dong, congratulations, master. You have won the heavenly secret card, which can be used to peek at the heavenly secret once and search for a great event created by heaven and earth. Note that great events created by heaven and earth are not everywhere, so it's easier to start with the Son of Heaven to find them. Tan Feng pondered, Heavenly Secret Card, Son of Heaven. So which Son of Heaven should I start with? At this moment, in the Yin Moon Imperial Palace, the ministers believed that the Moon God often deducted Tan Feng's salary, so he had to resort to improper means to make money. It was truly pitiful that a martial artist was forced to become like this. The Six Paths Emperor said, I have decided to make Tan Feng the third holy son of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty and grant him the Ling Feng Palace, where he can recruit subordinates and open his own mansion. This is the proper treatment for a martial artist. None of the ministers objected. With Tan Feng's overwhelming talent, he was fully qualified to be a holy son. However, they did not care whether Tan Feng deserved to be a holy son or not. They only wanted to win him over. The Six Paths Emperor said coldly about Tan Feng's master, I have already chosen someone. You don't need to worry about it. Furthermore, I will send an envoy to the Qin family to help Tan Feng reconcile with them. The Moon God immediately understood the Six Paths Emperor's intention. With the extraordinary talent that Tan Feng had displayed, Displayed, the Qin family must have regretted chasing him away. If they went to persuade them now, the Qin family would most likely accept Tan Feng back. If they used Tan Feng's status as a holy son to pull the Qin family to their side, if they succeeded, the great Xia imperial dynasty would lose the entire eastern region. If they failed, this empty gesture would also arouse the suspicion of the great Xia emperor. Either way, it was very beneficial to the Yin Moon imperial dynasty. This old bastard is really vicious, the moon god muttered. In the cave, after receiving the heavenly secret card, Tan Feng was still thinking about who he should target. Jin Hao was too young. Lin San had a good relationship with him, and he was also foolish. He could be deceived with just a few lies. Wulan, on the other hand, was more resistant, which made it more interesting. It seems that only you are left, Fang Chang. Thinking of the black mass in Fang Chang's body, Tan Feng decided to use the heavenly secret card. Crack! Tan Feng crushed the card in his hand. A deafening sound made him dizzy, as if he was traveling through space. A few minutes later, Tan Feng woke up with a strange expression on his face. He saw that Fang Chang had entered the mysterious Kunlun secret realm that opened once every 1,000 years. There, Fang Chang had cultivated the supreme martial art, the demonic heart seed. A moment later, Tan Feng accidentally saw an image of Fang Chang playing gay with an old man who looked like the king of a country, which made Tan Feng feel like his eyes had been sullied. Damn it, I'm defiled. I thought Bai Ri was the victim before. But who would have thought that he was secretly getting rich, and that Fang Chang 
as fellow cheaters, why is the gap between us so big? I just robbed him of his Buddha's heart, and just one month later, he has cultivated the demonic heart. This is too blatant. He's treating me like an experience bag. Next month, when Fang Chang obtains the infinite fist from the 10,000-year secret manual, I must rob him of it. Even if Jesus tries to stop me, I will rob him. But Tan Feng suddenly came to a realization and immediately calmed down. The 10,000-year realm is different from the cycle of life and death of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. At that time, all the martial artists under 30 years old in the ancient wilderness will come to seek opportunities for themselves. At the very least, they must be at the level of Wulan and Yijan. Although Tan Feng has the strength to slay a great dragon, it is difficult for one to fight against four. He cannot defeat so many martial artists. The urgent task now is to quickly increase his strength and break through to the fifth level of the Tao realm. But at his current rate of progress, even if Tan Feng does not eat or sleep, and cultivates for 24 hours a day, he will only be able to break through to the second level. A month is too short to break through continuously at a high intensity. It will cause damage to the body and make the foundation unstable. It's really not worth it. Just when Tan Feng was having a headache, the system suddenly suggested, Master is still worried about leveling up too quickly and causing an unstable foundation. You only need one foundation establishment pill to completely solve this problem and consolidate your foundation. For only 500,000 points, Master can reach another level of cultivation immediately. Damn you, Tan Feng couldn't help but curse. A pauper like you, selling me a pill for 500,000 points. Doesn't your conscience hurt? But the system replied, I am just a system. Of course I have no conscience. Tan Feng was heartbroken, but there was no other way for him now. You're really ruthless. He opened the system interface to check how many villain points he had left. According to the calculation that one level requires one pill, he would need at least nine pills, which was 4.5 million points. But he only had 600,000 right now, which was only enough to buy one pill. Although he was furious, Tan Feng still decided to buy one pill to try it out. Soon after, a golden pill appeared in Tan Feng's hand, emitting a strong fragrance. This was the foundation establishment pill that cost 500,000 points each. It looked ordinary, but let's give it a try. Tan Feng closed his eyes and swallowed the pill. As soon as it went down his stomach, he felt a warm feeling in his abdomen, very comfortable. At the same time, the abundant energy around him quickly absorbed into Tan Feng's Dantian. It was indeed worth 500,000 points. The effect was exactly the same as the extraordinary foundation that he had cultivated for seven years. Boom, boom, the sound of bells rang throughout the battlefield of life and death, signaling the end of the arduous cycle of life and death. It's finally over. Tan Feng stretched his body, feeling the hard work of the past few days. Then his figure gradually faded and disappeared from that place. At the square of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty, the surviving martial artists hugged their loved ones, crying with joy. My son, you're alive. It was so hard to survive this round. Damn that Fang Chang. If it weren't for him, the death toll wouldn't have been so high. Tan Feng and Xiao Bai stood quietly in the crowd, listening to the martial artists gossiping about them. Suddenly, a voice full of resentment rang out behind Tan Feng. Tan Feng, you son of a bitch, die for me. Turning around, Tan Feng saw his opponent, the young master of the Ming Sword sect, Yi Jin. Oh, Yi Jin, hello. Tan Feng seemed to have forgotten the grudge between them and greeted Yi Jian in a friendly manner. Get lost. Yi Jian did not hide the anger in his eyes. He would definitely take revenge for Tan Feng destroying his little brother. How boring. It was just a battle in the cycle of life and death. It's normal to fight. Now that the competition is over, everyone should stop fighting. Making more friends means having more ways to survive, right? Seeing that Yi Jian was still hostile, Tan Feng thought of this. I'll tell you a big secret to make it up to you, but you can't tell anyone. Tan Feng looked around and whispered, I have a way to quickly reach the Great Emperor Realm. The way to reach the Great Emperor Realm is just four words, Lai Ri Fang Chang. Everyone around, including Yi Jian, held their breath when they heard the words Great Emperor Realm. But when Tan Feng continued with Lai Ri Fang Chang, the pure Vietnamese meaning of these four words is suck salt for a long time. Everyone let out a sound of doubt. Are you kidding me? Yi Jian was furious on the spot. Everyone knows that I don't have a vagina or a penis. You and I have no grudges against each other. Why do you humiliate me like this? Hearing this scandal, everyone around turned to Yi Jian. 
Now it's over. You said it too loudly. Now everyone knows that you don't have it. Yi Jian's face turned green with anger, but he couldn't do anything to Tan Feng. Suddenly, a majestic voice resounded throughout the square. Six paths and the great ministers were flying in the air. The entire square fell silent immediately. The six paths announced, I hereby declare that this cycle of life and death is officially over. The top 1,000 people on the leaderboard will enter the Heavenly Red Library. The rest will receive their respective rewards and return to their own imperial dynasties. Everyone applauded the candidates who had made it into the top 1,000. Everyone must have been envious. The Heavenly Red Library was the number one library in the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. Not only did it collect hundreds of thousands of cultivation techniques, divine abilities, but it also had a team of powerful masters and crazy attractive treatments. Someone asked, the top 1,000 are rewarded so generously. What about the first place? The six paths continued. The first place in this ranking is Tan Feng. He will be named the third saint son of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty and will have the right to open his own mansion, recruit subordinates, and be granted a spirit wind mansion. What, the third saint son? The entire stadium exploded. The crowd seemed to lose control. Tan Feng didn't understand. He was just the emperor's adopted son in name. What was there to be so excited about? But that wasn't the truth. The cycle of life and death occurred once every 10 years, but not every time there was a saint son. Only the most powerful martial artists were qualified. Moreover, the Spirit Wind Mansion was a place where countless people dreamed of cultivating. If Tan Feng allowed it to be opened, countless people would come to submit to him. Now, everything belonged to a 15-year-old teenager. Isn't this what I deserve? Tan Feng turned his head and pretended to be indifferent. This attitude made everyone even more angry. Tian Jun looked at Tan Feng with admiration. He knew that his master was good, but he didn't expect him to be so good that he would become the saint's son of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. There must have been countless hardships behind this that ordinary people could hardly imagine. But Tan Feng didn't pay much attention to this title. He began to search for Wu Lan. Now that there were no more Heavenly Chosen around for him to harm, Tan Feng decided to target this Heavenly Chosen girl and try to earn another 4 million villain points before the Kunlun secret realm opened. I found her. Tan Feng glanced at Wu Lan with malicious intent. At the same time, Wu Lan, who was standing not far away, shivered, feeling as if something was watching her. She looked around in confusion and met Tan Feng's smiling gaze, causing her cheeks to flush slightly. Remembering the scene in the cave, Wu Lan hurriedly turned her head away, pretending not to see anything. Excuse me, let me pass. Tan Feng naturally wouldn't let go of this opportunity and immediately squeezed through the crowd to Wu Lan's side. Just as Tan Feng was about to confide in Wu Lan, a clamor broke out. Turning around, he saw that Princess Nan Feng and her group had been stopped by a group of people. They were all parents of the candidates who had been enslaved by Fang Chang. They demanded that Princess Nan Feng hand over the culprit, Fang Chang. They could accept their children dying in the cycle of life and death, but they could not accept them being turned into Undang Chang and then being destroyed without a trace. Princess Nan Feng replied very succinctly, this princess does not know where Fang Chang is. Even if she did know, she would not say. The fact that Fang Chang had escaped from the Six Paths grasp spoke volumes. Even if he was not perfect, he was still a rare martial artist in the world. How could she hand over such a martial artist? The crowd could no longer contain themselves and surged forward with the intention of killing Princess Nan Feng. Tell us, or Fang Chang will never appear. You're being rude. The martial artists of the Great Xia were furious at this contempt. As martial artists of the Great Xia, they had never been so despised. Immediately, they charged into battle with the other group. This is a good show. Tan Feng loved to watch the excitement. He pulled Xiao Bai along to watch. It was true that Princess Nan Feng was not a heavenly chosen because she did not have the Lai Ri Fang Chang and could not change the will of heaven. Ouch, a miserable cry rang out across the square. One by one, people were knocked to the ground. As martial artists of the great Xia and from aristocratic families, their combat power was naturally superior to that of ordinary parents. In the blink of an eye, the other group had been defeated. But this action also angered the others in the square. This was the land of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. How dare they be so loud? Where are the elders? Is there no law anymore? It was unclear who had shouted this, but the battle
battle immediately escalated. The two sides clashed fiercely. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Princess Nanfeng was so angry that her chest was heaving. The anger in her heart was about to explode. It was obvious that the Yin Moon side had attacked first, but now they were blaming the Great Xia. Did they really think that the Princess of the Great Xia was easy to bully? Everyone, stop. A loud shout silenced the chaos. Everyone turned around to see a group of people dressed in black approaching. A powerful aura emanated from them, hovering at the heavenly intermediate vision realm, not the spirit marshal or entering Tao realms. They were the celestial ox guards who were responsible for protecting the security of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty's Imperial City. At least the heavenly venerate realm was required to join. Although their positions were not high, they represented the strength of the Six Paths Emperor. Seeing the celestial ox guards, everyone immediately made way. In the end, Princess Nanfeng had no choice but to turn and leave to avoid getting into a difficult situation. In the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty, no one had ever dared to ignore the celestial ox guards. But Princess Nanfeng was not afraid. The celestial ox guards sneered coldly. The captain of the celestial ox guards raised his hand to stop Princess Nanfeng from leaving. Princess Nanfeng, this is the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty, not your great Xia Imperial Dynasty. These martial artists have assaulted the people of our country. They need to be thoroughly investigated. What? You want to arrest us? The great Xia martial artists couldn't help but laugh. They must be out of their minds. Your people first disrespected the princess of the great Xia and then surrounded her. You have completely ignored the great Xia delegation. No matter what, you can't blame us for this. Arrest them all, the captain of the celestial ox guards ordered. How dare you? The great Xia martial artists were furious. They had not expected the celestial ox guards to actually make a move. Although they were martial artists of the great Xia, their cultivation was only at the fifth level of the entering Tao realm, and they were no match for the celestial ox guards. In the blink of an eye, they were all subdued. Princess, save us. But the celestial ox guards completely ignored them and dragged them all away. The crowd applauded. This is too much. This is too humiliating. Princess Nanfeng was so angry that her chest heaved. She was determined to go and seek justice from the Six Paths. But an old man tried to dissuade her, saying that it would be useless. If the Six Paths Emperor really wanted to intervene, he wouldn't have let them attack the delegation, nor would he have let the celestial ox guards arrest the heaven's chosen disciples. Are you saying that the Six Paths is behind this? Princess Nanfeng quickly calmed down and understood what was going on. Princess, Fang Chang's whereabouts are unknown, and there is no point in the delegation staying here any longer. It is very possible that they will be in danger. It is best to return to the Great Xia immediately. The old man continued, but Princess Nanfeng looked troubled. She felt that she could not return just like that. She had come to the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty with a mission this time, and now she had not completed any of her tasks, and had even lost Fang Chang. When the martial artists returned, they would definitely anger the great aristocrat aristocratic families. At that time, even if her father loved her, he would have to banish her to the cold palace in order to appease the people. The old man felt a headache coming on. They were completely unfamiliar with the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty and had no power to force the Six Paths to release their people. Princess Nanfeng glanced up and saw a familiar figure. Qin Feng had just been appointed as the third holy son of the Yin Moon Imperial Dynasty. Perhaps he could make the Six Paths change their minds. No, princess. Seeking out that bastard Qin Feng is like throwing yourself into a tiger's den. The old man hurriedly tried to dissuade her. The princess Nan Feng had already made up her mind. She would go and find Qin Feng herself. Not long after, Princess Nan Feng stood before that bastard Qin Feng. I know you're terrifying, but it's even more terrifying that I have to beg you. In order to have a reason to return to the Great Xia, she had to ask Qin Feng for help. Even though it made her very uncomfortable to have to beg him for help like this, Qin Feng frowned in disdain. In fact, he was quite surprised by Princess Nan Feng's appearance, but not too surprised. The system announced the branch mission, humiliate the white moonlight in the heart of the heaven's chosen sun, reward 100,000 villain points. Qin Feng's eyes lit up immediately. As long as there were villain points to be earned, everything was negotiable. Haha, I can help you, but you know that I never do anything at a loss. Seeing Qin Feng's demands, Princess Nan Feng said, Just tell me what you want, and I will fulfill it. Qin Feng couldn't help but let out his signature villainous laugh. It turns out that this princess is quite bold. Then come to my place tonight. I'll tell you then. At this time, Princess Nan Feng came to Qin Feng's house as agreed. Although she was worried in her heart, for the sake of her lover, 
She still tried her best to put on the sexy short skirt that Qin Feng had given her. Although she felt cold all over as soon as the wind blew, Princess Nanfeng still felt indescribably embarrassed, like a kitten being scratched, making her feel hot all over. Not bad, not bad. Qin Feng was very satisfied with the outfit he had chosen. It was a special design based on his memories before he returned, both convenient for work and even more convenient for that matter. The system announced, humiliate the white moonlight in the heart of the heaven's chosen sun. Reward, 100,000 villain points. Seeing that Qin Feng didn't react, Princess Nan Feng reached out and touched her chest. Young Master Qin, you said that as long as I stay here for 15 days in this outfit, you will rescue Fang Chang and everyone else, right? Of course, I always keep my promises. However, you must stay by my side for these 15 days, and you cannot leave my side no matter where I go. If I tell you to go east, you cannot go west. You must do your duty as a maid well. If you make me unhappy, humph, you know the consequences. Yes, if you make me unhappy, humph, you know the consequences. Princess Nan Feng wanted to chop Qin Feng into pieces right away, but for the sake of Fang Chang and the other warriors, she decided to hold back. So how are you going to persuade the Six Paths Emperor? That's a secret. As a maid, you ask too many questions. Just obediently warm my bed. Qin Feng thought to himself, I can't tell her that I know they will be released unconditionally in 15 days because of the heavenly mystery card. He tapped Princess Nan Feng's teacup. What are you standing there for? Pour me some tea, and don't forget to warm my bed. As for that robe, let me put it on you so you can be cooler. Hearing these words, Princess Nan Feng was both angry and embarrassed, but she was currently begging Qin Feng so she could only swallow her anger. For continuing to humiliate the white moonlight, Qin Feng received another 10,000 villain points. Meanwhile, in the Great Xia, the Qin family, Qin Hao was sitting cross-legged, practicing cultivation. Beside him was an old man, who was the rock spirit that Qin Feng had left for Qin Hao before. Suddenly, Qin Hao opened his eyes with a loud roar. At that moment, a powerful aura spread out from his body, filling the entire room and blowing everything away. Boom, boom, not bad at all. After seven years of effort, Qin Hao has reached the seventh level of transcendence, his physique comparable to that of an ancient beast. With full force, he can definitely kill a spirit martial cultivator. Looking at Qin Hao, the old man couldn't help but smile with satisfaction, reminiscing about his own glorious past. I heard that my elder brother has just broken through the ninth level of transcendence. Finally, I'm about to catch up to him. Qin Hao felt the abundant energy in his body and couldn't help but smile. Brother, wait for me. One day I will fight you. The old man nodded in agreement, saying that Qin Hao was the most fearsome warrior he had ever seen. At the age of 12, he reached the seventh level of transcendence, and he used a perverted method to train his body. With full force, Qin Hao could definitely fight Qin Feng. His three-year relationship with Lin Shinner, I wonder if she regrets her decision. Qin Hao not only wanted to challenge Qin Feng, but also to wash away the shame that Lin Shinner had brought upon the family. Going back to a month ago, Lin Shinner and her servants came to the Qin family, ostensibly to visit, but in reality to break off the engagement. Qin Tian was quite surprised. Why break off the engagement? That's right, we're breaking off the engagement. Lin Shinner confirmed, seven years ago, my father betrothed me to Qin Hao, entirely because he valued your position as venerable. He is the patriarch of the Qin family, and your elder brother has the aptitude of a great emperor. But now Qin Hao's venerable bone has been taken away. He is no longer the patriarch, and Qin Feng has fled to the Yin Yue imperial dynasty. Meanwhile, you yourself have only had mediocre abilities for the past seven years. Lin Shinner picked up her teacup and said disdainfully, I am the little princess of Tianxin City. I should at least be worthy of a newly emerged heaven's chosen. How could a mediocre person like Qin Hao be worthy of marrying me? You dare to insult me? Qin Tian was furious, almost losing control of himself. Ever since the Qin family had met with misfortune, he had also thought about breaking off the engagement with the Lin family. But to be so blatantly humiliated was indeed too much. Much. Sensing that the situation was changing, the Lin family servants immediately surrounded the princess. Protect the princess. While the Lin family servants shouted, Lin Shiner still shouted fearlessly. You dare to attack me? Try it! Qin Tian angrily slapped the table and stood up. 
his emotions flaring up violently. My son Qin Hao, how can he bear such humiliation from you? Today I will teach you a lesson on behalf of Qin Hao. At this moment a young but resolute voice rang out. Father, can I make my own decisions about my marriage? Everyone looked towards the door of the room and saw a young man with a majestic appearance, with sword-like eyebrows and eyes that exuded a sense of courage that was rare in ordinary people. Why are you here? Seeing Qin Hao, Qin Tian's eyes were filled with pity. His two sons had sacrificed too much for the family. His eldest son, Qin Feng, had gouged out his younger brother's venerable bone for the sake of the family and had been forced to flee, living in endless pursuit until his death. His second son, Qin Hao, had had his tendons and bones cut at the age of five, and seven years later, he had to train like a madman, tempering his body and condensing his meridians until he fainted. Now, his fiance had come to his house to break off the engagement, milling him. As a father, Qin Tian was heartbroken, but as the head of the family, he could only swallow his tears, silently enduring. At this moment, Qin Hao looked at Lin Xiner coldly. Thirty years east of the river, thirty years west of the river. Do not look down on the poor young man. I may be crippled now, but in the future, I will definitely rise again. Lin Xiner shivered, terrified by Qin Hao's gaze. You pretend to be calm. In three years, we will fight in the imperial capital. If you lose, you will publicly annul the engagement in front of everyone. What? How funny. Why do you need to be so complicated if you want to annul the engagement? Looking at Lin Xiner, who had completely changed from her childhood, Qin Hao's heart did not waver at all. He calmly picked up a pen and wrote a letter of annulment. The handwriting was very graceful, making it hard to believe that this was a letter of annulment. Soon, Qin Hao presented the letter with the two clear words annulment in front of Lin Xiner. You dare to annul our engagement? Lin Xiner immediately collapsed, her eyes wide open in disbelief that Qin Hao would dare to annul her engagement. What made her even more miserable was that while writing the letter of annulment, Qin Hao showed no regret, as if she were just dust on the side of the road that had been discarded. See you in the imperial capital in three years. Qin Hao looked straight into her eyes, not afraid of any challenge. Then he threw the letter aside and left in a majestic manner. We will settle this, Lin Xiner. I will definitely defeat you all to prove myself, and at the same time, wash away the shame that you brought to the Qin family. Suddenly, a warning bell rang out in the Qin family. What's going on? Qin Hao, who had been in a daze, jumped up from his chair, ran to the door and saw a group of warriors carrying the banner of the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty charging in, and then fell down in front of Qin Tian. My lord, we are here to congratulate you, patriarch of the Qin family. The man bowed very respectfully, and then clapped his hands as a signal. Immediately, afterwards, two large chests were brought in front of Qin Tian. Before he could react, the man opened the chests. A dazzling golden light immediately radiated out, causing everyone to exclaim involuntarily. What is this? I've never seen so much money in my life. Even Qin Hao was stunned. Qin Tian quickly regained his composure and said modestly, I am not close to the Six Paths Emperor. Why are you congratulating me? Of course it is to congratulate the patriarch on giving birth to a good son. Your son, Qin Feng, has defeated 100,000 warriors in the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty's life and death arena. With his own cultivation, he killed a true dragon who had entered the fifth level of the Tao and was therefore named the Third Saint Son by the Six Paths. What, the Third Saint Son? Qin Tian was shocked and almost fell to the ground. His heart was filled with joy. His son was so good. Qin Hao was also shocked beyond words. Qin Feng's talent is truly rare since ancient times. But for the sake of the family's plot, Qin Tian had to hide his joy and pretend to be resentful. Get out of here. I don't have such a monstrous son. Then he angrily kicked away the chests of treasures and chased the group out of the Qin family. Get out of here quickly. After everyone left, Qin Tian jumped into the pile of treasures. My treasures. My treasures. Qin Hao had no choice but to remind him, Father, keep your image. After half a night of torture, Princess Nanfeng finally fell asleep, exhausted at the table. While Qin Feng was still not satisfied, he immediately broke through to the second level of the spirit realm. Then he caressed his Dantian. Qin Feng couldn't help but exclaim, Fang Chang, ah, Fang Chang, not only is your wife very soft, even your treasure is wonderful. Since integrating the Buddhist relic, Qin Feng's Dantian had been continuously releasing pure energy. Apart from a portion that nourished the great Yuan Heavenly Dragon, the rest was used to break through. This is great. Suddenly, Qin Feng jumped out of bed in shock. I almost forgot that there is still a dragon in the space. Qin Feng opened the space and saw that the black dragon was still sleeping soundly. He walked out of the door and the movement woke up 
Princess Nanfeng. Seeing Qin Feng suddenly appear in front of her, she panicked and clenched her fists. What do you want to do? I only sell my art, not my body. Seeing Princess Nanfeng's reaction, Qin Feng enjoyed teasing her even more. I sell my art, not my body. Did I promise anything? Qin Feng's words were like a bolt from the blue to Princess Nanfeng. From the beginning, she had been worried about this when she asked Qin Feng for help. But she did not expect that he would really try to take advantage of her. Qin Feng decided to take advantage of the opportunity and slowly approached Princess Nanfeng. She backed away and bumped into the table. Qin Feng said, Princess, since you ask me for help, you must pay a corresponding price. It's so late at night, it's just the two of us. Can't we do that? No, it can't be like this. Just as Princess Nanfeng was about to be forced, Qin Feng suddenly picked up the teacup and drank it all. Clang, clang. Then he pushed her out the door and waved his hand. It's late. Go to bed early. There will be more fun waiting for you tomorrow. At this moment, the system announced, successfully intimidated the white moonlight in the heart of the Son of Heaven's Chosen and received 1,000 villain points. While Qin Feng was thinking about how to deal with the dragon's body, a charming voice rang out. Little Qingzi, you already have your own Thuy Truk Peak. Are you going to leave your sister alone in the Moon God Palace? It's Sister Yue Shen and Ziyan. Qin Feng immediately dispelled the gloominess and happily ran to the two beauties. How could that be? I said since I was young that I would repay your life-saving grace with my body. I will stay by your side for the rest of my life. You fool. Yu Wei Shen laughed with her. Qin Feng was still the little boy who had first met her in the Moon God Palace and had been clamoring to marry her. Seven years had passed, and Qin Feng was still as devoted as he had been in the beginning, which proved that she was really attractive and could attract such an innocent young man. Damn it, I'm so mad. Ziyan beside her was so angry that her face turned red. All day long, you only think about my aunt. Fuck, you're really good. Yu Shen immediately became serious. Tomorrow morning, come with me to the Heavenly Red Academy to meet someone. The Six Paths Emperor personally chose a master for you. Who is it, sister? Seeing Yu Shen's expression, Qin Feng was worried that she had encountered some trouble. Ziyan explained that the master was personally selected for you by the Six Paths Emperor. He is the most knowledgeable person in the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty. Not only is he proficient in the arts of Qin, Qi, calligraphy, and painting, but he is also proficient in the martial arts of the Hundred Schools. He is also very knowledgeable in alchemy, qi cultivation, and talismans. He has even done in-depth research on special physiques. Qin Feng pondered for a moment. Could it be Di Xu? That's right, it's him, Ziyan exclaimed. How did you know? Qin Feng said that he was well-read and knew a lot, so everyone knew such a great person. Then he asked Yue Shen, but Di Xu has already been? Why did the Six Paths choose him to be my master? Of course, it's because he saw your talent. The emperor wants to see if you can stimulate him and revive his spirit. Stimulate him how? Qin Feng was completely confused. He wondered how he was supposed to stimulate a talented person like Di Xu. Could it be that I have to wear women's clothes and seduce him? Thinking of this, Qin Feng shuddered and felt his hair stand on end. No, it can't be. I'm a good person, and I can't do such a vulgar thing. The story goes that a hundred years ago, Di Xu was Qin Feng's master and was also one of the four ancient geniuses. Thanks to his beautiful appearance and the super qualities of a trainee, he quickly conquered the hearts of the ancient female students. Di Xu was the prince charming of their dreams, but Di Xu didn't care about the mortals. He was always looking for his other half. Finally, a kind-hearted girl and gentle appeared in Di Xu's sight. The two fell in love and got married. When she was ten months pregnant, her wife's identity as a great demon was exposed. When the ancient orthodox sects heard the news, they forced Di Xu to kill the child who was less than a month old. Because in the ancient world, humans and demons could not coexist. It was an insurmountable boundary. Although Di Xu pointed his sword at her, she still didn't believe that he would kill their child. A Xu, look how cute our child is, sleeping so soundly. Seeing that Di Xu was hesitating, the sex immediately urged Di Xu, What are you hesitating for? Humans and demons cannot coexist. Don't be confused anymore. Kill the child quickly. The wife hugged her child and begged them to leave. At this moment, she was desperate, but she still had hope in Di Xu. A Xu, you once said that no matter what happens, we will protect our child forever, right? Even if it's a half demon, as long as the two of us are united, we will definitely protect it for the rest of its life. Trust me and put down your sword. Let's go home. In the face of her plea, Di Xu seemed to have made up his mind. His eyes flashed, and he immediately used a spell to snatch the baby away. No, don't. Before the wife could finish speaking, Di Xu had already slashed down on the cradle. Thump! The sound of something falling to the ground rang out. 
The baby's cries gradually weakened until they stopped. The wife crawled over to her child trembling and stroked the child who was no longer breathing. She was stunned and couldn't understand why Dishu was so cruel. He had once sworn to protect her and their children for the rest of their lives. At this moment, the mother's mind completely collapsed. She hugged her child tightly and cried miserably, her cries of pain echoing through the heavens and the earth. It seemed that even the heavens were sighing for the fate of this woman. Meanwhile, after witnessing the scene, the masterminds from the orthodox sects could not remain calm either. The demon has been destroyed. If there's nothing else, let's adjourn. Then we'll take our leave. It was only at this moment that the wife realized that all of her husband's vows were false. Faced with the boundary between humans and demons, the husband she loved the most chose to kill their child. Dishu, from now on, you and I are enemies. Then she controlled the sword on the ground and stabbed straight at Dishu. But when it was 0.01 millimeters from his forehead, the blade stopped. Stab me, just like I killed our child just now. Don't hesitate, just like you killed our child just now. Her tears had dried up, leaving only boundless resentment. Although she was trembling with anger, she still loved Dishu in her heart. She threw the sword to the ground. Remember, this is the last time I love you. From now on, we will never meet again in this life or any other. After she finished speaking, she turned into a wisp of green smoke and took her child away. Back in the Imperial Palace, Dishu wandered the streets. His ears were filled with the whispers of passers-by. Unexpectedly, a person who looked so gentle was so cruel as to kill his own child. He's worse than a beast. A rotten egg flew at Dishu, who was lost in his thoughts. Damn it, why don't you just die? Dishu turned away, as emotionless as a walking corpse. What are you looking at, you piece of trash? Then countless pieces of trash flew towards Dishu. From then on, the warrior Dishu locked himself in his room and drank day after day to forget the painful memories of the past. After telling the story of Dishu, Zian sighed. Senior Dishu must be very regretful. Just because of the boundary between humans and demons, he killed his own child. So people like Qin Feng, who like to cosplay as cat demons and fox spirits, could be used as tools for evil. Speaking of revenge, Qin Feng glanced at Princess Nanfeng with a sinister look. Or should I have her cosplay as a cat witch tomorrow? Seeing that Qin Feng was silent, Ziyan turned around in surprise. She found that he was staring at Princess Nanfeng with a silly smile. You evil disciple. I begged for a long time just now to stay in the Thuy Truck Peak, and you dare to look at her in front of me. Don't you think I'm attractive? Qin Feng was shocked to realize realize that he had been so preoccupied with Princess Nanfeng that he had forgotten that Ziyan was still here. With no other choice, he raised his hand and punched Ziyan lightly on the shoulder. Bam! Qin Feng rolled over and pressed Ziyan down, wrapping his arms around her waist and pressing his body against hers. Now you're the most attractive one. Then from now on, I'll only look at you. Qin Feng's sudden action made Ziyan blush, and she quickly covered her mouth. You little brat, where did you learn such sweet words? At first, she had only intended to tease him, but unexpectedly, she had been charmed by him. Seeing Ziyan flustered, Qin Feng chuckled. Senior sister, I'm so sleepy. Let's talk about it tomorrow. And he raised his hands and pleaded with Ziyan. Senior sister, let's go to sleep. At this moment, in Ziyan's eyes, Qin Feng had become reliable, no longer the little boy he used to be. Without hesitation, Ziyan held Qin Feng's hand tightly. Mm, she nodded, her heart filled with happiness. It was so warm and sweet. Not long after, the two of them fell asleep. Qin Feng lay down on the bed, snoring soundly. While Ziyan looked at him sleeping, she muttered to herself, You little brat, you still care about me more. That's probably why you let me stay, and not that other girl. Looking at Qin Feng, Ziyan smiled with satisfaction. In the past, I could protect you, but now you have grown up into a real man. Meeting you is my good fortune. Meeting you is my good fortune. Seeing a man and a woman lying alone in the same bed, Little White wondered, This situation is a bit complicated. There's a beautiful woman next to him, but he's still sleeping soundly. He's not moved at all. He's as pure as jade. Either he doesn't know how to please women, or something's wrong with him. Meanwhile, in the Lama Palace, a seductive figure was undressing. Even through the veil, her outstanding figure was still evident. It was Fairy Vulan, who had just returned to the palace after a few days of knockout competition. Her body was covered in sweat, so Vulan decided to take a comfortable bath. But ever since she left the battlefield, she had always felt a sharp pain in her lower back. Vulan asked the palace maid to bring her a mirror. When she looked at her back in the mirror, she saw a line of words written by Qin Feng. Qin Feng had been here. Immediately, Vulan realized that it was Qin Feng who had caused this. She quickly put on her bathrobe and jumped out of the tub, preparing to find Qin Feng to take revenge. She swore that she would tear him into a thousand pieces. 
Fortunately, the palace maid stopped her in time. Princess, calm down, you're not wearing anything yet. Vulin's angry screams echoed throughout the Lama Palace. Damn, Chin Feng, I will definitely avenge you. Ding ding, congratulations to the host for humiliating the chosen daughter of heaven, rewarded with a hundred thousand villain points. Chin Feng woke up, not knowing what was going on, and thought to himself, Vulin, this girl has been home for so long, she can't be taking a bath now, can she? The next morning, Chin Feng went to the Tianhong Library with Yu Shen and Zi Yan. It was said that Di Xu was currently living a debauched life here. On the surface, it looked like an ordinary library, but Qin Feng could sense an awe-inspiring aura emanating from the surroundings. The students here were all masters. Even the freshmen were at the Tao initiation realm, while the rest were at least at the heavenly venerable realm. And he even met quite a few students who were above the nascent soul realm. It was truly worthy of being the cradle of talents for the Yin Yue imperial dynasty. Qin Feng could clearly feel the great pressure. With his cultivation at the second level of the spirit martial realm, he felt like a loner in a sea of people. The students were also surprised to see someone who had reached the spirit martial realm here. Since its establishment, Tianhong Library had never had a student at such a low level. But when they learned that it was Qin Feng, the third holy son, everyone was not too surprised. His performance in the knockout round was also quite impressive. The third holy son is here. This is great. There's going to be some fun. The students laughed. Let's wait and see. Because in the library, Qin Feng was not the only holy son. In the previous knockout round, two of them had appeared in succession, and now they were also studying here. The two of them had fought each other to the death. Students were also divided into two factions, supporting their own holy sons. The appearance of the third holy son would definitely make the situation even more chaotic. Ever since they became the holy sons of the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty, all three of them knew that only one of them could reach the highest position. Just then, a cold voice, gritting its teeth, rang out. Qin Feng. Qin Feng's eyes lit up and he exclaimed in his heart, Damn, I just broke through to the second level of the spirit martial realm, and Vulan has already come to me on her own accord. In that case, I will have a place to spend my villain points, and I will be able to break through to the third level of the spirit martial realm tonight. When she saw Qin Feng, Vulan looked at him with hostile eyes. She could not control the wild power in her body. Just thinking about what Qin Feng had done, a blade-like gust of wind swept over, blowing Qin Feng's clothes apart. The sword qi that Vulan released also carried an extreme cold causing everything to freeze. It turned out that she was the profound yin body. Qin Feng had heard that Vulin was the profound yin body, but he had never witnessed her power. He did not expect her to emit such a terrifying cold. Even at the heavenly venerable realm, it would be difficult to resist. But instead of dodging, Qin Feng rushed forward with excitement. He discovered that the cold of the profound yin body could actually stimulate the growth of his invincible celestial body. Under the attack of the cold, his body continuously grew stronger. The students were completely stunned, as if they had seen a ghost in broad daylight. Others stayed away from the cold source, afraid of being frozen if they were slow. But Qin Feng rushed forward willingly, and his body was not frozen at all. What kind of monster is this? Yu Shen was extremely surprised. She could not believe that Qin Feng's true strength was even stronger than in the knockout round. Boom! The two of them collided with a loud bang. A terrifying cold spread out along with shards of ice. The surrounding temperature immediately dropped below zero degrees. Those who were nearby and did not have time to escape were frozen into statues. Before Vulan could react, Qin Feng pressed his lips against her cherry red lips, sucking the terrifying cold into his body. Vulan opened her eyes wide, moaning in pain. Unexpectedly, Qin Feng had kissed Vulan. Ding ding, congratulations to the host for conquering the chosen daughter of heaven, rewarded with 100,000 villain points. Witnessing this scene, Zian was stunned into paralysis. Damn it, he grew up with me but has never kissed me, yet he dares to kiss those two. In anger, Zian grabbed Little White, pinching its face hard. Ouch. How can you treat a little rabbit like this? Little White's round face was distorted by the pinching. It took out a notebook and wrote down, This year, this month, I, the rabbit, have suffered a pain that is not commensurate with my age. Compensation of 20 carats is required, you shameless thing. Vulan angrily pushed Qin Feng away, disgustedly wiping her lips. Qin Feng took a deep breath, feeling his body gradually becoming colder. Seeing Vulan's face flushed with anger, Qin Feng continued to charge at her. But after taking only two steps, he raised his hand to the sky and pulled out a blue bra embroidered with lotus flowers. Vulan choked on her anger and hurriedly covered her chest. 
Ding, ding, congratulations to the host for bullying the chosen daughter of heaven, rewarded with 100,000 villain points. Awesome, Chin Feng laughed. As Chin Feng was about to take off Wulan's bra, a man looking like a beggar staggered over. Holding a jug of wine, he took a sip and gestured around. Immediately, the ice that had frozen the students began to melt. But instead of being grateful, the students retreated as if avoiding the plague. It stinks so much. Hurry up and leave. Seeing the person who had come, Yuashen's eyes narrowed. Chin Feng, stop this farce. Are you still not going to stop? How long do you want to continue causing trouble? After Yua Shen's words, Wulan did not dare to continue. She could only angrily scold Qin Feng as a hooligan. I'm not done with you yet, but Qin Feng still smiled cheekily. Ah, it's over. Then he quickly ran behind Yua Shen's sister. I'm back. Just as he was having fun, Qin Feng suddenly noticed the man in front of him. It was Emperor Xu, one of the four ancient prodigies. From the man, Qin Feng smelled a terrifying aura. Oh, Yua Shen, Emperor Xu was drunk. Seeing someone blocking his way, he invited Yu Shen to drink with him. But Yu Shen ignored him and said in a calm tone, Brother Xu, the emperor asked me to bring wine to congratulate you. You have also found a talented disciple. I wonder if you are interested. A disciple? Emperor Xu asked drunkenly. What weapon does he use? Qin Feng answered sincerely. Senior Emperor Xu, your disciple uses hacks. Emperor Xu was stunned. Although he was drunk, his mind was still very clear. What the hell is a hack? But Zian glanced at Qin Feng and said politely, Senior, don't listen to his nonsense. He practices swordsmanship and has already comprehended the third level of the invincible sword shadow and created two divine level sword techniques. Furthermore, he has the ancient dual pupils and the power of the sovereign bones. Just now in the ring, he defeated the great dragon. Hearing this, Emperor Xu almost dropped his jug of wine. His face showed a hint of shock. At first, he thought that he could just pass on a few things to get it over with, but he did not expect to encounter such a monster. Seeing Emperor Xu's reaction, Yu Shen said, The Emperor said that if you accept him as your disciple, it will definitely be beneficial. Emperor Xu laughed at himself. I haven't even taught myself well, so how can I have the qualifications to teach others? Then he continued to drink, immersing himself in the drunkenness, living each day as it came. Yu Shen sighed with regret. Unexpectedly, the events of the past had such a strong impact on Emperor Xu. Even a martial artist like Qin Feng was rejected by him. Wait a minute, Senior Emperor Xu. Qin Feng suddenly said seriously, Actually, I just want to learn about your failed life. Both Yue Shen and Ziyan were stunned, not understanding Qin Feng's meaning. Qin Feng began to lament, I have mastered half of a divine level cultivation technique since I was born, and cultivated the 33 heavens creation technique. No matter how badly I am injured, I can recover quickly. At the age of three, I broke through to the origin opening realm, and at the age of eight, I surpassed the transcendent realm. I have also mastered sword intent and the invincible sword heart. Now that I am only 15 years old, I already have many treasures such as the ancient dual pupils, the sovereign bones. My life has been too smooth, causing me to not feel any pressure at all. Senior, do you understand this pain? After listening to this, everyone wanted to bang their heads against the wall. It was obvious that he was living too comfortably. Emperor Xu was also confused and did not know how to react. Others begged for such a perfect life, but he complained about it like this. I beg Senior Emperor Xu to fulfill my wish. Qin Feng ignored everyone's gazes and decided to become an undercover agent for Emperor Xu first. Then, I will wait for the right opportunity to settle the score with those two holy sons. Hearing this, Yu Shen panicked and pulled Ziyan into her arms. Sister, hold me tight. We are going to be thrown away by Emperor Zhu. But unexpectedly, Qin Feng was not rejected. Emperor Xu did not believe that Qin Feng would be obedient at all and simply waved his hand and took his jug of wine and left. Then I will come to pay my respects to you tomorrow, senior. Qin Feng said and then turned to Yu Shen and gave her a thumbs up looking confident. Everything happened so quickly that Yue Shen exclaimed in disbelief. It was indeed the right decision to let Qin Feng appear. After successfully coaxing Emperor Xu, Yue Shen understood that her task was done. The rest depended on Qin Feng's efforts. She instructed, remember to study hard when you enter the library and don't neglect your studies. I know, sister, Qin Feng replied. In fact, Qin Feng's purpose in entering the school was not to study, but to take down the remaining two holy sons. In that case, all the young ladies in the school will belong to Qin Feng. Let's go, Ziyan. Let's go home. But Ziyan did not want to leave, and she also wanted to enter the school to be with Qin Feng. Yue Shen seemed to understand Ziyan's mood and sighed, 
long-lasting relationships need space. Trust him and give him some space. Although reluctantly, Ziyan understood the meaning in Yu Shen's words. Yes, auntie, let's go home. After Yu Shen and Ziyan left, two figures sneaked up to Qin Feng. Without waiting for Qin Feng to speak, the man spoke first. Greetings, holy son. My name is Chen San, and I am the third son of the Chen family of the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty. I would like to serve you and become your slave. Then he pushed a girl out. This is my younger sister, Chen Kexin. You can call her Kexin or Sheener. Greetings, holy son. The sudden appearance of the two people made Qin Feng excited. Why do you want to give your sister to me? The man replied, If I can serve the holy son, even if I have to sign a soul contract, I am willing to give my sister to you. No, I am a man of integrity. Qin Feng said resolutely, You want to give your sister to me and take advantage of me. You also want to use this opportunity to leech off of me for generations to come. You two brothers are really smart. Qin Feng then pushed the two people away. But after a moment, both of them disappeared mysteriously mysteriously, as if they had never appeared. The scene was very strange. Qin Feng looked around in search. Wait, where are they? At this moment, a familiar figure appeared in front of Qin Feng. It was Wulan. Qin Feng looked at her with a smile, like a hooligan looking at a young girl. Wow, we meet again. Qin Feng ran over quickly and pulled Wulan, who was on her way to the bathroom. Get out of my way first. I'll settle accounts with you later. Already feeling uncomfortable, Wulan was even more annoyed by Qin Feng blocking her way, but she still had to endure it. No, the villain points are still 50,000 short. Qin Feng stopped her. She couldn't go anywhere. What do you want? Wulan didn't understand why this guy kept following her. Qin Feng thought for a moment and then said, What I want, you will be angry. Hearing this, Wulan gritted her teeth in anger. She wanted to bite Qin Feng to death. As the daughter of the Blue Devil, she had never been bullied by anyone. But now, she was constantly being provoked by Qin Feng. Recalling the time she had been forced and the engraving on her back, Wulan became furious and couldn't control herself. She clenched her fists and punched Qin Feng. Powerful aura emitted sound waves, which startled Qin Feng. As expected of a chosen daughter of heaven, her strength is really strong. But immediately, Qin Feng used his never-fail move, stealing the dragon's heart. He reached out and grabbed Wulan. Qin Feng held Wulan's left hand tightly and put his right arm around her waist. Do you like me? Why do you keep throwing yourself into my arms? Because Qin Feng bullied and took advantage of the chosen daughter of heaven at the same time, he gained another 200,000 villain points. Who likes you? You're a big villain. Wulan pushed Qin Feng's hand away and wanted to cut off all ties with him. But as soon as she pushed Qin Feng away, she stumbled and fell into his arms. Wulan blushed and raised her fists to punch Qin Feng's shoulder repeatedly. Let go of me, you big pervert. Seeing this scene, Qin Feng's blood boiled. Desire in his body almost broke free from his control. You're pretending to be difficult, which makes it very difficult for me. In the half a month he spent at the Scarlet Sky Academy, Qin Feng either drank alcohol and slept or harassed the female students and bullied Wulan. Not only that, its cultivation level had also continuously broken through six minor stages. But with such a fast breakthrough speed and self-destruction of his foundation, Emperor, to couldn't stand it, he didn't want to see a rough jade like him go to waste. He had to consolidate Qin Feng's foundation. Wake up, boy, you can't go on like this. Emperor Tu kicked Qin Feng, but Qin Feng slept as if he were dead, not reacting at all. At this moment, Qin Feng smiled with satisfaction and yawned. What's wrong? What's wrong with me? As expected of the wine made by Senior Emperor Tu, the energy inside really helps to purify my Azure Emperor's body. Seeing that Qin Feng was still so brazen, Emperor Tu got angry and snatched the wine jar from him. He really couldn't stand such a waste of talent. Qin Feng got up drunk, his eyes full of drowsiness. Oh, if Senior feels guilty, then help me with this. And he waved his hand and opened the storage space, and immediately the corpse of the giant dragon lay horizontally in front of the two of them. I would like to ask Senior to help me deal with this dragon corpse. As the most talented man in the Lunar Moon Empire, dealing with a dragon corpse was not a problem for Emperor Tu. But he worriedly said, but your foundation is... Before he finished speaking, Qin Feng had already disappeared from his original spot, along with the precious drinks that Emperor Tu had collected over the years. Looking at his disciple's figure, Emperor Tu was helpless and had a headache. He didn't understand what Qin Feng had gone through to self-destruct to such an extent. But Qin Feng's behavior reminded him of himself in the past. 
At the same time, he was also determined to help Qin Feng stabilize his foundation, not only for his disciple, but also because of a sense of guilt. At this moment, Fairy Wulan was walking in the corridor on the upper floor of the academy. Suddenly, she felt a chill in her chest, as if something was missing. Looking down, she saw a piece of white exposed. Wulan hurriedly covered her chest and shouted, Qin Feng, get out of here right now. It must be that bastard Qin Feng who stole her chest cloth. Wulan, your embroidery skills are getting worse. Qin Feng leaned against the door and said, Do you remember the first time I stole? There was a beautiful concave shape embroidered on the handkerchief. Why did you embroider a strawberry today? Wulan gritted her teeth, wanting to bite Qin Feng to death. Underwear was a private item, embroidered by her own hands. But Wulan's speed couldn't keep up with Qin Feng's stealing speed. How can you call it stealing when you're a scholar? Qin Feng said indignantly, That's robbery. I'm a scholar. Don't slander me. Wulan looked at him with disdain. Then she spat on the ground. You're worthy of being a scholar? Qin Feng raised his hand and warned, If you keep going like this, I won't show mercy. Wulan didn't believe that Qin Feng would dare to do anything too outrageous. In the end, he only had bad intentions and didn't do anything. But immediately afterwards, Qin Feng pushed Wulan hard against the wall. She panicked and covered her chest, her face full of worry. She didn't expect Qin Feng to be so bold. Feeling Qin Feng's hot breath and her own heart beating wildly, Wulun had no choice but to close her eyes and enjoy this moment. Come on, don't show mercy because I'm a weak flower. I like the wild style. What? Why isn't she resisting at all? Why aren't the villain points increasing? The unexpected situation stunned Qin Feng. He glanced at the dazed Wulun and left immediately. This is not normal at all. Normally, she would have slapped me by now. Or maybe she wants to take advantage of me today. Wulun's beauty was indeed very alluring, but Qin Feng was determined not to let her achieve her goal. Late at night, Qin Feng opened the system and saw that there were only 102.7 million villain points left. With the ratio of one foundation establishment pill to upgrade the realm and consolidate it, Qin Feng could buy two pills and directly break through from the 7th level realm to the 9th level realm. Then he would steal a few more bras to accumulate another 500,000 points and directly break through to the Tao initiation realm. Thinking of this, Qin Feng not nodded with satisfaction and swallowed all the pills like chicken eggs. The next morning, a pair of white hands gently knocked on Qin Feng's door. It was Princess Nanfeng in a sexy apron, bringing a tray of red grapes into Qin Feng's room. After giving the red grapes to Qin Feng, she asked in a hurry, The 15-day deadline is up. When will you release those arrogant disciples of the great Xia who were imprisoned? But Qin Feng didn't pay attention to her words and only stared at the red grapes and stammered, Wash, wash them. They're dirty. Hearing this, Princess Nanfeng angrily slammed her hand on Qin Feng's table. You're too much. I'm the princess of the great Xia dynasty. I know, but it's just washing grapes. Why are you so angry? Qin Feng was puzzled and didn't understand why the princess was so angry. Ignoring Qin Feng's reaction, the princess continued, I'm the princess who is most loved by my father. I was sent to the Yinyue dynasty to watch the life and death competition to improve my knowledge. At first, I thought I would return to the palace happily, but who would have thought that not only would the young master of Fang Chang disappear, my subordinates would also be imprisoned. The more the princess thought about it, the angrier she became, and finally she cried. A princess had to serve you like a maid. At first, I thought that if I endured it, I would be rewarded accordingly. But who would have thought that you would become more and more outrageous? At this time, the system notified, Master, you have threatened the chosen daughter of heaven, Bai Yueguang, and you have received 100,000 villain points. Making Bai Yueguang cry, and you have received another 100,000 villain points. What? I didn't threaten her. Qin Feng was once again confused, not knowing what to do. Wash it clean, wash it clean. You take the red grapes covered with dust. Why are you crying? I told you to wash these grapes. Qin Feng really didn't understand what was going on in the princess's mind. Qin Feng stood up and comforted Princess Nanfeng. From today onwards, you can return to the post house. Just wait for my news. Meanwhile, in the dungeon of the Imperial Palace, Qin Feng rushed over. As soon as he arrived, he saw a jailer holding the keys, preparing to open the door to release the arrogant disciples of the Great Xia. Wait, are you going to release those arrogant disciples of the Great Xia? After hearing the confirmation, Qin Feng told him to hand over the keys and lied that it was the Emperor's order. But in fact, he thought he had to run fast or else all the golden egg-laying ducks would fly away. Arriving at the cell of the martial artists, 
Qin Feng said that it was thanks to Princess Nan Feng that you were released. Great, we're finally rescued. The martial artists were overjoyed. Long live Princess Nan Feng. Qin Feng put up ten fingers. However, you know, I never do anything without being rewarded. Each of you just needs to pay 100,000 spirit stones. What? 100,000 spirit stones? Why don't you just rob us? The martial artists protested, but Qin Feng didn't give in. You were released thanks to the princess. You served me for 15 days at the Thuy Truk Peak, flattering me every day. But now you don't want to give me a hundred thousand spirit stones? What? He took advantage of the princess when she was in trouble? How shameless. The martial artists couldn't believe that the princess had to serve Qin Feng in order to save them. Qin Feng also knew that it was not easy to extort money from the martial artists. He sighed. I acted thoughtlessly. The princess had to do those things reluctantly in order to protect you. If this matter were to be spread out, then, finally, after a round of threats and enticements from Qin Feng, the young men of the Great Xia had no choice but to give in. In the end, the young men agreed to give 100,000 spirit stones. They bowed their heads. We will definitely send 100,000 spirit stones to young Master Qin's mansion as soon as possible. Furthermore, the matter between the princess and young Master Qin, we will definitely keep it a secret and not reveal it. The two people beside him also agreed. The princess made a great sacrifice to save us. We will definitely keep it a secret, as expected of smart people. Qin Feng was very satisfied. He hurriedly told everyone to return to the post house. Don't let the princess wait too long. Thank you, young master. After sending the young men away, Qin Feng took out his money bag and weighed it. He said to himself, the information gap is indeed effective in all ages. Wandering in the market, Qin Feng's gaze stopped at a shop. Give me two meat buns. Wrap them up. Yes, sir. While waiting for the food, Qin Feng heard a group of people chatting not far away. Have you heard about the recent horrific massacre in the city? Several cities were brutally slaughtered. Oh my god, the scene must have been terrible. Did they catch the culprit? I heard that it was all caused by the arrogant disciples of the great Xia's Fang Chang. It's too much. Those arrogant disciples of the great Xia are just wandering around and causing trouble in the territory of the Yinyue dynasty. I want to kill them all. Hearing this, Qin Feng immediately thought of Fang Chang. He quietly approached to listen more clearly. Speak softly. The Yin Yu dynasty and the Great Xia have not yet gone to war. If you talk nonsense, you will ruin the big picture. Qin Feng understood. It turned out that Fang Chang had massacred the cities. It was horrifying. It was hard to believe that a good person could become such a devil. I wonder how Princess Nanfeng will react when she hears this news. Forget it. I won't tell her for now. Meanwhile, at the Thu Truck Peak, Qin Feng was chewing on meat buns, singing and dancing on the tree-lined path. Young master, I finally met you. Before entering the courtyard, Qin Feng saw two men running out to greet him. Their eyes looked strange. To put it bluntly, we are all family. There's no need to beat around the bush. The man named Wan Ma rubbed his head, his finger pointing towards Miss Zian's room. She has arrived. Hearing this, Qin Feng's eyes lit up. He ran straight to the room. In the half a month he spent at the Heavenly Red Library, Qin Feng missed Yu Shen and Ziyan very much. In the seven years they lived together, he had come to regard Ziyan as his own elder sister. But Wan Ma quickly grabbed Qin Feng's wrist. Young master, wait. Miss Ziyan seems to be very angry. What's the matter? Could it be that I'm flirting with someone else's daughter? Qin Feng was annoyed when he heard this. You can insult my character, but you can't insult my taste. I have inherited the spirit of Jian An, the audacity of Wei Wu. How dare you insult me like this? With that, Qin Feng left the two helpless men behind and headed towards the room to see why Ziyan was so angry. But as soon as he entered the room, Qin Feng sensed something unusual. Why was Ziyan smashing things like this? More precisely, it was as if she was searching for something. Seeing Qin Feng, Ziyan immediately played the role of a willful young lady, throwing a pillow at him and scolding. Qin Feng, you bastard. You dare to come back here again? Qin Feng was stunned and hurriedly caught the flying pillow. His eyes were cold as he looked at Ziyan. Why are you looking at me with that kind of gaze? Who allowed you to look at me like that? Do you want me to tell my aunt? Qin Feng's gaze made Ziyan shudder, and she hurriedly scolded, You're not Ziyan. Qin Feng threw the pillow on the ground. In the seven years they lived together, he had come to understand Ziyan down to the last detail. She was a truly innocent girl, and Ziyan would never speak to him in such a tone, nor would she use Yuishen to threaten him. Even if he went out to find women, she would only stay at home 
and be sad by herself. Seeing this, the imposter still argued, I don't understand what you're talking about. Shut up, you audacious monster. You dare to impersonate Ziyan? Let me skin you alive. Qin Feng's aura suddenly surged. The Great River Sword technique was immediately activated, and a tidal wave of sword energy surged forth, as if it would flatten everything in its path. The Great River Sword technique was activated, and countless sword energies converged into a mighty river, rushing towards the fake Ziyan. Damn it! The fake Ziyan's voice suddenly became hoarse. Seeing that Qin Feng was really attacking, he stopped pretending and raised his hand to block the attack. With just one move, he tore apart the powerful sword energy. The fake Ziyan was amazed, as expected of a martial artist who has reached the peak of the immortal realm. Your strength is truly terrifying. However, I came here for the dragon pearl and the Buddhist relic. You have seen my strength, so step aside. Hearing this, Qin Feng chuckled. When it comes to being a professional villain, Qin Feng am the best. I'm always the one who robs others, not the other way around. You little punk, today I'll teach you a lesson. The fake Ziyan's aura flared up. Countless sinister demonic energies enveloped him. He wanted to see what else Qin Feng had up his sleeve. So let's enjoy it. Qin Feng stood up straight, his eyes gleaming with an unprecedented determination. His level of concentration was no less than when he faced the dragon. Seeing this, the fake Ziyan also felt Qin Feng's fighting spirit. Blood in his body boiled, and he wanted to fight Qin Feng for three hundred rounds. But then Qin Feng turned around and ran away, shouting, Sister Yue Shen, save me. The fake Ziyan was stunned. What was going on? Although he had heard that Qin Feng was cowardly and despicable, seeing it firsthand still shocked him. He really is a little brat who likes to fly planes. Too much. The young master saw Qin Feng running out of the tent, begging for help and the two men were stunned. It seemed that the boss was being abused by his family. So let's run after him. We can't let the boss lose face. Immediately, the two men also ran after Qin Feng and began to act like movie stars. Save me, it's horrible. Witnessing the performance of these two guys, Qin Feng was also dumbfounded. They were even better actors than him. Meanwhile, the fake Ziyan in the room was so angry that he wanted to vomit blood. These three master and servants are really shameless. Qin Feng, you may have escaped this morning, but you won't be able to escape tonight. Let's see how long you can hide. After saying that, the fake Ziyan transformed into a swarm of bats and flew away. An hour later, Qin Feng and the two men sneaked back behind the tent. Is he gone? Qin Feng asked cautiously. Tian Jun looked around, but Ziyan was nowhere to be seen. He confirmed that she was definitely gone. Then Qin Feng told the two of them about Ziyan's strange behavior. Tian Jun said solemnly that it was the Hundred Transformations Demon King. He cultivated a strange cultivation technique, which allowed him to transform into countless forms, from men and women to small animals. And it wasn't the kind of ordinary face changing. His physiological structure would completely change. Wan Ma was really excited at this moment. If he could capture him alive and bring him back, he would definitely be able to do many interesting things. While they were chatting happily, Xiao Bai suddenly passed by, singing the song of the white rabbit. Very white, very white, with erect ears, cut the artery, cut the vein, and then lie still. Hearing the sound, Qin Feng immediately turned around and cautiously drew his long sword and pointed it at Xiao Bai's neck. Tell me the truth. You're the Hundred Transformations Demon King in disguise, aren't you? Don't resist. Tell me the truth. What is the Hundred Transformations Demon King? Xiao Bai was so scared that its white fur stood on end. It even dropped its favorite carrot. Seeing this, Qin Feng's face darkened. So how can you prove that you are a rabbit? Looking at Qin Feng's eyes, Xiao Bai was at a loss and didn't know what to do. Wan Ma also showed a fierce look and threatened it. I, I am a rabbit. Xiao Bai was so flustered that it couldn't even speak properly. It was like asking Qin Feng to prove that he was a human. Suddenly, Xiao Bai had an idea. It said, the tall mountain shakes. The ancient trees of Xishan have stood for thousands of years. Qin Feng was startled and immediately replied, the gate faces the sea. The water of Sane has flowed for 10,000 years. It's really Xiao Bai, I'm sorry. Qin Feng was overjoyed. This was the secret code that Qin Feng had learned from the dark romance novels when he was young. He often muttered it to remember it. In the seven years that he had lived with Qin Feng, Xiao Bai had also accidentally learned this secret code. Qin Feng scratched his head in embarrassment and removed the long sword from Xiao Bai's neck. It was obvious that this was his pet rabbit. Xiao Bai cried bitterly and at the same time took out a notebook 
and wrote down the date. My rabbit was scared to death by Qin Feng and needs to be compensated with 10 carrots. Just then, a breeze blew through the bamboo forest, accompanied by a faint fragrance. What is this? Wan Ma and Tianjin looked at each other in surprise, not understanding why there was a strange fragrance. Before the two of them could investigate, they both suddenly felt dizzy. Their legs went weak and they fell to the ground. They were exhausted and had no strength left. Haha, -ha, you two have been poisoned by me. A hundred transformations, Demon King turned back and laughed wickedly. It's useless even if you shout. Now let's see where you can run. A flock of bats flew into the bamboo forest, forming a human figure wearing a black cloak, its face hidden, but just by its appearance, one could tell that it was a villain. Qin Feng looked at the two men with suspicion. Suddenly, he remembered that he had the ability to be immune to all poisons. Poison can carrots detoxify it. Xiao Bai panicked and immediately ate a carrot. What? Why was this guy defeated so easily? A hundred transformations, Demon King was stunned. His poison had the effect of paralyzing the whole body, and even nascent soul cultivators could not avoid it. But Qin Feng and the rabbit were still jumping around. Qin Feng didn't seem to take the hundred transformations Demon King seriously, and he amused himself by groping the two helpless men. They really couldn't shout because they were poisoned. The hundred transformations Demon King couldn't help but curse, feeling that Qin Feng somewhat looked down on him. Even though Qin Feng and the rabbit were not poisoned, he was still determined to seize the dragon pearl and the Buddhist relic. But he didn't rush into the attack, but instead activated his villainous nature. Qin Feng, your hands and feet have been poisoned by the world's number one poison. It's useless even if you shout. The hundred transformations Demon King said coldly, if you don't want them to be crippled, hand over the dragon pearl and the Buddhist relic obediently. Is this called the world's number one poison? It will only take me a few minutes for them to jump around again. Qin Feng said disdainfully. Then he took out a bottle of medicine called Even So's Must Go Mad. Tianjun and Wan Ma were horrified and wanted to shout to stop Qin Feng, but they couldn't. They were really poisoned and couldn't shout. Don't worry, I'll save you right away. Seeing the two of them winking constantly, Qin Feng understood and opened the lid of the medicine bottle. Immediately, Tianjun and Wan Ma opened their eyes in horror. They felt flames burning their bodies, but they still couldn't move. It was like a bullet had been loaded, but the gun was jammed, about to explode. Strange, why didn't it work? Qin Feng looked at the medicine bottle in surprise. Theoretically, even impotent people should have a reaction after drinking it. Why did Tianjun and Wan Ma drink it without any reaction? Or should he give them a few more pounds? At the same time, he was also very curious about this so-called world's number one poison. It really was a great supplement for killing people and burning corpses in the and carrying on the prime minister's will. Do you think the world's number one poison is just a rumor? I advise you to hand over the dragon pearl and the Buddhist relic obediently, or they will be completely crippled. Hundred transformations, Demon King warned. He really is a villain. He talks a lot. If it were me, I would have already made my move. Qin Feng couldn't help but criticize the villain's limited intelligence. Not worth wasting my breath. Then Qin Feng began to entice him. Even if I give you the dragon pearl and the Buddhist relic, with my talent, it will only take me a short time to surpass you. Moreover, with my personality, do you think I will spare you in the future? The Hundred Transformations Demon King was upset and had the intention of killing Qin Feng. But Qin Feng remained calm and continued. Even if you want to kill me to eliminate future troubles, do do you think the moon god will forgive you easily? She has invested too much in me in the past seven years and even made me the third holy son of the Yin Moon dynasty. Killing me would mean letting the moon god's investment go down the drain. Moreover, the Six Paths Emperor will not let you go, whether it is for the face of the Yin Moon dynasty or for the grudge of killing the chicken to scare the monkey. Will you still be able to live in peace in the future? You're getting old. Don't act recklessly anymore. Think carefully before you do anything. Qin Feng continued, even if you get the dragon pearl and the Buddhist relic, your strength will only increase by a little. But if you do business with me, buy and sell. The hundred transformations, Demon King was a little confused and had to ask the opinion of the villain expert. Qin Feng smiled, you give me the formula for the poison that can't be shouted, and I will show you how to achieve the position of Great Emperor. The position of Great Emperor? The hundred transformations, Demon King was excited. He exclaimed in his heart, this is a great deal. The poison that can't be shouted is only the world's number one poison. It can't be compared to the position of Great Emperor. The two are not on the same level at all. Tianjun and Wanma closed their eyes in despair. They no longer had any hope 
for the method of achieving the position of great emperor that Qin Feng had mentioned. They knew that Qin Feng must be referring to the method of the square field. But such a childish lie, how could it deceive a master like the Hundred Transformations Demon King? Wait a minute, you're not lying to me, are you? The Hundred Transformations Demon King suddenly became alert. He remembered that Qin Feng was a shameless person, and might be deliberately stalling for time to call for help from the moon god. Rest assured, I, Qin Feng, am a righteous Confucianist. I swear to heaven that I am not lying. I can guarantee that this method is as simple as riding a horse. Qin Feng patted his chest and assured, Do you think I would believe you? The position of great emperor is not a white turnip growing in the field that you can pick whenever you want. The Hundred Transformations Demon King looked at Qin Feng with a suspicious look. Do you think I'm a first grader? Qin Feng thought for a while and said, Have you heard of a very special kind of fate in the world called the Six Positions Emperor? Six Positions Emperor? The Hundred Transformations Demon King was stunned and then he let out a strange laugh. I've also read about the Six Positions Emperor in an ancient book. Any woman who possesses this fate will end up in a tragic end, but at the same time, she will create six great emperors. Finally, I've found someone who knows. Qin Feng was so moved that he shed tears. You open your mouth and write down the formula for the antidote and the prescription, and I will write down the names of those who have the Six Positions Emperor's fate. How do we exchange them? The Hundred Transformations Demon King did not hesitate and immediately agreed. For such a deal, only a fool would refuse. The two sides quickly wrote on paper and exchanged it happily. Haha, -ha, the position of great emperor will be mine. A hundred transformations demon king took the paper, let out a triumphant laugh, and turned into a flock of bats and flew away, without even checking. It seemed that he was afraid that Qin Feng would change his mind. Sure enough, I often feel that I'm not crazy enough to fit in with the other villains. Qin Feng couldn't help but shudder and quickly stopped the train of thought in his head. At the same time, he also secretly wished that the Hundred Transformations Demon King would succeed completely. It's not because I want to be rewarded by Fang Chang, but only because I hope that Fang Chang can feel the warmth of humanity and escape from the path of the devil as soon as possible. At this moment, after checking that there was no one nearby, the Hundred Transformations Demon King excitedly opened the paper. Fang Chang, Fang Chang, who is Fang Chang? He seemed to think of something, and it took him a while to utter the words, Yin Moon Dynasty. In the city of the Yin Moon Dynasty, the sky and earth were like a blood-red painting. Corpses were piled up like mountains everywhere. Fang Chang was meditating, his eyes closed in the pool of blood. The tattered clothes on his body were like pieces of cloth hanging loosely. The pile of corpses and the sea of blood in front of him were his works. Although this method helped him to break through very quickly, it also made the killing intent in his heart grow stronger. He felt that he could lose control of himself at any time and become a monster that only knew how to kill. No, I can't continue to kill. Fang Chang's face was distorted as he tried to suppress the murderous desire in his body. But a hoarse voice of temptation rang out in Fang Chang's body. Don't be complacent. Once you choose the path of the devil, there is no turning back. Think back to your past. Do you know why you were humiliated by Qin Feng and abandoned by the princess of the southern wind? It's because you don't have the power. You have to climb to the top step by step. You have to have my indomitable spirit. At this moment, the Hundred Transformations Demon King had already arrived at the Blood Red City. From afar, he saw Fang Chang pondering. This person is the legendary Six Positions Emperor. Now, Fang Chang has completely fallen into the path of the devil, killing everywhere in the Yin Moon Dynasty. It was not difficult to find him at all. The only thing that bothered the Hundred Transformations Demon King was that Fang Chang was a man. Between the position of Great Emperor and my conscience, damn it, I still have to consider it. The Hundred Transformations. Demon King raised his hand and slapped himself hard on the face. He knew that with his current talent, it would be impossible to achieve the position of Great Emperor. After thinking for a while, the Hundred Transformations Demon King took off his mask. To become a Great Emperor, what good is it to be a man or a woman? At the same time, in the Blue Demon Palace, a wave of extremely strong spiritual energy suddenly appeared. Great, Mother is finally about to come out of the cave. In order to avenge Qin Feng, Wulan has been humble to him in everything. She stayed up all night to sew the veil, just hoping that after her mother came out of the cave, she would teach Qin Feng a lesson. Meanwhile, at the Thui Truck Peak, the two brought the weapons and armor made from the dragon's body to meet Qin Feng. Dragon, I've already processed the weapons from your body. Qin Feng picked up one of them, a dragon armor that emitted a black light. He couldn't help but admire that the armor looked soft 
but was extremely strong. Your aesthetic sense is really good. D2 proudly introduced that this soft armor was made from the soft scales and tendons of the dragon's belly, and was further tempered with the dragon's blood to increase its defensive power. Wearing it could withstand a full power attack from a nascent soul cultivator. Qin Feng's eyes lit up and he kept praising. This is really a great thing. D2 continued. That's right. This trip to the Kunlun secret realm, only martial artists under the age of 30 are allowed to participate. It is impossible to reach the nascent soul level before the age of 30. In other words, with this black dragon armor, you can run wild throughout the Kunlun secret realm. It's as hard as a thousand-year-old turtle shell. No one can penetrate your defense. This is a good thing. Qin Feng hugged the soft armor, pressed it against his body, and then turned to Tianjun and Wanma. This soft armor belongs to me. You can choose the rest as you wish. Thank you, boss. The two were surprised. Qin Feng gave up such an important weapon to them. Immediately, Tianjun and Wanma chose weapons that suited them. At the same time, they did not forget to praise Qin Feng. Our boss is really the best boss in the world. It's nothing. In the past, Chengxiang had once been a defeated general. The experience of blood and tears taught me that subordinates without equipment will make you suffer a lot. Qin Feng said seriously. At this moment, Qin Feng found a longbow in the corner. This bow can be left to Bai Ri. Although we are not close and have only met a few times, he was the first one to come to me after all. With the fate of the six positions emperor, he must be recruited soon. However, Qin Feng had run out of immortal slaves. He needed to break through to the Dao Shadow Realm to unlock two more slots. The Kunlun secret realm was about to open. Qin Feng had to seize the time. Just as Qin Feng was pondering, D2 spoke up. The matter you asked me to do has been completed. I bid you farewell. Then a blue magic circle appeared and took Day 2 away. Looking at the figure of his master, Qin Feng's heart was filled with gratitude and love for this master. Next, Qin Feng put on the black dragon armor, raised his right hand and gestured. Wanma, use your strongest weapon to attack me and see. Can I really not be injured? Boss, this is a difficult task for me. Wanma felt very embarrassed. Although De Tu said that the armor could withstand a full force attack from a nascent soul cultivator, if there was any negligence, Qin Feng would have to go and recast it immediately. Just when the two were at a stalemate, a pair of white legs appeared. Little Bai said in a panic master, Sister Wulan brought someone here. Wanma's face was confused. What do you mean by bringing someone? Qin Feng, come out quickly. Wulan's voice came in, along with Yu Shen and her mother, Lan Ma. They had come to avenge Wulan for the past few days. Wulan's mother was indeed one of the four great beauties of the ancient times. Her appearance was charming and her beauty was exquisite. Just standing there, her majesty made Tianjun and Wanma tremble. Hearing Wulan's call, Little Bai panicked even more. Sister Wulan brought her mother here to collect the debt, Master. Knowing that Wulan had come to find him, Qin Feng hurriedly pushed the door and walked out. Wulan, my dear, why didn't you tell me in advance that your mother was coming? Those words gave Wulan goosebumps all over her body. The majesty she had just now was gone. Yue Shen was shocked. When will these two be able to get along? What should we do now? What if Xi'an finds out about this? Only Wulan was left blushing with anger, but unable to speak. When she saw Wulan's mother appear, Qin Feng first greeted her respectfully, then grabbed Wulan's hand and pretended to be a couple arguing. Wulan, my dear, are you still angry with me? Who is your Wulan, my dear? Wulan shivered when she heard this and hurriedly pushed Qin Feng's hand away. But immediately afterwards, Qin Feng wrapped his arms around Wulan again, pretending to sigh. I told you, Ziyan and I have been close friends since we were young. Even if you want to offer your body to repay me for saving your life in the life and death competition, I can't agree, but you can only be my concubine. Who wants to be your concubine? Wulan angrily pulled her hand away, insisting that Qin Feng was talking nonsense. Seeing this, Qin Feng continued to pretend to hold her hand. Don't be angry, Wulan. I'm sorry. Then he put his hand on Wulan's shoulder, leaned close to her ear, and said seriously, Don't worry, I'm a responsible man. Before, in order to save you from the poison, I had to take off your clothes. I will definitely take responsibility for you. And the fact that you gave me your handkerchief as a token of engagement, I will definitely keep it a secret and not let it out. What? Wulan's mother felt her mind couldn't take it anymore. It's understandable to take off her clothes to save her from the poison. But what the hell is this about giving a handkerchief as a token of engagement? Seeing this, Yue Shen interjected, Wulan, this girl is even crazier than her mother was back in the day. Young people nowadays have a lot of tricks. Who gave you anything? Don't believe his nonsense. Wulan could no longer maintain her image and hurriedly covered Qin Feng's mouth. But immediately afterwards, Qin Feng pushed Wulan away, his eyes full of reluctance. 
Wulan, my dear, I know you love me as deep as a river, never ceasing to flow, wanting to be with me all the time. Wulan stared wide-eyed, stunned by Qin Feng's reversal. Before she could react, Qin Feng quickly accused, but Yu Shen and your mother are watching, so please restrain yourself. It wasn't me. Wulan finally understood Qin Feng's intentions. She hurriedly denied, mother, he's lying. Don't believe him. Then what is this? Qin Feng opened his small eyes and ran over with a pile of handkerchiefs in his arms. He pointed to the one with a strawberry pattern. Remember that night when you gave me this strawberry patterned handkerchief as a token of engagement? At this moment, Wulan was both angry and embarrassed, played by Qin Feng to the point of speechlessness. As Wulan's biological mother, Lama immediately recognized that the strawberry patterned handkerchief was her daughter's work. That day, Wulan had spent the whole day making this handkerchief. Oh, such a deep love. Why did you give him so many? Lan Ma said. At this moment, Wulan was so angry that she was panting, her chest heaving. You're talking nonsense. You clearly stole it from me. Do you have any evidence? Jin Feng spread out his hands, indifferent. Then he looked at Lan Ma with a smile. No need to explain. Mother understands. Mother was young once too. Who doesn't have a love affair when they're young? Then her eyes glanced at Qin Feng. Before I entered the cave, did you hear about the reputation of the number one warrior of the ancient wilderness? After that, Du Men Sheng, after killing the great dragon, was named the third holy son by the emperor. At the same time, he is also the eldest son of the Qin family of the ancient wilderness. Sooner or later, the eldest son will return to the Qin family. Seeing Qin Feng joking, Lan Ma seemed to have made up her mind. A warrior like this, not only is he talented and rich, but he is also moral. It wouldn't be bad to choose him as a son-in-law. Then she patted Wu Lan on the shoulder. Mother is very open-minded. Don't worry. Just now, the system announced that you have robbed the lover of the chosen daughter of heaven and received the initial approval of her mother. You have received 100,000 villain points. Qin Feng was startled. So Wu Lan was originally someone else's lover? He had just accidentally snatched her away. That meant that the chosen son of heaven was about to appear. Wulan felt extremely annoyed and suspected that she was an adopted daughter. Why would her biological mother marry her precious daughter to such a bastard, that number one bastard of the ancient wilderness? Mother must have picked me up. No one would ever marry their daughter to such a bastard. Wulan thought in despair, I should cherish my blessings. Lama glanced seductively at Wulan, and at the same time, she pinched her arm hard. She thought to herself that if she hadn't given birth to Wulan, that bastard Qin Feng wouldn't have had a chance. If he wasn't the number one martial artist in the ancient wilderness, it wouldn't have been his turn with that little girl. I would have swallowed him alive. But then Lama's voice turned cold. But my Wulan will never be anyone's concubine. Those words sent a shiver down Qin Feng's spine, as if he was sitting on a bed of fire. He glanced at Moon God, who was eating melon seeds beside him, and finally decided to push all the responsibility onto her. This matter should be asked to Moon God's sister. Not only did he get Wu Lan, Qin Feng also successfully provoked a conflict between Moon God and Lam Ma, causing an earth-shattering battle between the two beauties. The two beauties faced each other, their auras sharp. At this moment, La Ma made the first move. She flicked her finger with a loud snap. Rumble. A world-destroying aura erupted from La Ma, a mighty force that could crush all resistance. At the same time, a deafening roar echoed across the battlefield. Behind La Ma, a white tiger appeared, tearing through space. Its murderous aura enveloped the area like a god of slaughter descending to earth. This white tiger was subdued by Lan Ma after many efforts on the ancient battlefield. But because it was not inherited from generation to generation, its power was still far inferior to Yue Shen's profound beast. However, the white tiger was also one of the ancient fierce beasts with great potential for development, completely capable of surpassing the profound beast. Lan Ma looked at Yue Shen, challenging her. Lan Ma's eyes were full of contempt for Yue Shen, it's been hundreds of years, but you're still the same. But if you don't agree today, I will fight until you do. White Tiger roared angrily, its sound waves reverberating continuously, surrounded by flashing blue lightning, obscuring the entire sky. It truly lived up to its name as the king of all beasts. You little girl, Lan, do you think I'm afraid of you? Faced with Lan Ma's terrifying power, Yue Shen did not retreat, but instead became even more eager to fight. It's been hundreds of years. It's time to teach you a lesson. Immediately after, 
the low and fierce roar of the profound beast sounded. The divine turtle stepped out of the space crack, covering the entire sky and emitting a dazzling light as it confronted the white tiger. Holy crap, this is great. Two beauties fighting each other. Chin Feng smiled slyly and said, I like watching two beauties fight the most. Suddenly, the system announced, Congratulations to the master. The chosen daughter of heaven, Wulan, is so angry that she has received 10,000 villain points. Chin Feng was a little embarrassed. As an upright Confucian scholar, should he take the initiative to step forward and comfort Wulan? Just as Chin Feng was about to make a move, a terrifying aura enveloped the entire Tianhong Academy. Oh, my two sisters, it seems like you're going a bit too far. At this moment, the confrontation between Yu Shen and Lan Ma had escalated to a climax. The two of them were about to start pulling each other's hair. Yu Shen could not let Zi Yan become a concubine. On the other side, Lan Ma wanted her daughter to do both. Unexpectedly, a majestic voice rang out. Now is not the time to fight. Hearing this, both beauties were startled. It was the voice of the Six Paths Emperor. The Kunlun secret realm will open in five days. You two should recuperate. This is not the time to cause trouble. Obeying the Emperor's orders, Yue Shen and Lan Ma immediately withdrew their spirit beasts and stood very respectfully. The Emperor has spoken. We will settle our accounts later. Let us finish the meeting and then continue fighting. With that, the two of them turned into streaks of light and flew to the Six Paths Emperor's palace for the meeting. Oh my god, is it over? Qin Feng sighed. I was even prepared to get a chair to watch it. Then he turned to Wulan and pretended to be a professional MC. Wulan, baby, what do you think about this? Stop looking at me. Wulan flew away angrily, not wanting to waste any more time with that bastard Qin Feng. You're not done with me yet. Qin Feng froze and watched her go. Then he took out his notebook and wrote down the year, month, and day. Six Paths Emperor stopped Yue Shen and Lan Ma from fighting, causing me to miss the opportunity to observe the battle between the masters. Miss the opportunity to improve myself. Need to be compensated with 100 million low-grade spirit stones. Little White also climbed onto Qin Feng's shoulder, imitating him and taking out a notebook to write down the year, month, and day. Qin Feng provoked Yue Shen and Lan Ma to fight, causing me to lose sleep. I need to be compensated with 10 million carrots. Just then, a flock of bats flew into the bamboo forest, causing Little White on Qin Feng's shoulder to be blown to the ground. But it was all within Qin Feng's calculations. He pointed to the figure that had transformed from the flock of bats and said, I guess you found the method of longevity, but failed. And now you're here to ask me for help right? The myriad transformations Demon Lord appeared, still in the form of a black cloak covering his face. How did you know? He was shocked. He suspected that Qin Feng was proficient in the divination method of the dead. As expected of you, you dare to face difficulties. With that determination, I, Qin Feng, will definitely help you. Qin Feng hurriedly clasped his hands together and said, Brother Fang Chang, that guy's attempt to harm you has nothing to do with me. That time, because the situation was urgent, I accidentally revealed your face as the Six Paths Emperor. I didn't expect that the myriad transformations Demon Lord would be so obsessed with this fate. Seeing Qin Feng's hesitant expression, the myriad transformations, Demon Lord stepped forward and asked urgently, Do you have a way to help me live forever? A way? It's not like I don't have one, but what kind of treasure will you use to exchange for it this time? Qin Feng originally wanted to scare the myriad transformations Demon Lord into retreating, but he didn't expect that he would actually be willing to overcome all difficulties to become a great emperor. What do you want? The myriad transformations Demon Lord said decisively, for the sake of the position of great emperor, I can do anything, even become a man. I want you. Before Qin Feng could finish speaking, he was interrupted. I can't. You can find someone else. Qin Feng stared wide-eyed, feeling extremely tired in his heart. He said, I'm a man. What do you want me to do? Maybe you misunderstood what I meant. I want you to work for me for a hundred years, and I will guarantee that you will succeed in your quest for longevity. What? Hundred years is too long. I can only obey you for three years. Okay, three years then. Qin Feng happily agreed. The myriad transformations Demon Lord was surprised. He thought he would have to pay 50 years to succeed, but he didn't expect to be so good at bargaining. He was really impressed with himself. Seeing his smug expression, Qin Feng chuckled. The intelligence of this villain 
was really terrible. From now on, you're just my puppet. As long as I cast the slave seal, what's the difference between a hundred years and one day? Then, Qin Feng continued to lure him. Tomorrow at this time, come back here to find me. I will release you from the contract. Why tomorrow? The Myriad Transformations Demon Lord wanted to become immortal immediately. Every day of delay meant one less day of cultivating longevity. The position of Great Emperor might be taken by someone else. But Qin Feng calmly said, the method to the contract requires three elements, heaven, earth, and man. If one is missing, it will not work. In fact, the reason was that Qin Feng had run out of slave spells and needed to break through to the Tao image realm first. Oh, I see. Then I'll come back tomorrow. The myriad transformations, Demon Lord replied cheerfully. He thanked Qin Feng profusely. Thank you, Master Qin, for being so straightforward. I will never forget this favor. Then he transformed into a flock of bats and flew away. Watching the myriad transformations, Demon Lord's figure, Qin Feng sighed. He's so easy to fool. After returning to the Emerald Bamboo Peak, Qin Feng immediately began the process of shedding his mortal body and transforming. The great mighty heavenly dragon transformed into a golden body and surrounded him, and countless streams of powerful spiritual energy surged into Qin Feng's body. The heavenly army and 10,000 horses acted as Dharma protectors, guarding outside. Hearing the in the room, the heavenly army worried, will this kind of breakthrough be okay? Or is it like what immortal Emperor Tu said, that the boss is destroying himself and his future? No, I'm sure the young master will succeed. Wanma said, when I was young, I witnessed the Qin people anger and their demand to kill Qin Feng. As the 13th Grand Guardian, I know very well how hard the young master has worked to protect the clan. At the age of eight, the young master dared to harm himself and left the Qin clan with a bad reputation. He went to the Dark Moon Imperial Dynasty alone to start a career. With the young master's vision, it's impossible for him to destroy himself. Just then, a terrifying ceiling sound came from the room and a powerful spiritual energy surged out and splashed. Breakthrough to the Tao image realm. I knew that the young master would definitely succeed. Wanma's eyes flashed with joy. Panting, Qin Feng slowly opened his eyes, clenched his fists, and sucked all the overflowing spiritual energy into his body. After breaking through to the Tao image realm, Qin Feng felt that his strength had increased dozens of times. Moreover, his connection with the eternal sword of the void seemed to have become even closer. Next, Qin Feng sat cross-legged, pressed his hand on the eternal sword of the void, and it lit up turning into a flying sword that floated in front of him. The sword grew larger and larger until it was large enough for a person to stand on. Qin Feng jumped onto the flying sword with joy and then released another seal. Boom! Qin Feng and the sword flew straight out of the bamboo hut. I can finally fly. Qin Feng felt extremely excited, like a calf driving a plane. It's so cool. It's just a little cold on my back. The next morning, the myriad transformations demon lord returned to the emerald bamboo peak as scheduled. He thought that he only needed to serve Qin Feng for three years to be become a great emperor, but he didn't know that once he was sealed as a slave, he would have to serve for the rest of his life. Qin Feng imprinted a slave seal on the Myriad Transformations Demon Lord's forehead. What is this? This is unbelievable. The Myriad Transformations Demon Lord's eyes widened, and he felt his strength skyrocket. At that moment, his mentality changed. From now on, he would not allow anyone to speak to him in a loud voice, including Qin Feng. But as soon as he thought that, he felt as if his soul was being burned by a flame. In pain, the Myriad Transformations Demon Lord held his head and rolled on the ground screaming, what's going on? The Heavenly Army and 10,000 horses didn't understand what was going on. They didn't have this reaction before. Qin Feng said nonsense. He must be singing a song of celebration. It hurts a little the first time. Just take your time and adapt. Then he, pre he prepared to go and find Bai Ri to comfort him. I'll be back in a moment. Qin Feng still had one more slave talisman that he could use, and he had to use it on Bai Ri, the first person to come to him with the fate of a six-star emperor before he grew up. In the bustling market of the great Xia imperial dynasty, a group of urchins surrounded a beggar, teasing him and shaking a chicken leg in front of him. Looking closely, the beggar was Bai Ri, whom Qin Feng had always remembered. At this moment, Bai Ri looked at the chicken leg in front of him, recalling about a month ago, after the end of the... When he returned, Bai Ri thought that he would be encouraged by his clan and comforted, but unexpectedly, they despised him for not dying in the competition and brought shame to the clan. A hand swung out and shattered Bai Ri's Dantian, turning him into a complete boom. Bai Ri was thrown out of the Bai family, unable to stand up like a soft shrimp. 
In the days that followed, Byri lived like a beggar. He curled up in the alley like a dog, forced to abandon his dignity to beg for food. But he was not willing to live like a... He would definitely take revenge on his clan for what they had done to him. For the sake of survival, he was willing to throw away all his dignity. Byri tried to suppress his anger, bowed down and crawled on the ground, barking like a dog. Damn, he really barks like a dog. Laughter filled the alley. When they were done, Byri asked tiredly, Can you give me the chicken leg now? Eat it. The children laughed and threw the chicken leg on the ground. When Bai Ri was about to pick it up, another child stepped on his right hand and stepped on the chicken leg into the mud. He agreed, but we don't have it. Then, he kicked Bai Ri straight in the chest, sending him rolling several rounds before coming to a stop. Looking at Bai Ri lying there like a dead dog, the children kicked the dirty chicken leg at him. Eat it, you? Don't you want to eat it? Eat it. Just when Byrie's spirit was about to reach its limit, and he couldn't bear it any longer, a familiar voice rang out from behind him. Is it funny? Chin Feng appeared, his eyes filled with a mixture of anger and incomprehension. He walked straight to Byrie's side and bent down to examine his wounds. But when his hand touched his body, Byrie was so frightened that he backed away. Don't be afraid. I don't mind getting dirty. Chin Feng helped Byrie up without hesitation, his eyes filled with remorse. Byrie, I'm so sorry for being late. Chin Feng took out a bow and arrow made of dragon horn from his space. The bow body was shining with light, and the bowstring made of dragon tendon could gather invisible energy. Moreover, there were 20 real arrows. The arrowheads were made from the sharp claws of a dragon, and they had a strong armor-piercing ability. Byrie's eyes lit up. Even though he he was a, he could still recognize the power of the bow and arrow. But then his eyes quickly dimmed as he thought that he could no longer use it. Chin Feng saw the hesitation in Bai Ri's heart. He said with a remorseful voice, This dragon bow bow was specially made for you by me, but I didn't expect that while I was focusing on making it, you would have to go through so much pain. Rest assured, no matter how difficult it is, I will definitely help you restore your Dantian and return you to your former self. I will not forgive anyone who has ever harmed you. Bairi looked into Qin Feng's affectionate eyes, and his heart cried out involuntarily. Although he didn't know what Qin Feng was plotting, his appearance was like a light shining into Bairi's dark world. You are Qin Feng, the third saint's son. The attitude of the commoners suddenly changed when they heard the name Qin Feng. Perhaps they didn't know who the third saint's son of the Yinyue dynasty was, but they had definitely heard of Qin Feng's notorious deeds. Qin Feng said indifferently, You guys react like this when you see me. That means I'm very dangerous. Then he drew his sword and cut off the heads of the little ones one by one. Die, you insects. Qin Feng thought to himself, It's not that you have nothing that's scary, but that you still want to win, no matter what. At that moment, the two of them looked at each other, and Bai Ri no longer felt hatred towards Qin Feng, but was filled with emotion. Follow me, Qin Feng smiled. I will give you food and clothing, a sense of security and dignity. Bai Ri was so moved that he wanted to cry. He felt that Qin Feng was very trustworthy and straightforward in his actions, unlike that cowardly Fang Chang. The time is ripe. Qin Feng quickly pressed a slave talisman. This talisman can increase your strength by five times. I hope you won't let me down. After all this, Bai Ri's heart completely belonged to Qin Feng. A powerful surge of spiritual energy rushed into his Dantian, restoring his meridians to their former state. Bai Ri opened his eyes wide, unable to believe that he had regained his strength. He knelt down and thanked Qin Feng. Young Master Qin, you have given me a new life. Bai Ri swears that he will remember this kindness forever. Qin Feng was also very sincere. It's nothing. It's just a mutually beneficial cooperation. I'm just investing in my own life. After he bowed his head and thanked him, Bairi remembered how inhumanely the Bai family had treated him. His heart was filled with indignation. Bai family, I will definitely repay you for everything. But then he remembered how Fang Chang had humiliated him, and he said with hatred, the Bai family, Fang Chang, just you wait, I will show you. Meanwhile, outside the Kunlun secret realm, a young man appeared with an ancient sword in his hand. It was Lin San, the warrior who had disappeared for dozens of episodes. Brother Chin, I didn't expect to meet you again when the secret realm opens this time. At this time, Qin Feng's group arrived at the most bustling flower street in the city, where all the big shots gathered. Wan Ma wondered, the Kunlun secret realm is about to open, what are we doing here? Qin Feng replied, of course, it's to do something important. Every time the Kunlun secret realm opens, there are many random entrances that appear. Those with good luck will find it easily, and those who don't 
will have to spend a lot of money to build a large formation to get people in. According to the heavenly secrets that I have seen, Fang Chang will encounter an entrance to the secret realm in this Hualuo city. With that, he will find the endless spring and cultivate the Dao heart seed that exists only in ideals. Qin Feng looked at Bai Bian Ma Jun with malicious intent, but more importantly, Fang Chang was currently in Hualuo. I always keep my promises. Before the Kunlun secret realm opens, there is still time. I can help you fulfill your wish. Bai Bian Ma Jun was overjoyed. He didn't expect to be able to kill Fang Chang so quickly. Of course it's me, Qin Feng, who would ever break a promise. The scene shifted to the Hualuo Dihong courtyard, an ancient tea house. Before he even reached the door, a sweet girl's voice could be heard. Merchant, come in and play. I haven't seen you for a long time. I miss you so much. As she spoke, the girl pulled her shirt down even lower, blowing a kiss. Spring had arrived, stirring the young Tianjun's heart. This was exactly what Bai Bian Ma Jun had wished for. Wonderful. From today onwards, you and I are good brothers, Tianjun said, and walked inside. Qin Feng glanced around. He was not interested in ordinary girls. On the contrary, he liked the antique decoration style of the Hualuo Dihong courtyard. After seven years as a divine son in the Moon God Palace, Qin Feng's vision was no longer ordinary. Even any girl in the Moon God Palace could easily defeat those in this small small border town. In fact, the reason Qin Feng came here was to buy a brothel, set a trap for Fang Chang. According to the Heavenly Secrets, Fang Chang would stay here, not because he wanted to have fun, but because this place was chaotic and it was convenient to hide. Everyone knew that the brothel was a place that the Heavenly Chosen Sons must visit. Here, they would meet beautiful girls with tragic fates, which would arouse their cold hearts with compassion. Thanks to their romantic nature, they would be able to win over these beauties. In other words, he planned to strike at Fang Chang's hobbies and create a romantic encounter. Seeing that Tianjun was already immersed in the girl's arms, Wan Ma was very puzzled. He quickly covered his ears, trying to block out that annoying, melodious voice. Don't touch me. Seeing the girl trying to caress him, Wan Ma roared angrily. The girl was so frightened that she curled up into a ball. You hooligan. Wan Ma left the girl and muttered to himself, there's still nothing like holding my pair of hammers. They're both cute and strong. How boring. However, the decoration here is quite cozy. At this moment, a girl pulled Qin Feng's hand and said, Mama, there's a guest. Oh, this young man is here for the first time. An old woman with a kind face came over to greet them professionally. With many years of experience, she could tell that Qin Feng's group was not simple. Especially Qin Feng, his was too noble, and there was a nameplate hanging from his belt. He must be from a wealthy family. Young man, you've come to the right place. Our Hualuo Dihong Courtyard is the most famous brothel in Hualuo, with four top beauties guarding it. Four beauties? Qin Feng couldn't help but ask. Although she was surprised for a moment, the old woman quickly smiled and said, as long as you like, their names are Xiaodiao Gong, Kuat, Mengban, and Feng Yu. Qin Feng waved his hand and handed over ten top-grade spirit stones. For the next three days, this brothel will belong to me, including you, Mama. Is there a problem? Seeing the spirit stones, the old woman's eyes lit up, and she replied excitedly, No problem. Whatever the young master says, we will listen. Whatever the young master does, we will accept it. First of all, can we change the signboard? No problem. She took the ten spirit stones. Even if she had to change her father's name, she would be willing. She immediately ordered the old signboard to be taken down and replaced it with the signboard that Qin Feng had written himself. A short while later, the old woman's expression became very uncomfortable. This new name is a bit too much. The signboard clearly wrote the four words, Qi Bu Ke Shi. This is the effect I want. Qin Feng looked around the street with such a unique name. Fang Chang would definitely have to take a second look. Qin Feng smiled as he looked at the signboard he had written. With such a blatant name, Fang Chang would definitely have to take a second look. At the same time, Bai Bian Ma Jun also transformed into the Southern Wind Princess, according to Qin Feng's request. Qin Feng believed that no matter how ruthless Fang Chang had become, he would still be moved when he met his first love again. It's so similar, he can really transform into anything. Xiao Bai stared at Bai Bian Ma Jun with wide eyes, and a bold idea came to his mind. In order to avoid Fang Chang from discovering any flaws, Qin Feng also spent money to buy a concealing aura talisman from the system, completely concealing Bai Bian Ma Jun's aura. Now, all they had to do was wait for the main character to appear. Just do as you're told. You can't fail. Qin Feng looked at Bai Bian Ma Jun with confidence. After transforming into the Southern Wind Princess, Bai Bian Ma Jun 
sat on the second floor of the brothel, covering her face with a veil. Below her, a group of nobles were attracted. Not long after, a figure in white and blue appeared on the street. It was Fang Chang who they had been waiting for. Today, he only planned to come to this chaotic place and then find an opportunity to escape from the city tomorrow and return to the Great Statue Square. Unexpectedly, as soon as he arrived at the Flower Street, he was attracted by the signboard Ki Bu Keshi. Damn it, it's so chaotic. Bai Majun's eyes widened, and he felt that Qin Feng was an even greater villain. He had been chasing Fang Chang for a whole month without success. While Qin Feng had been lurking in one place, he had made Fang Chang come to him on his own accord. Calm down, I will protect you. Hearing Qin Feng's order, Bai Bian Ma Jun took a deep breath to calm himself down. Then, following Qin Feng's instructions, he ran downstairs and headed straight for Fang Cheng. Oh no, Miss Dongfang has run away. Qin Feng caused a commotion in the crowd, according to the script. Dongfang was the name Qin Feng had given to Bai Bian Ma Jun. The brothel immediately fell into chaos. Seeing Dongfang running away, the guards immediately chased after her. Hearing the commotion, Fang Chang turned around and saw a beautiful young woman with a panicked expression running straight towards him. Although he could only see half of her face through the thin veil, Fang Chang was still moved by the familiar feeling like his first love. Merchant, please save me. Bai Bian Majun grabbed Fang Chang's hand, full of fear. She ran in and out, really. The guards quickly separated Dong Fang from Fang Chang. Save me. Bai Man remembered Qin Feng's words, showing a pitiful but helpless look. Seeing Dong Fang's almost desperate eyes, Fang Chang's frozen heart warmed up a little. Should he reveal his identity to save this strange girl or let things develop on their own? Fang Chang was very hesitant. Just then, the old woman who owned the brothel ran out and angrily scolded Dong Fang for being a fool. Do you want to kill us? She didn't know the relationship between Dong Fang and Qin Feng. She only knew that Qin Feng had rented the entire brothel to sell Dong Fang. Now if she let her run away, Qin Feng would blame her, demanding both the spirit stones back and creating a grudge with the power behind her. Seeing Dong Fang's pained expression, the gentlemen all felt heartache and wanted to comfort her. At that moment, the old woman forcefully tore off Dong Fang's veil, revealing a beautiful face that dazzled everyone. Holy moly, seeing Dong Fang's perfect face, the gentleman became enthusiastic and determined to comfort her. However, no one knew that Dong Fang was actually Bai Bian Ma Jun. Why does she look so similar? Fang Chang looked at Dong Fang in surprise, reminiscing about his memories with the Southern Wind Princess. Fang Chang immediately thought that the Southern Wind Princess was the beloved princess of his majesty. Why did she end up in this bustling place? He was sure that Dong Fang was not the Southern Wind Princess. My lords, today is the day of our Dong Fang's marriage. The old woman took advantage of the situation and said quickly, regardless of age or appearance, whoever bids the highest price will get her. Dong Fang has never met anyone before. Hearing this, the gentleman became excited and shouted. Fang Chang looked at Dong Fang in a daze and thought of his first love, the Southern Wind Princess. The smile, the eyes, they were so strangely similar. Did Nan Feng? The old woman pulled Dong Fang onto the stage, caressed her chest, and praised her for having well-developed breasts, and then patted her on the back and made her spin around like a monkey on the stage. Seeing Dong Fang being humiliated, Fang Chang couldn't bear it anymore. In the past, he had failed to protect the Southern Wind Princess from the villain Qin Feng. Now, how could he stand by and watch Dong Fang fall into the hands of wolves? At this moment, the old woman continued, saying that Dong Fang came from a family of high officials, but because she refused to serve the third holy son, Qin Feng, her entire family was massacred. That evil demon also threw her into prison, wanting to destroy her angelic beauty. Gentlemen, you can't miss this opportunity. As soon as she finished speaking, the crowd erupted. So she's from a family of high officials. No wonder she's so beautiful. I've heard that the third holy son, Qin Feng, is ruthless. I didn't expect him to even attack a beautiful woman. He even killed his own younger brother, let alone a beautiful woman. The rumors made Fang Chang's heart ache. Dong Fang resembled Nan Feng so much, also falling from a high position into the mud because of that bastard Qin Feng. Fang Chang's determination to save Dong Fang grew even stronger. My lords, the auction begins, the old woman said with a smile. Whoever bids the highest price will win Dong Fang. Hundred spirit stones, five hundred spirit stones for me, one thousand spirit stones, ten thousand spirit stones. Stones, 100 top grade spirit stones. A cold voice rang out, causing everyone to turn to Fang Chang. One top grade spirit stone is equivalent to a thousand.
thousand ordinary ones. One hundred of them is a hundred thousand. In this small border town, one hundred thousand spirit stones are already extremely rare. One thousand top-grade spirit stones. General Tian was bidding on Qin Feng's orders, offering ten times the price. Fang Chang glanced at the VIP room on the third floor. He didn't expect there to be such a wealthy man here. However, as the savior of the great Xia, he had countless spirit stones. What's more, he had just massacred an entire city, so he was definitely not an ordinary person. But General Tian was worried. Boss, if we bid like this, will it drive Fang Chang away? It's okay, Qin Feng was completely calm. With ten years of experience reading novels, he knew that authors often played on the male protagonist's lust, so they tended to spend a lot of money. 100,000 top-grade spirit stones. 150,000. 1 million. Qin Feng jumped up in anger. 150,000 is enough. Why did it jump straight to 1 million? But General Tian said, I told you that Fang Chang likes this kind of thing. Qin Feng was stunned and stuttered. He had money, but he wasn't stupid. Qin Feng was worried that Fang Chang would stop bidding, missing out on a good opportunity. Why don't you call out again? General Tian realized his mistake and turned to ask Qin Feng for his opinion. Fang Chang is currently a wanted criminal, and he's in a hurry to return to the Great Xia, so it won't be easy for him to make a move in Hualuo. Thinking of this, Qin Feng was relieved and continued to follow the script. He's very good at calling out. Qin Feng said to General Tian, I don't know how to call out, but he must know how to call out since he was played by the six venerable emperors. General Tian replied, I don't understand, but it's enough to know how to call out. Indeed, Qin Feng's development speed is too fast. At the price of one million top-grade spirit stones, Fang Chang's expressionless face finally showed a reaction. At first, he had planned to give up, but when he saw Dong Fang's pleading eyes and recalled the happy times he had with Nan Feng, Fang Chang decided 1.5 million top grade spirit stones. She looks so much like Nan Feng. I will definitely save you. Holy moly, 1.5 million spirit stones. The entire auction hall erupted in an uproar as they looked towards Fang Chang. Just for a woman, he dared to spend 1.5 million top grade spirit stones. If he's not crazy, then he must have been tricked. General Tian turned to Qin Feng, full of admiration, as expected of the boss. His prediction was spot on. So should we continue bidding? Qin Feng thought for a moment and decided to stop even though he knew that Fang Chang was carrying much more wealth. But compared to a great emperor, no matter how many spirit stones he had, it was just a drop in the bucket. Wealth could be taken later, but Fang Chang's flower had to wither today. 1.5 million for the first time, for the second time, for the third time, sold. The old woman was so happy that her face turned red. She congratulated the young master on buying Dongfang. She still couldn't believe that someone was crazy enough to spend 1.5 million top-grade spirit stones on a woman. Fang Chang breathed a sigh of relief. If the other party had continued to raise the price, he would have had to reveal his identity and forcibly take Dong Fang away. Fortunately, he had experienced it before, so he was more clear-headed. These ordinary people couldn't shake Fang Chang's elegant facade, especially Dong Fang. After seeing him win, her eyes lit up again, showing an unprecedented look of surprise. The look she gave him was full of admiration and awe. A while later, Fang Chang finished paying for the spirit stones. He walked into Dong Fang's room under the envious gazes of the men. Inside the room, the dim candlelight created a romantic atmosphere. Dongfang sat on the bed, her happiness about to burst forth. Young master, it's late. We should rest early. Miss Dongfang, I only felt sympathy for you and had no ill intentions. Fang Chang's face was still as expressionless as a dead fish. Holy moly, I've already taken off my pants and you're telling me this? At this moment, Dongfang smiled, but in her mind, she recalled Qin Feng's instructions on how to subdue Fang Chang. If she wanted to conquer Fang Chang, her gaze was very important. She had to show a gentle expression, causing his heart to soften. Secondly, if he pretended to be a righteous person, she should flirt with him using cheesy. The situation was exactly as the master had said. I know that as a woman from a brothel like me, your reputation will be affected. One jade hand has touched thousands of people, and half a red lip has been kissed by countless guests. My body is adorned with weakness, and I pretend to have a false heart. Miss Dongfang, I didn't mean it that way. I saved you only because you resemble Princess Nanfeng. In my heart, Nanfeng is an untouchable saint. At first, 
I planned to wait for some time to pass before inviting you out. But now that I hear you say this, I'm completely confused. At this moment, Dongfang had become Nan Feng in Fang Chang's eyes. Young master, please don't say anymore. This is the fate of a slave. Dongfang trembled as she took off her clothes in front of Fang Chang and then hugged him tightly. Young master, come on. One spring night is worth a thousand gold. Dongfang, I'm really not that kind of person. Fang Chang's expressionless face finally changed. He quickly turned his face away. In all the years he had been with Princess Nan Feng, the two of them had never been so intimate. Now that someone who looked exactly like Nan Feng was hugging him, Fang Chang couldn't help but be moved. He was thinking about whether he should become a beast, when a strong fragrance suddenly wafted from the candle. The smell made Fang Chang feel excited like crazy, a feeling he would never forget. But before Fang Chang could do anything, Dong Feng had already pounced on him and pushed him down onto the rug. She jumped up and used her two hands to restrain Fang Chang, making it impossible for him to move. Such terrifying strength. Fang Chang was shocked. How could a weak woman have such strength? Fang Chang realized that he had fallen into a trap and immediately tried to push Dong Feng away. But because he had been drugged, he was quickly subdued, unable to resist. A black smoke rose from Dong Feng's body. Dong Feng's voice also became hoarse, and she used her strength to press Fang Chang down on the bed. Without waiting for Fang Chang to react, Dong Feng flipped him over, completely exposing his back. Haha, my position as great emperor is secure. Bai Bian laughed maniacally and slapped Fang Chang hard on the buttocks. Why, why is it you? Fang Chang was stunned. Wasn't this the man who had ambushed him the other day, but had been defeated by him? Why are you here? Haha. <laughs> Bai Bian's smile grew more and more insane. He muttered, For the position of great emperor, what does it matter if I'm a man or not? Don't do this. Don't come near me. Fang Chang was terrified. Boom. The sky suddenly thundered, and the rain poured down as if the heavens were helpless against Fang Chang's fate. This rain is perfect. Qin Feng looked at the sudden downpour, his mood relaxed. Congratulations, master, for selling the Son of Heaven's Chosen to earn 200,000 villain points. You also humiliated the Son of Heaven's Chosen, earning an additional 500,000 points. Qin Feng immediately retorted, Can you be a little more reasonable? It was clearly a genuine relationship, so why are you calling it selling and humiliation? Is that the kind of person I am? After venting his frustration, Qin Feng looked up at the sky. Let's go. The time to open the Kunlun secret realm is almost here. As for Bai Bian Ma Jun, we don't care about him. He won't be able to enter Kunlun, so let him enjoy himself outside. Just then, a young man dressed in black, his eyes shining brightly, rode past Qin Feng on horseback. He also carried a long sword on his back. Lin San, why are you here? Qin Feng was startled. He turned around to look behind him. Lin San seemed to sense something, and also turned his head to look at Qin Feng. The two of them suddenly met each other's eyes. Seeing Qin Feng's strange expression, Tianjun anxiously waved his hand in front of him. Qin Feng stared at Lin San, his eyes blazing. His heart was filled with emotion. I finally found you after all these years. But when he turned around, the person had disappeared into the dim light. Stevering. Tianjun looked at Qin Feng and then at Lin San, realizing that the relationship between the two was very complicated. Why did Qin Feng's eyes seem even more dangerous than they had been seven years ago? Lin San thought to himself, his face flushed under that burning gaze, feeling as if his entire body was exposed with nowhere to hide. Why don't we exchange some pointers to make up for the seven years we've been apart? Qin Feng couldn't control his desire to get closer to Lin San and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Lin San said, Brother Qin, if we keep fighting like this, I'm afraid we'll miss the opening of the Kunlun secret realm. Why don't we postpone this battle to another day? Boom, thunder roared as both of them activated their cultivation techniques almost simultaneously. Their hair transformed into writhing dragons in the storm. The sound of fierce fighting reverberated everywhere. The two of them exchanged blows repeatedly, moving from the streets to the rooftop and then into the sky. In just a short while, they had exchanged hundreds of moves, each move deadly, as expected of the peerless swordsmanship of a hundred years ago. Brother Chin's swordsmanship has also become much stronger. After exchanging polite compliments, the two of them stopped fighting simultaneously. They both understood that if they continued fighting, they would miss the opening of Kunlun. This battle would have to wait for another day. All right, let's leave the future for later. Qin Feng retracted his Void Divine Sword into his storage space. From Lin San's moves, it was clear that if he wanted to defeat him, Qin Feng would have to put in some effort. The Kunlun secret realm didn't wait for anyone, 
so it really wasn't worth wasting time here. What worried Qin Feng more was that Lin San would compete with him for the one-stroke heavenly secret. When he had probed the heavenly secret, he had not seen Lin San appear in Hualuo, so his appearance here was very unusual. Had he already discovered the entrance to Kunlun? Lin San mounted his horse and cupped his hands towards Qin Feng. Brother Qin, it's been many years since we last met. We should have a drink together and chat late into the night. But I have urgent business and cannot see you off. I hope you understand. With that, he galloped away. Qin Feng sighed as he watched Lin San's departing figure. They had fought, but the system hadn't rewarded him with anything. What a pity. Tianjun and Xiao Bai exchanged glances, both of them understanding the relationship between the two. Xiao Bai said, Master has met so many girls, but he's only enthusiastic about him. Anma nodded in agreement. That's true. Something's up. Xiao Bai, continue from last time. Master and Miss Zian slept in the same bed. What? Slept in the same bed? Tianjun was stunned and couldn't believe his ears. That's right. They slept in the same bed and didn't do anything. Boom, the sky suddenly changed. The moment to open Kunlun had arrived. Qin Feng looked up at the sky and a black hole began to form. A mysterious world flickered within. Without saying a word, Qin Feng grabbed Xiao Bai and charged straight into the entrance. Tian Jun and Wan Ma flew alongside Qin Feng. Kunlun brought many opportunities, but it was also very dangerous. One mistake could cost you your life. Fang Chang lay on his bed, tears welling up in the corners of his eyes. At first, he thought this was his chance, but who would have thought that it would be someone else's chance? Combining this with the sad story about Dongfang that the old woman had told him, Fang Chang guessed that the person behind this was Qin Feng. It was a pity that he had realized it too late. In terms of material wealth, he had lost 1.5 million spirit stones, but in terms of his spirit, he would have to spend the rest of his life healing his wounds. That was the only way to change his fate. The myriad transformations Demon Lord glanced at Fang Chang, considering whether to do it again to make sure it was effective. What? What do you want to do? Fang Chang was horrified, struggling with all his might to stand up. Of course, it's something more intense. The myriad transformations Demon Lord took out a vial of medicine. No matter how much you scream, it's useless. He poured it into Fang Chang's mouth. Even though Fang Chang struggled with all his might, medicine still slipped into his stomach. Ha ha, now it's useless even if you scream until your throat is hoarse. The myriad transformations demon lord stepped forward, laughing maniacally. Fang Chang was terrified. Stay away from me. Just as the myriad transformations demon lord's hand was groping all over Fang Chang's body, the ground suddenly shook. A terrifying murderous aura erupted from Fang Chang, sending the myriad transformations demon lord flying. Damn it! That old demon has made his move. The myriad transformations, demon lord's expression changed, remembering Qin Feng's warning that Fang Chang was a creature without reason. He had to end this quickly and couldn't hesitate. If he detected anything wrong, he absolutely couldn't hesitate. He had to turn around and run immediately. As expected, I can completely trust the master. The myriad transformations, demon lord knew that he had no chance to do it again, and without hesitation, disappeared appeared from his original location, Kunlun's secret realm. Qin Feng and the others appeared in the middle of a desolate desert. The sky was scorching hot. Why is Kunlun so hot? Xiao Bai was so hot that his breath turned into steam. It feels like I'm being sprinkled with pepper and roasted. Tianjun was sweating profusely, breathing heavily. According to legend, Kunlun contained countless opportunities, but it was also very vast, with many strange environments. This desert region was known as hell, and anyone who entered would be trapped and die of thirst. Few were lucky enough to escape. Tianjun turned to Qin Feng with worry, wondering if the boss had a way to lead them out of there. Qin Feng looked around the desert, silent. The scene was exactly the same as what he had seen when he probed the heavenly secret. It was in this hot desert that he had found the legend of the endless spring. Extreme yin gives birth to yang, extreme yang gives birth to yin, the harmony of yin and yang. Qin Feng couldn't help but that nature was truly miraculous. In such a hot desert, an endless spring had been born. At this moment, the system's voice rang out, congratulating the master for causing the Son of Heaven's choice to shed a tear of sorrow, which would take a lifetime to heal. He had received a chance to spin the wheel once, a lifetime of tears of sorrow. The myriad transformations Demon Lord really knew no mercy. Qin Feng prayed silently for Fang Chang for three seconds, then happily called for the system to spin the wheel. The roulette wheel slowly spun before Qin Feng's eyes. Congratulations to the master for winning the treasure of heaven and earth, the Southern Ming Li Fire. The Southern Ming Li Fire is a divine tiger born from heaven and earth, representing the tiger and fox positions in the Bagua, and is also the essential
special treasure of the vermilion bird. It can restrain ghosts and evil spirits. Qin Feng's eyes flashed with a purple-blue light. He felt a purple-blue flame added to his dantian. Unlike the natural cold chi of Wulan's profound yin body, the southern Ming Lai fire was a treasure of heaven and earth with an elemental attribute. In addition, there was also lightning, ice, and as long as one integrated it into their body, they could possess the corresponding power. Even great masters at the level of Six Paths Emperors would not dare to try it recklessly. Only the Sons of Heaven's Choice, who had unlocked their buffs, would dare to ignore the near-zero success rate for mortals. The corner of Qin Feng's eyes twitched, and he he thought to himself, they're clearly trying to stop me. The system continued to speak. Master, you currently have 917,000 villain points. You can use 600,000 points to exchange for a foundation establishment pill. Foundation establishment pill increases the success rate. Qin Feng immediately asked, so, can it increase the chances of refining the Southern Mingli fire? The system replied, the system only reminds the master to consolidate the foundation. As for the Southern Mingli fire, it was drawn by the system. There is no such thing as a success rate. The master only needs to refine it to achieve 100% success. To open a buff, one must have the mentality of a buff opener. Don't act so immature and make the system lose face. What? Why didn't you say so earlier? Qin Feng panicked, thinking that he had rejected the reward and was being criticized. Well, you didn't ask earlier. The system replied stiffly. Qin Feng sighed and exchanged 600,000 points for a foundation establishment pill. Congratulations to the master for successfully exchanging for a foundation establishment establishment pill. Why is it a foundation establishment pill? What is this? Tianjun and Wanma were slightly surprised when they saw Qin Feng sitting cross-legged under the shade of a rock, entering a meditative state. From his body, a strange purple-blue flame erupted. It's a divine fire, the two of them narrowed their eyes. They didn't know where Qin Feng had gotten the divine fire from, but it wasn't the time to think about that. The two of them looked around vigilantly, ready to protect Qin Feng from being disturbed while he was refining the divine fire. Xiao Bai jumped onto Qin Feng's lap, imitating him and sitting cross-legged to cultivate. He absorbed the southern Mingli fire that leaked out of Qin Feng's body into his own. Tianjun and Wan Ma opened their eyes wide in shock. They could accept that Qin Feng was unusual, but Xiao Bai as well? What kind of rabbit was so abnormal that it could absorb divine fire? Meanwhile, the Qin family was holding an internal meeting. Ancestor, your face is full of worry. The great moment is approaching. It coincides with the opening of the Kunlun secret realm, and the competition inside will be extremely dangerous. I will take all the treasures in the treasury to ensure your safety. The ministers nodded, but one of them hesitated and said, Father, Qin Hao has already left home. Should we wait for him? Don't worry about that child. The ancestor waved his hand. He was born to be a supreme being. He has his own destiny. I shouldn't force him. If you meet him in Kunlun, help him. Another one worried. Or is it that Xiao Hao has a strange fate and anyone close to him will encounter trouble? That's why everyone in the family avoids him like the plague. If he really encounters danger in Kunlun, only his kind elder brother would be willing to help him. Speaking of that kind elder brother, the atmosphere fell silent. Everyone remembered the eight-year-old boy who had sacrificed so much for the family. How pitiful. An eight-year-old child had to bear so much. He went abroad alone and wandered, enduring countless hardships and shedding countless tears that he could not speak of. He could only lick his wounds alone in the dead of night. The ancestor consoled them. For the past seven years, we haven't been sitting still either. I've planted many people in the Yin Yue dynasty. Recently, Qin Wan even disguised himself as Wan Ma and approached Xiao Feng. He's not only able to support Xiao Feng by his side, but also provide assistance from the family. At the same time, he's also proud that the family has a Qin Feng. At the Moon God Palace, remembering her aunt's words, don't be reckless, survival is the way. The Moon God was worried that Ziyan wouldn't understand, so she taught her. Only those who live long are strong. You must learn the flexible spirit of the black tortoise. When you encounter danger, you should never take risks. Zi Yan nodded indifferently, her heart only filled with thoughts of Qin Feng. I wonder where he is now. Will he make it to Kunlun in time? At the Blue Demon Palace, the Blue Demon also instructed her daughter, Wulan, but she didn't tell her to be careful like the Moon God. Instead, she kept staring at Wulan, telling her to find an opportunity to sleep with Qin Feng. What's the use of a female cultivator with high cultivation? As long as she can find a good husband, she will be successful. Listen clearly. You must sleep with Qin Feng. Mother, I will decide my own love life. Wulan blushed. At this moment, in the great Xia Imperial Palace, Princess Nanfeng 
led the warriors of Great Shia, standing in a grand formation that illuminated the heavens and the earth. Nanfeng, this time, you must not disappoint your father again. The Great Shia Emperor stood majestically in front of the palace. Initially, he thought that the envoy to Yinyue could suppress Qin Feng, thereby provoking a conflict between Qin Feng and Yinyue. Unexpectedly, in the end, countless people were played by Qin Feng. Not only was Nanfeng publicly humiliated, even the heavens chosen of the northern plains had disappeared. This time, when Kunlun opened, the emperor sent Nanfeng to give her a chance to redeem herself. Nanfeng hurriedly nodded and promised, Father, don't worry. This time, I will definitely use that Qin Feng's head to wash away the shame of Great Xia. Qin Feng, wait for me. Before she could finish her words, the formation activated. Nanfeng and the other heavens chosen were immediately teleported into Kunlun. In Kunlun, after refining the southern Minglei fire, Qin Feng felt a burning sensation in his body. The scorching sun was constantly shining, causing his temperature to soar. At this moment, if any creature appeared, Qin Feng would definitely grab it to cool down immediately. Just as Qin Feng was thinking, a beam of teleportation light appeared in front of him. Boom, a black shadow descended from the sky. Qin Feng took a closer look and exclaimed, Isn't this Fang Chang? Damn it, why is he here? In order to seize Fang Chang's opportunity, Qin Feng had given the Hundred Transformations Demon Lord a pig sperm medicine. Even if he went crazy and screamed until his throat was torn, it would be useless. Why is his body so strong? At this moment, Fang Chang stood up tremblingly, feeling his vision blur. When he realized that it was Qin Feng, the one he wanted to take revenge on, Fang Chang mocked Qin Feng. Why is it you? If not for the old devil in my body waking up in time, I would have missed Kunlun and continued to endure my cruel mental torture. Today either you die or I die. But a moment later, Fang Chang felt a sharp pain in his genitals again. The pain was like a tidal wave, attacking his soul and brain directly. The heavenly army and the myriad horses did not understand why Fang Chang had stopped, but if they wanted to harm their boss, they had to ask the iron rods in their hands. How dare a defeated general like you harm our master? His words were like sharp knives, piercing Fang Chang's heart. Fang Chang couldn't control himself and was about to use his strongest move to punish these three bastards. Suddenly, from within Fang Chang's body, giant Buddha, a hundred meters tall, appeared. At the same time, a strange Buddhist laughter rang out. Ha ha! Become my slave. Fang Chang laughed maniacally, his face pale. But on the other side, the two people looked at Fang Chang like he was crazy. What was he doing? He must have been played until he was stupid. Ignoring Fang Chang, the heavenly army and the myriad horses rushed towards him with a deadly blow. Fang Chang was stunned on the spot, defending himself while wondering why. Obviously, I have already entered the realm of Buddhist demonic sound, but why can't I control those two? Seeing Fang Chang's move, Qin Feng felt even more pity. He had even reached the level of Tao initiation. If he remembered correctly, the first time he met Fang Chang, his cultivation was only at the five martial arts realm. In just one month, he had broken through to the Tao level, and his foundation was not unstable at all. Qin Feng was annoyed in his heart. How could the main characters ignore the stability of their foundation and break through as much as they wanted? In the meantime, just to stabilize my foundation, I had to spend seven years or consume hundreds of thousands of villain points. It was obvious that there was discrimination against the villains. Fang Chang raised his hand and tied the two of them up. A stream of evil qi gushed out from his body, transforming into a vicious demon. The heavenly army and the myriad horses were terrified. What was this? At the same time, they realized that this demon was draining their vitality. If they didn't stop it, they would be drained dry sooner or later. Aha! This is the devouring demon art. It can devour everything. Feeling the abundant energy flowing in his body, Fang Chang's smile became cruel. This was the demonic art he had learned from the old demon, which could devour all things and strengthen himself, could definitely defeat Qin Feng. But suddenly, Fang Chang was shocked. Where is Qin Feng? Before he could react further, Fang Chang suddenly felt a chill behind him. Cold sweat ran down his face. It felt as if Qin Feng was stalking him. Fang Chang turned his head in horror, only to see Qin Feng standing behind him with a smile. The azure sky sword of eternal nothingness floated in the air, shining brightly. The tip of the sword pointed straight at his injured anus. Whoosh! The azure sky sword of eternal nothingness shot out. Its target was Fang Chang's anus. Do you look down on me, Qin Feng? At this moment, Fang Chang released all his potential, releasing a wave of energy to protect his anus, preparing to confront Qin Feng's five fingers. Clang, clang, clang! 
The sound of swords clashing rang out, but they were all blocked by the energy shield. Fortunately, I managed to block it in time. Fang Chang breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that his martial arts were still a level higher. Just as Fang Chang lost his focus, the heavenly army and the myriad horses joined forces to break free from his control and fled immediately. What? They escaped? Fang Chang really wanted to chase after them and kill them, but his anus was still under threat from the azure sky sword of eternal nothingness. Suddenly, Fang Chang was stunned, his eyes wide open and his whole body trembling, almost fainting. It turned out to be Xiao Bai, who took advantage of the moment when Fang Chang lost his focus and sneaked under him, giving him a fatal kick. Boom! The last pillar of Fang Chang's manhood was shattered. He immediately collapsed to the ground. The sharp pain all over his body made him unable to speak, and he could only lie there clutching his genitals, crying miserably. The energy in Fang Chang's body also stopped circulating, and the giant demon shattered. At this moment, the Azure Sky Sword of Eternal Nothingness pierced through the shield and plunged straight into Fang Chang's anus. Fang Chang was terrified and tried to stand up, but it was too late. A sword pierced through his bright red anus. Fang Chang's face turned pale, and he let out a scream. Ding dong! Congratulations to the master for putting the chosen son of heaven into a state of enlightenment and receiving 500,000 villain points. Ding dong! Congratulations to the master for stabbing the withered flower of the chosen son of heaven and receiving 500,000 villain points. Ding dong! Congratulations to the master for seriously injuring the chosen son of heaven and receiving 500,000 villain points. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for causing serious psychological damage to the chosen son of heaven and receiving 500,000 villain points. The heavenly army and the myriad horses looked at Fang Chang's scene and also felt that he was too cruel. Fang Chang was already crippled, and now he was even more broken. Fang Chang lay motionless, his eyes lifeless. A tear fell from the corner of his eye. Seeing Fang Chang lying unconscious, the heavenly army and the myriad horses suddenly felt unusually moved. The pressure from his anus also made Fang Chang completely sober. He hurriedly shook his buttocks and said with a righteous look, You can kill a gentleman, but you can't humiliate him. Fang Chang lay on the ground, a tear rolling down from the corner of his eye. Chin Feng, you shameless bastard. Seeing that the system only rewarded him with 1.5 million points, Chin Feng was a little dissatisfied. Was there no chance to draw a lottery? After saying that, he picked up a stone and threw it at Fang Chang. As the chosen son of heaven, Fang Chang could not be underestimated. Boss, he really doesn't move anymore. The heavenly army and the myriad horses looked at Fang Chang rolling his eyes, completely motionless. Chin Feng smiled mysteriously, looking at the two of them. Do you guys want to take this opportunity to turn the world upside down and become the great emperor? The two of them were so frightened that they hugged each other, declining this good opportunity. It's better to leave it to others. Chin Feng pretended to be profound. Don't have any psychological burden. We are doing this for your own good. To succeed, everyone needs a benefactor, a good master, and a villain to stimulate them. We are willing to sacrifice ourselves to help you rise to the top. We will be the villains in your life, helping you to grow stronger and to embark on the path to success sooner. That is a great blessing. It seemed reasonable. The myriad horses nodded. Oh, I understand. That is sacrificing oneself for others. The heavenly army was stunned. He felt a cold sweat. Why do I feel that Qin Feng's words make sense? I agree with the master. Xiao Bai, who knows when, had climbed onto Qin Feng's shoulder, took out a notebook, and wrote down his notes, his eyes filled with admiration. I must remember and learn from this teaching. To reassure the two of them, Qin Feng continued to coax them. You really don't need to have any psychological burden. I can give you some medicine. Under Qin Feng's bewitchment, the heavenly army and the myriad horses finally took the medicine. At the same time, a sign of great danger appeared on Fang Chang's anus. What's going on? The sudden sense of danger made Fang Chang wake up in a panic, struggling and shouting, you can kill a gentleman, but you can't humiliate him. Old devil, quickly lend me your power. The evil energy surged up and poured into Fang Chang's body. So strong, the three of Qin Feng quickly retreated. Master, this thing is a little hard to kill. Qin Feng was also shocked by Fang Chang's madness. These chosen sons of heaven are really unpredictable, and they open their buffs as soon as they are provoked. Unlike me, who has achieved what I have today through hard work. After the evil energy dissipated, Fang Chang appeared with a ruthless face, his whole body exuding an aura of killing intent and bloodlust. He's really strong. Even Qin Feng couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. It seemed that even though he had been obstructed at the end of the life and death selection, Fang Chang had still achieved the state of a Buddha and a demon. 
demon, heavenly thousand-handed Buddha. Fang Chang roared, and the evil energy enveloped the battlefield. Behind him, the Buddha demon statue grew countless arms and attacked Qin Feng directly, shouting the sword decision. Qin Feng's heart was shaken, but he quickly stabilized himself. Thousands of sword qi converged into an ocean, rushing towards Fang Chang. Boom, 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 countless sword qi images collided, creating a shock that spread far and wide, forming waves of energy that enveloped the battlefield. As soon as one sword qi image was destroyed, another one would replace it, and the two sides fought for thousands of rounds. This time, Qin Feng was sure to die. Fang Chang had gone all out. Even though he was injured many times, he didn't care. Seeing that Fang Chang was exhausted, Qin Feng couldn't help but mock him. I don't know if you can kill me, but the first kiss of Nanfeng doesn't belong to you. Do you know? After you ran away, I tasted the sweet kiss myself. That softness, you bastard. Fang Chang went mad, his eyes bloodshot. Old devil, in order to avenge this, this soul will be yours. Just give me more power. Fang Chang was intoxicated by the abundant vitality in his body, feeling as if the sky had cleared and the clouds had dispersed. He woke up and said, just use it. Use all your strength. The old devil understood that the more Fang Chang used his power, the weaker his will would become. When the two powers were completely integrated, it would be time for him to take over this body. Oh, my dear brother, you're so strong. Seeing the evil energy surrounding Fang Chang and his strength increasing tenfold, Qin Feng suddenly panicked. Fang Chang laughed smugly. Finally, the cowardly Qin Feng has been trampled under my feet. Suddenly, Qin Feng's expression changed, and he spat out a purple-blue flame that formed a river, and then a sea of fire that surrounded him. You're pretending to be scared again. He pointed at the tiger in his hand. My dear brother, look what this is. The old devil was shocked, and his eyes widened. This is the legendary Southern Ming Li Fire, which specializes in restraining demons and devils. Since he cultivated the devil spirit body technique, if he touched touched the lie fire, even if he had the power of heaven, he would be reduced to dust. One thing restrains another. Fang Chang asked unwillingly, if I let you take over my body, can you help me kill Qin Feng? Do you think I'm a god? The old devil broke out in a cold sweat, shouting, this is the Kunlun secret realm, controlled by heaven and earth. It's already a miracle that I can enter here and lend you my power. Don't be delusional. Retreat quickly, or it will be too late. Fang Chang clenched his fists tightly, his face full of hatred. He thought that with the power of the devil, he could defeat Qin Feng. Unexpectedly, Qin Feng had so many tricks up his sleeve. It was like taking out a tissue, happily opening a browser to watch a movie. Unexpectedly, each page was a shockingly explicit image. Fang Chang suddenly had a flash of understanding. In Kunlun, the old devil was controlled by heaven and earth, so he couldn't take over my body. So the initiative is in my hands. Seeing that Fang Chang had calmed down, Qin Feng shot a stream of southern Mingli fire at Fang Chang. Fang Chang and the old devil in his body screamed, I'm dead, I'm dead. Then they covered their buttocks and fled the battlefield, not looking back. Qin Feng, wait for me to come back. Ding dong, congratulations to the master for making the chosen son of heaven cover his buttocks and flee, receiving 300,000 villain points. He's not a chosen son of heaven, he's clearly a money-giving fairy. Looking at the balance of his villain points, which had reached 2.6 million, Qin Feng couldn't help but grin. Boss, let's chase after him. The heavenly soldiers and horses didn't hesitate. Seeing Fang Chang running, they immediately gave chase. On the surface, Qin Feng was trying to stop them, but in his heart, he thought that with the buff of the chosen son of heaven, if Fang Chang decided to run, no one would be able to catch up to him. Even if they did catch him, they would only be giving him a few pieces of equipment, rare bill, experience, and other benefits. Qin Feng wouldn't do something so unprofitable. Instead, he should take advantage of Fang Chang's injuries, find the endless spring before he encountered any unexpected opportunities. Suddenly, Qin Feng's expression changed. It was because the Southern Ming Lai fire in his body had reached its limit, exploding. As a result, his cultivation level directly broke through from the first level of the earthly abyss to the second level of the earthly abyss. At the same time, the heavenly soldiers and horses also broke through to a new realm. The two of them stared at each other in shock, their hearts filled with panic. This is impossible, they thought in disbelief. Qin Feng calmly said, let's go, find the endless spring. At this moment, Fang Chang was running around, clutching his buttocks and trying to put out the fire. After he managed to extinguish the southern Ming Lai fire, the old devil advised Fang Chang, I advise you not to provoke Qin Feng anymore. He is an invincible martial artist. Provoking him will only harm you. 
Fang Chang immediately objected to the old devil. I know that you only passed on to me an abridged version of the devouring demon technique. Now, I demand that you pass on to me the complete version. The old devil was surprised. Who do you think you are? Daring to ask me for the complete version of the devouring demon technique. Fang Chang's expression suddenly changed, and he glared at the old devil. If you don't pass it on, then forget it. Without saying another word, he turned and walked away, limping. Wait, what are you gonna do? The old devil asked in a panic. I've already been defiled, and I've lost my virility. With this appearance, I'd rather die by Qin Feng's hand. Fang Chang also learned from Qin Feng, pretending that if he didn't give it to him, they would all die. The old devil couldn't help but curse. If one didn't know better, one would think that Fang Chang had already been possessed by Qin Feng. Fang Chang pretended not to care about life or death. The old devil had no choice but to say, all right, I can only teach you a small part of it. After receiving a small amount of the demon technique, Fang Chang began to regenerate his tendons, but he quickly discovered something unusual. Although he was cultivating according to the method, why was there still no reaction? The old devil explained, young man, don't be disappointed. When you reach the earthly realm, your tendons and flesh will regenerate and your virility will return. Furthermore, there are many treasures in the world that can regenerate severed limbs. Where can I find such treasures? Fang Chang asked eagerly. The old devil said in a low voice, Now that you have lost your virility, it is also an opportunity to cut off your worldly desires and focus on your cultivation. The opportunities in Kunlun are the key. If you don't want to tell me, then forget it. Let's part ways. Fang Chang stood up abruptly, ready to find Qin Feng and kill himself. Wait, 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 I'll tell you, okay? The old devil hurriedly stopped him. The old devil was so angry that his hair was standing on end, but he couldn't do anything to Fang Chang in Kunlun. Then the old devil said slowly, there is a legend at the edge of the border. At this moment, three people and a rabbit were walking through the scorching sun in the middle of the desert. It's so hot. Little White exhaled some smoke, saying that wearing a fur coat in the summer is the hottest. Jin Feng stopped in his tracks, looking around warily. Not far away, a small patch of black grass appeared. Why is there grass in this desolate place? On their way, the three of them had not seen any signs of life, and even the hardy weeds had disappeared. But now there was a thick patch of black grass, which was very unusual. Without saying anything, Wan Ma ran over and pulled out a stalk of grass by the roots. This is a poisonous grass. As soon as he touched it, Wan Ma felt a surge of poisonous energy invade his body, which even his Tao Realm aura couldn't resist. Protect the young master, Wan Ma managed to say before fainting. This poisonous grass is terrifying. Tianjun exclaimed in horror and quickly pulled Qin Feng back. Don't worry. Qin Feng patted him on the shoulder, motioning for him to step back. My physique is immune to all poisons, and my blood has the ability to detoxify. Qin Feng bit his finger and dripped a few drops of blood on Wan Ma's forehead. Immediately, the poison on Wan Ma's face receded. His breathing became smoother, and Wan Ma sat up, a look of relief on his face. Thank you, young master. But why is there such a terrifying poisonous grass here? Qin Feng said, if grass can grow in this forbidden place, it proves that there is a treasure here. But the grass is poisonous, so it can only mean that there is a great treasure here. Little White clapped his hands and cheered, his eyes filled with admiration for Qin Feng. Qin Feng was very pleased with Little White's flattery. He took out a carrot from his system and gave it to him. Tian Jun and Wan Ma were itching to pat Qin Feng's head in praise, but they were interrupted interrupted by the sound of the unpolluted spring up ahead. We have to hurry, Qin Feng said. He followed the hillside down, passed through the black grass, and with a loud bang, he broke through the layer of earth, revealing a cave entrance below ground. This is the place. Qin Feng had found the right location based on his memory. From below came the faint sound of a flowing stream. Qin Feng waved his hand, and the sky-piercing sword illuminated the entire cave. A pure energy flow radiated from within, astounding Tianjun and Wan Ma. Both of them felt an unprecedented advancement in both their physical and spiritual bodies, as well as a new understanding of the heavenly Tao. Then they jumped down into the cave. As they had seen, at the bottom of the cave was a crystal clear stream, which was the endless spring that he was looking for. After a three minute free fall, the group landed at the bottom of the cave and they could clearly hear the sound of dripping water. A pure energy source emanated from there. Tianjun and Wan Ma opened their eyes wide in amazement and took a deep breath. This is the legendary endless spring created by heaven and earth. According to legend, the endless spring helps one to achieve the state of unity between heaven and man and to travel freely throughout the heavens and the earth, to feel the nature 
It is fortunate to be able to wash away the legend of the Taoist practice. You guys can cultivate here. Qin Feng glanced at the small pond, not taking it seriously at all. According to what he had seen with the Heaven's Secret card, this endless spring was only a weak version. Tianjun and Wan Ma were so moved that they shed tears. They really wanted to shout out a slogan to thank him, for he had warmed them all year round. Qin Feng shyly led Little White into the depths of the cave. The real endless spring was even purer, and Fang Chang had discovered it deep in the cave and had washed away his Tao heart with it. Even though it was only a weak version, the endless spring was still a rare treasure. If it weren't for the age limit in Kunlun, there would definitely be countless masters outside fighting to the death for it. Deep in the cave, next to the real endless spring, was a mysterious world. The sparkling gemstones on the ceiling of the cave were the kind of mineral that female streamers would go crazy for. At their feet was a pool of water the size of a wellhead. Little White stared at it, his mouth watering. He approached it and took a deep breath. His mind suddenly became clear, and he had a completely new understanding of the way of the sword. Coming closer to his goal of becoming a sword rabbit, the energy was so pure, Qin Feng couldn't help but take a sip of water. Boom! Qin Feng felt his mind tremble, and his pure soul traveled freely. His mind was no longer filled with worries or pain, only with a pure connection to nature. This was the natural Tao law, the unity of heaven and man. But Qin Feng didn't stop at the state of unity between heaven and man. He also spent 600,000 villain points. He exchanged 600,000 villain points for a foundation establishment pill and 100,000 points for 12 hours of the 10,000 times clear mind buff. It would be useless for Fang Chang anyway, so Qin Feng didn't hesitate. His bright eyes slowly opened. He picked up Little White and dipped him into the endless spring and then took another sip himself. Gulp, gulp, Little White choked and coughed, saying that he would need at least 100,000 carats or he would never forgive him. Oops, I'm flying. Little White felt a sense of floating, but was too hasty to record it in his notebook and could only lie down and fall asleep. Qin Feng suddenly burst forth with a terrifying power, his cultivation level skyrocketing to the third level of the earthly abyss. With the help of the endless spring and the 10,000 times clear mind buff, Qin Feng's great river sword technique, great might of the heavenly dragon, and heavenly punishment sword technique all increased by one level. Hearing the commotion, Little White woke up in a daze and saw his master looking powerful, so he went back to sleep. In his dream, he heard someone whispering in his ear, cultivate your heart and engrave it on your bones, enlighten the Tao and escape the mundane world. Three flowers bloom, the Tao of fortune, past, present, and future, deep martial arts, the champion's staff transforms into infinity. Little White couldn't help but yawn, sleeping even more soundly like an ignorant student. Thanks to the combined power of the endless spring and the 10,000 times clear mind buff, Qin Feng's invincible eyes also unlocked additional abilities. His left eye, the eye of life, could heal all wounds. His right eye, the eye of destruction, could destroy anything it saw as long as the difference in level wasn't too great. Qin Feng suddenly opened his eyes, his pitch black eyes filled with a power that could tear through the heavens. The sword energy around him surged like a mighty river. On the rock wall, terrifying slash marks were left behind. Qin Feng sighed and the sword energy dissipated. After drinking half of the endless spring and with the help of the 10,000 times clear mind buff, he had finally cleansed his Tao heart and could easily reach the state of natural Tao law. Qin Feng closed his eyes and felt the world as if he had become one with the heavens and the earth. Tianjun and Wan Ma had finished their cultivation and came to protect Qin Feng, but they were surprised by his graceful aura. Not only did it ignore the foundation, but it also increased all attributes. Qin Feng's aura was restrained, and his whole body exuded a completely different aura. Although he was standing still, it made people feel like he had disappeared. Little White wagged its belly and got up, it had also merged with the heavens and the earth like Qin Feng. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for seizing the opportunity of the son of heaven and receiving a chance to draw a lottery. Ding dong. A low-level son of heaven has been detected. Qin Feng was stunned on the spot. Up until now, all the sons of heaven he had met were of epic level. Now a low-level son of heaven had suddenly appeared, which was puzzling. Before he could react further, Qin Feng heard a voice calling out, Look at my move. Orchid silver entangling shadow. Qin Feng looked looked down at the ground curiously. The ground shook and a cyan vine shot out, quickly wrapping itself around him. 
Tianjun and Wanma were also tightly wrapped by the vine. Even Little White couldn't escape. However, the vine was not as terrifying as it seemed. It couldn't pierce through Tianjun's armor, let alone Qin Feng's inner dragon armor. Haha, -ha, luckily I found the Endless Spring. A man crawled out from the ground, eagerly looking at the remaining half of the Endless Spring, completely ignoring Qin Feng. It seemed that no one could do anything to him wherever his vines covered. This was the low-level Son of Heaven. Qin Feng observed curiously, his heart filled with doubt. If Tianjun and Wanma joined forces, they could definitely defeat him in a few moves. Qin Feng assessed his opponent. Thinking of this, Qin Feng called out to the system, Are you sure he's the Son of Heaven? The system replied, Yes, I have detected that he is a low-level Son of Heaven. There's no mistake. So what level is low-level? Qin Feng asked curiously, One level lower than mid-level. Mid-level is one level lower than high-level. High-level is one level lower than legendary. Legendary is one level lower than mythical. Qin Feng stammered for a while before or saying, so is there any reward for defeating him? The system couldn't help but explain, that's the lowest level of the Son of Heaven. It's good enough to have villain points. Qin Feng was disappointed. It turned out to be a small fry. Before, all the Sons of Heaven were at least of epic level or higher. Why did such a weakling appear? Could he be a comedic character? Look at my move, Orchid's Silver Entangling Shadow. I will strangle you and take the Endless Spring. He was very excited now, as if the Endless Spring was beckoning him. Tianjun and Wan Ma were so angry that their faces turned green, thinking that he was insulting them. Wan Ma took a deep breath, and the internal force within him erupted. Boom! The vines that were tightly wrapped around Wan Ma shattered. He knelt down and charged towards the Son of Heaven, who was releasing his move. Just as he finished saying Orchid Silver, Wan Ma had already approached him. He raised his hand and was still stubborn, trying to activate Orchid Silver Entangling Shadow again. Wan Ma slapped him again. At this time, the Son of Heaven had run out of energy, but he still tried to use Orchid Silver Entangling. Before he could finish speaking, Wan Ma's fist hit him in the face, causing him to spit out white foam. He fainted. Ding dong. Congratulations to the Master's subordinate for injuring the low-level Son of Heaven and receiving 50 villain points. Only 50 points? Qin Feng couldn't believe his eyes. When he was still in his mother's womb, he got 10 points for kicking his younger brother. Now he only got 50 points for injuring someone. He's really the trash of the Son of Heaven. Worthless, my lords. I will take my leave. He suddenly woke up, rushed to the ground to escape. Stop. Wan Ma roared and chased after him immediately. Wait, Wan Ma. Qin Feng stopped time. The opening of Kunlun is limited, and we shouldn't waste any more time here. It's time to go. Wan Ma explained that he had to kill him to silence him. If he were to spread the news that he was my opponent, my reputation would be affected. Qin Feng continued, The time in Kunlun is limited, and we've already wasted many days. It's time to go out. The two of them were startled, awakened by Qin Feng. That's right. Everyone was trying to find opportunities within the limited time of Kunlun. Why would they waste time on that orchid silver entangling shadow? Shadow joke. He's not even qualified. At the same time, the two of them looked at Qin Feng eagerly, waiting for him to lead the way to find the great treasure. From the moment he led them to Hualuo City and then to Kunlun, it was obvious that Qin Feng already knew about the Endless Spring here. He must know other secrets. Agree my ass. Qin Feng muttered to himself. What will happen next? I don't know either. Qin Feng didn't know where the treasures of heaven and earth were hidden. Then there's only one way left, and that's to rob them. Tianjun and Wan Ma couldn't hide their excitement. Although there were only three people and one rabbit, their combat power was not to be underestimated. With Qin Feng's crazy ability to fight, there was definitely no one in Kunlun who could be their opponent. But Qin Feng replied solemnly, you guys need to broaden your horizons and use your brains instead of just solving everything with violence. Kunlun is vast, and there are countless warriors. Even if you rob them indiscriminately, you won't get much. Moreover, the people you can rob, do they have treasures? It's just a waste of time. That's right, that's right, Xiaobai nodded in agreement. We're just going to take advantage of the situation, not rob them. Tianjun asked sincerely, then what should we do now? Qin Feng thought for a moment and said, the two of you quickly spread the news that Lin Tam of Tianxin City, Fang Changmen's disciple Tianzi Daxi, Wulan from the Zilan Demon Palace, and that guy with the same name, I.I., have also obtained the treasures of heaven and earth in Kunlun, the Endless Spring.
Ming, the Southern Ming Li fire, just say whatever to provoke the entire Kunlun to find them. Tian Jun and Wan Ma were stunned, not understanding Qin Feng's intentions, but after working with him for a while, they knew that Qin Feng always did things unexpectedly. Without asking any more questions, the two of them began to spread the news according to Qin Feng's instructions. If there were young people searching for these treasures, their job would be much easier. As long as they found that group, they would immediately have the treasures of heaven and earth, at least at the level of the heavenly emperor. Qin Feng continued to hide in the shadows, happily reaping the benefits of being a fisherman. He summoned the system and prepared to use his points to draw a lottery. The familiar spinning wheel appeared and began to spin. Congratulations to the master for winning the Divine Sword Witness, Zhou Tian Heart Forming Divine Sword Formation. The Zhou Tian Heart Forming Divine Sword Formation is a divine level formation that allows the user to increase the power of the sword formation based on the number of swords that the user can control. Each additional sword will increase the power by 1% theoretically with infinite power. The maximum number of swords that can be controlled is 100,000. Why is it related to swords again? Qin Feng felt that he had a fate with swords. In an instant, a large amount of information flooded into Qin Feng's brain. He saw thousands of swords transformed into twinkling stars, then into tens of thousands, millions, countless stars. They combined into a giant sword. The Zhou Tian sword formation swung out and the entire world flashed purple. The sun and moon were extinguished and and the heavens and earth cracked open as if the apocalypse had arrived. The terrifying sword formation. Qin Feng was shocked by the power of the Zhao Qian heart forming divine sword formation. Perhaps it was not as powerful as the heavenly tribulation sword technique or the treading river sword, but its ability to stack infinitely made it terrifying. Not long after, Tian Jun and Wan Ma left the scorching desert. The two of them began to spread false news according to Qin Feng's instructions. Have you heard? Lin Tom of Tianxin City found the immortal spirit ore. That's nothing. Wulan of the Zilan Demon Palace found a phoenix egg. Your news is outdated. I just heard that Fang Chang, a disciple of Tianzi Daxi, found the Endless Spring. The Endless Spring? That's great. If used correctly, it can cleanse the Tao heart. I also heard that there's a guy named Tang something. He's not very strong, but his skills are formidable. If only we could catch him and use him. As the rumors spread, everyone became restless. They rushed into Kunlun for the great opportunity, had been chased by wild beasts for several days, and had not found anything. Now hearing that others had found a heaven-sent opportunity, how could they bear it? Instead of wandering around searching aimlessly, it would be faster to rob others of their opportunities. In the blink of an eye, the entire Kunlun became restless, and everyone went looking for Fang Chang. Wulan and Lin Tam, Tian Jun and Wan Ma were hiding behind a large rock rock at this moment. The two of them nodded in satisfaction at everyone's reaction. The boss is really clever. With just a few lies, he has tricked all the martial artists of Kunlun into finding people for us. Wanma proudly thought to himself, of course. Young Master Qin, the future successor of the Qin family, how could he be incompetent? Meanwhile, on the other side of Kunlun, Qin Feng had also recovered after being stunned by the terrifying power of the Zhou Qin heart-forming divine sword formation. It was time to go. Qin Feng poured the water from the endless spring into a bottle and then summoned the void divine sword. He quickly pressed down on a seal and the sword immediately split into nine smaller branches that flew out of his hand. A terrifying clang echoed throughout the cave. The nine swords no longer attacked violently in one direction, but instead flew quickly and gracefully like meteors, their trajectories unpredictable. They continuously launched sword waves to attack. The deafening explosion reverberated throughout the cave. Wherever the nine swords passed, mountains crumbled and the earth cracked and the endless spring, born from heaven and earth, vanished into thin air. Even though Fang Chang had found it, thanks to the protagonist's buff, he could no longer use the endless spring to cleanse his Tao heart. heart. In another ancient and desolate place in Kunlun, the Sea of Fragrant Colors was where Qin Feng had gone after separating from Tian Jun and Wan Ma because he was bored. The Sea of Fragrant Colors was not a vast sea, but a field of crimson flowers. According to legend, this place often emitted a mournful cry. Anyone who entered to search for treasure would disappear, and it was unknown what kind of monsters were inside. That was why the Sea of Fragrant Colors was the least visited place in Kunlun. But if there was still a place that contained the treasures of heaven and earth, then 99% of the people would point to the sea of fragrant colors. However, the danger was too great. No one dared to enter. Indeed, Qin Feng stood in the middle of the field of red flowers, but he didn't see any sign of anyone. Do we really have to go in there? 
Xiao Bai trembled as it hid in Qin Feng's arms. Its ears had already heard the mournful cry. Let's just go in and have a look, since we have nothing better to do. Qin Feng was relying on the new martial arts manual he had just received, so he didn't care about these dangerous places. Qin Feng suddenly felt a cold aura and quickly became alert. Before he could react, a beautiful girl suddenly appeared and pounced on him. Her appearance could not be called that of a beautiful woman, but she was still a rare beauty. When Qin Feng opened his eyes, he was shocked to find three beautiful girls staring at him. Who are you? The three girls giggled and began to introduce themselves. My name is Zhen Jin, said the girl in red. My name is Lian Lian, said the girl in yellow. The girl in white shook her head. My name is Ai Ai. Seeing the pairs of breasts approaching with smiles, Qin Feng coldly pushed them away. Please respect yourself. You're joking. You don't have a marriage certificate, and you dare to use your beauty to tempt me? Don't you know that I am Qin Feng, the most handsome man in the world? You impolite brat. The three girls' faces turned cold, and a terrifying aura enveloped the area. The field of flowers that had been bright with sunlight earlier was now overcast. The red petals danced in the air as if the apocalypse was upon them. Qin Feng felt like he was in a small boat in a violent storm and could be shipwrecked at any moment. He was going to die. The three girls screamed and unleashed a wave of soul attacks that surged like a landslide, completely engulfing Qin Feng. Thud! But Qin Feng just rubbed his head as if nothing had happened. The three girls were stunned, their eyes wide with horror. Their soul attacks could kill even a cultivator at the third level of the earthly cauldron realm. Not to mention that Qin Feng was completely unharmed. How was that possible? Boom! The ground shook and a horde of pale-faced undead crawled out from the ground. Oh my god, is this a zombie breeding ground? Qin Feng didn't know much about zombies, but he knew that they were a kind of undead creature that had been resurrected and that they absorbed the essence of the moon and human blood to increase their strength. On the other hand, their elixirs were also very nourishing for cultivators. If this was really a zombie breeding ground, then they were the ones. Qin Feng's expression changed. Even though he was immune to soul attacks, he couldn't withstand the physical attacks of a horde of zombies. Qin Feng flicked his finger. A purple-blue flame shot out from Qin Feng's finger, called the Southern Netherworld Purple Fire. The horde of zombies panicked and fled in disarray. The three girls were also shocked and frightened and kept retreating. Even though they were ghost cultivators with tens of thousands of years of experience and zombies, Qin Feng could crush them with just a flick of his finger. But everything in the world has something that can restrain it. Their natural enemy was the southern netherworld purple fire. They would dissolve into smoke upon contact and their souls would dissipate. Even though Qin Feng was far behind them in terms of realm, he still took off his clothes and sacrificed himself to attract the three girls. Oh, what a strong body. The three girls' eyes lit up, and they couldn't help but exclaim at the extremely strong yang energy coming from the heaven's mandate body. Moreover, the potential power of the supreme bone and the invincible eyes made them unable to resist. It must be known that since Kunlun had closed its doors tens of thousands of years ago, they had never met anyone. How could they withstand Qin Feng's provocation? They wanted to rush over and suck him dry, but they were afraid of the southern netherworld fire, so they didn't dare to approach. Qin Feng flaunted his body and said, I'm putting such a beautiful body in front of you, why don't you come and enjoy it? You may be able to control yourselves for the first day. But after 10 days, 15 days, are you sure you won't be tempted anymore? How long can you endure this? The three girls drooled as they looked at Qin Feng's charming beauty, and they really couldn't resist resist the temptation. But because they were afraid of the southern netherworld fire, they could only suppress their urges and run away. Why are you running? It's not scientific at all. Qin Feng touched his face. In theory, being handsome was justice, and he was the most just person in this ancient wilderness. Instead of begging, these demons should be fascinated by me. Why are they running faster than rabbits? How strange. Little White nodded in agreement, saying that it didn't run that fast. Sir, here are your clothes. Little White took Qin Feng's clothes and gave them to him. As he was thinking, Qin Feng took them in a daze and put them on. I understand now. They are the kind of demons that are not attracted to handsome men. Qin Feng finally figured out why they didn't want to entangle with him. But when he looked up, the three girls had already flown far away. Qin Feng hurriedly called out, Don't chase after them, or they'll run away. 
Little White reminded him from Qin Feng's shoulder. Qin Feng immediately summoned the system and exchanged 100,000 villain points for the fifth volume of the illusory shadow escapism technique. The four words, Earth Shrinking Inch, flashed through his mind. Qin Feng took a step forward, seemingly very slowly, but in the blink of an eye, he had already appeared 100 meters away. He quickly caught up to the three girls. They were full of panic, feeling like they were the biggest losers in history. Usually, humans would be scared and run away when they met demons. But now, it was the other way around. They were terrified of Qin Feng. In the center of the flower field was a giant crystal coffin, inside which seemed to be a girl wearing a red wedding dress, and a very terrifying aura emanated from it. The three girls knelt down in front of the coffin and reported the situation. Suddenly, a terrifying aura erupted from the coffin, and all the demons and zombies in the fragrance of the sea trembled in fear and prostrated themselves on the ground. At this time, Qin Feng had not yet caught up because he suddenly felt a pure and powerful energy source beneath the ground. Surrounding flowers were also growing more luxuriantly than ever before. There must be a great treasure underground. Qin Feng decided to dig up the treasure first before chasing after them. Kang, the sound of a sword rang out and Qin Feng released a sword energy which blew away the red flowers and revealed the ground that was shimmering with starlight. It was like countless gems scattered all over the ground. Little White's eyes lit up and he jumped down to collect all the gems. That's right, this was Kunlun's special product, the Immortal Essence, a treasure that all the sects in the martial arts world coveted. Why are there so many Immortal Essences? Qin Feng was more and more surprised as he looked at them. The ground was covered with Immortal Essences, making Qin Feng feel that something was wrong. The fragrance of the sea was the least visited place in Kunlun, so why were there so many Immortal Essences here? Or has he discovered a vein of Immortal Essence? The more Qin Feng thought about it, the more likely it seemed. According to the records, someone had found a vein of immortal essence in Kunlun before. Each time it was discovered, it would lead to fierce battles. This is an opportunity for me, a villain. Little White's eyes lit up again when he saw the immortal essence and he quickly jumped down to collect it all. It was indeed a precious specialty of Kunlun, a treasure that all the sects in the martial arts world coveted. Yes, yes, Little White exclaimed excitedly and continued to dig for immortal essence. The surroundings were quiet, and Qin Feng quickly grabbed his rabbit ears and put all the immortal essence into his space. That's mine. Little White cried out in pain and reached out to get it back. You're still young. I'll keep it for you and give it back to you when you're older. Qin Feng told Little White to be quiet. Hey, is there something wrong? Seeing that Little White didn't say anything, Qin Feng continued, I've been wanting to eat something crispy like a rabbit's head lately. Why don't you try it for me? Little White immediately spoke up, saying that he had no opinion. How could I dare to have an opinion? After checking that there was no one around, Qin Feng filled in the hole and covered up the vein of immortal essence, and then continued to chase after the three girls. Little White had to swallow his tears and thought to himself, Master, you can do whatever you want. How can I dare to resist? Not long after, Qin Feng arrived at the center of the flower field and saw only the crystal coffin with the girls beside it. There was a terrifying aura emanating from it. The three girls knelt in front of the coffin and said something to the person inside. Immediately after, a terrifying aura erupted from the coffin, causing everyone to tremble in fear and collapse to the ground. The terrifying aura enveloped the entire area, and the sky darkened as flower petals danced in the air, as if the end of the world was upon them. The three girls laughed with joy, saying, You're dead. This time, I'll take action. You'll regret it in the afterlife. Qin Feng scratched his nose and said innocently, Is this a spiritual attack? It doesn't hurt that much. It's just a little more painful than the powder that my master threw at my head. He rubbed his head as if nothing had happened. But this action made Qin Feng very uncomfortable. He used his indomitable will to penetrate the other party's memory. An ancient image appeared. A wedding sedan chair was stopped at the gate of the mansion. A phoenix crown, a bright red dress, cherry lips and ivory teeth, gentle and graceful, her slender waist like a willow branch swaying in the wind, her delicate fingers like a young onion. The red veil covered her two rows of hot tears, but could not hide the pain that was wrapped around her heart like a thread. Everyone knew that General Long and Xin Yan loved each other. Why did His Majesty issue an edict to make Xin Yan a concubine in the palace? Suddenly, the sound of fighting could be heard throughout the city. Unrighteous, tyrannical emperor, you have stolen my love. Today, I Long Aotian will be furious and create a disaster for the sake of a beauty. Long Aotian, you really have the intention of rebelling. 
You have stolen my love. Why shouldn't I fight back? Don't give me any flowery reasons. You are disloyal to the core, only fighting for your own interests, causing the deaths of so many people. I have tested you a little, and your true nature has already been revealed. Now let's fight to the death. In the sky, the two figures fought fiercely, shaking the heavens and the earth. The sun and moon darkened. The scene changed to Long Auchin placing the girl's body in the coffin, crying out in pain. It's not my fault, it's this unjust world. This blind heaven, these humans treat me like this. I will definitely destroy the human race. Heaven treats me like this. I will definitely shatter the nine heavens. I will become the new heaven, and all living beings will kneel at my feet. Bam! The image was cut off, leaving Qin Feng stunned on the spot. Long Aochen, the son of the Long family, invincible in the world, must be a powerful son of heaven. That means that the son of heaven is not home right now. Qin Feng looked at the coffin and smiled slyly, knowing that inside was the lover of the son of heaven. Qin Feng transformed into Cao Chao again, targeting Long Ocean's lover. Hey, he, I can already see the villain welcoming me, Qin Feng thought happily. At this moment, a girl in a red wedding dress flew out of the coffin. It was Xin Yan, whom Long Aochen had buried here. At first, she had died, but Long Aochen had used his utmost power to preserve her soul. After that, Long Aochen disappeared, and Xin Yan became a ghost cultivator, cultivating in the sea of flowers and fragrance while waiting for her lover to return. Qin Feng was immediately excited, because he liked this type very much. Xin Yan said softly, the third level of the Earth's core is protected by the Southern Ming fire and is immune to spiritual attacks, and can even invade my memory. You are very much like Long Aochen in the past, and you also have the talent to suppress the ages. I will not make things difficult for you. You can go. Qin Feng laughed out loud on the spot. Even if I have the protection of the Hong Mao experience scroll, or the Southern Ming fire, and my unyielding will, if I were to be fooled and leave like this, what would I be doing as a natural born villain. I'd rather go home and open a brothel to enjoy my old age. What do you mean by that smile? The three girls were immediately furious. Her sister had already forgiven him, but he was laughing at her, looking down on their sister. Little White jumped out eagerly. My master's meaning is very clear. We have never left empty-handed. Either you pay the ransom, or we will dig up your grave, dismember you, and scatter your ashes everywhere. How can a cute rabbit have such a mouth? The three girls were so angry that they were trembling. They had never seen such a rude rabbit. Xin Yan's face was serious. I admit that the Southern Ming fire can threaten me, but I also have the ability to kill you before you can use the Southern Ming fire. So what if I burn this whole place down? Qin Feng smiled and snapped his fingers, and the Southern Ming fire flared up. Xin Yan remained calm. It's just a flower field. Burn it if you want. But in reality, her heart was already in a panic. Even though they have cultivated for tens of thousands of years and have strong powers, they are limited and cannot leave the sea of flowers and fragrance. If Qin Feng really burns this place down with the Southern Ming fire, then they will be like frogs at the bottom of a well with no way out. My friend, you can try. Qin Feng didn't care. He only knew that he had the protection of the Hong Mao experience scroll, so he feared nothing. He stretched out his hand and a large ball of fire fell down. He really dared to burn it? The three girls were panic-stricken. They didn't expect Qin Feng to dare to burn the sea of flowers and fragrance. All right, you win. Xin Yan was extremely panicked. She didn't know if Qin Feng could escape from her hands, but she knew that she had no way out if the sea of flowers and fragrance was burned. Things that can be solved with money should not be taken lightly. Ding dong, congratulations to the master for taking advantage of the Son of Heaven's absence to harass his lover and receiving 200,000 villain points. Qin Feng summoned the southern Ming fire that was falling down and threw it to Little White. Little White did not hesitate and swallowed it in one gulp. Xin Yan sighed in relief. Thankfully, I didn't make a move. If she had really made a move against Qin Feng, this rabbit could also use the southern Ming fire to burn down the entire sea of flowers and fragrance. At the same time, she was also curious about what kind of rabbit this was. It looked like a magical beast, but she had never heard of a rabbit that could swallow the southern Ming fire. What do you want? Xin Yan asked. Qin Feng closed his eyes and thought, should he go straight for the kill or take it slow? Xin Yan's face was serious. If you leave the sea of flowers and fragrance, I will give you 100 million immortal crystals. What? 100 million immortal crystals? Qin Feng was stunned, thinking that he had misheard. Sister, those are immortal crystals. How can you give them away so easily? Little White was shocked. 
Sinyan just waved her hand, and a mountain of immortal crystals appeared. Holy crap, she's so rich. Chin Feng looked like he had never seen the world before. The three girls looked at him with contempt, disgusted by Chin Feng's childish behavior. Perhaps to outsiders, immortal crystals were precious. But to them, who had lived in Kunlun for many years, immortal crystals were very cheap. Chin Feng stared at the mountain of immortal crystals and then said seriously, Sister, I don't want to try anymore. Can you give me a chance? Give me the best chance of my life. Little White ran in front of Xin Yan, begging to stay. How could humans and rabbits be so shameless? The three girls looked at each other, their eyes twitching. They had never seen anyone so shameless. Xin Yan waved her hand coldly, and Chin Feng and Little White disappeared from that place. Chin Feng and Little White appeared outside the sea of flowers and fragrance, with the mountain of immortal crystals shining beside them. Chin Feng put the immortal crystals into his space. At this moment, Little White's ears suddenly stiffened. It seemed to hear the sound of fighting in the distance. Lin San, you can't escape. Surrender Lin San. Chin Feng was excited. He finally met his beloved again. He and Little White quickly rushed into the forest, and sure enough, they saw a group of people chasing after Lin San. What surprised Chin Feng was that the one chasing after Lin San was the young lady of the Lin family, Lin Sheener, the one who had a three-year contract with his second brother. There was no time to think. Chin Feng summoned the Void Divine Sword, and the nine swords shot out like meteors. Lin Sheener felt the terrifying power of the great sword formation and ordered a retreat before she could find out who the enemy was to avoid heavy losses. Thank you, Brother Chin, for coming to my rescue. Lin San recognized the Void Nine Swords and guessed that Chin Feng must have saved him. Chin Feng and Little White stepped out and asked curiously, I wonder why the talented servant of Tianxin City was being hunted down by the young lady. It's a long story, Lin San sighed. Then tell me a short version. The story starts seven years ago, when I brought back a jade box from the ruins. Do you remember? Of course, I have always believed in Brother Lin's character. Chin Feng's eyes were full of trust. In his heart, he thought, but I did it. If you say there's nothing in it, I will definitely believe it. Hearing these words, Lin San trembled and looked up at Chin Feng. Even he himself didn't believe it, but Chin Feng trusted him unconditionally. It was not pretense, but genuine trust. It felt wonderful to be trusted by others. Ding Dong, congratulations to the master for deceiving the son of heaven and receiving 50,000 villain points. Chin Feng was disgusted in his heart. He was telling the truth. Why is it called deceiving? The system told me not to talk nonsense if I don't know. After a while of chatting, Lin San sighed, calmed down, and continued, Thank you, Brother Chin, for believing me. But after the rumors spread, the city lord asked me what was in the box. No matter how I explained it, he and the young lady thought I was lying to them. Since then, the relationship between us has been cracked. In order to avoid embarrassment, I decided to leave and cultivate. I thought I could improve the relationship when I returned, but I didn't expect that someone would spread the rumor that I had found an immortal crystal mine. The matter was too serious. The young lady ordered me to hand it over when she heard the news. But I really don't know where the immortal crystal mine is. Lin San smiled bitterly again. Because of this, the young lady even drew her sword and attacked me. I completely believe you. Qin Feng was still honest as always. In his heart, he thought, I caused this too. I'm sure you're innocent, Brother Qin. Lin San was so moved that he couldn't speak and wanted to immediately burn paper money and swear an oath to Qin Feng to sleep in the same bed and wear the same underwear. From now on, you have a bosom friend in your life. And that's enough. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for using words to encourage the son of heaven, helping him understand the cruel world and becoming a benefactor in his life. Received 50,000 villain points. Qin Feng nodded with satisfaction and told the system, if you can talk, then say something nice. Qin Feng hurriedly asked, Brother Lin, you must have found a lot of treasures when you entered Kunlun this time, right? Nothing, Lin San answered helplessly. Qin Feng's eyes were sharp. He didn't believe it because the main characters who pretended to be stupid and weak were all master thieves. Even if they found valuable treasures, they would keep them secretly. If you believe their lies, you will only be cheated. I really didn't find any treasures. Lin San wanted to cry in despair. I don't know why the boat of friendship capsized like this. In the previous two times, when he told ridiculous stories about not finding any treasures, Qin Feng believed him. Now that he said he didn't have any, he didn't believe it. Not only that, Qin Feng also followed him closely 
and even if he really didn't find anything, he would still follow him to look for treasures. A familiar gaze made Lin San shudder when Qin Feng stared at him. It was exactly the same as seven years ago at the Qin families, always scrutinizing the expression on his face. As long as he had a strange reaction to a blade of grass, Qin Feng would immediately pull out the blade of grass. Even when he went to the toilet in the grass, Qin Feng didn't let him go. Brother Lin, what are you doing? Just going to the toilet. It's nothing. Then Brother Lin, please continue. But Qin Feng still stared at him with a burning gaze that made Lin San tremble. Or was I right seven years ago? Brother Qin likes men. Finally, Lin San couldn't bear Qin Feng's burning gaze anymore and asked, why doesn't Brother Qin find his own destiny? You want me to find my own destiny? Brother Lin's only weakness is that he separates everything. Isn't your destiny my destiny? Isn't my destiny still my destiny? Why do you have to divide it so clearly? Suddenly, a deafening roar sounded, causing the air around them to stir violently. Qin Feng and Lin San were shocked and wondered, what kind of monster could have such a powerful roar? They looked back and saw trees collapsing and three giant monsters rushing straight towards them. In front of them was a girl in an ancient white dress, about 20 years old, with an oval face, arched eyebrows, elegant clothes, and a face that sparkled with rouge under the starlight. Combined with her pale skin from her injuries, it created a sense of pity for the viewer. The most attractive thing was the way she ran unsteadily, each stagger causing the gentleman to feel sorry for her, afraid that there would be no chance in the future. Xin Feng's face was serious, and he realized that the three monsters were over 10 meters tall, with the shape of a bear and blood-red eye with a hard armor on their bodies and a strength equivalent to the fifth level of the celestial venerable realm. Their two arms were as big as water barrels, as hard as steel. It was her, the big carpenter's sister. The girl in white recognized Qin Feng and was immediately happy, not because she often took things from Qin Feng when she was little, but because of a big word, appearance. Just by looking at the way she ran unsteadily, one could see that she was no ordinary person back in the day. That's why Qin Feng had called her the big carpenter's sister since he was a child. At this moment, Lin San turned into a blur and rushed in front of the sword, deliberately showing off in front of the beauty. Qin Feng's eyes suddenly turned cold and he drew his sword. Then, the sound of the sword being drawn resounded through the forest. A ray of sword light flashed, carrying a bone-chilling cold, like a frightened phoenix or a wriggling dragon. The sword light swept past, the eight swords of the heavenly abyss. Before the three could react, Qin Feng had already dashed past them as fast as lightning. A moment later, Qin Feng's figure appeared behind the three earth fiend bears. The three monsters stopped in their tracks, and the azure sky divine sword gradually sank into their bodies. When the sword blade had completely penetrated, the three earth fiend bears collapsed, letting out a groan before they died. Fatal cuts appeared on their bodies, and fresh blood gushed out, staining the ground red. Qin Feng had once again successfully exploited Lin San. As for Lin San, he was completely shocked by Qin Feng. Seeing him easily kill the three earth fiend bears, Qin Mukshui swallowed her saliva, truly amazed by Qin Feng's swordsmanship. She had heard that he was very strong, but she had not expected him to be this strong. With only the third level of the earth pit realm, he killed three monsters of the fifth level of the celestial venerable realm with one sword. Lin San stood rooted to the spot, his forehead covered in sweat. He was sure that he was not mistaken. Qin Feng had reached the third level of the earth pit realm. Moreover, the eight swords of the heavenly abyss were much more powerful than they had been seven years ago. But that wasn't right. A few days ago, when the two of them had met in Hualuo City, Qin Feng's cultivation level had only been at the first level of the earth pit realm. How could it be at the third level of the earth pit realm now? The first level of the earth pit realm, now at the third level of the earth pit realm. Lin San was only at the second level of the earth pit realm. In just a few days, how had Qin Feng surpassed him so much? This time, Lin San's invincible confidence began to waver. He had cultivated the sword for seven years, but the gap between him and Qin Feng was growing wider and wider. Was he still worthy of the title of Invincible Sword Heart? Worthy of being the successor of the Azure Sky Divine Sword? Worthy of the title of Sword Saint of the next century? Ding dong. Congratulations to the host for preventing the Chosen Son of Heaven from showing off and receiving 500 villain points. Ding dong. Congratulations to the host for shaking Taking the chosen son of heaven's invincible confidence and receiving 100,000 villain points. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Qin Feng said happily, Brother Lin, what do you think of my sword technique just now? Lin San pursed his lips and cursed silently in his heart. Impossible! 
It's completely impossible. The two of you just exchanged swords, and you didn't even draw your swords. So how could you have comprehended the fourth level of sword intent? But at present, Qin Feng's sword intent had indeed reached the fourth level. Even if he didn't believe it, Lin San had to accept the truth. Ding dong. Congratulations to the host for shaking the chosen son of heaven's invincible confidence and receiving 100,000 villain points. Another 100,000 points. Qin Feng was in a very good mood. He was ready to exploit Lin San for more points. Brother Lin, I'm not lying to you. Ever since I comprehended the third level of sword intent a month ago, I haven't been able to break through. Thanks to you, I've easily reached the fourth level. Lin San's head was covered in blue veins. He screamed in his heart, What a load of crap! It took me seven years to raise my sword intent from level one, and Qin Feng went from level three to level four in just one month. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for shaking the chosen son of heaven's invincible confidence and receiving 100,000 villain points. Qin Mehui said anxiously, Qin Feng, can we talk later? I have something important to do. Brother Lin, don't go. After exchanging swords, I also comprehended another great sword formation. Qin Feng completely ignored Qin Mushui and continued to cling to Lin San to exploit his points. Qin Mushui, who was standing beside him, was so angry that she jumped up. She remembered that when Qin Feng was young, he was very clingy to her, and every time she kissed him, he would chase her all over the Qin family to kiss her back. Now that she was looking for him to help her, he was ignoring her, and only focusing on Lin San. The disciples of the Qin family were trapped in the canyon, with ferocious monsters in front of them, and Princess Nanfeng behind them. After hearing this, Qin Feng kept complaining that she hadn't told him earlier. Qin Mushui stood still, feeling very strange. When Qin Feng was young, he was very modest and dignified, and was known as a filial son in the county. Why had he changed so much after not seeing him for a few years? Was it because of the influence of the Yin Moon dynasty, or was it his true nature after leaving the Qin family? No, judging by his actions, even if it was his true nature, it should be a cruel nature, not a corrupt one. He must have been corrupted by the Moon God sect of the Yin Moon dynasty. I heard that the Moon God is a good for nothing. Since it's Brother Chin's business, I should go ahead. Lin San hurriedly found an excuse to leave, afraid that if he stayed any longer, he would lose all his invincible confidence. Brother Lin, we are brothers from different mothers and fathers. Isn't your business my business? Chin Feng, with his thick skin, kept clinging to Lin San's hand, refusing to let go. He had met the chosen son of heaven, and he hadn't exploited enough benefits. How could he let him go so easily? Moreover, after returning, they could continue to fight. If he didn't save the chosen son of heaven, how could he show his great villainous demeanor? Chin Mukshui looked at the two people holding hands tightly and felt that something was wrong. In the canyon, Princess Nanfeng was radiant, never expecting that heaven would help her get revenge. This time, she would destroy the disciples of the Qin family, and then behead Qin Feng to avenge her years of being enslaved. Princess Nanfeng outside the canyon laughed, not believing that the Qin family could still turn the tide. In fact, the reason why she had deliberately let Qin Mushui escape was to ask for help. If reinforcements come from the Yin Moon dynasty, she will use the excuse of colluding with foreign countries to destroy the entire Qin family. If the reinforcements are from another country, then she will take the opportunity to eliminate both sides, to prevent them from forming an alliance to threaten the royal power in the future. Anyway, these proud disciples are just inferior, and she wouldn't feel sorry if they all died. If necessary, she could just recruit a new batch. Qin Mushui saw that Qin Feng was still walking alone and asked Qin Feng worriedly, With your current status as the number one in the world, the only divine son of the Moon God Palace, and the third holy son of the Yin Moon Dynasty, are you really going to Kunlun alone? Qin Feng felt a little embarrassed when he heard this, and said in a sonorous voice, How can I go alone? I'm also leading a mighty army. At this moment, Qin Mukshui's eyes lit up, and she saw Qin Feng throw her a cloud-piercing arrow, which could shorten the distance. Qin Mukshui didn't hesitate to shoot the cloud-piercing arrow out, and a loud bang echoed in the sky, and the word fortune appeared. At this moment, the mighty army was following Qin Feng's instructions, spreading false rumors that Lin San had found a precious treasure. That's the signal from Big Brother. Seeing the cloud-piercing arrow, the two immediately headed towards Qin Feng, shouting that the Qin family reinforcements had arrived. 
Hearing the commotion, Princess Nanfeng turned around and saw that the person who had kept her awake for many nights was Qin Feng, and her mood instantly turned sour. You only have three people. Do you dare to come to the rescue? Princess Nanfeng gritted her teeth in anger, wanting to bite Qin Feng to death. At the same time, she was also worried about Qin Feng's real intentions. Did he have some unspeakable plot when he came back to save the Qin family? Who said there are only three people? Qin Mukshui sneered. My brother brought a mighty army into Kunlun this time. I've already shot the signal arrow. The army is coming soon. Now, the tide of the battle has turned. The one in danger is you. Princess Nanfeng, mighty army. Boom. Two tall armored figures fell from the sky, and dust filled the air. Princess Nanfeng laughed coldly. Perhaps others didn't know who Qin Feng's mighty army was, but she had been to the Yin Moon dynasty, and it was clear that they were just two new disciples of his. And Qin Mushui dared to call them reinforcements? Qin Mushui looked at the two people behind her in a daze, with a bad feeling. I am the mighty army. I am the ten thousand horses. The dazzling appearance of the two people made the disciples of the Qin family want to scream. They did not expect that the mighty army that Qin Feng spoke of was only two people. Is this the mighty army you're talking about? The corners of Qin Mukshui's eyes twitched, and from now on, she would not believe the words of a man. That arrogant princess Nanfeng, you guys are trapped now. If you don't want your proud disciples to have an accident, then you should surrender. Trapped. Qin Mukshui almost fainted from anger. She didn't understand what Qin Feng was so confident about. The other side had thousands of people. With their small number, they were talking about being surrounded. Qin Feng, you have a way to heaven, but you don't take it. You have no way to hell, but you barge in. Princess Nanfeng's eyes were cold. She didn't expect that heaven would help her. With Qin Feng's small number of people, it would be impossible to match hundreds of proud disciples. This time, she would personally behead Qin Feng and erase her dark past. Qin Feng laughed and said, Princess Nanfeng, you are still as confident as before. But compared to that confidence, I still prefer it when you are glib and charming. Kill him. Princess Nanfeng's face turned red with anger, shouting loudly to cover up her shameful past. Following the princess's orders, the proud disciples immediately attacked the Qin family disciples. The Qin family disciples no longer sat around waiting to die, knowing that they had been deceived by Qin Feng, the liar. With no chance of finding reinforcements, they had no choice but to fight desperately to create a bloody path to escape. Immediately, they withdrew their grand formation and rushed forward to kill the proud disciples. At this moment, Little White took advantage of the space to move, appeared beside the target, and swung the divine sword with great speed. Only a pat sound was heard, and blood splattered everywhere. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master, because the bunny has cut off the opponent's wisdom root and received 1,000 villain points. Whose rabbit is so shameless? The proud disciples of the great Xia were filled with indignation. Little White pretended to be naive and said, My rabbit is not a person in the Jianghu, so why should it follow the rules of the Jianghu? My master taught me this sentence. When fighting, hit the eggs first, and the winning rate is more than half. The proud disciples of the great Xia looked at Qin Feng and gritted their teeth, wanting to catch him and kick his balls. What does kicking balls have to do with me? I don't know that rabbit. Qin Feng glanced at a proud disciple standing alone nearby, his eyes cold, his figure flashed forward. Without a second word, a deadly move descended. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for cutting off the opponent's wisdom root and receiving 1,000 villain points. The proud disciples were furious, never having seen anyone so shameless. Suddenly, the sound of a sword rang out, attracting everyone's attention. Lin San was forced to draw his sword, and a cold sword light enveloped him. Princess Nanfeng's expression changed. She did not expect Qin Feng to invite such an expert. It seems that I have underestimated the chosen sons of heaven. Qin Feng's expression also changed. He had read about the righteous qi, a special kind of buff that increased strength, similar to his own Tao heart. The four monsters in front of Lin San were beheaded instantly before they could react. Everyone looked at Lin San with astonishment and awe. If I'm not mistaken, Lin San's realm is the second level of the earthly abyss, while the four monsters he killed, those four monsters, had reached the fifth level of the Celestial Venerable. He killed four Celestial Venerables of the fifth level with one sword. In the entire world, during the ancient times, there were definitely not more than three people who could do it. Lin San couldn't help but turn back to glance at Qin Feng, 
as if to show off. You killed three great earth demons, celestial venerables of the fifth level, with one sword. I killed four demon limbs, celestial venerables of the fifth level, with one sword. I am stronger than you. Qin Feng was very amused by Lin San's arrogant attitude. He had come to seek spiritual comfort for himself. Once again, the sound of swords being drawn resounded through the heavens and the earth. But unlike Lin San's righteous qi, a wave of Dao qi surged violently through the surrounding atmosphere. Qin Feng also swiftly drew his sky void divine sword, his heart merging with nature. He felt that he had become one with nature and that all things in the world were as small as ants. The divine sword split into nine branches, hovering like nine stars in the sky. Countless sword lights surged violently from the heavens and the earth. In the blink of an eye, the heavens and the earth became silent again. The melodious sound of the sword also stopped. Qin Feng sheathed his sword. In the blink of an eye, more than ten demon limbs snapped in half, and blood gushed out like a fountain. At this moment, a piece of a demon Lin's body fell on Princess Nanfeng. Tears welled up in her eyes. She bit her lip and tried her best to push the monster's body away, but it was in vain. What are you guys standing there for? Hurry up and get this thing off of me. Princess Nanfeng roared in anger. The proud disciples were at a loss for what to do. Hearing this, the proud disciples hurriedly rescued Princess Nanfeng. How is it possible? Sweat dripped down Princess Nanfeng's face. Wasn't he just at the Lingwu realm a month ago? How is he already at the third level of the earthly abyss? Moreover, when did he break through his sword intent to such a high level? And he has also comprehended the Tao heart, the natural law. Lin San felt as if he had forgotten how to breathe, and his heart was filled with shock that could not be soothed. He thought that he had comprehended the righteous qi and would overwhelm Qin Feng. Who would have thought that he had also comprehended the Tao heart, the natural law? In fact, in some ways, the natural law was even stronger than his righteous qi. Seven years of cultivation had once again proven that Qin Feng was still better than him. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for shaking the invincible belief of the chosen son of heaven and receiving 100,000 villain points. Hearing this, Qin Feng was overjoyed, as he had easily earned another 100,000 points. He approached Lin San again and said, Brother Lin, thank you very much. I didn't know how to comprehend the Tao heart before, but who would have thought that I would suddenly be enlightened just by seeing your righteous qi? Lin San's forehead was covered in blue veins, and he was furious in his heart. Who would believe such nonsense? No matter how little one read, one could not believe that the natural law could be comprehended from the righteous qi. Just then, the system's voice rang out. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for taking advantage of the absence of the chosen son of heaven to harm his lover, causing her to develop a fear and receiving 100,000 villain points. The lover of the chosen son of heaven is Fang Changxing. This is even more fun than I expected. Qin Feng and Lin San's actions enraged the demon Lins, who turned into red streaks and charged forward to attack fiercely. Some of them aimed straight for Princess Nanfeng, continuously launching their strongest moves at her. Damn it! Princess Nanfeng gritted her teeth, dodging at high speed while panicking inside. Qin Feng's madness was beyond her imagination, causing her previous self-confidence to vanish. Quickly, protect the princess. The proud disciples quickly stabilized their formation, and a group of them rushed forward to protect Princess Nanfeng. No need to protect me. Kill Qin Feng. Princess Nanfeng screamed hysterically. As long as we can kill Qin Feng, we can solve the biggest threat to Dexia in the future. If Qin Feng escapes today, he will definitely be a great threat to Dexia. The proud disciples hesitated, not understanding why the princess was so agitated. Even though Qin Feng's swordsmanship was terrifying, he was only at the third level of the earthly abyss. They had thousands of people, so no matter how strong Qin Feng was, he would not be able to defeat them. If you kill Qin Feng, then all of you will have to be buried with me. Hearing this, the proud disciples' faces turned serious. We only joined Dexia. We are not the princess's dogs to be ordered around. But there was nothing they could do. The other party was a princess, so they could only obey her orders. Immediately, the proud disciples shook off their opponents and headed straight for Qin Feng, attacking fiercely. But just as Qin Feng was about to draw his sword and cut off the tension, freeing the proud disciples from their troubles, Qin Mukshui suddenly rushed over over, pushing him to the ground. Thanks to this, he was able to dodge the opponent's attack. In her eyes, with her cultivation at the third level of the earthly abyss, after that classic sword move, Qin Feng must have exhausted his spiritual energy. What she did was completely to save his life. Sister, you saved me. Feeling the softness of her body, Qin Feng 
couldn't help but feel a little moved. Big sister Demu, you have no idea how powerful it is to play basketball. At this moment, Chin Mukshe said seriously, quickly lead the people out of here, or it will be too late. The Chin family disciples can sacrifice themselves here, but you must not have any accidents. I just hope that you will repent in the future. Return to the Chin family. Heavenly Lord, Wan Ma, the two of them shouted loudly. The proud disciples had already approached. Heavenly Lord, Wan Ma rushed out, using their bodies to block the killing blows aimed at Qin Feng. Run quickly. Qin Mukshe pulled Qin Feng's hand and left. She thought it was simple. If the younger generation was wiped out, then the most talented person must be protected. But Qin Feng had no intention of leaving. And no matter how hard she pulled, she could not move him. Why aren't you running? Why should I run? Didn't you hear Yan Hui once say to Confucius that there are 3,000 weak waters, but only one scoop is enough to drink? Hearing this, Qin Mushui was stunned. Qin Feng is a disciple of the Confucian school, so why is he quoting a saying from the Taoist school? Furthermore, what does that have to do with this situation? I'm so tired. At this moment, Xiaobai appeared on Qin Feng's shoulder, gasping for breath and explaining that it means that the 3,000 disciples are as weak as water and the master only needs to open the lid of the jar to drink the water. It's that simple to open the lid of the jar. Qin Mukshui couldn't help but feel a little moved, completely disbelieving that Qin Feng had such strength. Seeing this, Xiaobai did not explain further, but only smiled and said, Master, it's about to begin. Wait and see what it means to open the lid of the jar, as simple as drinking water. At this moment, the melodious sound of swords rang out throughout the cave. The swords in everyone's hands trembled, as if they were servants obeying their king. The sound of the swords growing more and more excited. What's going on? Everyone seemed to sense something. Their eyes turned to where Qin Feng was standing. They saw Qin Feng standing upright, his robe billowing without wind, and dozens of sword qi surrounding him. Before the proud disciples could react, they were sent to enjoy themselves by the invisible sword qi. The moment of the hunt begins. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for cutting off the opponent's wisdom and receiving 1,000 villain points. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for completing the massacre and receiving 100 villain points. In the cave, sword lights flashed, blood splattered, and screams of misery filled the air. The proud disciples were furious with Qin Feng. You don't follow the rules of the human world. You could have clearly sent them to enjoy themselves with a single move, but you intentionally made them lose their weapons before attacking. Attacking. You are truly a rare and shameless monster. I'm innocent. Qin Feng's face was full of innocence, saying that he just wanted to earn thousand more points. What's wrong with his villain points? It's the fault of this society. It's the fault of this system. It's the fault of this very system. A proud disciple trembled and said that continuing like this was no different from committing suicide. Hearing this, Princess Nanfeng's eyes turned cold. You are proud disciples, yet you dare to be so cowardly. What's the point of keeping you around? Princess Nanfeng's sword pierced through the chest of the proud disciple. Blood gushed out like water. Princess Nanfeng then glared at the proud disciples and said coldly, Do you see? If you can't kill Qin Feng, I will kill you all. The proud disciples immediately split into two groups, one to deal with Qin Feng and the other to reduce the pressure on the Qin family. They could then concentrate on destroying the group of evil unicorns behind them. As long as we wipe out the evil unicorns, we can break the siege and escape. At this moment, the sound of swords resounded throughout the cave. Lin San swung his sword, unleashing a brilliant righteous strike. He did not want to participate in the battle between Qin Feng and the great Xia royal family, but because he owed Qin Feng a life-saving favor in the past, he could only help him destroy the evil unicorns to repay his debt. The remaining evil unicorns let out a wail and fell to the ground. The appearance of reinforcements made Qin Mushui overjoyed, and she ordered everyone to leave the canyon quickly. The Qin family family disciples did not dare to hesitate and quickly followed her. Don't let them escape. Princess Nanfeng roared angrily. Such an opportunity to wipe out the Qin family was rare and they must be kept. Qin Mushui called out to Qin Feng. Hurry up and go. You guys go first, and I'll stay behind to hold them back. Qin Feng stood right in front of the entrance to the cave, his black eyes cold. Suddenly, a red light burst forth from his body. After the month-long killing spree and accumulation, the titan body of the heavens finally activated its first state. Heaven and earth change, and state one causes heaven and earth to change color. Thunderclaps sounded continuously, and mysterious runes appeared all over his body. Princess Nanfeng exclaimed in shock, immediately recognizing Qin Feng's titan body of the heavens, which was just as described in the books. 
Qin Feng had now activated the first state of the Titan body of the heavens. Lin San looked at Qin Feng in a daze, as if he were a god descending to the mortal world, his heart filled with a shock that could not be calmed. He had thought that his seven years of two had been enough to make him the best in the world, unmatched among the younger generation. He had even been confident that he could challenge Qin Feng to a duel to show the world who the true sword saint was. But before he could make his move, he had been utterly defeated by Qin Feng. He felt like his life was worthless. Ding dong. Congratulations to the master for shaking the invincible belief of the chosen son of heaven and receiving 100,000 villain points. Another 100,000? Qin Feng was overjoyed. Then I'll give Xiao San San another surprise gift. Qin Feng was seen releasing a series of sword qi, which combined into a surging river of swords. With the unlocking of the first state, more and more sword qi was released. The river of swords that had previously been only slightly rippling now became a surging yellow river, carrying the sword qi and pouring into the canyon, causing a terrifying flood. Where's the formation? Set up the defensive formation. The great Shia geniuses shouted in panic. The other geniuses tried to regain their composure and hurriedly stood in their correct positions, managing to form a large formation before the torrent of sword chi arrived. The surging river of sword chi slammed into the formation like a giant wheel, injuring many geniuses. Blood spurted out. Finally, they truly felt the ruthlessness of the world's number one expert. Damn it. Not to mention creating a divine level sword technique, he also has a fourfold sword foundation. Invincible sword heart, Tao of nature. Even though he is only at the third level of the earthly cavern, among the martial artists who have entered the Kunlun sect, there is definitely no one who can stand up to him. Fear began to spread. If their opponent was an ordinary person, perhaps they would not have panicked so much. But from any perspective, Qin Feng did not seem like a human, who could normally face hundreds of people with just the third level of the earthly cavern. The endless sword qi continued to pour in, tearing apart the large formation. The river of swords was like a galaxy pouring down from the upper realm, swallowing all the geniuses. The screams of misery did not stop in the cave. Ding dong, congratulations to the master. Killing one person earns 100 villain points. The system's voice rang out continuously. When the torrent of sword chi stopped, the entire canyon fell silent. It was filled with corpses. Only Princess Nanfeng was lucky enough to survive thanks to a defensive magic weapon, but she had lost all her dignity, her hair disheveled, and her face miserable. How could this be? Princess Nanfeng looked at Qin Feng, who was as majestic as a god descending to the mortal world, her eyes gradually dimming. She had not expected Qin Feng to be so crazy, cultivating from the spirit martial realm to the third level of the earthly cavern in just one month, but still maintaining his monstrous fighting strength. It could be said that he alone had wiped out all the geniuses, causing Great Xia to end the struggle in Kunlun early. Xiao Bai's eyes lit up with greed, running up to the corpses to search for treasures without any shame. Only a hundred points per person. That's a big mistake. Qin Feng sighed, exiting the first state of the Titan Body of the Heavens, then turned around happily to look for Lin San, preparing to reap villain points from him. But Lin San had already slipped away after helping the Qin family disciples escape. Did he really leave on his own? It's all because of this man. Qin Feng watched Princess Nanfeng's fleeing figure with great anger. He said that because of this woman, he had lost Lin San and wanted to chase after her immediately. Xiao Bai looked at the corpses scattered around and then at Qin Feng walking away. Finally, he decided to speed up and search the corpses. My precious master, wealth is more valuable than spirit. A wife and children are a burden, and one cannot give up one's life for either. Wait a minute, are you really not going to chase after her? Wanma hesitated for a moment and said, No need, brother. Have you forgotten the scene when Princess Nanfeng appeared at the Red Bamboo Peak a month ago? It's obvious that she has feelings for our big brother. This time, she started a war to force our big brother to marry her. Wanma nodded. That's right. No wonder every time Princess Nanfeng looks at our big brother, there's seven parts hatred, three parts shyness. It turns out that this is a deep and passionate love. Unfortunately, with the status of a princess of Great Shia and a holy son of the Yin Moon Dynasty, the two of them cannot be together. Well said. The princess started a war to pursue her love, but it was unsuccessful. She couldn't flirt with him, so she got angry. She chased after him. He ran and she chased. He wanted to escape, but his wings were broken. He chased, she ran, and he was furious. Tianjun continued, Therefore, as disciples who understand our big brother's body language, we naturally 
naturally have to give him plenty of private space. Knowing too much is not good for us or for our big brother. How emotional. One look at the young master and our lives are ruined. If we don't meet the young master, we'll miss out on our whole lives. Chin Feng, I will make you pay. Fang Chang still had a deadpan face, searching for Chin Feng everywhere. Especially the terrifying aura emanating from him caused the old demon inside to advise. Let's go back. Do you dare to teach me what to do? Fang Chang relied on the old demon inside and did not think he could do anything to him, so he completely ignored it. You little bastard. The old demon was almost mad with anger, swearing that once he got out, he would let Fang Chang know why the sea was blue. At this moment, a Qin family disciple flew over Fang Chang's head. Senior sister Qin Mu Shui, junior brother Qin Feng. Is he okay by himself, or should we go back and help him? Don't worry, junior brother Qin Feng will be fine. We're all injured. Staying here will only get in the way. Hearing this, the corner of Fang Chang's mouth curled into a cruel smile. Qin Feng, I finally found you. Not long after, Fang Chang heard two voices coming from ahead. One was Qin Feng's chuckle, and the other was Princess Nanfeng's angry voice. Princess Nanfeng, you don't want Fang Chang to know about our little secret, do you? You're shameless. Fang Chang was extremely confused. What secret do Princess Nanfeng and Qin Feng have? Fang Chang couldn't help but lift the dust and crawl over to look. A moment later, Fang Chang only felt his head pounding like a hammer. He saw Princess Nanfeng kneeling in front of Qin Feng, her back facing him. Fang Chang couldn't believe that Princess Nanfeng was helping Qin Feng tie his shoes. He had only been gone for a month, and she had already betrayed their seven years of love for Qin Feng. Fang Chang spat blood in anger, the last pure land in his heart finally defiled. Ding dong, congratulations to the master for taking advantage of the absence of the chosen son's white moonlight to harm his lover, causing him to spit blood in anger, and earning 200,000 villain points. The system reminds you that the chosen son's intelligence has recovered. Before Qin Feng could react, he realized that Fang Chang had arrived. Especially the sentence intelligence has recovered made him overjoyed. He saw it with his own eyes, but still held back from attacking. How admirable. Qin Feng glanced around but did not see Fang Chang. At this moment, Xiao Bai had finished searching for things and happily looked for Qin Feng, only to find a familiar figure lying in the grass. As a capable assistant, Xiao Bai quietly approached Fang Chang from behind. He he, after bathing in the infinity spring, I have made great progress. It's just the right time to use you to test the power of the chrysanthemum sword. If you want to be a capable assistant, you have to learn to hide yourself, to be as still as a mountain, to aim at your target and wait for the right moment. At the right moment, Xiao Bai remained very calm, waiting for the moment when Fang Chang's aura was unstable and he could not dodge before jumping out. A sharp sword aura suddenly burst out from around Xiao Bai. A bright sword condensed in Xiao Bai's hand and stabbed straight into Fang Chang's buttocks. Bang! Ding dong, congratulations to the master spirit beast for stabbing the chosen son's withered flower with a sword and earning 500,000 villain points. Fang Chang's body shot out of the grass like an arrow, his face twisted in pain. His scream of pain echoed through the air. Fang Chang, Princess Nanfeng was shocked and panicked. She didn't expect Fang Chang to appear, and in this situation, it made her want to find a hole to jump into. Fang Chang also wanted to find a hole to crawl into. Why did the princess see him in this state? No, I can't let the princess see me like this. Fang Chang turned to Princess Nanfeng and shouted, Don't call me, you damn woman get lost. Princess Nanfeng was stunned. Seeing this, Qin Feng smiled faintly and bewitchingly. He could guess what Fang Chang was going to do. Only Princess Nanfeng was naive and didn't know anything. You're being too rude. Let me teach him a lesson. Without waiting for Princess Nanfeng to agree, Qin Feng quickly pointed a sword energy at Fang Chang. Bang! The little guy fell again. Congratulations to the master for cutting off the chosen son's tendon and earning 500,000 villain points. Fang Chang screamed in pain, unable to accept that he had lost his treasure. All right, if that's what you want. As a true scholar, Qin Feng would naturally respect his opponent. He quickly opened the ancient heavy eyes, the left eye creating life, the right eye destroying. Huge life force burst out from Qin Feng's left eye and flew towards Fang Chang, instantly restoring his opponent's severed flower. Fang Chang was confused and didn't understand why Qin Feng would heal him. Just then, Xiao Bai suddenly appeared in front of Fang Chang, taking advantage of the moment when he was not ready to react 
and kicked Fang Chang hard in the right spot. Bang, the flower bloomed again. Fang Chang had not yet recovered from the joy of regaining his treasure when he put on a mask of pain again as the gut-wrenching pain struck again. Ding dong, congratulations to the master Xiao Bai for kicking the chosen son accurately and earning 500,000 villain points. Anyway, it has nothing to do with me this time. Qin Feng said that he had healed Fang Chang and if he wanted to find someone, he should find Xiao Bai and compensate him. The ancient heavy eyes were not for you to use like that. Fang Chang was completely mad. Devouring demon art, devour all things. Fang Chang's face showed a look of madness, and a strange aura exploded, causing the sky to darken. Thunder and lightning exploded, and a huge ghost head appeared, opening its mouth to swallow the sky and devour the earth, wanting to swallow everything. Xiao Bai was so scared that he lost his feathers, trembling on Qin Feng's shoulder. The heavenly army and 10,000 horses looked at each other and hurriedly flew to Qin Feng's side. They had experienced Fang Chang's devouring demon art before and had almost been drained of all their blood. They could not forget that terrifying feeling. Fang Chang had completely lost his mind, frenziedly absorbing all the energy in heaven and earth. Within a thousand miles, the monsters panicked and fled, feeling their life force being drained by Fang Chang, and they would soon die of dehydration. Seeing this, Princess Nanfeng hurriedly took out a magic weapon to protect herself. Thanks to that, she escaped death. Seeing that Fang Chang was using the devouring demon art too much, Princess Nanfeng hurriedly shouted, Fang Chang, are you crazy? Using the demon palace like this will cause a backlash. As long as I can kill Qin Feng, I'm willing to go to hell. Fang Chang's eyes were bloodshot, and he roared, Qin Feng, I will drain you of your blood. He had completely lost his mind because of this shameless Qin Feng. Today, Qin Feng must die at all costs, and even the Grim Reaper will not be able to save him. He, he, he seems to be saying that the devouring demon art absorbs everything. Qin Feng smiled as he looked at the huge ghost head in the sky, and then took out a few bottles from his space. The cell is also crazy. Fang Chang's expression changed immediately, and his heart was filled with panic. It was no wonder that he reacted this way, because he had drunk the so is also crazy twice. Now, just hearing the name was enough to haunt Fang Chang. But Qin Feng didn't care. He let the ghost head absorb all the Ming. So is also crazy medicine and go crazy. Damn it. Fang Chang couldn't help but curse and cursed Qin Feng for being shameless in his heart. He was so brazen. He could clearly use the southern Ming Li fire to control him, but he deliberately used aphrodisiacs to harm him. He was not only killing people, but also destroying their nature. Fang Chang hurriedly destroyed the ghost head in the sky so that the medicine could spread out with the storm of energy. Princess Nanfeng, who was standing closest to Fang Chang, was unjustly implicated. The terrifying explosion from the ghost head had completely destroyed her protective magic weapon. Qin Feng chuckled. Why are you so enthusiastic? Not intact anymore. You shouldn't insult people's appearance, and you shouldn't criticize people's flaws. Fang Chang was provoked by the four words not intact enough and stared at Qin Feng with a twisted face. His eyes were bloodshot, and his blood vessels were bulging. Old demon, lend me your power. Fang Chang endured the pain in his body and soul, and his face looked like a demon as he stared at Qin Feng. A terrifying aura emanated from him, causing the heavens and earth to change color. The cold aura seemed to be able to drag people down to the 18th level of hell. The fight between Qin Feng and Fang Chang was so loud that it attracted the attention of the other warriors who were searching for treasures around them. With such a loud noise, I wonder who is fighting so fiercely. It's definitely not a personal grudge. It must be that they have found some treasure. That's reasonable. Let's go and have a look. But before they could reach the place where the fighting was taking place, they met Tian Xuan's son of heaven, Tang Chuan. Because Fang Chang had destroyed the ghost head, the aphrodisiac had spread out in the wind, so Tang Chuan had inhaled a little on his way there. At this moment, he felt like there was a fire burning inside him. There must be a villain who has harmed me, this upright person. Tang Chuan panted and turned his head to see a group of people approaching. Blue silver entanglement. Everyone was caught off guard and wrapped tightly by the blue vines. Then they saw Tang Chuan with his eyes half closed, panting as he approached. His eyes were not like those of a happy dog running to its owner, but rather like those of a sow in heat. Just then, the others also inhaled the medicine that Qin Feng had released into the air. In the blink of an eye, everyone's eyes were filled with lust. Wait a minute, why do I feel like something is wrong? Everyone looked at each other and suddenly found that their friends looked so handsome 
so charming. It must be an illusion. Everyone was startled and quickly turned their faces away. At this moment, Tang Chuan canceled the blue-silver entanglement and let them down. Brothers, why don't we have some fun together? The men's eyes were bloodshot and they were still giggling. Great. Then the group of people started to play together. Just as summer was approaching, they welcomed a strange spring. Qin Feng seized the opportunity and attacked with all his might, knocking Fang Chang to the ground. Blood spurted out. Old demon, let's stop fighting. There's no point in fighting like this. Don't forget that Qin Feng still has the southern Ming Li fire, and you can't kill him. I'm not reconciled. Fang Chang gritted his teeth with a ferocious expression on his face. I really don't want to leave like this. He could endure all of Qin Feng's flattery, and he could endure Bai Yueguang being bullied by Qin Feng. But he absolutely could not bear the sight of Princess Nanfeng playing the flute for Qin Feng and right in front of him. The old demon naturally understood Fang Chang's feelings. Have you ever thought that if you die here today, wouldn't you be fulfilling the wishes of that dog couple? Instead of that, why don't you try to cultivate harder and then come back for revenge? That's right, dying today would be meaningless and it would only help that dog couple get what they want. I can't die, I can't die. Fang Chang suddenly came to his senses and rolled down the slope. Seeing this, the old demon panicked and shouted, The cliff is ahead! Fang Chang, Qin Feng, just you wait, I'll definitely be back. Fang Chang's face was full of unwillingness, but he had no choice but to choose a tactical retreat. At the same time, he swore that he would kill Qin Feng if he ever met him again. But there's no need to roll like a rainbow. Qin Feng was immediately annoyed. The heavenly army and 10,000 horses turned to look at Qin Feng and asked if they should pursue him. No need. Even if he is injured, the son of heaven's chosen is not easy to kill. What if we end up helping him gain experience? The disciples of the Qin family have already left. Qin Mukshe asked me to thank you all. Then they left. Qin Feng couldn't help but feel annoyed. He felt that the Qin family was too ungrateful. He had worked so hard to help them escape. But Qin Mushui didn't even offer him a cup of iced tea. Qin Feng opened the system to check. Although he hadn't been able to find an opportunity to draw a lottery from Fang Chang, he had already accumulated nearly 4 million villain points. The Heavenly Army reported, Big Brother, I was busy fighting earlier and didn't have time to report. According to the information we've gathered over the past few days, it seems that Miss Wulun of the Lama Palace has found the Dao fruit. The 10,000 horses all looked at each other in admiration. Thanks to the Big Brother's intelligence, we were able to spread the news and call on everyone to find Wulan. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known that the Lama Palace was quietly getting rich. Qin Feng's eyes lit up. He had only heard his grandfather mention the Dao fruit when he was young, and he had heard that it was a treasure born from heaven and earth, and that whoever obtained it would rule the world, as expected of the daughter of heaven's chosen. Qin Feng couldn't hide his envy. Wulan was eventually discovered, and the Dao fruit was also revealed. Congratulations, master. You have angered the daughter of heaven's chosen and received 10,000 villain points. Qin Feng, along with the heavenly army and 10,000 horses, arrived at the location location of the Dao fruit. Before they could even get close, they heard the system's congratulatory message. At this moment, a group of martial artists were gathered at the foot of the celestial vine tree, piercing through the clouds and mist, arguing over the issue of ownership of the Dao fruit. On the trunk of the celestial vine tree grew seven fruits that emitted different colors of light. Sure enough, the Lama Palace had found the treasure. The Dao fruit belongs to my prince. What do you think you are, prince? The Dao fruit belongs to my Su family. The Wang and Su families are not even worth a toenail of our Lu family. It seems that you don't even put the Ye family in your eyes. Looking at everyone arguing, Wulan was extremely depressed. Originally, the seven Dao fruits belonged to the Lama Palace, but now they could only be obtained through battle. With the current strength of the Lama Palace, they could only seize a maximum of two fruits. From seven to two, the huge difference made Wulan hate that shameless man even more. At this moment, Qin Feng and the others arrived. But before Qin Feng could get close, the martial artists had already drawn their swords and formed a battle formation. Wulan coldly asked Qin Feng, do you also want to compete for the Dao fruit? I'm not interested in any Dao fruit. The only reason I came here is because I heard that you were in danger. So I came here specially to protect you. Do you think I'll believe that? Wulan remained vigilant, but her heart rate couldn't help but slow down by half a beat. In the cave that day, the two of you had an intimate relationship, and you even kissed her. Say, who is more important to you, the Dao master or her? Everyone was eager to hear the drama. What are you talking about? Who kissed you? Wulan was clearly flustered, and her face showed a look of joy. Why not? 
and you even stammered. Oh, everyone glanced at each other with meaning. I didn't expect Wulan to be such a princess. She looks serious on the outside, but I didn't expect her to be so wild on the inside. Wulan was so angry that she turned away and ignored the cheapskate. But Qin Feng hurriedly grabbed her hand and pulled her into his arms. I know you're angry, but please swear to be each other's angels and give me a chance to make it up to you. I know you told me to get lost because you didn't want to lose face. Love is not because I give you too little, but because you don't know what you need. The girls of the Llama Palace had never seen such a hooligan, and they could only feel that the atmosphere had heated up. They had to shout, be together, be together. Wulan felt Qin Feng close to her, his handsome eyes like the spring breeze. Her little heart beat faster unfaithfully. Why do I have such a feeling for this cheapskate? Congratulations, master. You have made the daughter of heaven's chosen's heart beat faster and received 100,000 villain points. It turned out to be true. Qin Feng was a little surprised. He didn't expect it to be so easy to conquer her. Should he accept her love? Qin Feng wondered if he should let her call him daddy, or if he should be her daddy, or call her daddy during the day, and call her daddy again at night. After all, her mother was very attractive. At this moment, the Divine Palace's Ziyan arrived. As soon as she saw Qin Feng hugging Wulan's waist, she couldn't help but shout out to remind everyone that she was the first wife. Wulan also came to her senses and pushed Qin Feng away in shame. Oh, my precious Ziyan, I was so worried that you were dead. Qin Feng understood her too well. He only needed to hold her hand and she would calm down immediately. Seeing Qin Feng and Ziyan being affectionate, Wulan couldn't help but feel upset in her heart and snorted softly. Qin Feng heard it and turned back, but Ziyan had already put her slender white finger to her mouth. She pulled Qin Feng's chin and his eyes were immediately drawn to her. You stinky little brother, when you're talking to me, don't be distracted. Everyone, listen to Sister Ziyan. Qin Feng was suddenly stunned. His eyes stared fixedly. He saw that Ziyan was so charming in her long dress at this moment. Her pair of snow-white breasts looked so sweet and juicy, being stared at by Qin Feng. Ziyan's face couldn't help but blush. This stinky little brother has finally realized my charm. What are you looking at, you bad guy? Ziyan blushed and lowered her head. But she was overjoyed in her heart. They had known each other for so many years. This was the first time Qin Feng had looked at her like this. Before, he had only used that look to look at other girls. Ziyan glanced at Wulan provocatively, as if to say, I'm the first wife. Seeing this, Wulan couldn't help but grit her teeth. He's also familiar with every inch of my skin. She was bragging, and Ziyan immediately shut up. How could this girl give such an important thing to someone she had just met? Ziyan didn't care about being embarrassed anymore. She grabbed Qin Feng's wrist and said angrily, Stinky little brother, is she telling the truth? However, Qin Feng didn't pay any attention to her. His eyes were still looking straight ahead. It was as if something had attracted him. In the sea of people, Lin San only took one look. And Qin Feng had found Lin San. From then on, in his eyes, the positions of Wulan and D2, the two beauties, were replaced by Lin San. Qin Feng ran over and grabbed Lin San. It was as if he was afraid that he would run away again. This familiar gaze made Lin San's skin crawl. He secretly exclaimed in his heart, not understanding. He really didn't understand why every time he met Qin Feng, he would look at him like this, making him not know how to respond. Wulan and Ziyan looked at the two people holding hands and felt that something was wrong. Normally, if anyone met two beauties like them, they would all want to be with them, but Qin Feng ignored them and approached a man. Or were they thinking too much? Was that guy more charming than them? Other Qin, we meet again. Lin San smiled awkwardly and tried to pull his hand away, but Qin Feng held it tightly and didn't let go, ignoring the strange looks from everyone. Brother Lin, I'm so glad you came at the right time. My concubine found a Tao fruit, but who would have thought that it would attract a bunch of villains to fight over it? I value our brotherhood very much, so I'm sure you'll help me protect her, right? Lin San smiled awkwardly and didn't know how to answer. If he agreed, it would mean that he admitted that he was a shameless person who had come to fight for the Tao fruit. But if he denied it, then what was he doing here? You bastard, who's your concubine? Wulan was so angry that she wanted to bite this bastard to death. Congratulations, master. You have angered the daughter of heaven's chosen. You have received 10,000 villain points. In contrast to Wulan, Ziyan felt even happier. She was indeed the irreplaceable first wife in Qin Feng's heart. 
At this moment, more and more people gathered. They were all warriors recruited by the major forces, and their combat strength was absolutely incomparable to that of the humble lineage. Therefore, the upcoming battle for the Dao Fruit would be extremely fierce. Meanwhile, Qin Feng was still patting Lin San on the shoulder, discussing how to divide the Dao Fruits. One for the Lama Palace, one for his concubine, one for each of his two sworn brothers, and the remaining two for himself and Lin San. As soon as they heard this, the thousands of troops immediately cheered up, and they shouted in their hearts, I love you, big brother. Lin San thought it sounded good, but after thinking carefully, he cursed in his heart. There were a total of seven Dao fruits, and he had to fight with all his might to defend against the enemy. But in the end, Qin Feng's men would divide six of them, and he would only get one. Brother Lin, Dao fruit can only be used once, so eating more is useless. Instead, why not use it to harvest the friendship? Friendship is priceless. Think about it. How did Tianxin City treat you? They didn't trust you, but I, as your sworn brother, even though we have different mothers and fathers, will always trust and support you. Lin San looked at Qin Feng, his eyes as if to say, do you think I'm an idiot? Qin Feng sighed, let go of Lin San, and walked away. Lin San was stunned and had a bad feeling. Before he could react, he heard Qin Feng shout to the crowd, you bastards, what are you looking at? Do you dare to fight my sworn brother, Lin San? Lin San immediately spat out blood. After seven years, Qin Feng still hadn't regained his personality. He was just the number one swordsman in 100 years, yet he dared to look down on people like this. I'll teach you a lesson. The surrounding warriors didn't follow Qin Feng's orders and immediately drew their weapons to fight Lin San. Seeing that it wasn't working, Qin Feng continued to shout, Come on, come on. If my sworn brother Lin San begs for mercy, I swear I'll stop being a human. If you want to fight, then fight. Who's afraid of you? With a clang, a sword suddenly rang out, extremely sharp. Lin San quickly drew his sword, and the sword energy filled the sky, capable of tearing through the air. Just then, a deep voice sounded from the crowd. Qin Feng, your thick skin hasn't changed at all. Everyone turned around in surprise and saw the young master of the famous sword villa walking out, his aura already at the fifth level of the heavenly venerable realm. All the forces changed their expressions, knowing that another strong opponent had appeared. Our famous sword villa only needs four Dao fruits. Yi Jian's eyes flashed with a cold light, and anyone who stood in his way would be killed. As soon as he opened his mouth, he demanded half of the the total, and he still dared to say that I was thick-skinned. Qin Feng couldn't help but curl his lips, saying that he had never seen anyone so shameless. At the same time, he also noticed that Yi Jian had a beard growing at the corner of his mouth. Did he not shave it clean last time, or should he drag him out and shave it again? Suddenly, there was a thunderclap, and the ground shook violently. The seven Dao fruits emitted a bright light, accompanied by a stream of that shot straight into the sky. The Dao fruits are ripe, everyone exclaimed. A fierce battle was about to break out. The sound of breaking wind could be heard everywhere as countless warriors sprang into action, rushing towards the Dao fruits as fast as they could, hoping to seize one. Seeing this, Yi Jian, who was about to fight Qin Feng, stopped. Seizing the Dao fruits was more important. He shouted, get out of my way, Qin Feng. Don't get in my way. But before Yi Jian could make his move, Qin Feng had already hugged Ziyan and fled the scene. Yi Jian, I won't bother you anymore. Qin Feng gradually disappeared from Yi Jian's blurred vision. Yi Jian finally came to his senses and couldn't help but laugh. You know what? I won't hit you next time we meet. Yi Jin led the disciples of the famous sword villa and charged towards the Dao fruit tree. Along the way, countless warriors who failed to dodge were swept away by him like autumn wind blowing away leaves. Everyone was shocked. They had never expected Yi Jian's swordsmanship to be so powerful. Wu Lan couldn't sit still either, and a cold air gushed out from his body, spreading in all directions. Those who were slow to react were frozen into statues. Cold Yin body. Everyone was horrified and retreated to keep a safe distance. Just then, there was a deafening explosion from behind. The spiritual energy in the sky also began to boil. The sky darkened and thunder roared. A giant demonic head appeared and opened its mouth to suck the life force of everyone. What is that? Everyone exclaimed in horror. They had a bad feeling, but before they could react, the energy and life force in their bodies had been sucked dry, turning them into withered corpses. Fang Chang appeared with cheap makeup on and screamed, I need more power. Seeing the Dao fruits, Fang Chang became greedy and turned into a black shadow and charged towards them. Everyone who should have come had arrived. Qin Feng and Ziyan, the celestial army, and the 10,000 horses retreated quickly. He found a bush to hide in, not daring to confront the two chosen ones head-on. One a chosen daughter, 
and the other a great villain of destiny. It was still the best way to be an old man. The system announced option one, happy old man. Request be an old man and fight for the Dao fruits. Reward five million villain points. Option two, united hearts and strength. Request help the great villain Yi Jian confront the chosen one. Reward golden chest. Option three, intimidate the heroes. Request suppress the four chosen ones alone. Great villain. Reward divine level chest. Qin Feng hesitated, not knowing whether to be a happy old man or a righteous villain. He could earn five million villain points in a month in Wulan if he worked hard. As for the golden and divine level chests, he knew who to choose just by looking at the names. The system didn't understand his mood at all, and it just took away his joy of being an old man. A deafening roar resounded everywhere. Lin San and the four others rushed towards the Dao fruits at lightning speed, about to divide the seven fruits among themselves. Stop them quickly. The factions also fought hastily, trying to seize more Dao fruits. Suddenly, a sharp sound of breaking wind rang out, drowning out all the noise. What's that? Everyone turned around in horror, only to see a beam of golden light soaring into the sky, a sword beam tearing through the void. Then the golden light swooped down at an extremely fast speed, striking Lin San and the four others who were approaching the Dao fruits. Lin San and the four others also sensed the danger and retreated to avoid the devastating attack. The golden light descended from the sky and stabbed deep into the ground, causing countless cracks to spread around it. Everyone was trembling with fear. They saw that the golden light was a three-foot-long ancient sword, its cold blade emitting a bright light with the words Chang Kong engraved on its body. This is the Chang Kong Divine Sword. Lin San's expression turned solemn, and he looked up at the sky. The sound of the sword rang out everywhere, as if welcoming the Supreme King of Swords. They saw Qin Feng slowly descending from the sky, his slender figure standing on the sword. His long black hair fluttered in the wind, and Xiao Bai sat leisurely on his shoulder, eating carrots, as if he could defeat the world with just a sword in his hand. He was so handsome. The girls looked at Qin Feng in fascination, completely forgetting his title as the number one ancient sword demon, especially the girls of the Moon God Palace, their eyes filled with fluttering hearts. They couldn't believe that the little boy that Yue Shen had brought back in the past had grown up to be so handsome. After Ziyan gets married, she will definitely ask to be a maid to serve him. Yi Jian coldly said to Qin Feng, get out of the way, trash. Qin Feng glanced around casually and then declared, First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm not targeting anyone in particular, but everyone here. How arrogant. Everyone was furious and looked at Qin Feng with unpleasant eyes. How dare he talk to them like that? The celestial army and the 10,000 horses hiding in the bushes looked at each other in astonishment. Wasn't the agreement to hide in the bushes and be happy? Why didn't he give them a heads up before jumping out and even provoking everyone? However, it felt really exhilarating. Finally, the big brother has grown up. Who is the trash? Yi Jian's expression was extremely cold and he charged towards Qin Feng. The sword light illuminated the heavens and earth, shaking the universe. The terrifying sword beam slashed across, the sword image winding around and wanting to tear Qin Feng apart. You're just a loser. Qin Feng looked at the sword light coming at him, and he was not afraid at all. He stepped lightly on the tip of the sword and flew up, dodging Yi Jian's attack. As soon as the sword touched the ground, Qin Feng ordered it to return. The Chang Kong Divine Sword flew into his hand. Qin Feng's eyes turned as cold as a sword about to leave its sheath. His fair hand gripped the hilt of the sword and pulled out the Chang Kong Divine Sword in a flash. There was a loud clang of metal, and the space within dozens of meters shook as if it was about to shatter. The ground collapsed instantly, and everyone broke out in a cold sweat. They couldn't see how the two were fighting at all. They could only see the ground collapsing and sword energy flying everywhere, and from afar they could still feel the sharp sword energy that made their faces numb. They were not in the same world as these demons. Yi Jian couldn't believe it, and he looked down at the deep wound on his chest. A month ago, he had met Qin Feng in the elimination round of the Tournament of Life and Death. At that time, Qin Feng had used the sky cleaving sword technique, but he had managed to block it, as if he had taken some kind of aphrodisiac and was overly excited. He had already been at the ninth level of the transcendent realm last month, so of course he could defeat Yijin, and has now entered the third level of the Tao realm, 
If he can't easily defeat him, then he might as well find a piece of tofu and kill himself. Congratulations to the master for defeating the great villain and completing 25% of the mission. At this moment, the energy in Qin Feng's body reached its limit and a terrifying murderous aura erupted. His cultivation realm successfully broke through to the fourth level of the Tao realm. Everyone's expressions changed. They didn't expect Qin Feng to become even stronger. The aura that erupted from him was terrifying, and even a peak-level martial artist was not even one-tenth as strong as him. This was completely contrary to the rumors that he was constantly breaking through, resulting in a weak foundation. Qin Feng didn't find cultivation difficult at all. He asked the system to exchange for a Tao foundation pill. Congratulations to the master for spending 600,000 villain points to successfully exchange for a Tao foundation pill. At this moment, the disciples of the famous sword villa finally reacted and rushed over to support young master Yi Jian. Are you okay? Seeing that Yi Jian was seriously injured, the disciples of the famous sword villa immediately took out medicine to treat him. Qin Feng looked at them with disgust. You guys are trash. Who cultivates the righteous path and takes medicine? Then he swallowed the Tao Foundation pill into his stomach. The aura that had just broken through and was unstable quickly stabilized again and continued to accumulate energy to break through to the next level of the Tao realm. Everyone was shocked and wanted to slap him. Qin Feng was indeed strong, but he was also really shameless. Lin San took a deep breath and stepped forward to say, Brother Qin, is your condition from earlier still valid? If you can't use it, then give me a chance. Qin Feng's eyes flashed with an unprecedented seriousness. His whole body was like a peerless sword that had just left its scabbard. Lin San couldn't help but swallow his saliva, realizing that Qin Feng was terrifying when he was serious. He also warned himself that Qin Feng was already very dangerous when he was slacking off, but when he was serious, he was even more terrifying. Once he got serious, he would be facing the most evil monster in history. Hearing Qin Feng say that he wanted everything, Fang Chang was his mortal enemy, and meeting him again only made him hate him even more. Go to hell, what are you bragging about? Without saying a word, he charged straight at Qin Feng. A terrifying aura erupted, and he transformed into a demon and opened his mouth to attack. Even though Qin Feng was the number one martial artist in the ancient times, he couldn't possibly be a match for so many people. That's right, he's all alone. Even if we just tap him lightly, we can kill him. Encouraging themselves, everyone rushed forward when they saw Fang Chang take the lead. Qin Feng's aura suddenly became sharp. You trash. I only need one move. Invincible Sword Heart. Great Earth Light Shadow Tao Technique. Ling Buddha's Seven Dragon Pearl Sky Piercing Hegemonic Body First Form. He unleashed all of his abilities. All of his strength was used. His battle strength skyrocketed, and countless sword chi converged into a giant river of swords, carrying with it a purple green flame, and surged towards the tens of thousands of martial artists. Bastard, is this the one sword you were talking about? Everyone was terrified and cursed, wanting to slap Qin Fei. The leaders kept shouting, quickly set up a defensive formation. Dealing with him alone won't last long. Only by combining our strength can we form a new formation to resist him. Everyone hurriedly placed seals and set up defensive formations. Han Yuan sword, activate. Lin San bit his finger and held the sword in front of him, devour the devil's energy. Fang Chang violently released his aura, which transformed into a giant sphere that enveloped him. The sword Qi, like a wave of destruction, crashed into the defensive formation. Unlike the time when the heavenly geniuses broke the formation. This time, the forces gathered here were all experts. No matter how violent the stream of sword chi was, it could not break through their formation. Great, the boss has finally matured. The heavenly soldiers and myriad horses hugged each other happily, celebrating the boss's epiphany. Being the sixth brother is fun, but the reputation is not good. Everywhere he goes, people avoid him, afraid that he will stab them in the back. In the bushes nearby, Qin Hao was hiding and his eyes widened in shock. How is it possible? Qin Hao's little heart was so shocked that he couldn't speak. How could there be such a monster in this world? The old man beside him was also stunned. If I remember correctly, he's not even 18 years old this year. Invincible Sword Heart, fourth level of Sword Anomaly, Natural Tao Technique, and he even refined the Southern Ming Li Fire. That's a treasure of the same level as the world exterminating Divine Thunder. And the Ling Buddha's Seven Dragon Pearls, he controls all of these powers with ease. Every time he witnessed Qin Feng displaying another ability, Qin Hao's young heart was destroyed a little more. Although he had heard about Qin Feng's hardships from the Qin family disciples, he did not expect 
that this was not his strongest strength. His domineering aura, which dominated the world, made it impossible for people to resist him. Like an endless mountain, no matter how much Chin Hao climbed, he could only look at his back. I will definitely surpass him in three years. I will definitely surpass him. Chin Hao trembled, encouraging himself in his heart. The old man looked at Chin Hao with pity in his eyes, really not wanting to tell him how cruel the reality was. He encouraged, that's right, with your destiny, you will definitely succeed. His whole body covered in purple lightning. Chin Hao dashed towards the seven Dao fruits like lightning. Damn it, you're too reckless. The old man cursed, not knowing if he had encouraged him too much or if there was something wrong with the boy's brain. How could he dare to face such a cruel reality? The warning system detects that a mythological level Heavenly Chosen is approaching quickly. Chin Feng was a little surprised. The level above epic was mythological. Suddenly, he realized that there was a purple figure beside the surging stream of sword Qi, moving extremely fast towards the seven Dao fruits behind him. It was his younger brother. He did not expect that the boy had grown so much. He had always thought that he was at the epic level. Strange, could it be that his level will increase after he grows up? Anyway, as long as the boy is healthy, that's all that matters. Qin Feng lost his focus and looked at Qin Hao, remembering his cute childhood image. In the blink of an eye, Qin Hao had reached the Dao fruit, quickly picked one, and disappeared from the scene. Every movement was seamless and without hesitation. What? Did the sixth brother do this? Qin Feng was immediately furious. Who has corrupted my friendly younger brother like this? He was so innocent when he was young, but now he has become a shameless sixth brother, taking advantage of his brother's battle to steal the Dao fruit. This time, his reckless robbery of the Dao fruit had greatly increased his confidence. He really wanted to shout out, stupid elder brother, I will definitely defeat you with my own hands. The old man looked confused, feeling that he had watered down this story a lot. Although Qin Feng was deploying the Great River Sword Formation at that time, with his monstrous strength, he definitely had the ability to stop Qin Hao. But in the end, he didn't make a move. Was it because he was feeling guilty about usurping the throne back then? Or was there another reason behind it? Qin Feng looked at his younger brother's figure and began to whisper to the system, he is my loved one, my sworn brother. I have to reward him. But the system only displayed continuous tasks and did not give any rewards. Fine, I won't talk anymore. Let's see who can hold out longer. Qin Feng retracted his gaze. Seeing that Qin Hao had succeeded, the factions that had been in despair suddenly became greedy again. Someone had already defeated Qin Feng, which meant that he was not invincible. Everyone began to send people to run around the Dao fruit. Qin Feng glanced at them, and the corners of his lips curled into a cold smile. He shook his head. Playing with me? You guys are not good enough. Qin Feng activated his heavenly eye, and his eyes emitted a terrifying purple light. He said, I just went easy on you guys just now. The sky darkened, and a series of giant eyes appeared, shooting laser-like beams that scanned the ground. Damn it, heavenly eye, retreat. The people, who were trying to circle around, panicked and shouted, cursing Qin Feng as a hypocrite in their hearts. Why didn't he use his heavenly eye to shoot that kid when he was playing the sixth brother and robbing the Dao fruit, and instead let him take one? But when they played the sixth brother, he used the heavenly eye to shoot them repeatedly. They are all playing the sixth brother. Why is there such discrimination? Are you still a human being? Everyone opened their eyes wide in disbelief. You bastard, Vulin trembled with anger. He clearly said that he came to help her deal with outsiders, but in the end, he even attacked the Blue Demon Palace. Fortunately, she reacted quickly and managed to set up a defensive formation. Otherwise, the hundreds of disciples of the Blue Demon Palace would have been wiped out by him. At the same time, she was also shocked by Qin Feng's terrifying strength. At first, she thought that he was just a talented hooligan, but she did not expect that he could face tens of thousands of warriors by himself. Congratulations to the host for making the Heavenly Chosen Daughter angry and increasing the villain points by 10,000. Congratulations to the host for using overwhelming strength to make the Heavenly Chosen Daughter lose her will to fight, completing 50% of the mission. Interesting. Qin Feng glanced at Vulin and then looked at the people struggling in the stream of sword chi. He asked arrogantly, is there anyone else? 
He's too strong. Everyone looked at Qin Feng with fear, afraid of being dominated by the number one warrior of the ancient times. Before, they thought that the number one warrior of the ancient times was only slightly stronger than them, and that as long as they outnumbered him, they could defeat him. But in reality, tens of thousands of warriors from the aristocratic families were suppressed by Qin Feng, unable to resist. At this moment, the sword in front of Lin Tom flashed and blocked the huge stream of sword qi. But as time passed, the sword began to crack, and soon it would not be able to withstand it anymore. Feeling the power of Qin Feng's sword qi firsthand, the belief of invincibility in Lin Tam's heart wavered once again. Congratulations to the host for causing the heavenly chosen son to waver in his belief of invincibility and receiving 100,000 villain points. On the other side, Fang Chang's face was extremely ferocious, and the blood sphere surrounding him was already cracked, about to be shattered by the stream of sword qi. He could not accept being suppressed by Qin Feng like this forever, nor could he accept constant losing to Qin Feng. He had to take revenge. He had to defeat Qin Feng. He had to make Princess Nan Feng regret. He had to let the world know who the real protagonist of this ancient time was. The old demon advised Fang Cheng to stop, saying that Qin Feng was a monster who was no longer human. Not only now, even at the peak of his power, he would not dare to provoke such a monster. I don't care. Lend me your power. Fang Chang looked at Qin Feng with red eyes, determined to seize a Dao fruit at all costs. With the Dao fruit, he was confident that he could defeat Qin Feng and make him kneel at his feet and beg for mercy. The old demon refused immediately. Are you kidding me? Do you want me to lend you my power so that you can kill yourself? Are you sure? Fang Chang suddenly calmed down and lowered his shield. You bastard. You only know how to threaten me and use death to threaten threaten me. Every time you are beaten by Qin Feng, who comforts you, the black chi around him turned into a giant demon, opening its mouth and swallowing everything. Qin Feng's stream of sword chi was also swallowed by the giant demon's head. You bastard, you dare to block my way? Everyone was shocked. They did not expect Fang Chang to be so brave and reckless. He actually managed to block the endless stream of sword chi and could even compare to Qin Feng's attack. Suddenly, a sword cry rang out, attracting everyone's attention. Lin Tom could no longer see sit still and wait for death, and took out the sword that was about to break and slashed it down. A brilliant sword light split the stream of sword chi in half, and the sword light rose into the sky, shocking everyone. It was clear that Lin Tam had comprehended the fourth level of sword intent. Finally, Qin Feng immediately concentrated, knowing that his opponent was unleashing his ultimate move. Please enlighten me, Brother Qin. Lin Tam leaped up with his sword in hand, sword qi surrounding him, his eyes fixed on Qin Feng with an unprecedented focus. He had been waiting for this battle for a long time. I really don't know what to do with you anymore. Qin Feng frowned, his head aching. Primordial sword qi, heaven and earth's first sword, Lin Tam, the peak of the ancient warriors against the number one swordsman of the past hundred years. Everyone held their breath in anticipation of the battle. Fang Chang was the angriest. The devouring demonic art that Fang Chang had used with all his might was ignored. And even if he swallowed everything, it would be useless. The old demon said, I told you to stay away from him, but you kept following him. Who can you blame now? Qin Feng stood tall, his tall and majestic figure exuding the majesty of power. A terrifying aura spread out in all directions. How is that possible? Lin Tam's eyes widened, unable to believe it. Thousands of swords transformed into a myriad of stars, converging into a purple sword that pierced the heavens. It was several times stronger than Lin Tam's primordial sword Qi. The sword formed from the myriad of stars shot down rapidly, its immense pressure, like a vast ocean, engulfing the entire heaven and earth. Everyone suddenly woke up from their trance. I decide my own destiny, not the heavens, Lin Tom roared, refusing to give up. His black hair fluttered in the wind, and the sound of sword chi tore through the void. Lin Tom held his sword and charged towards the sword light that illuminated the sky. The two terrifying attacks collided, and the deafening explosion shook the heavens and the earth. Ten thousand and jang of wind and waves instantly turned into dust. This was truly a battle of the Tao integration realm. Those in the celestial sect realm shed tears, trembling in the aftermath of the two men's destructive waves. Qin Feng is really strong. Lin Tam's face was pale at this moment, doing his best to withstand Qin Feng's storm-like attacks. Blood trickled from the corner of his mouth. Only now did he truly feel the ferocity of Qin Feng's tempestuous storm. This is a good opportunity. Fang Chang suddenly came to his senses. At this moment, Qin Feng and Lin Tam were locked in a fierce battle, and everyone's attention was on them. Seizing the opportunity, 
Fang Chang took advantage of the moment when Qin Feng and Lin Tam were entangled and quickly rushed towards the remaining six Dao fruits. Watch me steal the Dao fruits. Fang Chang looked at the Dao fruits that were within reach and finally experienced the thrill of being a thief. But he didn't notice that Qin Feng had been secretly watching him from the beginning. Even if he just moved a little, Qin Feng could guess what kind of urine he was peeing. Fang Chang wants to be a thief right in front of me? You're still too young. Qin Feng immediately detonated the Myriad Star's sword formation. The explosion today shook the entire universe, and the ripples spread rapidly. Lin Tom suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. Congratulations to the host for severely injuring the Son of Heaven and receiving 200,000 villain points. Congratulations to the host for defeating the Son of Heaven and completing 75% of the mission. Due to the detonation of the sword formation, Qin Feng also suffered a serious backlash and blood spurted out. He used the divine plundering technique from afar, and with lightning speed, Fang Chang stood there in a daze, looking at the empty vines, question marks appearing in his mind. Give me the Dao fruits. Qin Feng transformed into a furious undead and charged towards Fang Chang despite his injuries. The other forces were also vaguely confused as to why the Dao fruits had disappeared. But seeing the anger on Qin Feng's face, they immediately dismissed their suspicions of him. Moreover, Fang Chang was the closest to the Dao fruits, and Qin Feng was the number one expert, so he must have seen something to accuse Fang Chang. He definitely wouldn't have falsely accused Fang Chang for no reason. Six Dao fruits. You ate so much without choking to death, Qin Feng angrily beat up Fang Chang, forcing him to return the Dao fruits. Fang Chang was in a state of confusion and subconsciously replied that he didn't steal the Dao fruits. The other forces also rushed forward, pushing Qin Feng away and punching and kicking Fang Chang. Fang Chang was furious and released an evil aura. Get lost. Are you beating someone up for someone else? Everyone was also angry and turned to beat up Fang Chang together. They couldn't beat the monster Qin Feng, but beating up Fang Chang was as easy as pie. What's more, it was the Dao fruits. Even the great masters outside coveted it. No matter what, they had to make Fang Chang tell them. Congratulations to the host for setting a trap for the Son of Heaven and putting him in a life or death situation. Received 2 million villain points. Fang Cheng, why are you so different from me? Look, I have this, but he doesn't. Everyone ruthlessly pulled down Fang Chang's pants. He wide his eyes and shouted, Go to hell! Fang Chang was so angry that he trembled, and a deafening roar resounded through the air. A terrifying pressure like a tidal wave surged down. The evil aura seethed and surged. Everyone was horrified and retreated. Seeing that the mission was 75% complete, Qin Feng summoned the Southern Ming Li fire. Seeing this, Fang Chang was so frightened that he ran away with his shoes and pants off. His dream was to make Qin Feng kneel at his feet, but when he encountered the Southern Ming Li fire, he could only run away. Qin Feng pointed at Fang Chang, and a flame wrapped around a sword, Qi flew straight towards him. No matter how fast he ran, Fang Chang was still hit by the sword Qi. He let out a miserable cry, mixed with a hoarse groan of pain. The old demon scolded him angrily. You idiot! I told you not to provoke Qin Feng, but you wouldn't listen. Now you've dragged me down with you. Stop whining. What are we gonna do now? Fang Chang was terrified. He finally understood why the old demon was so afraid of the southern Mingli fire. Just as he had said, even a slight touch felt like being thrown into lava. In 10 to 15 seconds, he would be burned to ashes. The old demon regretted it and wondered what he had done in his previous life to have chosen such a disciple. But there was nothing he could do but save himself. The old man erupted with a terrifying energy that could destroy heaven and earth and extinguish the southern Ming fire. But in return, he had to sacrifice another thousand years of cultivation. Fortunately, he was still alive. The old demon felt as if he had been reborn. It's good to be alive. The old demon's voice was weak. I've spent too much cultivation this time, and I don't know when I'll be able to recover. Listen to me. Don't provoke Qin Feng anymore. He is definitely the one who will suppress all ages, and you are no match for him. Qin Feng, just you wait. Fang Chang said that he would never let this go, and then ran away naked. Congratulations to the host for seriously injuring the Son of Heaven, and receiving 300,000 villain points. 
Congratulations to the host for defeating the Son of Heaven and completing the mission 100%. Received a divine treasure chest. Qin Feng glanced at the system and saw that he had accumulated 549,755 villain points. Congratulations to the host for robbing the six Dao fruits and receiving one chance to spin the wheel. Qin Feng was stunned. Three sons of heaven, one great villain. Six Dao fruits only exchanged for one chance to spin the wheel. This system is getting more and more ridiculous, but that doesn't matter anymore. He has more important things to do now. Qin Feng's eyes unconsciously glanced at Lin San. My dear little San San, that look is so familiar. Lin San shuddered when he saw Qin Feng's gaze, just like seven years ago at the Qin family, always staring at his face to imitate his gestures. Whenever he admired a blade of grass, Qin Feng would also pull out that blade of grass, imitating him. Qin Feng turned around and ran towards the badly injured Lin San, intending to comfort his immature soul. The family leaders looked at each other, not knowing what to do. They had originally come to fight for the Dao fruits, but the Dao fruits had disappeared and the suspect Fang Chang had escaped. Everyone quickly came to an agreement that even if Fang Chang could unleash the power to destroy heaven and earth, they still couldn't resist the allure of the Dao fruits. If they couldn't, they would go out and call their parents and not let that little Fang Chang run wild. Most importantly, they didn't want to stay with the monster Qin Feng for another second. Wulan looked at the empty vines, so angry that she could go crazy. The seven Dao fruits that originally belonged to the Blue Devil Palace, in the end, there were none, all because that shameless old six had lied. She would definitely dig him up and find him to bite him to death. At this moment, Zian looked at Qin Feng in amazement as he enthusiastically ran over to treat Lin San's wounds and give him medicine. Brother Lin, how is my sword formation? In theory, my sword formation can be stacked infinitely. I haven't even one part in 10,000 of its power yet. Qin Feng helped Lin San to his feet, his mouth still muttering about one part in 1,000. Lin San appeared calm on the surface, but in his heart, he was screaming like a field mouse. Everyone is practicing the sword, but why is this young boy so much stronger than me. Congratulations to the host for causing the Son of Heaven to waver in his belief of invincibility and receiving 100,000 villain points. Zion tilted her head in confusion. Just now, the two of them were fighting over the Dao fruits, fighting to the death, one side wanting to crush the other, one side wanting to surpass the heavens. But in the blink of an eye, they were chatting happily, making him recall the saying that men are not necessarily happy with women, but men are really happy with men. Yan was full of confusion and muttered, What does that mean? Just as Qin Feng was about to continue pulling Lin San over, a group of people approached them. The one in the lead was Lin Xiner from the Heavenly Heart sect. I finally found you. Her tone of voice towards Lin San was completely different from before the battle. Before, she wouldn't even dare to use such a tone of voice with Lin San, because from the battle just now, she could see that his status as the successor of the Moon God Palace was not fake. But now, after fighting Qin Feng, Lin San was seriously injured, so they naturally didn't take him seriously anymore. The group of people walked straight towards Qin Feng. Di Yan couldn't help but be annoyed and muttered, another slut. This stinky disciple, he just goes around hooking up with all sorts of people. Although she said that she wouldn't look down on her junior brother for three days, Zian's body was very honest, and she quickly hugged Qin Feng's arm, declaring to Lin Xinner that she was his legal wife. Qin Feng also stood in front of Lin San. Qin Feng said that he would not let anyone take his little San San away, and that they would have to step over his dead body first. Lin San trembled and slowly looked up at Qin Feng, the corners of his eyes gradually becoming moved. This was the true brotherhood, sharing the good and the bad. Lin Xinner looked at Lin San coldly and asked him angrily, Lin San, I can give you one last chance. If you tell me, I will forgive you for everything that happened before. You will still be a member of my heavenly heart sect. Young miss, I really don't know about any immortal essence vein. Lin San replied awkwardly. Lin Xiner said, In that case, I hereby declare that you are expelled from the heavenly heart sect. From now on, you are no longer a member of the heavenly heart sect. Ziyan sighed in relief. It turned out that he was not her junior brother's little San San. As long as he didn't steal her junior brother, she didn't care what he did. Qin Feng was tired of watching. He really didn't understand how this girl always managed to escape the net of heaven and avoid the fate of the sons of heaven. First, she broke off the engagement with his younger brother. Then she publicly expelled Lin San and even stood him up when he had asked her out in the past. Then there's nothing more to say. I bid you farewell. Lin San's eyes were filled with a hint of sadness as he turned and walked away alone. 
What? Was he really going to leave the Heavenly Heart sect? Lin Shinner couldn't believe it and watched Lin San's back as he walked away. Did he think that the Heavenly Heart sect was a place where he could come and go as he pleased? Lin Shinner angrily ordered her disciples to stop Lin San. Young miss, don't force me. Lin San's voice was calm and steady. Lin San's voice was very cold, as if it contained a terrifying power. In the past, he was the successor of the sword god Chong Kong. After an accident, he became a prisoner of the Heavenly Heart sect. Sect. So he stayed in the Heavenly Heart sect with the mindset of a traveler. It could be said that the Heavenly Heart sect hadn't helped him much, and he only stayed because of the friendship he had made when he first arrived. But in return, the Heavenly Heart sect kept pushing him, forcing him into a dead end. Lin Shiner said coldly, Lin San, are you still capable of threatening us? After fighting Qin Feng, Lin San was seriously injured, so they naturally didn't take him seriously anymore. You can try it. Lin San's eyes suddenly became sharp, and sword energy began to surge around him. The disciples of the Heavenly Heart sect immediately became alert, ready to fight. Did the Heavenly Heart sect think they were some kind of major sect? Just as the two sides were tense, about to start a war, Qin Feng's voice rang out. Although his tone was very calm, it sent shivers down everyone's spines. Disciples of the Heavenly Heart sect retreated, their faces filled with caution. Qin Feng's ruthlessness from earlier was still fresh in their minds. He had single-handedly defeated tens of thousands of warriors, even Fang Chang and Lin San. Those monster-level experts had been crushed by him. They could afford to look down on the injured Lin San, but they had to be careful of this guy. What do you mean? Lin Shinner was extremely vigilant, having very complicated feelings towards Qin Feng. If it hadn't been for Qin Feng stealing her fiancé in the past, she wouldn't have run away to break off her engagement with the Qin family. At the same time, she was also thinking, if her father had chosen Qin Feng as his son-in-law instead of Qin Hao that day, would it have avoided many things? Lin Shinner decided to retreat, not daring to confront Qin Feng. After the battle, just now, not to mention the Heavenly Heart sect, even if all the warriors in Kunlun returned, they would be wiped out. Thank you, Brother Chin. Lin San clasped his hands and said with a smile. Although he didn't take the Heavenly Heart sect seriously, he was still very touched by what Qin Feng had just said. In fact, over time, Lin San realized that Qin Feng was not as vicious as the rumors said. Feng smiled and walked forward, slapping Lin San hard on the buttocks. Lin San's eyes widened in surprise. Lin San was panic-stricken, especially since Qin Feng's gaze was still so familiar. Combined with the difference in Qin Feng's treatment of him and his younger brother, he didn't dare to think any further. Such a gesture could be explained as a sign of close brotherhood, but it could also be explained as a gesture hinting at an ambiguous relationship. Other Chin, I still have things to do. Lin San was startled and hurriedly clasped his hands in farewell before leaving immediately, afraid to stay by Qin Feng's side for even a moment longer. Being by Qin Feng's side, it was true that he received help but his mouth really made Lin San not dare to get close. Qin Feng's eyes were filled with sadness, but he didn't try to hold him back. So he had no choice but to let Lin San go for the time being. But he believed that they would meet again soon. No more worries, happy to come. System, I want to draw a lottery. The familiar roulette wheel appeared, and the arrow began to spin slowly. Congratulations to the host for winning the super swordsmanship skill. One sword opens the heaven's gate. It's about swords again. Qin Feng's body went numb. He didn't know why he had such a fate with swords. But this was a skill that was even stronger than the divine level slashing heaven and earth sword technique. No way. I must reach the great perfection level. Qin Feng immediately called out to the system to exchange for a super divine great perfection card. Congratulations to the host. Using the super divine great perfection card, one sword opens the heaven's gate has reached the great perfection realm. Heaven and earth are overturned and the universe is burned away. The sword that opens the heavens seems to be unparalleled. The super divine great perfection requires two million points. If Lin San was still here, he would definitely be able to give him some blood. A warrior, a villain, I believe that fate will bring us together again soon. Qin Feng regretfully retracted his gaze and opened the divine level treasure chest. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the mountains and rivers Sheji map which belongs to the category of immortal treasures. The Mountains and Rivers, Sheji Map, is a simple immortal treasure, born from heaven and earth, and it forms its own world inside, capable of containing mountains, rivers, lakes, ponds, the moon, and the stars. 
a scroll of embroidery appeared in Qin Feng's hand. Opening it, a rich spiritual energy emanated from it, even stronger than the item that the Six Paths monarch had given him. Inside, one could see several towering mountains, golden light flowing, and meandering streams. Testing it, Xiaobai put his paw in and was immediately sucked inside. Where is this? I'm drowning. Xiaobai looked around cautiously inside the map. Xiaobai didn't understand why he had suddenly appeared here. Before he could react, Qin Feng, following the instructions in his mind, put his hand into the mountains and rivers Shaiji map and pulled Xiaobai out. Xiaobai understood how to move back and forth between the two worlds, his eyes shining brightly as if a door to a new world had opened. He happily ran back and forth between the two places. I'm going in again. I'm going out again. I'm going in again. I'm going out again. Xiaobai ran in and out with great joy and even ran around the mountains and forests. Fortunately, the space was empty, so he didn't catch any animals to fight. What is this? Xian and Wulan looked at Qin Feng's mountains and rivers Shaiji map curiously. Qin Feng had no intention of explaining to them at this time. He looked at the Dao fruit vine and wondered if he could transplant it into the mountains and rivers Shaiji map. Although the Tao fruit needed thousands of years to mature, the vine that came into contact with it was definitely extraordinary. Even if it was just used as a decoration at home, it would be very impressive. Let's try it. If it works, that would be great. Qin Feng quickly pressed his hand down, and the ground shook violently. Terrifying cracks spread out, and the Tao fruit vine, within 100 meters, was lifted up by an invisible force. Wulan's eyes twitched as she thought to herself, he's really a big spender. Everyone else is only looking for the fruit in Kunlun, but he's pulling out the whole root, leaving no chance for anyone else. At this moment, a female disciple from the Blue Demon Palace approached Wulan and whispered, Deputy Palace Master, everyone is busy chasing that Fang Cheng who stole the Dao fruit, but Qin Feng is leisurely digging up the vines here. Something's definitely not right. Wulan felt uncomfortable and looked towards Qin Feng. Her intuition told her that something was unusual. With Qin Feng's shameless personality, if someone really dared to take something from him, he wouldn't just be hopping around here. He would definitely dig up that person's grave with that shameless rabbit and then tie that person up and stand on the grave to sing and celebrate. The incident of the six Dao fruits disappearing also gave Wulan a sense of familiarity. It was just like when her underwear had been taken by Qin Feng. At this time, Qin Feng had already transplanted the Dao fruit vine into the mountains and rivers Shaiji map. Now, it was just a matter of whether it would survive or not. Time was running out, and Qin Feng calculated that Kunlun would close in a few days. At that time, a mysterious force would push all the literary scholars out. They would appear randomly anywhere in the desert. For them, this was a challenge and a disaster. But for the desert monsters, this was a feast. At this time, Xian was also preparing to leave. Although she wanted to stay by Qin Feng's side, Xian represented the Moon God Palace and needed to find resources for cultivation. Junior brother, I won't go to the fragrant sea of colors. I'll play with you after we leave Kunlun. Although they had some in Kunlun, they had wasted too much time on the Dao fruit. With their current results, they still hadn't made enough money to cover the cost of entering Kunlun. Now, they had to seize the time to find treasures and immortal crystals. Hearing that Xian was going to leave alone to find treasures, Qin Feng couldn't help but laugh. This girl was so cute. It was obvious that she wanted to stay by his side, but she had to go because of the cultivation resources for her seniors. The look of reluctance on her face was very clear. Qin Feng immediately took out a large bag of immortal crystals and gave it to her. Sister, you're looking for immortal crystals? I'll give you all of these. Immortal crystals are rare, but you're still still giving me so many. Xian was beautiful and blushed with emotion. The young ladies of the Moon God Palace shook Xian, pulling her back to reality. She was the future heir, and she couldn't keep relying on the Divine Sun. Xian pouted unhappily. She knew that Qin Feng had become much stronger. If she wanted to stay by his side for the rest of her life, her abilities could not be lacking. Therefore, Xian wanted to go out and find immortal crystals by herself. The two of them bid farewell for the time being, each with their own mission. Qin Feng and his subordinates had arrived and said that they needed to see Miss Xin Yan. Long Ocean, are you home? Miss Xin Yan, are you home? Miss Xin Yan, 
were coming in. Qin Feng called out a few times outside the fragrancy of colors, but no one answered, so he walked in with the heavenly army and 10,000 horses. Xiao Bai was still sitting on his shoulder. The difference was that behind Xiao Bai was the Mountains and Rivers Shaji Map Scroll, which, being a VIP pro treasure, could not be put into a space bag. Deep within the fragrant sea of colors, Xin Yan felt uncomfortable and sensed something invading. She waved her hand and created a screen that showed Qin Feng and his group entering the fragrant sea of colors. He was walking forward, and he was even more familiar than when he was going home. Isn't that Qin Feng? Why is he back? Didn't he say that if we gave him a hundred million immortal crystals, he would never bother us again? He's so shameless, he's even lying to ghosts. The heavenly army and 10,000 horses followed behind Qin Feng, and they finally understood why no one could escape the fragrant sea of colors. Along the way, in addition to the mournful cries that disturbed their minds, there were also undead creatures that jumped out of the ground from time to time, their terrifying power able to crush them like ants. Suddenly, a cold wind blew through the fragrant sea of colors, and the temperature dropped significantly. Zhen Zhen, Lianlin Ai Ai, long time no see. Qin Feng smiled and went to hug the girls affectionately. Stop! The three female ghosts were startled by Qin Feng's actions, and although they liked his easygoing personality, they didn't forget that Qin Feng was a dangerous person. The three of them stepped back and asked in an unfriendly tone, Our young lady gave you 100 million immortal crystals, so why did you come back to the fragrant sea of colors? A hundred million immortal crystals, the heavenly army, and 10,000 horses were shocked and they couldn't believe their ears. According to their understanding, the strongest force that had ever entered Kunlun had only collected tens of thousands of immortal crystals, and they had never heard of anyone having hundreds of millions of immortal crystals. At the same time, they were also very curious, and they could tell from their entry into the fragrant sea of colors that the owner of this place was powerful and influential. So why would they give money to Qin Feng for no reason? Suddenly, the heavenly army and 10,000 horses glanced at each other, thinking of a way to make a quick buck. But that wouldn't do. Their boss only sold his art, not his body. With Xian and Yulan, it was just a joke. So why was it so confusing with this Miss Xin Yan? Was it real or fake, or was it because they had given him so much money? Don't be so distant, Qin Feng said with a smile. We're all acquaintances now, and I'm about to leave Kunlun, so I wanted to come and say goodbye, and also bring you some local specialties as gifts. Hearing this, Zhen Jin, Lian Lian, and Ai Ai breathed a sigh of relief, so he was just here to say goodbye before leaving, and not to continue threatening them for immortal crystals. These specialties are pretty good too. Qin Feng nodded with satisfaction as he looked at the three girls. It would feel like a wasted trip if he didn't bring back something from the fragrant sea of colors. Just then, a voice as clear as a bell rang out. The fragrant sea of colors has no specialties. If you want flowers, then pick them. That's what the owner here is for. Miss Xin Yan, the heavenly army and 10,000 horses looked up and were immediately stunned. They saw a beautiful young woman in a red dress descending from the sky. Only then did they understand why Qin Feng had to pretend to be sincere. It was definitely not for her beauty, but for the future operating expenses that he had agreed to this rich woman's outrageous request. Qin Feng glanced at her and said, picking flowers? That sounds good. The three girls naturally understood what Qin Feng meant by picking flowers. It was obvious that he was treating them like the flowers of the fragrant sea of colors. Old Six Qin Feng had once again transformed into Cao Cao and was eyeing the lover of the Son of Heaven, Long Aochen. How shameless. Sensing the change in Qin Feng's gaze, the three girls immediately realized his sinister intentions towards them. How could they have underestimated such a righteous scholar? Fine, I won't argue with you anymore. Let's just talk about the specialties. Xin Yan said calmly, you can't take them away. Kunlun has become a world of its own, and it has its own laws of operation. Just as outsiders can't stay here for long, we also can't leave here. Qin Feng asked again, so what if I can take you out? That's impossible. Xin Yan replied immediately, completely disbelieving that Qin Feng could do it. That's what you say. Qin Feng smiled, his canine teeth like a dragon's. He shrugged and signaled to Xiao Bai, telling him to go on stage. Xiao Bai immediately became enthusiastic, flapping its tail and throwing the Mountains and River Society map into the air. He quickly pressed his hand, and the map quickly zoomed in, restoring it to its original state. He opened it, and inside it was filled with mountains and rivers, sun, moon, stars, and planets, and a rich spiritual energy flowed out from within. 
Xin Yan lost her composure and exclaimed, Impossible. This is a heavenly spirit treasure, a rare treasure born from heaven and earth, especially one that has become a world within itself. Even Long Aochen, who is so favored by the heavens, doesn't have such a thing. If he used the Mountains and Rivers Society map to take them out, he could completely avoid the repulsive force of Kunlun. Xin Feng smiled again, similar to Miss Xin Yan, and said, Rest assured, I swear on my honor as a prime minister that no matter how difficult it is, I will take you out of this place. Xin Yan was confused in her heart, not understanding who the prime minister was. Could we really get out? The three girls flashed with countless stars, and it was hard to hide their envy. I know that you all want to get out of this place too. Qin Feng transformed into a big bad wolf, tempting the girls. There are many handsome men out there. You want to go out? We want to go out. The three girls nodded like garlic. They wanted to go out very much. Before, they couldn't even escape from the fragrant sea of colors. As you know, women's hearts are very sensitive and fragile. Thousands of years of loneliness and no progress. It's easy to have problems. In order to leave this place, be free, we are even willing to meet all your demands. Of course, on the condition that you also agree, miss, the three girls turned to look at Xin Yan, their eyes filled with the hope of escaping from Kunlun. Xin Yan suppressed the surprise in her heart and regained her dignified appearance. Qin Feng, you are indeed different. I will do what I say, as long as they want to go with you. I will not stop them. Miss is too naive. Men's words are not to be trusted. Zhen Zhen, Lian Lian, and Ai Ai hurriedly advised Xin Yan to go with him. You guys go ahead. I have to stay here and wait for him to come back. Xin Yan's eyes were full of regret, but her decision was very firm. Even though they had been together for tens of thousands of years and regarded each other as sisters, she had no reason to make them continue to wait with her. If Miss doesn't go, we won't go either. The three girls were very determined. Although they longed for freedom, they were even more worried about leaving Miss alone. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Qin Feng was immediately angry. Are you rejecting me for a long Aochin? I old six will not allow anyone to reject me. Long Aochin has never dared to disobey the Prime Minister. Last time he already gave in, this time are you afraid that she won't agree? Miss, you don't want me to be angry because I didn't bring back any specialties, do you? Qin Feng slowly raised his hand and a blue flame danced on his fingertips. He threatened her. Seeing this, Xin Yan also said coldly, they don't want to go with you and I can't do anything about it. You make an offer, how many immortal crystals can you give to leave the fragrant sea of colors? As expected of a rich woman, you can afford to give out a billion immortal crystals. Xiao Bai also imitated and clapped its hands, and a silver-purple flame danced on its claws, saying, Don't say that we didn't give you a chance. Fill our mountains and rivers society map with immortal crystals. Xin Yan almost spat out a mouthful of blood, not understanding why the cute rabbit was so similar to its master. Not to mention that the fragrant sea of colors didn't have that many immortal crystals, even if they took all the immortal crystals in Kunlun, they wouldn't be able to fill Qin Feng's Mountains and Rivers Society map. Qin Feng, don't go too far. Xin Yan was cold and her soul power began to surge. Feng still said calmly, It's okay if you don't have money. I'll just take some specialties with me. Is this what you call taking something with you? It's clearly robbery. The three girls were angry and insisted that they were not specialties. Xin Yan said coldly, Don't think that just because you have the southern Mingli fire, you can do whatever you want in the fragrant sea of colors. If you anger me, I will drag you down with me, even if it costs me my life. Qin Feng smiled and asked, Are you not going to wait for that man anymore? Are you willing to die with me? Just a few simple sentences completely broke Xin Yan down. She had waited here for tens of thousands of years. How could she die with a shameless person? Even if she had to die, she wanted to see that man one last time before she died. Qin Feng's next words made her heart sink. Are you sure you can risk your life with me? Xin Yan's face did not change, but her heart was trembling. She saw Qin Feng's disdainful smile, mocking her reckless words. As a ghost cultivator who specialized in souls, she had a supernatural perception of souls. Therefore, she could clearly sense that Qin Feng's soul was not wavering at all, meaning that he was not afraid of dying together at all. That meant that Qin Feng really didn't care about her. How could that be possible? Don't hurt my miss. We will follow misses. The three female ghosts protected Xin Yan behind them, 
and glared at Qin Feng angrily. If their eyes could kill, Qin Feng would have died countless times already. It's too late. Now even she, all of them belong to me. Qin Feng smiled wickedly and even dared to touch our miss. Shameless bastard, even if we can't kill you, we have to bite a piece of your flesh. The three of them immediately turned cold and a terrifying power spread out. The sunny flower garden suddenly darkened and red petals fluttered in the air. The ground began to shake and a roar sounded as tens of thousands of pale white undead rose from the ground, charging towards Qin Feng. In addition, more than 1,000 other undead appeared to support them. The cold air caused the temperature to drop suddenly. It seemed that with just an order from Xin Yan, even if they had to sacrifice everything, they would rush forward to tear Qin Feng to pieces. The army of thousands of horses and soldiers' hearts pounded, and they hurriedly stood in front of Qin Feng like two bodyguards. Qin Feng remained calm and confident. He even knew how to provoke the psychology of Miss Xin Yan, a single woman, and she didn't want everyone to sacrifice themselves for her. Xin Yan was so angry that she wanted to bite this shameless bastard to death. She still hadn't met the man in golden armor who had come to marry her. So how could she be willing to give in to Qin Feng's threats? As Qin Feng thought, with her motherly personality, how could she just watch everyone fight for her? Compromise was only a matter of once or countless times. She began to waver again. Qin Feng looked up, smiled and muttered, Brother Ao Tian, I've already taken care of your wife for you. Don't worry, I'll go with you. Xin Yan seemed to have used up all her strength and finally chose to give in to Qin Feng. Miss, even if Qin Feng can ignore the soul attack and the southern Ming Li fire, it doesn't mean that we have no fighting power. Why are you humiliating yourself like this? The three female ghosts were very puzzled. In fact, the reason why Xin Yan gave in was because she couldn't see through Qin Feng. Feng. Congratulations to the host for taking advantage of the absence of the Son of Heaven and successfully hooking up with his beauty. Congratulations to the host for taking advantage of the absence of the Son of Heaven and threatening his lover and receiving 200,000 villain points. Congratulations to the host for taking advantage of the absence of the Son of Heaven and helping to take care of his lover and receiving 500,000 villain points. Hearing the sweet voice of the system, Qin Feng couldn't help but smile. He liked girls like this saintly mother type even more because they don't understand the principle of sacrificing for the greater good. They just want to protect everyone. So in the end, they can only choose to give in. They are much easier to deal with than the cold-blooded protagonists who are willing to kill. It's still the same old saying. As for the advice to kill the saintess from the beginning, don't dare to interfere. It's just that those people have the wrong approach. As long as you grasp the saintess weakness, you can take advantage of the victory. I can go with you, but you have to promise me that after we get out of Kunlun, you will release them and give them their freedom. I'm only interested in Miss Xin Yan. Xin Feng was cold, and Xin Yan was so angry that she couldn't speak and turned away immediately. She didn't want to see Qin Feng anymore. In order to force her to leave the fragrance of the sea, he even dared to use the innocent lives of the undead and ghost girls to threaten her. She hoped that when Long Aoqian returned, he would understand her predicament. Xiao Bai, take action. Since Xin Yan has chosen to give in, tens of thousands of undead will no longer resist. Xiao Bai moved all the valuable treasures in the fragrance of the sea into the mountains and rivers society map. Because the fragrance of the sea is a place with heavy yin energy, so the treasures with a cold nature are not very useful to someone with a hot physique like Qin Feng. While he was enthusiastically moving the treasures, Tianjin suddenly ran over. His worried expression could not be hidden. What's wrong? Qin Feng asked curiously. Tianjin looked around vigilantly and made sure that no one was near before whispering excitedly, Boss, we're rich. Xiao Bai immediately pricked up its long ears, flew back to Qin Feng's shoulder, and curiously poked its head out to look. It only saw Tianjin carefully taking out a few pieces of immortal crystals. Xiao Bai immediately lost interest. It knew that it had already dug up quite a lot, but they had all been snatched away by its ruthless master. Seeing the unpleasant expressions on the two of them, Tianjin hurriedly said, These are not ordinary immortal crystals. They are immortal crystals mentioned in ancient texts. Qin Feng could only sigh, realizing that it was difficult to broaden his little disciple's horizons. What do you mean? Tianjun was immediately stunned and felt puzzled. The time for Kunlun to close its doors is approaching. If we don't quickly return to being the sixth elder, we will lose our chance. The time for Kunlun 
Ireland to close its doors is approaching, and the various factions are also urging their last efforts, hoping to find as many treasures and immortal crystals as possible. The Tao fruits in their hands are more precious than any treasure or immortal crystal. Just as everyone was pushing their last efforts before the closing, a shocking news shook Kunlun. Someone had discovered a vein of immortal crystals in the fragrance of the sea. Are you kidding me? How is that possible? I'm not lying. I don't know why, but the fragrance of the sea is suddenly no longer dangerous. And you can enter and leave freely. Now many people are going to dig for immortal crystals. All right, I won't say any more. I have to go now or I'll be late. According to the rumors, someone has already dug up tens of thousands of immortal crystals. If you don't go now, it will be too late. It's up to you whether you go or not. I'm going. As the rumors spread, the various factions could not sit still and decided to go and see for themselves. The result was exactly as the rumors said. The red flower garden had withered and the cold air had disappeared. Instead, there were countless deep pits and people with their sleeves rolled up, digging enthusiastically. At this moment, outside the fragrance of the sea, Qin Feng and Xiao Bai stood under a tree, watching the crowd in front of them. Behind them were thousands of troops, two close bodyguards. Are we just going to stand here and watch them dig for immortal crystals? Tian Jun looked at the crowd in front of him with a pained expression. Qin Feng replied, get ready to reap the harvest. The thousands of troops were stunned, but they understood their young master's intention. He meant to let them help dig for immortal crystals, and then we'll rob them back, Tianjin said with worry. Although the boss's combat strength is unparalleled, but if we confront all of them directly, I'm afraid that if they all run away together, it will be difficult for us to rob them back. What are you afraid of? I have a treasure in my hand. I have the world. Qin Feng waved his hand and took out a jade bottle on which was engraved. Even if you pierce your neck, it will be useless. Tian Jun and the thousands of troops changed their expressions. The two of them had experienced the terrifying power of this thing. Not to mention, these warriors who were only at the heavenly sect realm, even the nascent soul realm cultivators who entered Kunlun would find it difficult to withstand the hundred transformations demon kings Kumbri sang. Even if you pierce your neck, it will be useless drug. Once they were poisoned, they would be powerless to stop Qin Feng from harvesting. The boss is no longer human. The two of them had a headache. They understood Qin Feng's plan. The immortal crystals were just bait. Kunlun was about to close, and the various factions had collected enough treasures. Now they were the prey that had fallen into Qin Feng's trap. Not only the immortal crystals that had just been dug up, but even the other treasures found in Kunlun would be robbed clean. With the allure of immortal crystals, it will be difficult for anyone to resist coming. Qin Feng said confidently, since I got the formula for Roj, even if you pierce your neck, it will be useless. I've already brewed more than thousand liters. Even if there are hundreds of thousands of people, it will be enough. If it's really not enough, then there's also the even so's go crazy drug. The two of them gulped and immediately knelt down in front of Qin Feng. Just then, a horrified scream rang out. Who are you guys? What do you want? Qin Feng's ears twitched, and he turned his head to look down. He saw a few men jump out from the bushes, surrounding a beautiful girl. Boss, your method is brilliant. Now that everyone is rushing to dig for immortal crystals in the fragrance of the sea, we just need to ambush them along the way and catch them one by one. Kunlun is about to close, so they are all fattened up. We're going to get rich. What are you looking at? Quickly hand over all your belongings, or don't blame me. You're robbing me of my prey. Qin Feng was immediately furious. He spent so much effort to set up the stage, and these guys came running over to cut the fat before I could even fatten them up. Qin Feng lightly stepped on the branch and landed gracefully in front of the girl. Don't be afraid, girl. I'll take care of these old bastards. Who are you? The robbers were startled by Qin Feng's sudden appearance. They immediately drew their weapons and pointed them at Qin Feng. Fourth level of Dao Entry Realm. These annoying guys didn't dare to underestimate him. Although they could sense that Qin Feng's cultivation was only at the fourth level among the warriors of Kunlun. But his aura was unusual. It was like a sword that had yet to be drawn from its sheath. And when it was swung, it would surely shake the heavens and the earth. Someone whispered to the others. He said he was Qin Feng. Their expressions changed immediately, and they took a few steps back. His reputation was well known, the number one warrior of ancient times. I, Qin Feng, hate people like you the most. Qin Feng pretended to be serious. 
You have hands and feet. Why don't you go and find your own treasures instead of ambushing and robbing others? Don't you know that this is the behavior of a despicable old bastard? Hearing Qin Feng preaching morality, Tianjun and Wanma fell out of the tree, their faces ashen in the entire Kunlun. It was their boss who was the most shameless old bastard, and he still dared to reproach others. It's too embarrassing. He felt ashamed for those two clumsy disciples. Everyone, retreat, the leader ordered, and turned around to leave quickly. Although he didn't have Qin Feng's broad vision, he he thought the same way, so he was also a professional old bastard. Instead of competing with Qin Feng directly here, it was better to stay away from him. Instead of hiding in the bushes, it was better to continue being an old bastard. Today, I, Qin Feng, will eliminate evil and promote good. Qin Feng's eyes suddenly became sharp, and his clothes fluttered automatically. His whole body was like a proud snow lotus on a cliff, containing an unparalleled sword intent. A surge of aura surged out, and countless sword qi shot out like a meteor shower. The pupils of the men constricted, and their hearts jumped into their throats. The sword qi went straight to their acupoints. Their faces turned pale, and they could only stare at the sword chi approaching. Suddenly, a black shadow flashed past at an astonishing speed, accompanied by a cold air from the blade. Before they could react, their necks had another blood stain. Qin Feng's mood immediately turned bad. He was looking forward to a few thousand experience points from killing evil, but unexpectedly it was robbed halfway. He saw a tall man with an expressionless face, holding a cold greatsword. The Yanyun tribe was a large tribe living in the desert, famous for producing beautiful women and strong men. The saber-wielding man in front of him was the young patriarch of the Yanyun tribe, who was hailed as the strongest warrior in the history of the Yanyun tribe. In addition to his superb saber technique, he was also an extremely introverted person. Tian Tian, come over here to your brother. The beautiful girl Tian Tian looked at Qin Feng's tall back, her bright eyes shining like stars. Thank you for saving me. My name is Tian Tian. Tian Tian looked at Qin Feng's handsome face and said shyly, according to the customs of our desert region, since you saved me, I have to marry you. The emotionless saber interrupted her. I killed those guys before him. You don't have to marry him. Tian Tian's smile suddenly turned serious, and she warned her brother not to interfere. Saber remained cold. My saber is faster than his sword. You're stealing someone else's credit and still dare to brag about it. Qin Feng was very annoyed and glared at Saber. Saber felt that this guy was questioning his aesthetic taste. With a flat figure like your sister's, what's the point of taking her home? Is it to hear the sound of a Boeing 747? Saber glanced at Qin Feng without any ripples in his heart. He felt a great pressure from the other party. Brother Qin, don't listen to my brother's nonsense. According to the customs of our desert region, Tian Tian came forward again and acted coquettishly. There aren't many such customs in our desert region. Saber interrupted again and pulled her up to leave. Tian Tian was so angry that she went crazy, like a cat being caught by the neck, struggling and shouting, brother, let me go. This is the happiest thing in my life. No matter how much Tian Tian made a fuss, Saber remained indifferent and unemotional. As someone who doted on his sister to the extreme, as long as his sister wanted it, he would dare to burn down a forest or jump into a sea of fire. But marrying this Qin Feng, he would rather kill him. This brat was too presumptuous. Tianjun and Wanma were very angry. The whole time, this guy didn't even bother to glance at them, as if they were the most despicable people in the world. I don't care about him. My eyes were drawn to the wounds on the corpses. The saber was really fast. Qin Feng was no longer the naive teenager he was when he first arrived. After seven years in the Moon God Palace, he had learned a lot. The wounds were two inches deep, neither too much nor too little. The locations were also similar. Just one saber strike, done in one breath. Both the force and the accuracy were perfect. Furthermore, it was just an ordinary saber strike, without any magic at all. But it could instantly kill several people at the heavenly sect realm. It was true that he had trained his saber to be extremely fast, accurate, and ruthless. Not only did he need extraordinary saber training talent, but he also needed to endure the boring daily practice, year after year. Tianjin asked curiously, Boss, is that guy's saber really that terrifying? It's very terrifying. Qin Feng looked up at Saber's fading back and said, let me put it this way, under the same level, and only using ordinary moves to fight. One of his Saber strikes, one of my sword strikes, I will definitely lose. Tianjin, Wanma gulped nervously, terrified of Saber. Question is, will you really use an ordinary sword to fight him? No, Qin Feng asked back. Will you use an ordinary sword to fight him? No, Xiaobai's face was serious. Lao Liu definitely won't use ordinary sword techniques to fight. Qin Feng and Xiaobai smiled at the same time. A 
typical smile, a wretched smile. Heaven bless our Dashia. Princess Nanfeng couldn't hide her excitement. At first, after being miserably defeated by the monster Qin Feng, she thought that Dashia had already withdrawn from the war and was on the verge of decline. But who would have thought that heaven would take pity on the wretched and someone would reveal the information about the immortal essence mine? Fortunately, she had gathered the surviving disciples of the heavenly sect. Now, as long as she could dig out more immortal essence before it closed, the Dashia dynasty still had hope. That way, she wouldn't be punished when she returned. Princess Nanfeng's eyes flashed with an unprecedented determination. She decided that she would not sleep or rest, and would continue to dig until Kunlun closed. Even if it was hard and tiring, she was willing to do it, because this was not working hard for others, but for her own future. She wanted to seize the future at this very moment. That was the immortal essence mine. Lin Shinner from Tianshan City also came to the Xiangxi Shang Sea and saw that the immortal essence mine was exactly the same as the one she knew. If Lin Xin had told her where the mine was, Tianxin City wouldn't have had to fight with everyone here. Unfortunately, Lin Xin would rather remain a widow and tell her, Lin Xin, just you wait, I'll pay you back in full. Lin Xin -er said coldly and then led her disciples to start digging the mine. Qin Feng looked at the hundreds of thousands of people working hard below and was very satisfied with these diligent employees who were working overtime without pay and not complaining like this. There was no boss who didn't like such employees. Suddenly, Qin Feng saw a familiar figure. Isn't that my precious Lan? How did you fall into my trap again? This time, it has nothing to do with me. Qin Feng appeared very innocent. Below, Wulan felt uneasy and didn't know what was going on. You two stay here and keep watch. I'll go in and take a look at the female ghosts. Qin Feng and Xiaobai entered the mountains and rivers and told Tianjun and Wanma to keep watch outside. But as soon as he entered, he felt a wave of cold and gloomy air coming at him. From afar, he saw Xinyan setting up a formation, using her jade coffin as the center, absorbing the spiritual energy from the mountains and rivers to turn this place into a second Shangse Shangxi. This won't do. Qin Feng's face was serious, and he hated this gloomy feeling very much. He used his will to shake the mountains and rivers. As the master of the map, he was the only god here. With just a thought, he could change the direction of the flow of the mountains and rivers, and with a thought, he could control the moon and stars. Similarly, any creature living inside, no matter how strong their cultivation, could be expelled by him with a thought, or suppressed by a thought. Even though the group of undead and female ghosts had a cultivation far beyond his, thanks to the advantage of the southern bright sunfire and the mountains and rivers, he could completely shake them. Qin Feng, you lied to me again. Xin Yan was so angry that she was trembling and hated this person the most, who lied to her. The fact that I can control the mountains and rivers is not a lie. I promised you that if you followed me, I would release the undead and the female ghosts when we got out of here. Jin Feng was calm and composed. Will you really let them go? Xin Yan looked at him suspiciously, feeling that his words were unreliable. Of course, as a Confucian gentleman, once a word is spoken, it is like a nail in a pillar. Any undead or female ghost who wants to be free, please raise your hand and register now. Hearing this, the tens of thousands of undead and female ghosts could not hide their excitement, and all of them longed for freedom. But before they could raise their hands, the fierce flames from Qin Feng had already risen, causing them to quickly withdraw their hands. Freedom is good, but life is more important. All of them had died once, so they were all afraid of dying again. Qin Feng, you are really despicable. Xin Yan looked at him angrily. Don't have any illusions about this bastard. Don't misunderstand. As a living person, it is reasonable for me to light a fire to warm myself in such a place. It's really touching. No one raised their hands. I really didn't expect that. Even though we've only met a few times, you guys would be so reluctant to leave me. That shows that you trust my character. Since you trust me so much, then I will reluctantly help you keep your lives. Xin Yan was furious. She finally realized that Qin Feng had planned this long ago. All the things he did to force her to yield, promising freedom when she got out, were just preparation for him to seize control of Shangse Shangxi. He not only wanted the resources here, but also wanted to control the power. She was so naive to think that she could exchange for freedom for everyone. The tens of thousands of undead and female ghosts sighed in pain and had to accept their fate under Qin Feng's coercion. My lord, I have entrusted my life to you. I hope you will cherish it for me. 
The three female ghosts were gentle, their faces filled with weakness and despair, acting very realistically. If he had not witnessed the terrifying attack power of their souls, he would have almost been fooled. But he could not associate them with the image of weakness and despair. Seeing them obediently hand over their life-protecting amulets, Qin Feng could not help but let out a villainous laugh. With these undead and female ghosts, no one would be allowed to yell at him again in the future. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the Son of Heaven to bring his lover home and receiving 500,000 villain points. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth curled up into a villainous smile. Qin Feng looked curiously at the jade amulet on his body and could feel a strange energy from it. If the amulets of the undead and female ghosts were destroyed, they would vanish into thin air. Of course, if they were preserved well, they could rely on the amulets to revive. Suddenly, the energy in Qin Feng's body reached its limit, erupting violently as his cultivation successfully broke through. In the mountains and rivers, the spiritual energy surged like a tide, rushing towards Qin Feng. The group of female ghosts stared at Qin Feng intently, their saliva almost dripping to the ground. Their thoughts were quite simple, not paying attention to how Qin Feng had changed, only knowing that after his breakthrough, his whole body exuded an extremely powerful aura. This was indeed a huge challenge for them. With me here, you guys better keep your distance. Xiao Bai looked at them warily, emitting warning flames. Qin Feng let out a long sigh and called out to the system to exchange for a golden core. Congratulations to the host. You have spent 600,000 villain points to successfully exchange for a golden core to consolidate your foundation. After taking the pill, his foundation immediately became more stable. Qin Feng had just opened his eyes when he was surprised to see that in the distance, the three girls were greedily inhaling his yang energy. Because Xiao Bai had used warning flames, they only dared to stay 100 meters away from him to inhale the leaking yang energy. But the yang energy from Qin Feng's body was too strong and could still be absorbed even from a hundred meters away. There was nothing they could do. The female ghosts were satisfied and mentioned that they had never inhaled so much yang energy before. Although they were all female ghosts with thousands of years of cultivation, they had been imprisoned in Shangse Shangxi and could only wait for luck. It was already very lucky to be able to take a breath. At this moment, Xinyan was lying weakly beside the coffin, extending her slender fingers and blowing a gentle breath. From the tip of her fingers flew out sparkling sparkling particles of light. Passing through the mountains and rivers and heading towards the gate of the mountains and rivers, seeing Xin Yan's actions, Qin Feng was annoyed. He did not understand what the other party was doing. Was she leaving a message for Long Aochen? Qin Feng immediately closed the gate of the mountains and rivers. The stream of stardust was immediately blocked and a fierce flame appeared and then disappeared. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the Son of Heaven to take care of his lover and receiving 100,000 villain points. Sure enough, she was leaving a message for Long Aochen. Qin Feng had found a new way to get rich, decided to build a jade bird terrace for Xin Yan. Xin Yan looked at Qin Feng angrily, not expecting her message to be blocked, but thinking that she was powerless against him and that there were no more undead and female ghosts in Shangxi Shangxi, Xin Yan crawled into the coffin and locked herself in, so angry that she had to calm her mind. Although she wanted to stop him very much, she could not find a way. It was obvious that she hated him so much, but she was powerless against him. At this moment, Tianjun asked the boss nervously, What are we waiting for? Can we make our move now? Wan Ma also nodded excitedly, indicating that Tianjun was right. But Qin Feng slapped Tianjun on the head, blaming him for the details that would determine success or failure. Do you understand? Now is the time when they are most vigilant. There are hundreds of thousands of people, and they are all elites of various factions. They have all survived the cruel rounds of Kunlun. As long as there is a little movement, it will not escape their eyes. According to you, is the range of the medicine that will make the throat bleed faster than they can run. Tianjun and Wan Ma were stunned, not expecting Qin Feng to be so meticulous. Then what should we do now? Xiao Bai took out his notebook to learn. Qin Feng replied very professionally, We have to wait until they fight each other, and then we'll make our move. Imagine, their attention will be drawn to the enemies around them. They won't have the presence of mind to pay attention to anything further away. Moreover, the screams of battle will drown out other sounds. Wait until they hear someone shout that there is poison. It will be too late to run. 
Remember, even if the success rate is 99.99%, we must not be reckless. We must consider every detail and only make our move when we are 100% sure. Well said, that's Chin Feng for you, unrivaled in his professionalism. Xiao Bai clapped his hands in applause first and then bowed his head 45 degrees in admiration. Chin Feng was very satisfied with Xiao Bai's performance and patted his head before exchanging a carrot from the system. I like master the most. Xiao Bai happily hugged Qin Feng and quickly took the carrot. Tianjun and Wan Ma were so angry that their throats were itching, but they had to swallow it down. Qin Feng picked up a stone and threw it towards the field of the Yanyun tribe. Boom, Diandian was hit in the head, and his forehead swelled up immediately. As a loving brother, when Mo Dao saw that someone dared to harm his sister, he roared angrily, Which bastard dares to ambush my sister? I will find you and tear you into a hundred pieces. Mo Dao's furious roar echoed everywhere, like a drop of water falling into boiling oil, causing the tense atmosphere to explode instantly. The factions quickly rushed towards the locked-on prey. The sound of fierce fighting resounded everywhere, a chaotic melee. Terrifying energy waves were constantly being released, fiercely attacking the smaller forces. At this moment, Qin Feng had already changed into a dark suit, covering his face with a scarf. He also found some body refining materials and used the Southern Ming flame to melt them, copying Lin San's item at a ratio of 1-1, which Tianjun and Wan Ma had found. After examining it carefully, the details were perfect. It was definitely Lin San's. Tianjun and Wan Ma were extremely confused. They did not understand why the boss was framing Lin San. Lin San had already been expelled from Tianqin City and no longer had any valuable possessions on him. Furthermore, the more than 100,000 people here represented the great ancient tribes. Framing Lin San meant that they would be hunted down by the entire ancient times. How can we escape? With the intelligence of the two of you, I really don't understand why the boss is doing this. Could it be that he wants to leave Lin San with nowhere to go and then take advantage of the opportunity to monopolize Lin San? How cruel. Qin Feng looked at the fierce battle and sighed with heartache. What's wrong with it? It's all because of money. Money is the root of all evil in the world. Without it, people would not be tempted by benefits. Without it, people would not lose their conscience. So today I have decided to sacrifice myself and seal these sinful immortal crystals in my own space. I'd rather go to hell than let anyone else in. Xiao Bai nodded seriously, willing to share the burden with Qin Feng. Tianjun and Wan Ma could not help but be shocked. Finally, they understood why they could only be younger brothers. At this moment, the three female ghosts who were ambushing suddenly felt something unusual. Qin Feng had transmitted the signal to attack through his connection with them. Without hesitation, they smashed the jade bottles, releasing the throat-piercing poison in the form of gas. The poisonous gas slowly spread throughout Shangse Shang Si. What's going on? Princess Nanfeng was startled by the sound of the bottle breaking and looked around with heightened vigilance. Princess Nanfeng did not want to fight and ran outside as soon as the fighting started. She was about to escape from the chaos to the exit, but before she could take two steps, she felt her whole body go limp and her weak legs collapsed. She could not even move her fingers. The princess was poisoned. The disciples of the heavenly sect also collapsed weakly, like Princess Nanfeng. Before they could react, a girl in ancient costume appeared, floating in the air. Without any support, she could ignore gravity, floating in mid-air. This showed that she was at least at the nascent soul stage, because only those with a cultivation level of nascent soul and above could fly freely. Princess Nanfeng was horrified and wanted to stand up but could not move her limbs. She could only watch as the girl in ancient costume landed beside her and took the ring containing the immortal crystals from her. That's not right. She's not human. Nanfeng realized in horror. The girl's whole body was cold, and she emitted a gloomy soul aura, definitely a female ghost who had cultivated for thousands of years. The master will definitely be happy. The girl in ancient costume jumped up in joy and went to find Qin Feng to claim her reward. Return my future. Hurry up. Nanfeng no longer cared who the other party was and struggled with all her might to stand up and chase after the immortal crystals. That was the last hope of the Great Xia Dynasty. If these immortal crystals were lost, Great Xia would lose its absolute dominance. But no matter how hard she tried, she could not move. She could only watch in pain as the figure of the thief gradually moved away and disappeared. Just then, a cheerful childish voice rang out. The door opened and in came, Good Bunny, come in. Xiao Bai walked along the path in the forest, happily singing. Because Qin Feng was busy with the details, preparing to frame Lin San, he, as Qin Feng's signature item, 
could not act with him. So he went out for a walk by himself. Qin Feng's rabbit, Nan Feng was shocked. If Qin Feng's rabbit appeared here, that monster must be nearby. If she fell into his hands, she would once again witness how powerful he had become. Oh, you're the big sister who bought me yesterday. Xiao Bai immediately recognized Princess Nan Feng, who had bought Qin Feng for 10,000 taels and was also his first customer. In particular, Princess Nan Feng's act of paying for the goods without taking them shocked it for a whole year. It was such a waste. Thanks to that, it could resell Qin Feng as a new product. It seems that the previous cooperation was successful, so I will help you again. Xiao Bai painfully fed Princess Nan Feng a carrot. This was all it could do to help and everyone else was out of luck, not even getting a carrot for comfort. Why is it giving me carrots again? Princess Nanfeng looked at the carrot in her mouth, so angry that her lungs were about to explode. Not good, the smoke is poisonous. Lin Shinner's face changed, and she immediately led her people out of Shang Shang Si. Just then, a loud sword cry rang out. A figure in black with a masked face appeared, and through the poisonous smoke, he released a sword chi that poured down like rain towards Lin Shinner. It was Qin Feng. Not only had he copied all of Lin San's equipment, but he had also spent 10,000 villain points to exchange for a cloak that concealed his aura. Be careful, young lady. The people from Tianxin City did not hesitate and immediately stepped forward to block Qin Feng's fierce sword chi. The two sides clashed violently, making a clanging sound, sparks flying, and the sound of metal reverberating through the air, forcing Qin Feng to retreat. Seeing the sword chi rebounding against the wall, everyone's expressions changed. Unconsciously, they glanced at each other's swords to determine their identities. But the swords were wrapped in black cloth, making them unrecognizable. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth curled up. This was exactly the effect he wanted. If he had revealed Lin San's item at the beginning, even an idiot would know that it was a false accusation. Therefore, the best way was to let the other party discover the clues, and then come to their own conclusions to satisfy their own sense of smugness. It was like a naive girl who would find it boring, while a sensible girl would cooperate for a few words to make the other party feel that even though they had lost miserably, they had conquered the world. Who is this person? Lin Chiner was annoyed. She realized that the figure looked very familiar. In the younger generation of ancient times, there were only three people who could release such a sword chi. One was Qin Feng of the Moon God Palace, the second was Yi Jian of the famous Sword Villa, and the last one was Lin San, who had been expelled from Tianxin City by her. Could it be Lin San? Everyone was shocked. They remembered that Lin San also knew of an immortal crystal mine. Could this be the mine that Lin San had found? Everyone's expressions changed. They finally realized that it was a trap. They finally understood why Lin San knew that he could not finish digging it up, but still did not tell everyone about the immortal crystal mine. Lin San must have wanted to use the immortal crystal mine as bait to attract the great ancient gods to exterminate them all. Not only would he take advantage of them to dig for immortal crystals for free, but he would also target target all the wealth obtained in Kunlun. Did Lin San really dare to do such a thing? The appearance of the enemy being exactly the same as Lin San made Lin Shinner shocked, but that was just their guess, and they had no direct evidence, so they could not come to a conclusion. Congratulations to the host for successfully causing the Son of Heaven's Chosen to be suspected, and receiving 100,000 villain points. What is the joy of a villain? The joy is that you are not on my side. You can still bring me joy. Qin Feng was so happy that his face was deformed, really loving Lin San. Get lost. Mo Dao's cold voice rang out. He leaped high into the air and charged fiercely at Qin Feng. The great saber emitted a cold light. In an instant, sword light burst forth. The sound of swords clashing rang out. Qin Feng quickly drew his sword, blocking Mo Dao's attack. The sword light collided, and an energy storm immediately swept across the area. A violent explosion resounded throughout the battlefield. The energy waves spread out, uprooting the trees within a radius of hundreds of meters. The entire area was engulfed in a terrifying energy storm. Because Qin Feng did not dare to use his signature sword technique, he was sent flying dozens of meters away losing control. Looking at Mo Dao, who was full of momentum, Qin Feng was annoyed. Why was he all right? Without using his own sword technique, he would be at a great disadvantage against Mo Dao. You dare to look down on me? Mo Dao was immediately furious. As a party to the battle, he could clearly sense that Qin Feng was not going all out. The move just now was completely a pretense. Before Mo Dao could swing his saber again, his head felt like it had been hit by a heavy hammer, and he lost his balance and fell down. Brother Mo, Tianqian exclaimed, exclaimed in panic and rushed over. But before she could reach Mo Dao, she felt her whole body go limp. 
unable to move. Her legs went weak, and Bauer collapsed to the ground, unable to move even her fingers. She did not know what had happened to Qin Feng, and could only lie helplessly on the ground, her mind filled with Qin Feng's face. It's really scary. Why don't you just kill me? Where's your heroic spirit? Qin Feng sneered. He took Mo Dao's ring, as interest for robbing him last time. Seeing all his belongings being robbed, Mo Dao roared angrily, You shameless villain! If you want to kill me, then kill me! Qin Feng ignored Mo Dao and walked straight to Wulan. Seeing the ring on her hand, he reached out to take it, but Wulan did not surrender easily. Although her whole body was paralyzed and unable to move, she still used all her remaining strength to protect the ring. Wulan clutched the ring tightly, her eyes filled with vigilance as she looked at the shameless villain in front of her. Qin Feng was slightly surprised, as expected of the Son of Heaven's Chosen, even when everyone else was struggling helplessly. She still had some strength left. However, she could not hold on to these treasures, so it was better to let him keep them for her. Qin Feng slapped Wulan's hand away and ruthlessly pulled the ring off her finger. Wulan watched in pain as her ring was taken away, but she was powerless to stop it. She did not understand why she kept encountering this old man recently. First, she had been used by the old man, and now she had been robbed of her immortal crystals. Compared to these cruel old men, Qin Feng was so much more adorable. Congratulations to the host for helping the Son of Heaven's Chosen keep her ring, and receiving 100,000 villain points. Congratulations to the host. The Son of Heaven's Chosen is angry and receiving 10,000 villain points. Congratulations to the host. The female devil's henchman has robbed a ring and the host has received 500 villain points. Congratulations to the host. The system's notification sound kept ringing and Qin Feng's villain points were soaring. After a busy day, Qin Feng and the female devil had finally stripped hundreds of thousands of people clean. It's finally over. Qin Feng looked up at the setting sun. It was time for the evil old man Lin San to retreat and make way for the righteous Qin Feng to take the stage. Just then, a righteous child's voice rang out. Old man, how dare you plot to harm people here? Receive my number one sword technique in the world. Xiao Bai appeared, and Qin Feng immediately made his move. Everyone saw Xiao Bai, and the joy on their faces could not be described. They felt as if they had seen hope of getting their immortal crystals back. Seeing Xiao Bai appear, the corners of Qin Feng's mouth behind him curled up slightly. The show was about to begin. A faint whistling sound could be heard, the sound of an object cutting through the air. Qin Feng dodged with his agile body technique. He glanced quickly behind him. He saw Xiao Bai, like an angel of justice, releasing countless sword qi. While dodging, Qin Feng deliberately revealed an opening, and Xiao Bai's sword qi swept away the cloth covering his face. At this moment, Qin Feng's face was that of Lin San, who had used 10,000 villain points to exchange for a shape-shifting cloak. Oh no, when the cloth was torn, Qin Feng pretended to be panic-stricken and immediately turned away. Although Qin Feng turned his face away as soon as he was exposed, everyone had already caught a glimpse of it, even though no one recognized Lin San at this time. Later, everyone could draw the face of the bandit based on their memories. Where is the bandit? Stop there and let this god execute you, Xiao Bai shouted and quickly gave chase. Congratulations to the host for successfully framing the Son of Heaven's Chosen, putting him in mortal danger, and receiving two million villain points. Today is really a big harvest. Qin Feng could not hide the excitement in his heart and hurriedly opened the system to check. Although non-Son of Heaven's Chosen people only received very few points, the number was too large. After robbing hundreds of thousands of people, Qin Feng's villain points had exceeded 82 million and 500,000 points. It felt like it was more than the total points he had received before. Xiao Bai was still shouting outside, occasionally releasing a few sword qi that created loud explosions, causing everyone lying motionless to feel the life and death battle taking place. Jin Feng changed his clothes and appeared, shining with righteousness. After completing the mission, the female devil girls could not hold back and inhaled the yang energy from the boys. The female devils then released the boys. Qin Feng swooped down from the sky and spoke in a firm voice. The boys saw Qin Feng like a beacon of salvation and begged for help. Don't be afraid, righteousness will save you. Qin Feng shone like the light of righteousness. The Nanming Li fire erupted from within him. Seeing the Nanming Li fire erupting from within Qin Feng, the female devils screamed in unison, pretending to be terrified of the Nanming Li fire. 
They panicked and ran away in all directions. At this time, everyone was lying paralyzed and unable to move, so no one saw Xiaobai nearby opening the gate of the mountain and river society, allowing the female devils to enter. In this way, he disappeared without a trace. Qin Feng is our benefactor. Everyone was moved to tears. If not for Qin Feng's timely appearance, not only would their immortal crystals and treasures have been robbed, they would also have been sucked dry of their yang energy by the female devils and died. Oh, my precious land. Man, what's wrong with you? Qin Feng ignored everyone's pleading eyes and went straight to Wulan's side to help her up. He began to examine her body carefully. Wulan's beautiful face flushed pink, like a lotus flower shyly facing the cool breeze. Unable to move, she had no choice but to endure the actions of this bastard. She recalled the life and death struggle between the two of them. Qin Feng said seriously, My precious Lan, I would never take advantage of you. I'm just helping you detoxify. This toxin is very strange. It can block the flow of spiritual energy in the body. If it is not circulated for a long time, meridians will become blocked. In the mildest case, you will be paralyzed for life, and in the worst case, your life will be in danger. Hearing that they would be paralyzed for life or in danger of dying, the disciples of the Blue Devil Palace panicked. They did not want to die young or become. Is it true or not? Wulan was suspicious. She felt that Qin Feng's words were not trustworthy, as she had experienced his shamelessness many times before. But Qin Feng confidently reassured her, as long as the blocked meridians are cleared, you'll be fine. Each sect has a different way of detoxification. I will use the famous marrow cleansing technique to clear your meridians, also known as the all-purpose detoxification technique. If necessary, I can even clear your nascent soul. Wulan was confused and didn't understand what Qin Feng was talking about, but she had no other choice now. Now, so she could only choose to believe the words of this shameless man. She closed her eyes and let Qin Feng help her clear her blocked meridians. The disciples of the Blue Devil Palace beside her also looked at Qin Feng with anticipation, hoping that he would help the princess for the honor of the Blue Devil Palace. Qin Feng waved his hand in annoyance, signaling everyone to turn away, as this exclusive technique was forbidden for outsiders to watch. The treatment process made Wu Lan's face flush and her heart beat faster, and she cried out that she couldn't take it anymore. In order to save everyone's bandwidth, the specific details of the treatment will be omitted. Congratulations to the host. Today, you have reached the upper limit for bullying the Chosen of Heaven and have received a total of 2 million villain points. What do you mean by an upper limit? Qin Feng was immediately unhappy. He felt that the system was insulting him. He had never calculated his villain points and didn't care whether they were high or low. He just liked helping people and enjoyed the process. Qin Feng pretended to bite his finger and dropped a drop of blood on Wu Lan's forehead. It's amazing. Wu Lan felt her spiritual energy gradually recovering. She thought Qin Feng was was taking advantage of her, but she didn't expect him to be telling the truth. In her eyes, was he just the kind of old man who took advantage of others? If so, then I'm leaving. Qin Feng forced out two tears, turned around and was about to leave. Seeing this, Wu Lan quickly called out to him. Don't misunderstand, I didn't mean that. Hearing this, Qin Feng was moved and turned back to hold Wu Lan's hand tightly. My precious Lan, I knew you would always trust me. An old teacher once said, if you are pursuing an innocent girl who has never experienced life, take her to see the world so that she can see all the colors of life. If her heart has already hardened, take her to ride a roller coaster because life is always moving. And only then will Qin Feng hugged Wu Lan tightly, his strong hands tightly gripping her slender waist. He whispered, your eyes hold the white moonlight and after the winter, the spring will come and our feet will have trod all over the world. Asking the heavens which beauty has passed by, asking the vast land which way lies ahead, asking tonight, will the beauty be willing to sleep with me? Wu Lan blushed and secretly cried out in her heart that she couldn't take it anymore. Although she knew that Qin Feng was a shameless man, who could resist such a handsome man, flirting with her in front of the crowd, saying such straightforward words. Congratulations to the host for making the Chosen of Heaven blush and receiving 100,000 villain points. I know this person. He is Lin Tom from the Heavenly Heart sect. An angry voice rang out. Finally, someone recognized Lin Tam. Hearing that it was Lin Tam from the Heavenly Heart sect, everyone looked at Lin Chiner angrily, seeming to be ready to start a fight if they didn't get an explanation. Lin Chiner was startled and hurriedly said that Lin Tam did belong to the Heavenly Heart sect, but she had expelled him a few days ago. Hearing that she had expelled the swordsman martial artist, the number one candidate for the next hundred years, had left the city a few days ago. Everyone laughed 
and asked her coldly if she thought they were fools. In the dangerous Kunlun Mountains, everyone was complaining about the lack of manpower, yet she had expelled such a swordsman martial artist. It was obvious that this was a script written by the Heavenly Heart sect to cover up their tracks. The others laughed in agreement. That's not true. Lin Sheener quickly explained that Lin Tam was expelled because he found a fairy crystal mine but didn't hand it over to me. Lin Tam found a fairy crystal mine. The keyword fairy crystal immediately caught everyone's attention. That also proved that they had not wronged a good person. Combining the circumstances, it was clear that the fairy crystal mine that Lin Tam had found was this one. At this moment, Qin Feng's weak but firm voice rang out. Lin Tam is my half-brother, and I trust his character. He would never do such a thing. He must have been wronged. Lin Tom has been wronged. Everyone was stunned and turned to look at Qin Feng, who was walking over, his face pale and looking like he was about to call a professional party planning team. Brother Feng, Tian Tian ran over worriedly. She wanted to take out a blood tonic from her bag, but it was snatched away by the old man. The butcher asked uncomfortably, what do you mean by Lin Tam being wronged? He is a man of integrity, and he does things in a straightforward manner. Qin Feng said weakly, if he didn't know about the fairy crystal mine, then he definitely didn't know. Someone had their eyes on him from the beginning. This is a despicable and sinister plot by the shameless old man. A scheme to torment him, just to frame him. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, who could have believed that this righteous and kind person was actually the villainous old man? What puzzled them even more was why Qin Feng would do such a thing. Surely it wasn't to tell Lin Tam that even if the whole world turns their backs on you, I will still stand by your side and fight against the whole world together. That was impossible. Everyone shook their heads and laughed completely disbelieving Qin Feng's conjecture. Qin Feng said seriously, I'll say it one last time. Lin Tom is my half-brother. Anyone who dares to touch Lin Tom is an enemy of me, Qin Feng. Don't blame me for being ruthless then. Just then, the sound of swords rang out. Everyone's swords began to vibrate slightly, as if being pulled by some force, about to unsheath themselves at any moment. Everyone was startled, and their eyes towards Qin Feng changed completely. Everyone said that Qin Feng's strength was terrifying, even though his foundation foundation had been destroyed. But they didn't expect that, in a state of blood loss, he could still emit such a terrifying power. It seemed that this ancient number one martial artist, even if his foundation was destroyed, as long as he reached the nascent soul stage, the heavenly sect would be invincible in the world. Especially the phrase ruthless sword made the men here shudder, feeling helpless. Lin Sheener asked coldly, if it is really proven that Lin Tam did it in the future, how should we deal with it? Qin Feng pushed away Tian Tian who was supporting him and stepped in front of Lin Shiner. Qin Feng patted his chest and said, One day as brothers, a lifetime as brothers. If it is really Brother Lin who did it, then settle the score with me, Qin Feng. If you have any problems, come and find me, and I will bear it for you. A few short sentences moved everyone. To save people, he dared to shed blood. For his brothers, he dared to risk his life. The sentiment of living and dying together made Qin Feng a source of male energy. In everyone's heart, no one was not envious of Lin Tam. To have such a brother was definitely Lin Tam's blessing in this life. Looking at Qin Feng, who was full of loyalty, with his arrogant righteousness, no one could associate him with the cunning and villainous old man. No villain had ever been so loyal and righteous. Received two immortal slave law seals. After the system notification, Qin Feng's eyes lit up, which meant that he could accept two more disciples. At this moment, everyone stopped discussing Lin Tam and came forward one after another to advise Qin Feng to take care of his health. If he had anything in the future, he should just say the word, and they would definitely help him with all their might. But Qin Feng only followed his own heart and didn't ask for anything in return. He said that he would never use favors to threaten others. What a hero. Everyone was moved by Qin Feng. It should be known that they represented 80% of the ancient forces. Normally, people would definitely find a way to get the greatest benefit possible from this debt. But Qin Feng openly refused, which meant giving up a great opportunity. His magnanimity made them admire him and believe even more that Qin Feng could not have colluded with Lin Tam. Listening to the martial artists, Qin Feng said weakly, Thank you for your trust, but when you arrest him, please don't hurt my brother. Everyone saw Qin Feng's pale face, and if it weren't for Tian Tian supporting him, he would have definitely collapsed at any moment. Seeing this, their 
hearts ached. We are really beasts. We actually suspected that Brother Chin saved everyone without asking for anything in return. How can there be such a kind person in the world? It definitely has nothing to do with Chin Feng. Brother Feng, Tian Tian looked at Chin Feng worriedly and hurriedly helped him to sit down. Her face flushed. She said, Brother Feng, you saved me again. According to the rules of the desert, you are still my. But before Tian Tian could finish speaking, Mo Dao rushed out from the bushes beside her and interrupted her. Hey, we don't have many rules in the desert. Mo Dao coldly stepped forward and grabbed Tian Tian by the collar and threw her away. You stinky old man, you're blocking my love life again. Tian Tian struggled and watched Qin Feng getting further and further away. Why didn't her eldest brother accept the relationship with a great god clan? Meanwhile, on the other side of the chaotic secret realm, Qin Hao was hiding from the pursuit. He was currently meditating at the bottom of the river and had been cultivating for many days, but still had no reaction. The old man's phantom worried beside him. Ever since he had swallowed the fruit, Qin Hao had fallen into a coma, and there was no longer any sign of life on his body, which allowed him to escape everyone's pursuit. Suddenly, the sky changed color strangely, and the river surged with waves. Qin Hao, who had been motionless for many days, suddenly showed signs of coming back to life, and his body emitted a powerful aura, stronger than both righteous qi and natural Dao Qi, as if it did not belong to the mortal world. The great Dao contains thunder. Qin Hao suddenly opened his eyes, revealing a dazzling firmness. Heaven and earth are born, and all things return to one. The river seemed to be compressed by some force, constantly shrinking and shrinking. Finally, it turned into a drop of water that hovered in front of Qin Hao. Stupid brother, this is the power for me to defeat you. In Qin Hao's pitch black eyes, there was a hint of spiritual energy that seemed to pierce through the blue sky. He slowly raised his hand and tightly grasped the drop of water. The spiritual energy surged and quickly darkened. A violent spiritual energy storm rose straight up into the sky like a tornado. A terrifying tearing force caused the radius of a thousand meters to be deformed. Trees and rocks turned to dust. When heaven and earth returned to peace, heavy rain poured down from the sky. This power is really terrifying, but with the Tao pattern on his arm, the old man's phantom could hardly criticize Xiao Hao directly. You think you are the strongest martial artist in the history of the ancient wilderness. Why not? Qin Hao looked up at the clear sky, full of confidence, from head to toe. The old man's phantom was completely stunned. The old man's phantom did not expect Qin Hao to dare to say so directly. If it weren't for that monstrous brother, he would have been overjoyed to see such a confident child. Unwavering faith is truly undying. At that moment, two voices that could not hide their joy rang out from the two cultivation grounds nearby. Thank goodness, we're so lucky. The two men could not hide the smiles on their faces when they saw Qin Hao. They drew their swords and rushed towards Qin Hao as fast as lightning. Their goal was to seize the Dao fruit before Kunlun closed. The sword qi surged like strings, tearing through the void and heading straight for Qin Hao. Seeing the two men charging towards him, Qin Hao's body erupted with a terrifying energy. Purple lightning bolts enveloped him, covering his entire body like a fearsome ancient beast. He did not dodge, but slowly clenched his fists. The spiritual energy of heaven and earth was continuously compressed. A world-destroying power emanated from his fists. Stupid brother, this is my power now. Qin Hao roared uncontrollably, as if announcing his rise to the world. He threw a punch violently, simple but extremely brutal. Everything in its path was annihilated. Space shook continuously. Surrender to me. The two men were terrified, sensing the ferocity of Qin Hao. They hurriedly knelt down and begged for mercy. Hearing the word surrender, the corner of Qin Hao's mouth twitched slightly. These two were Dao proving trial martial artists after all, yet they were begging for mercy so easily. However, Qin Hao did not kill them all. He stopped when they begged for mercy. Everything returned to peace. Which faction do you belong to? What are your names? Qin Hao asked coldly. The two of them trembled in fear and replied, Seeing as you know our Dao proving realm, we are freelance cultivators. We were lucky enough to enter Kunlun. My name is Wang Baiman, and his name is Chen Dajun. If young master doesn't mind, you can call me Baiman, and him Dajun. Baiman? Dajun Qin Hao was slightly surprised. These two were quite interesting. You guys can go. I won't make things difficult for you. Qin Hao did not hesitate to chase the two away. He was about to go and challenge Qin Feng, the number one martial artist of the ancient times. Wait a minute. We, Baiman and Dajun, did not hesitate and decided to stick to young master's thigh. One night passed and dawn broke. Qin Feng had been saving people all night, 
and his harvest was not small. Xiaobai took out a notebook and wrote down the names of each person, preparing to borrow money from them in the future. Master, go and rest. The two girls were worried about Qin Feng, seeing that his health was getting worse. He had only taken a few steps when he fell into their arms. But Qin Feng said weakly that he could not rest. Kunlun was about to close. If he was still so weak when he left, he would definitely die. I must do my best to detoxify everyone before Kunlun closes. The two girls were moved to tears. In the past, they had only read about righteousness in books, but today, they finally saw it clearly. They did not expect to meet Qin Feng in person today, who was definitely a saint sent by heaven to save the world. Not far away, Princess Nanfeng was still lying powerlessly on the ground, feeling that her life had lost all hope. A month ago, she was still the princess most beloved by the emperor of the great Xia, with a team of top advisors arranging everything for her, who had spent seven years gathering the wisdom of thousands of talented disciples to serve the princess. In the future, it was not impossible for her to ascend to the throne as emperor, even as a woman. But now that Fang Chang had become a demon, her father was disappointed. Thousands of talented disciples were nearly dead, and even her last hope, the celestial essence, was gone. Princess Nanfeng's mind was in turmoil. She did not dare to face it. She remained motionless, waiting to die. Whether she would be expelled from Kunlun or die at the hands of Qin Feng who was approaching, she could only endure it. Have you been poisoned? A clear female voice rang out like the spring wind. A stunning young girl with no trace of worldliness approached Princess Nanfeng like a goddess. Princess Nanfeng stared at her. The young girl was indeed from the Divine Medicine Valley, as she wore the golden leaf mark. Although she was only 15 or 16 years old, her skin was as white as snow. Her beauty was both delicate and charming, and her breasts were proudly full, making it hard to look directly at her. This poison is strange, even stronger than the eyeball scattering powder. The girl examined Princess Nanfeng and took out a few needles to begin detoxifying her. Xiaobai curiously squeezed in to watch. He stared at the girl and suddenly exclaimed, Ah, I know. You are one of the 13 great beauties of ancient times that Qin Feng collected information about. Qin Feng apologized, pushed the crowd away, and grabbed Xiaobai's rabbit ears and pulled him up. But his eyes were drawn to an object, exclaiming, I thought that Sister Damu was invincible, but I didn't expect this girl to be even more voluptuous. Whose wife is this? Everyone immediately spat out, thinking that Qin Feng would teach his rabbit a lesson who would have thought that he would have the same taste as it. The heroic image he had just built up in everyone's hearts completely collapsed. What are you all looking at me for? I'm a man. I don't smoke or drink. So what if I only like women? Qin Feng argued with unshakable logic. Everyone was taken aback and did not know how to refute him. Young hero, please respect yourself. Yu Rong stood up with a serious expression. Her first impression of Qin Feng was very bad. First, his rabbit called her something, and then he himself said that she was someone's wife. For a young girl, this was like a smear on her reputation. Seeing Yu Rong angrily reproach Qin Feng, the heavenly general and myriad horses hurriedly apologized to Miss Yu Rong. I'm so sorry. Our boss has lost too much blood. His mind is a little confused. Please don't mind him. Although the Divine Medicine Valley seemed remote, there were many people in the entire desolate ancient who had received their help. If he really angered Miss Rong, Qin Feng's newly cleansed reputation would be ruined. Everyone also advised Miss Yu Rong not to be angry. Qin Feng did not do it on purpose. He had saved hundreds of thousands of people, and it was already a miracle that he was still alive. That's right. Look at him. He's so pale. He falls after taking a few steps. We have only walked 100 meters, but he has already fallen five times. Don't worry, you wrong. Everyone in the desolate ancient knows that you are a pure maiden. Hearing that the other party was a pure maiden, Qin Feng immediately lost interest and left with Xiaobai. Yu Rong looked at Qin Feng's back in surprise, feeling incredulous. When she was detoxifying Princess Nanfeng, she realized that the poison was very strong, and even those at the nascent soul stage could not resist it. She had felt very exhausted after treating just one person. Yet Qin Feng had treated hundreds of thousands of people. At this moment, a shy girl said, My master, Qin Feng has a body that is immune to all poisons. His blood has miraculous detoxifying ability. Hearing the words immune to all poisons, Yu Rong's eyes immediately lit up, and she looked at Qin Feng with the eyes of a mad scientist.
scientist looking at a laboratory rat. She had only read about bodies that were immune to all poisons in books that could resist all the poisons in the world and that their blood was the most miraculous antidote. She never expected to meet a living example today. As Qin Feng walked away, he suddenly sneezed. What's this? Why do I suddenly feel so cold? Is it because a ghost is following me? No, all the young ladies are in the Mountains and Rivers Society map, so there are no female ghosts. Maybe it's because I lost too much blood. Not far away, more than 100 people were sitting on the ground in sorrow, in contrast to the joy of the others after being detoxified. They seemed to have encountered something terrible. In fact, they were students from the Heavenly Rose Academy. They had come to Kunlun with the mission of each bringing back 10 pieces of celestial essence, or they would be thrown into the myriad demon tower to cultivate. At first, they thought that finding a celestial essence mine would make it easy to complete their mission, but they never expected to encounter that old man, and they were fortunate that the third saint, Qin Feng, had saved them, or the consequences would have been unimaginable. Is there any way I can help you? Qin Feng walked in from outside with a cheerful expression on his face. Seeing Qin Feng arrive, the students of the Heavenly Rose Academy quickly bowed. Qin Feng asked with concern, looking at them anxiously, I'm sure you're worried that you won't have any celestial essence to hand in. Is that it? That's right, Your Excellency. The rule of the Heavenly Rose Academy is that each person must bring back 10 pieces of celestial essence, or they will be exiled to the myriad demon tower to cultivate. The chances of surviving there are one in nine. Very few people have ever come out alive. Just then, the ground shook violently. Kunlun is about to close. What should we do? More than 100 students of the Heavenly Rose Academy panicked, saying that they did not want to go to the Myriad Demon Tower to cultivate. Don't panic about the Myriad Demon Tower. I also found more than 500 pieces of celestial essence in Kunlun this time. You can divide it up and hand it in, at least to complete the mission. 500 pieces of celestial essence. Everyone looked at Qin Feng with emotion. There for him skyrocketed. Although 500 pieces divided equally would not be enough for five pieces per person, it was still better than nothing. Suddenly, Qin Feng asked, Hey, why don't I see the other two saints? Everyone hesitated and avoided answering. What are you guys doing? What's the rule? A young man shouted. He grinned and said, Saint, my name is Li Ji. The other two saints led more than 200 people to fight for something called a Saint's Bamboo Card. Saint's bamboo card, Qin Feng's expression became serious. That's the human scroll of the three-volume Saint's commentary on the classics, Heaven, Earth, and Man. Oh right, your name is Li Ji, right? Qin Feng took out a money bag and gave it to him to distribute to everyone. Saint Li Ji felt as honored as if he had been praised by a leader and worked as hard as if he had been injected with a stimulant. Just then the sky shook and a terrifying energy enveloped the entire universe. Kunlun closed and the three people and one rabbit were sucked up and free fell at a speed of 180 miles per hour. With a boom, they all fell into the water. They floated to the surface and white smoke surrounded them. It turned out to be an outdoor hot spring. Ahead, a few hazy figures flickered and the sweet scent of women filled the air. Someone's peeping, the girls cried. They hurriedly ran to the shore, grabbed clothes to cover their chests, not bothering to dry the water from their hair, and ran off into the distance. Damn, it's so exciting as soon as we get out. Qin Feng excitedly sized them up from top to bottom. Those long legs, they must be great for riding horses. That slender waist, it's a pity I can't see the front. That little mouth, it's perfect for eating. Heavenly General and myriad horses nodded in agreement, their eyes following the direction of Qin Feng's head. Looking at the girls running around, inadvertently revealing some sexy moments. The blood in the two of them began to boil, and something bad was about to happen. You pervert, how dare you peek at us? More than a dozen girls were angry and picked up stones to throw at them. Myriad horses quickly deployed a spiritual energy shield, blocking all the stones. The girls were startled when they saw this. They didn't expect them to be so high level. Heavenly General explained, don't misunderstand, girls, we're not voyeurs who peeked at you taking a bath. If you're not voyeurs, then what are you? You bastards. The girls didn't listen to the explanation and decided to use stones to drive them away. But all their attacks were blocked by Myriad Horse's shield. Seeing this, the more than a dozen girls became even angrier. These guys not only peeped at them, but they were also so defiant. The girls hurriedly put on their clothes, preparing to find someone to deal with them. Myriad Horses looked at them with disdain. 
How dare you look down on the young master? Don't blame us for not being polite. The aura that emanated from him sent the girls flying away. The girls shouted angrily, How dare you hit us? Just you wait. Just then, another person fell from the sky. What's this? A treasure falling from the sky. Qin Feng looked up curiously and saw that the person was falling very fast. Qin Feng's body reacted and he reached out to catch her. He held the girl in a princess carry and successfully caught her. When he took a closer look, he realized that it was a wonderful coincidence. Not a treasure, but Lin Tam, the person he had been thinking about day and night. Her eyes, her passion, made Lin Tam cry out that she couldn't take it anymore. What a coincidence. Heavenly General, Myriad Horses was also surprised when he saw this. Where is this brother Chin? Lin Tam looked at Qin Feng holding her and quickly found a topic to talk about, to get out of his arms. I don't know either. Qin Feng shrugged. I just arrived too. But based on the girls just now, they don't have cat ears, rabbit ears, or fox tails. They're 99% like the girls on the internet. So it's lucky that we didn't fall into the territory of another race, but are still in the territory of the human race. Just then, the group of girls from before returned, but they were wearing messy clothes, and they were accompanied by a group of young men. Who dares to bully my junior sisters? The leader of the young men roared angrily. The sound waves dissipated the mist in the hot spring, revealing Qin Feng and his friends. It's him, Qin Feng and Xiao Bai said in unison, pointing at Lin Tam. Lin Tam was full of question marks, completely confused about what was going on. You little brat, how dare you bully my junior sister? The young man was furious. He rushed forward, standing on the shore and looking at Lin Tam. A powerful aura emanated from his body. Then he transformed into a beam of light and charged straight at Lin Tam. His hands were slightly bent, like dragon claws, covered in a sharp aura, creating a sense of pressure as if it could tear apart the universe. Lin Tom's face was solemn. She quickly concentrated her sword energy to resist the attack. Seeing Lin Tam's sword energy, he sneered. His five fingers, as white as jade, seemed to tear through the air and collided violently with the oncoming sword energy. The spring water splashed everywhere. Lin Tam's sword energy was torn apart, but his five fingers remained intact. Brother Lin, he doesn't care about you. Qin Feng was already sitting on the side watching, and even brought some melon seeds to eat. As the person who understood Lin Tam the most, he knew that Lin Tam was holding back. Otherwise, that guy wouldn't have been able to withstand a single move. Seeing that the guy was making things difficult for her, Lin Tam stopped pretending. Her aura exploded, and the energy caused the spring water to ripple. A sharp sword appeared, and waves surged from the center of the pool. Lin Tam didn't want to kill anyone, so she didn't draw her sword, but simply used the hilt to strike. The young man was pushed back before he could react spitting out blood as he flew up. The people on the shore widened their eyes, unable to believe that their senior brother had been defeated. It should be known that their senior brother had already reached the fifth level of the Qi Refining Realm, while Lin Tam was only at the fourth level of Qi Refining, and her aura was still unstable, clearly having just broken through to become a warrior recently. The senior brother spat out more blood, guessing Lin Tam's identity. He was definitely a warrior who had been selected to enter Kunlun. Their strength was much stronger than ordinary people of the same level. Any one of them could easily crush the group of people left behind like them. Everyone panicked and hurriedly helped their senior brother to escape. Lin Tam's face was solemn. She muttered, Am I really that scary? Heavenly General came to Qin Feng's side and whispered, This must be the territory of some sect. We should leave immediately. Yes, boss, we should leave quickly. Myriad horses anxiously advised Qin Feng. Why are you all so worried? Qin Feng remained calm, not taking the danger seriously at all. Not to mention, he still had many trump cards. And as long as he followed Lin Tam's aura, he could turn misfortune into fortune and turn danger into safety. Qin Feng stared at Lin Tam, afraid that she would suddenly run away. Feeling his burning gaze, Lin Tam suddenly felt as if she had fallen into a cold abyss. It was still the same familiar, passionate gaze that made her want to scream. No, I can't stay with Brother Qin anymore, or I'll keep getting into trouble. Lin Tam stepped ashore, bowed to Qin Feng, and tried to escape from him. You want to leave me alone? That's so heartbreaking. Qin Feng was disappointed. Brother Lin, wait a minute. I just want to ask you for a favor, and I promise I won't do anything bad. Qin Feng hurriedly chased after her. Meanwhile, in the Great Xia Border Demon Beast Forest, Princess Nanfeng was leading the remaining Great Xia Disciples to escape. She was both lucky and unlucky. 
Fortunately, she had returned to Great Shia, but unfortunately, she had fallen into the lair of the Seven-Eyed Scarlet Bloodhounds. It was said that these monsters carried the blood of ancient beasts in their veins. They are completely devoid of intelligence, knowing only how to kill and eat. All they know is to fight and eat. Every day, they are either out hunting or fighting. Because they live in packs, even monsters that are several realms stronger than them wouldn't dare to provoke them. After all, many ants can kill an elephant. Moreover, they are very vengeful. Where is this? When will father come to pick me up? Princess Nanfeng wondered. Just then she tripped, and a seven-eyed scarlet bloodhound pounced on her, opening its mouth wide to tear her apart. Fortunately, a sword suddenly appeared, blocking the fatal bite. The owner of the sword was none other than the great Xia Emperor. After receiving the distress signal from Princess Nanfeng, he had immediately brought troops to escort her. Fortunately, he had arrived just in time, or his beloved daughter would have been killed. Among his children, only Nanfeng was reliable. He tightened his grip, and the sword in the monster's mouth suddenly burst forth with terrifying energy. A sword aura formed, and he swung it lightly, sending the beast's head flying. Princess Nanfeng burst into tears. If Fang Chang was still here, she wouldn't have to worry about the immortal essence, nor would she have been bullied by Qin Feng like this. Now if father found out that she had not only failed to bring back the immortal essence, but had also lost all of the outstanding disciples in Kunlun, she was afraid that she would completely lose her chance to compete for the position. At this time, many other seven-eyed scarlet bloodhounds rushed forward, wanting to swallow everyone alive. Chang Kun, the Prime Minister and Chancellor of the Great Xia Emperor, quickly drew his sword and stepped forward. Everyone, listen to my orders. Follow me to kill the monsters. As soon as he finished speaking, Chang Kun slashed at the nearest monster. Seeing this, the others also drew their swords and charged forward. What? Lin Tom's gang took 80% of the immortal essence, and Fang Chang took all six Dao fruits. You're really a good daughter of mine. The great Xia Emperor was furious. I trusted you with thousands of outstanding disciples, but you failed to fulfill your duty, not only losing troops and generals, but also returning empty-handed. Princess Nanfeng trembled and knelt down. She understood that the Emperor's words were a kindness when she was still valuable, but when she lost her value, she would feel the ruthlessness of the royal family. At this time, a high-ranking official hurriedly advised, Your Majesty, now is not the time to pursue Princess Nanfeng's responsibility. I believe that this is not only not a threat, but also a great opportunity for Great Xia. The Great Xia Emperor's face was serious, not understanding how this could be an opportunity. The high-ranking official said, Your Majesty, think about it. Now that 80% of the immortal essence and treasures have been taken by Lin Tam, that means that whoever finds Lin Tam first can take thousands of immortal essence and treasures. And Fang Chang is from Great Xia, so it would be easier for us to subdue him than others. Your words are true. The Great Xia Emperor was delighted. In Kunlin, Great Xia had not been able to show its true strength, but outside, few forces dared to confront the Great Xia royal family directly. He immediately ordered more troops to be sent out to find Lin Tam and Fang Chang at all costs. As a precaution, he also personally led troops to fight for the remaining immortal essence. The other forces did the same after learning about this. The major factions did not want to give up their power, and the minor factions were not willing to be slaves for the rest of their lives, causing the partial conflicts to escalate into a full-scale war. As soon as Kunlun closed its doors, the ancient forces acted almost simultaneously. In an instant, the ancient world was in chaos, and battles broke out everywhere. The chaos had arrived. A fortune teller sighed, remembering what had happened 15 years ago. Lunar Eclipse, the Gate of Ghosts opens. Lunar Eclipse, the nation's treasury will decline. The theater will collapse like a pillar. The moon will turn into a jade. The river will bring disaster. The painter looked up at the sky, muttering that the current chaos was definitely related to the lunar eclipse and the opening of the Gate of Ghosts 15 years ago. A great battle is about to begin. It is unknown whether it will be the demons suppressing the common people or the common people fighting for the world. It is not clear, and even if it were, I would not dare to say it. Congratulations to the master for causing trouble in the world and getting a chance to draw a lottery. Qin Feng was startled and felt that the system was wrongly accusing him. Obviously, those noble nobles looked down on the common people, and the little people could not shake those nobles. He went against the grain to shake the unchanging rules of the past and restore the natural order 
culture of equality for all. How dare the people before judge right and wrong, and how can the people after endure it? The heavens must change. If anyone dares to stop me from going against the heavens, I will take everything from them and let them experience the ordinary life of the common people. In the name of humanity, I will adopt their wives and children. If I have a son, I believe many people will need slaves. Qin Feng raised his head and looked at the blue sky. He would take the path of the protagonist so that the protagonist would have no way to go. The system had never seen such a righteous villain with such great ambitions. The space of the bag of holding doubled. Qin Feng thought to himself, what did he need such a large space for? It would make people think that he was always ready to rob others of their property. He called on the system to use the lottery opportunity. The familiar roulette wheel appeared and began to spin slowly, according to his words. Congratulations to the master for winning the swordsmanship upgrade card. It was about swordsmanship again. Chin Feng suddenly rushed forward, grabbing Lin Tam's clothes. Brother Lin, I feel like I can't hold on any longer. Can't hold on to what? Lin Tam asked in surprise. System, use the upgrade card. Chin Feng said his face in pain. Can't hold on any longer? Lin Tam was suddenly horrified, remembering the way Chin Feng had been looking at him lately. Don't tell me he wants to. Congratulations to the master for using the upgrade card to upgrade your sword intent to the fifth level. Sharp swords radiated from Qin Feng's body like bright lights in the darkness, tearing open the sky and opening up a new world of sword energy. Lin Tom pursed his lips and exclaimed in his heart, fifth level of sword intent? If I'm not mistaken, before entering Kunlun, Qin Feng was only at the third level of the Qi refining realm. He had already reached the fifth level of Qi refining and the fifth level of sword intent. Damn, even eating livestock feed wouldn't make him grow so fast. Congratulations to the master for hurting the pride of the heavenly chosen and receiving 100,000 villain points. Boom, a loud noise came from within Qin Feng's body. The surrounding qi surged into his body like water, causing his strength to increase several times over. Entered the Tao realm, sixth level. Lin Tam completely lost his composure, almost going crazy. Lin Tam opened his mouth wide, unable to find words to describe his feelings. Congratulations to the master for hurting the pride of the heavenly chosen and receiving 100,000 villain points. Lin Tam was too badly hurt, just wanting to run away from Qin Feng. This monster, if I have sinned, I pray to heaven to send down a thunderbolt to kill me and not let Qin Feng torture me anymore. I want peace and quiet. With that, Lin Tam ran away as fast as he could. Meanwhile, on the eastern and western borders of Great Xia, our luck is too bad. The young ladies of the Moon God Palace sighed. They didn't understand why they had ended up here, as if heaven was deliberately teasing them. The east of Great Xia was the territory of the Qin family, and when the Moon God Palace had forcibly taken Qin Feng away, it had angered the Qin family's ancestors, who had sworn to capture the female disciples of the Moon God Palace as concubines. To the west was the Heavenly Heart City, which bordered the Dark Moon dynasty, and the two sides often clashed. Don't worry, nothing will happen. Ziyan comforted everyone. Just then, there was a sound of wind breaking, and Ziyan's face turned serious as she turned around. She immediately turned pale as a sword pierced through the air. The sharp sword intent terrified the disciples of the Moon God Palace. Ziyan quickly appeared in front of everyone. A few nascent souls were overjoyed and immediately shot arrows into the sky. The two words Heavenly Heart rang out, indicating that they were from the Heavenly Heart City and were signaling to their comrades. Ziyan's face was serious and worried. It would be easy to deal with just a few nascent souls, but they were currently in someone else's territory. If they called for higher level nascent souls, they could only wait for the Moon God Palace to come and collect their bodies. At this moment, there was a loud sound of wind breaking. Several large boats flew out from the riverbank, each carrying thousands of female nascent soul cultivators. What should we do now? The young ladies of the Moon God Palace asked in panic. Let's go to the Qin family. Ziyan hesitated for a moment before deciding to head towards the east of Great Xia. Although legend had it that Qin Feng had betrayed his family for power and taken away his younger brother's supreme bone, Ziyan's intuition always felt that there was an unspeakable secret about this matter. In the seven years that she had been with Qin Feng, she had felt more and more that he was not the kind of person who would do anything for power. The Heavenly Heart City Group 
witnessed Ziyan entering the Qin family's territory and hesitated for a moment, wondering whether to continue the pursuit. Initially, the relationship between Heavenly Heart City and the Qin family was quite good. Ever since the young lady of Heavenly Heart City had become engaged to the second young master of the Qin family seven years ago, the relationship between the two sides had become closer, at least to the point of not harming each other, and occasionally even helping each other. But all that had only lasted for seven years. After the young lady broke off her engagement with the Qin family, the relationship between the two sides became complicated. Anyone who set foot in the other party's territory was relentlessly pursued. The leader thought seriously and finally ordered them to continue the pursuit. Moreover, they were carrying a lot of immortal essence. Although it was useless to them, they could offer it to the commander, creating an opportunity to climb up later. For the future, this risk was worth it. This is not good. The young ladies of the Moon God Palace changed their expressions. The Heavenly Heart City group was chasing them at a terrifying speed and was about to catch up. Suddenly, there was a deafening explosion and a powerful force that could swallow tens of thousands of miles of heaven and earth. A terrifying pressure enveloped the area, making it difficult for everyone to breathe. Just then, a huge crack appeared on the ground, separating the two sides. Next, a vast area of tens of thousands of miles on the side of the Heavenly Heart City was lifted up by a powerful force. The people of Heavenly Heart City were still confused about what was happening when a beautiful woman in a gorgeous dress appeared in midair. It was Yun Shi Yue, Qin Feng's mother. People of Heavenly Heart, it was fine that your young lady came to break off the engagement with my son, but now you dare to invade the Qin family's territory. You really don't know how to live or die. Recalling the matter of the young lady of Heavenly Heart, Coming to break off the engagement, her expression turned cold, her slender hand gently raised and then lowered. Boom! Tens of thousands of square miles of land collapsed, and thousands of nascent souls were reduced to ashes before they could even cry out. The young ladies of the Moon God Palace were so frightened that they kept swallowing their saliva and began to think of ways to stall for time. Seeing this, Yun Shi Yue's expression softened. Don't be nervous. I know that you are disciples of the Moon God Palace. I am not from the Qin family, but from the Yun family, and my name is Yun Shi Yue. So you're not the mother of the Divine Son? As expected of Madam Chin, no wonder the Divine Son is so handsome. It must be because of you, Madam. The young ladies were both amazed and flattering. Yun Si Yue tried her best to control her emotions, but her voice still trembled slightly. How has he been all these years? Zi Yan naturally knew who she was referring to and bowed like a young girl. He is now the Divine Son of the Moon God Palace and also the third Saint Son of the Dark Moon Dynasty. The more she heard, the more Yun Shi Yue's heart ached. She clenched her fists tightly to control herself. As parents, everyone hopes that their children will be as successful as possible. But she knew how much hardship Qin Feng had gone through, how much sweat and blood he had shed to gain such abilities. Moreover, Qin Feng had left her when he was only eight years old. Every time she thought about it, she would wake up crying at night. On the other side, Qin Zong smiled and followed behind Lin San. Whether or not it really brought good luck, as long as he followed Lin San, he would definitely be safe. Lin San couldn't bear it anymore and finally asked, Brother Qin, don't you have anything to do? Qin Feng smiled and said, There's nothing more important than doing this with Brother Lin. Then he tightened his arms around Lin San, afraid that he would disappear in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, there was a loud thunderclap. A purple-faced old man appeared, blocking their way. You are the warriors who just came out of Kunlun. Who is the leader? The old man swept his eyes over them, not hiding the greed in his eyes. Lin San had learned his lesson and pointed straight at Qin Feng. But to his surprise, Qin Feng, Xiao Bai, Tian Jun, and Wan Ma all raised four fingers at him. Lin San's whole body turned cold, and he cursed Qin Feng's ancestors for 18 generations in his heart, as well as all the accomplices who went with him. The old man concentrated his murderous aura and aimed it at Lin San, transforming into an image and rushing over at an extremely fast speed. Lin San was furious, but he still had to draw his sword to block the blow, especially when facing an old demon like this. He didn't dare to be careless and immediately used his strongest move. Sword transforms into 10,000 swords. The sound of the sword being drawn resounded through the forest. The sword light flashed magnificently, carrying a bone-chilling cold intent. The sound of the wind breaking through the air 
rang out. Qin Feng panicked and called out to the system to exchange for a foundation establishment pill to stabilize his mind. Congratulations, Master. You have successfully exchanged six million villain points for a foundation establishment pill. Boom. The old man suddenly appeared in front of Lin San. He raised his withered hand and tightened it around Lin San's throat. Lin San spat out blood and felt like his throat was being crushed. Damn so fast? Qin Feng was shocked. He thought that Lin San would be able to hold on for a little longer. This is so fast, it's like those short film writers. Qin Feng immediately appeared behind the old man. Are you done playing? The old man jumped in shock and immediately guessed Qin Feng's identity. But Qin Feng didn't give him a chance to speak. His destructive gaze locked onto him at such a close distance. The destructive force shot straight into the old man's face. He let out a miserable cry, let go of Lin San, and retreated quickly. But Qin Feng had no intention of letting him go. His gaze locked onto the spot where the old man had passed by. The secrets of all things were exposed, and half of his head instantly disappeared. Then, the effect began to spread to his body. Qin Feng suddenly closed his eyes, gasping for breath. In the blink of an eye, the energy in his body was exhausted. That was the primordial origin eye technique. The old man still had half of his head, which looked very horrifying. If he hadn't been a master of the life and death realm, that one move would have been enough to send him to meet the king of hell. But he didn't feel happy about escaping death. Just then, the old man's eyes suddenly widened. He felt something poking his butt. When he turned around, he saw that Wan Ma had somehow gotten behind him and was thrusting his spear straight into his second orifice. But the opponent was still a master of the life and death realm. After all, their attacks didn't cause any real damage. Die, all of you, the old man roared angrily. A terrifying aura erupted from the old man's body, and the two heavenly monarchs and Wan Ma were sent flying far away. It was unclear whether they were alive or dead, but thanks to them blocking him for a while, Qin Feng and Lin San had time to recover. Lin San looked at Qin Feng and gasped, Brother Qin, I have a sword that can pierce 10,000 miles. Qin Feng replied, I have a sword that opens the gates of heaven. The two exchanged glances and then smiled at each other as if they understood each other's hearts. Suddenly, the two of them burst out with two terrifying sword lights. The sound of wind breaking and sword energy roared like a tide, filling the air. Two golden beams of light pierced through the sky like two dragon swords, carrying a terrifying force that shook the heavens and earth. Even those thousands of miles away could see it, and everyone was stunned by the sight. The two sword lights merged, and countless sword chi formed a tornado that connected heaven and earth. The sound of the sword was deafening, and the huge waves spread out like a storm for tens of thousands of miles. Brat, don't underestimate me. The old man was furious and cornered. The aura of the life and death realm erupted violently, and the ground cracked like a spider's web. The two swords merged, and Qin Feng and Lin San swung their swords in unison. The two beams of light slashed down, merging into one, coexisting with each other, indistinguishable from each other. The terrifying waves spread everywhere, and the sound of the sword was deafening. The power increased tenfold compared to when they were alone. Both of them spat out blood. It was unknown how long it took for the heavens and earth to return to peace. Lin San knelt on the ground amidst the ruins, only able to hold on with all his might. Lin San was in a sorry state, almost collapsing. Qin Feng rushed over to check on him. Brother Lin, are you okay? Only when he was sure that Lin San was fine did he heave a sigh of relief. Lin San was very moved. He tried his best to control himself. At first, he thought that Qin Feng was being irresponsible by pushing him out, but he didn't expect that he would still take action at the critical moment. To be able to be brothers with Qin Feng for the rest of his life was truly Lin San's fortune. All right, it's time to settle the score. Qin Feng suddenly took out a book and wrote, Brother Lin was strangled, and I risked my life to save him. You owe me a life. It's not too much to ask, right? My two brothers tried their best to buy time for you, and now they are nowhere to be found, so you owe me two more lives. As for the combined sword technique, as the only divine son of the moon god palace, the third holy son of the yin moon, number one in the ancient wilderness, it's reasonable for me to charge a fee for saving your life. Considering our brotherhood, I'll give you a 50% discount 
and only charge you 200,000 spirit stones. Lin San's eyes twitched. Meanwhile, Wu Lan's group was lucky enough to land in the territory of the Yin Moon. Lan Ma arrived shortly after. She thought she would return to the organization to celebrate their great success, but unexpectedly, her beloved daughter brought her shocking news, which almost gave her a stroke. Lan Ma buzzed, not believing her own ears. You didn't get any of the seven Dao fruits? Tens of thousands of tails of silver were stolen. Even your storage bag was taken. I'm sorry for disappointing you, mother. Wu Lan lowered her head, feeling very wronged. From a young age, she had always been her mother's pride. But ever since she met Qin Feng, she felt like she was useless. Lan Ma looked at her daughter's sad eyes. As a mother, Lan Ma could only comfort her daughter, even though she wanted to cry out loud in her heart. She had placed so much hope on this opening of Kunlun, and now she had returned empty-handed, all because of Qin Feng. Wu Lan was furious. If it weren't for him stopping us from picking the Dao fruits, how could we have been ambushed? If we hadn't dug up the immortal essence, we wouldn't have been attacked. Qin Feng, the two of you went together, right? Lan Ma immediately became interested and hurriedly asked about Qin Feng's performance in Kunlun. What did he find? The maid beside her said, Palace Master, young Master Qin is truly amazing. He single-handedly stood in front of the Dao fruits, threatening tens of thousands of martial artists and not daring to approach. Furthermore, we suspect that the six Dao fruits were not taken by Fang Chang, but by Qin Feng. As for his other treasures, we don't know, but with Qin Feng's strength, there must be a lot. Lan Ma's eyes lit up. Just now, she was still worried about cultivation resources. My daughter, I've raised you for so many years. It's time for you to repay me. As the only princess of the Demon Palace, the number one martial artist of the Yin Moon, one of the four great beauties of the ancient wilderness, the daughter of the Lan Ma family, it's reasonable for the bride price to be a little high. Lanma looked at her daughter. Wulan's eyes were filled with sadness. Her daughter had grown up and had to get married, or else she would be dependent on her mother. Look, my mother is right. Having a capable husband to protect you is the greatest happiness. When you get home, change into a beautiful dress, and I'll cook a few small dishes and invite Qin Feng over for dinner, and arrange the wedding right away. No, Wulan shook her head. Men are just external things. I want to use my own hands to prove myself. Lan Ma sighed and advised, Men are external things, but they can also be internal things. Two are not contradictory. How can they be internal things? Wulan tilted her head, not understanding. You don't know, because you haven't experienced it yet. Lan Ma muttered. She continued to suggest, My child, I know that you want to prove that women are not inferior to men. But you must also understand your own strengths. Men shed blood to dominate the world, while women sweat to conquer the world. Do you understand what I mean? No, I don't. I don't want to understand either. Wulan was still stubborn, throwing back the words and leaving. You almost gave me a heart attack, child. Lan Ma rubbed her chest and muttered, My own daughter. I can't be angry with you. I can't be angry with you. Meanwhile, in another place, Lin San watched as the old man took his last breath, feeling pity in his heart. At first, he had been prepared to run away when he met a master of the birth and death realm. Unexpectedly, a master of the birth and death realm didn't have time to display his power and was even unable to use any moves before he was killed. This birth and death realm was too pitiful. Qin Feng stepped forward and took the old man's storage ring. Inside, there was only a low-grade divine stone some pills, and some random cultivation techniques. Lin San couldn't help but cough, envious of Qin Feng's luck. Born into the number one clan of the ancient wilderness, even after running away from home, he was taken in by the Moon God Palace. But then again, Brother Qin will probably give me half. Oh no, he's a stingy bastard. Qin Feng frowned, flicked his hand, and stuffed the things into his body, with no intention of sharing with Lin San. Well, let's recover our spiritual power quickly. I don't know if that old man has any more accomplices. If we meet them, we will definitely die. At this moment, Qin Feng remembered his two brothers. He hurriedly dug through the ruins, pulling out the heavenly army and the 10,000 horses. Not far away, Lin San was meditating to heal his wounds. I wonder if these two can be saved. Qin Feng checked carefully. Their breaths were too weak, almost imperceptible. Master, that's Naji Jia, Xiao Bai suddenly exclaimed. Sure enough, Yu Rong walked over, her expression filled with panic. She was terrified by the scene around her. Why is Yu Rong here? Is she Lin San's wife? Qin Feng glanced at her and felt that they were not a good match. What happened? Yu Rong became more and more frightened as she walked. She couldn't imagine how terrible the battle was that could flatten the entire area. Just then, Qin Feng walked out, immediately standing in front of her and closing the distance. Yu Rong was startled and immediately recognized the other party as Qin Feng, the one who had bullied her in Kunlun. 
Could it be that the fierce battle just now was caused by Qin Feng? Yu Rong's eyes widened, absolutely unable to believe it. How could the terrifying power just now have come from a sixth level of the Tao? It had to be at least a battle between masters of the birth and death realm. Suddenly, Qin Feng grabbed Yu Rong, carried her on his shoulder, and left, closing the distance. Let me go, I know you. Yu Rong was startled and struggled to get out of Qin Feng's hands. In Kunlun, she already had a bad impression of him. Therefore, this unreasonable act made her panic. Did he do that to her? Silence. Qin Feng slapped her on the buttocks. What a big butt. You're a pure maiden. Yu Rong was humiliated by this rude man. Hurry up and help me see if they're still alive. Qin Feng put her down beside the heavenly army. 10,000 horses. If Yu Rong could save them, both sides would be happy. You're really a tyrant, Yu Rong groaned, strongly condemning Qin Feng's rude attitude. She said that if Qin Feng didn't apologize, she wouldn't treat him. Despite saying this, Yu Rong still glanced at the two of them. She saw that they were not dead yet. But then, the green long sword of the sky was unsheathed and placed against Yu Rong's neck. Miss Yu Rong, you're so brave. Let me guess, will your grave be green next year? Qin Feng's voice was cold. Ah, I was just joking. Yu Rong immediately smiled, gently pushing the sword away and taking out a needle. Congratulations, master. Threatening the life of a heavenly chosen of destiny has earned you 50,000 villain points. Looking at Lin San, who was healing his wounds not far away, Qin Feng felt even more that the two of them were not a good match, especially Lin San. How could he marry someone else? Little San San is obviously mine. At this moment, hundreds of Qin family disciples were unfortunately teleported to the territory of the Yin Moon, right within the sphere of influence of a force called the Golden Eagle Sect. As soon as they appeared, they were discovered by the disciples of the Golden Eagle Sect. Hurry up and tie them up tightly. Don't let them escape. Someone has already gone to report the news. The elders are coming soon. Thousands of Golden Eagle Sect disciples quickly surrounded the Qin family disciples. Qin Mushui anxiously shot a signal arrow into the sky forming the word love. The current situation made it impossible to break out, so they could only hope that their Qin family allies nearby, such as the ancestors who were searching for disciples, would come to their rescue. Not far away, Qin Hao had a splitting headache. Behind him was the Hundred Myriad Army. Ever since he had released them last time, they had been following him closely, insisting on making him their big brother. But Qin Hao's expression changed when he saw the distress signal from the Qin family. Without hesitation, he rushed towards the source of the signal. Signal. Big brother, wait for us. We won't let go of your thigh either. The Hundred Myriad Army said. The battle was still fierce, and the ground was soaked with blood. The Qin family disciples were clearly exhausted. They understood what it meant to be outnumbered. The enemy gave them no chance to breathe. Here it comes. Qin Mushui smiled bitterly, knowing that they could not wait for the ancestors. Boom! Qin Hao appeared with a violent force, shattering the ground. Brother Qin Feng, have you come to save me? Qin Mushui exclaimed happily. If it was Qin Feng, as long as the other party didn't bring out the ancestors, they could definitely escape. But the reality was disappointing. The person who came was Qin Hao. You came alone? Qin Mushui had a splitting headache. Not alone. There's also the Hundred Myriad Army. They're coming soon. Qin Hao answered honestly. The Hundred Myriad Army? Qin Mushui was not happy when she heard this, feeling a sense of familiarity. Just then, two gusts of wind sounded. Qin Hao's army rushed into the ranks of the Golden Eagle Sect disciples. The Hundred Myriad Army appeared, leaping down from the sky on both sides of Qin Hao like two bodyguards. The smile on Qin Mushui's face immediately disappeared. My name is Hundred Myriad. I am the army. Qin Mushui felt helpless and gave up, saying with a serious attitude, since you're here, you can't escape. Be prepared to fight to the end. Absolutely. Let them taste our power. Qin Hao excitedly clenched his fists, unable to wait for the great battle. You stand behind me. Qin Mushui immediately shielded Qin Hao, saying that this was not a battle he could participate in. No need, Qin Hao declined impolitely. No matter what Qin Mushui said, he covered his ears. Everyone, step back. I'm about to start showing off. Just then, a thunderclap shook the heavens and the earth, causing everyone to look back. They saw lightning dancing around Qin Hao, emitting an aura of violent destruction. His whole body was like a thunder god dominating all beings. Qin Hao's eyes flashed with lightning, 
and he clapped his hands together, concentrating all his destructive power into a tsunami that surged forward. Heaven and earth changed color, and thunder roared. Lightning tore through the darkness, accompanied by a deafening roar. Lightning erupted from Qin Hao's body, shooting straight into the sky. The sky immediately surged with thunder dragons. Countless bolts of lightning, like thunder gods, descended upon the earth, slaughtering the Golden Eagle sect disciples. The sound of screams filled the air, like grass being cut down. One by one, thousands of Golden Eagle sect disciples turned into piles of smoke, emitting the smell of burnt flesh. Impossible. Is he really Chin Hao, the second young master? The Chin family disciples opened their eyes wide in disbelief. They couldn't believe that the person in front of them was the useless Chin Hao. Ever since his supreme bone had been taken away seven years ago, Chin Hao had fallen off the golden list. For seven years, his cultivation progress was extremely slow, and he was far behind the Qin disciples of the same age. Who would have thought that seven years later, the would rise again, not only merging with the heaven-destroying and earth-destroying divine thunder, but also being able to slaughter like killing dogs. Meanwhile, in another place, Qin Feng couldn't help but sneeze. He felt that someone was talking bad about him. With his cultivation at the sixth level of the Tao initiation realm, how could he possibly get sick? Even those at the transcendent calm realm were free from worldly illnesses, let alone him who was close to reaching the Tao initiation realm. Perhaps Fang Chang was cursed him. As the number one good person in the ancient times, he only had a grudge against that guy. At this moment, the heavenly army and the myriad army suddenly moved, their breathing a little weaker than before. Their clothes had been removed, and there were seven or eight needles stuck into their acupoints. Qin Feng couldn't help but mock. Are you guys from the Divine Valley of Medicine so bad at medicine? It's been so long, and you still haven't fully recovered. Yu Rong said angrily. They are Tao Initiation Realm cultivators who were severely injured by a life and death realm expert. Fortunately, they met me, the successor of the Divine Valley of Medicine. Otherwise, they would have already prepared their funeral clothes if they had met another doctor. Qin Feng drew out his divine sword and placed it on Yu Rong's neck, feeling the coldness on her neck. Yu Rong said with grievance, I'm really sorry. I'm incompetent and my medical skills are mediocre. Wasting your precious time, young master. Congratulations to the host. Threatening the life of a destined heavenly chosen has earned you 50,000 villain points. Qin Feng thought to himself, that's great. I didn't even try and I'm already in the villain state. Compared to Fang Chang's white moonlight or Long Ao Qin's lover, she's much more compatible. It's just that the villain points are a bit low. Others have 100,000 to 200,000 thousand points and she only has 50,000. Oh well, there's still a long way to go. Qin Feng put away his sword and continued to threaten, if I see you slacking off, I won't show mercy. Hearing this, Yu Rong swallowed her saliva and hurriedly took out a large medicine box from the storage mirror and began to treat the heavenly army and the myriad army. Their breathing gradually stabilized. Qin Feng glanced curiously at the medicine mirror, only to see a few books in the corner. He thought they were the Divine Valley's medical scriptures, but when he saw the titles of the books, he gasped. Cold and aloof lord, and the innocent girl, the supreme righteous path, in love with two cult masters at the same time, the kind neighbor, and the lucky high school boy. Oh my god, I didn't expect the successor of the Divine Valley to like reading this kind of story. What are you doing? Seeing that her secret had been discovered, Yu Rong hurriedly snatched the book back. Her only secret had been discovered by this scoundrel. If he reported it to her master, she would be finished. This was her only hobby, besides medicine. If her masters found out, they would forbid bid her from reading and confiscate all her books on the grounds that it was a waste of time. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth curled into a sly smile as he looked at her expression. It seemed that she didn't want anyone to know about this secret. What are you going to do? Yu Rong hugged the book to her chest and looked up at him nervously. If you dare to reveal this secret, I will tell everyone that you pretended to lose too much blood in Kunlun in order to save everyone. Qin Feng was stunned. He didn't expect to be threatened back. Yu Rong said confidently, in the eyes of others, you lost so much blood that your face was pale, but I could tell right away that it was because your chi and blood were out of order. Although I don't know why you lost so much blood, but we're fine, I know that you must have taken advantage of the little girls. Woman, you've successfully attracted my attention. Qin Feng grabbed Yu Rong's fair face and said coldly, it seems like you know too much, I can't let you go. Yu Rong gasped and cried out in her heart. The tone of voice, the plot, the dialogue, the identity, 
Everything was exactly the same as the characters in the novel. Should she kneel down and beg for mercy, or act tough to attract his attention, or push him away and leave, starting a two million word twisted and painful relationship? Young master, I don't know anything. Yu Rong decided to throw away her dignity and knelt down to cry and beg Qin Feng to spare her life. Congratulations to the host for successfully threatening the life of a destined heavenly chosen and earning 50,000 villain points. The corner of Qin Feng's eye twitched. This was the first time he had met a main character who was so shameless. He wondered what Lin San saw in this woman. Could it be that he liked shameless people? Too shameless. Suddenly, Little White rushed out from somewhere and landed on Qin Feng's shoulder. It constantly criticized Yu Rong's actions, saying that even a rabbit had more dignity than her. It seemed to have forgotten that it had run away during the battle just now. My rabbit is the best. Qin Feng was very satisfied with Little White's performance and waved his hand to take out a carrot from the system. My rabbit likes its master the most. Little White happily rubbed its face against Qin Feng's hand and took the carrot. Thanks to this, it got a delicious carrot. Suddenly, the Heavenly Army and the Myriad Army started coughing violently, and finally they were able to breathe again. Yu Rong hurriedly checked and breathed a sigh of relief. Their breathing had stabilized. To recover quickly, they only needed to be given some healing pills. Although the pills were poisonous, they would not leave any sequelae if used in the right dosage. If not, we can use medical skills to treat them and ensure that there are no complications. After saying this, Yu Rong glanced at Qin Feng with a pitiful expression, as if to say that she was very useful. Qin Feng scratched his head, recalling the two immortal slave seals he had received earlier. If he made a move now, it might conflict with Lin San. It would not be worth it to lose Lin San over a woman. Qin Feng opened the Mountain and River Society map and entered, intending to find some healing pills for the Heavenly Army and the Myriad Army. Because they cultivated the 13 Heavens transformation technique, they could recover quickly, so he had never needed any pills. Naturally, he didn't have any on him either. But in Kunlun, he had robbed more than 100,000 people, so he definitely had everything he needed. Master, we worked very hard to collect all those bags and treasures you have to reward us. The beautiful girls surrounded Qin Feng and asked for their reward in a coquettish voice. Their big eyes sparkled with anticipation. Qin Feng swallowed his saliva, feeling like he had fallen into a spider's web. Suddenly, Qin Feng frowned and hurriedly clutched his chest. His heart was pounding and his face turned pale. This feeling was the same as it had been seven years ago when he had personally dug out his younger brother's supreme bone, a strange connection between twins. It was a sign that his younger brother was in mortal danger. Hang in there, little brother. I'm coming to save you right now. Qin Feng ignored the contemptuous gazes of the girls and pulled the eternal sword out of the mountain and river society map. Qin Feng's cold face exuded a terrifying murderous aura as he stepped out. Qin Feng made a hand seal and transformed the eternal sword into two giant flying swords. Without hesitation, he pulled Yu Rong onto the flying sword and headed straight for Qin Hao. Seeing this, Little White hurriedly chased after him. What is this? Yu Rong looked at the Mountain and River Society map on Little White's back and asked curiously. Qin Feng had easily entered it just now. This is the Mountain and River Society map that Qin Feng personally put on my back. Little White quickly explained, let me tell you, it was a beautiful evening, and Qin Feng called me over and solemnly handed the Mountain and River Society map to me. You thought I was just holding a map? This is trust. The corner of Yu Rong's mouth twitched. She really didn't understand why such a cute rabbit could tell such blatant lies. But whatever, she was the successor of the Divine Valley. Little White suddenly had an idea. It had heard Qin Feng say that the place where people spent the most money was the hospital, or rather the pharmacy. No matter how much money you brought in, you would spend it all. So the Divine Valley was the number one pharmacy in the ancient wilderness, and it must be very rich. If it sold Qin Feng to Yu Rong, her father would definitely make a lot of money, and they would be rich for the rest of their lives. Suddenly, a wave of majesty descended like Mount Tai, causing many disciples of the Qin family to tremble. Who is it? Qin Hao roared. I am the martial elder of the Golden Eagle sect. The old man's voice resounded throughout the sky. An old man with silver hair and a Taoist robe flew in the sky, exuding a fierce murderous aura that made it difficult for the Qin family disciples to breathe. The faces of the Qin family disciples turned pale knowing that this time they were really in danger. You little chin brats, you're just over a hundred people, but you killed tens of thousands of my disciples.
walls. The fifth elder looked at the pile of corpses, and his mood was extremely suppressed. He raised his hand and fiercely struck them with a ninefold death strike. Seeing that Qin Hao was in danger, Qin Mushui's expression changed. She hurriedly rushed over and took the full force of the attack. Qin Mushui's internal organs were severely injured. Blood gushed out of her mouth, and Qin Mushui couldn't hold on any longer and collapsed. If the ancestor didn't arrive in time, we really wouldn't be able to hold on. At this moment, Qin Hao hurriedly ran over to support Qin Mushui. Qin Mushui was furious and hurriedly took out from her ring a set of treasure equipment and immortal crystals that she had found in Kunlun and stuffed them into Qin Hao's hands. Run quickly. We'll hold off the fifth elder. Qin Mushui was very serious and pushed Qin Hao back, signaling the Qin family disciples to take Qin Hao away. That's on your person, isn't it? The fifth elder suddenly appeared in front of Qin Hao. He had just seen Qin Mushui give the ring to Qin Hao. Seeing that Qin Hao was in danger, Qin Mushui hurriedly rushed over to stop him. Run quickly. Qin Mushui and the other disciples held the fifth elder back and shouted to Qin Hao to run. Big brother, run quickly. The hundred myriad and the grand army also charged forward, creating time for Qin Hao to seek his own death. Fifth elder was annoyed by the ants and raised his hand to strike a thunderous fist, causing the void to tremble incessantly. Qin Mushui spat out blood and fell down motionless. The other disciples were no better. More than half of the Qin family disciples were killed or injured instantly. The hundred myriad and the grand army also disappeared. Seeing so many Qin family disciples sacrifice themselves, including Qin Mushui, who had always cared for him since he was a child, Qin Hao's anger reached its peak. Instead of retreating, he charged forward. Qin Hao roared in anger and charged towards the fifth elder. A terrifying energy exploded between heaven and earth, and the deafening explosion caused the to be compressed violently, gathering and erupting with destructive energy, causing the void to tremble violently as if it were about to collapse. This little brat must be killed. He can't be spared. The fifth elder's pupils constricted as he realized the danger of Qin Hao. The old man's phantom transmitted a voice to Qin Hao. Brat, I will lend you my strength, but this will put a great burden on your body, so you must win quickly. Don't worry, I'll finish it right away. Qin Hao glanced at the fifth elder, and in an instant, he was in front of him, so fast. The fifth elder was shocked, and an unprecedented sense of danger surged in his heart. Faced with someone who claimed to be invincible in the same realm, no one would dare to confront him. But Qin Hao didn't give him a chance to escape. Qin Hao's fist clenched tightly, and the th quickly gathered. With a single blow to the fifth elder, the heavens and earth shook, and a violent energy exploded, causing an earth-shattering explosion. Meanwhile, Qin Feng was rushing to save Qin Hao. The feeling of anxiety seemed to have diminished. It seemed that his younger brother was still alive, but then, the feeling of unease disappeared completely. Qin Feng was puzzled. He didn't know what had happened. Had the danger been lifted? Qin Feng suddenly thought of another possibility, and his eyes widened in shock. Damn it, don't tell me my younger brother is dead. In the territory of the Golden Eagle sect, the energy storm gradually subsided, and heaven and earth returned to peace. The fifth elder had completely disappeared after Qin Hao's attack, reduced to dust. Instead of being happy about the victory, Qin Hao looked towards the horizon with a grave expression. Three figures approached at an extremely fast speed, exuding an energy even more terrifying than the ninefold death strike. These were definitely the other elders of the Golden Eagle sect. You little bastard, you dare to kill our fifth elder? The three of them were furious, and a violent energy burst out from their bodies. The space within tens of thousands of meters trembled violently, and the terrifying pressure was like a storm raging in this world. I really don't know what to do with you. The old man's phantom sighed. But then again, it's true. The reason why he accepted Qin Hao as his disciple was because he saw his, his simple nature. Today I will go crazy with you. The old man's phantom flew out and rushed into Qin Hao's body. A terrifying energy erupted from Qin Hao's body, and his aura changed completely. Previously, Qin Hao was just an immature teenager, but now he was a supreme being who ruled over the ages. His body shone brightly, and an air of supreme nobility emanated from within him. Thunderstorms surged, welcoming the supreme beacon. The majestic earth stood tall between heaven and earth, looking down upon all living beings. The entire world trembled before the young man. All things had to bow their heads. What is this? The three remaining elders felt their scalps go numb, and a sense of foreboding washed over them. Kill him. The three elders exploded the energy in their bodies and gathered into three giant whirlpools that attacked Qin Hao, causing the void to tremble violently and waves to break everywhere. At this moment, the two dragon shadows and the phantom roared, 
and a terrifying energy erupted. They charged towards the human eagle, carrying the terrifying power of heaven and earth. The two streams of energy collided violently, causing the void to shake violently. The explosion shook the heavens and the earth, and the energy storm ravaged the void. With a range comparable to that of the Hiroshima bomb, three elders concentrated their power, causing the circle of the sun to shine even brighter, overpowering Chin Hao's dragon and elephant shadows. You boy in the profound sky realm, you dare to oppose us? Chin Hao's deep eyes flashed with a cold light, and his voice resounded throughout the world. Chin Hao pointed his finger, and the rolled in like a tsunami in the sky, pouring down on the dragon and elephant. The dragon and elephant roared, tearing through the sky and charging straight at the human eagle's arms. How could such a young boy be able to face the three of them? This person absolutely cannot be allowed to live. The three elders looked at each other, their eyes filled with determination. The Golden Eagle sect had chosen to confront the Chin family, which meant that there was no turning back. They had to kill Chin Hao before their ancestor of the Chin family appeared. If Chin Hao was allowed to grow up, the consequences would be unimaginable. Without hesitation, the three elders drew their golden needles and stabbed them into their acupoints, causing their strength to soar several times over. Golden needles hitting the acupoints could increase their strength several times over in a short period of time, but the side effects were obvious. Afterwards, it would take thousands of years of cultivation and a hundred years of recuperation to recover. This showed that they really felt threatened by Qin Hao, but now that the old phantom was borrowing Qin Hao's body, with the cultivation of the fifth level of the spirit martial realm, it was already the limit to be able to break through to the profound sky realm. If he were to increase his strength any further, it would cause serious damage to Qin Hao's body. Even now, it had already caused serious injuries to Qin Hao's body, with his skin cracking and blood flowing. As the three elders continued to transmit more spiritual power, the human eagle emitted a dazzling light. Under their control, the huge eagle's wings emitted a more terrifying power than before. Just then, the three elders rushed forward at an astonishing speed, intending to kill Chin Hao in the cradle. It seemed that only by releasing another dragon and another elephant could they be defeated. Seeing the other party rushing forward, the old phantom knew that he could not hesitate any longer. Although increasing his strength would harm Chin Hao's body, at least it would save his life. Even if he lost a few decades of cultivation and had to recover his body, cultivation was not something that could be done overnight. You can't catch up with that monster of an older brother, so it doesn't matter if you become a cripple for a few decades. The old man changed his way of thinking, the guilt disappeared. You want to kill me? Go cultivate for another few hundred million years. The energy in Qin Hao's body surged. A deafening explosion resounded, with enough power to sink thousands of miles of heaven and earth. At this moment, an old man with an imposing aura appeared in front of Qin Hao, blocking the attack of the three elders. He exuded an energy that was even stronger than the profound sky realm. Reinforcements had arrived. Qin Hao quickly withdrew his strength, silently thanking his lucky stars. He had almost been beaten back to his original form and become a cripple for another few decades. The ancestor of the Qin family looked at the giant eagle's arm with displeasure. How dare you bully my child like this? May I ask what your intentions are? As soon as he finished speaking, he launched an attack. With a deafening explosion, the human eagle summoned by the three elders was shattered. The three of them were all filled with shock. How could the ancestor of the Chin family have arrived so quickly? The ancestor has arrived, Golden Eagle sect. Seeing that more than half of his disciples had been killed or injured, the ancestor of the Chin family flew into a rage like a volcano erupting. At this moment, Qin Hao had regained control of his body and immediately added fuel to the fire. Ancestor, not only did they beat me, they also took advantage of their numbers to bully me. He launched an attack directly. A terrifying storm surged through the heavens and the earth. The wind turned into sharp blades, ravaging the heavens and the earth. The three elders were terrified, desperately wanting to escape from this area. The ancestor's killing intent was like Mount Tai pressing down on them, causing them to vomit blood, their aura gradually weakening. Meanwhile, after a long journey, Qin Feng and his friends finally returned to the Yin Yu dynasty. But as soon as they set foot here, the anxious feeling in his heart suddenly disappeared. What's going on? 
Why can't I sense Qin Hao's location anymore? At this moment, Qin Feng glanced at the bustling inn nearby. He decided to go in and ask for news about Qin Hao, and at the same time rest and eat. Flying continuously on a sword consumed a lot of energy. Although he could have infinite energy thanks to the immortal heavenly physique, his spirit was limited. At this moment, Xiaobai was clinging tightly to Yu Rong like a leech, absolutely refusing to leave. Don't make a fuss. I'm sleeping. Suddenly, Qin Feng heard news about Qin Hao. Have you heard anything about Qin Hao? The second useless young master of the Qin family has risen up and become the successor of the Dragon Elephant Emperor. He single-handedly destroyed the five elders of the Golden Eagle sect and then defeated three elders at the Profound Sky Realm. Is that true? The second young master of the Qin family was? How could he have inherited the legacy of the Dragon Elephant Emperor? Who knows? Maybe the inheritance of the Dragon Elephant Emperor can only be obtained after going through great ups and downs. Moreover, the Qin family is the number one ancient clan. They must have countless treasures. Feng was stunned on the spot. He had brought tens of thousands of elite troops to save his younger brother, but before he could even ask where his younger brother was, everything was over. It seemed that he was only fit to be a villain who slaughtered sex, and not worthy of being a savior who came to the rescue in a grand manner. Oh well, as long as my younger brother is okay. It's my turn to shine. Shower, pour me some wine. At this moment, a familiar female voice rang out. Qin Feng looked up, slightly surprised to see Princess Nanfeng appear, her face somewhat tired as she entered the inn with dozens of guards. Unlike the ordinary sex before, the aura of her guards was very strong this time. Ah! Princess Nanfeng suddenly shouted when she accidentally saw Qin Feng. The guards quickly shielded her. The vigilant guards drew their swords, pointing them at Qin Feng. The tens of thousands of troops drew their weapons without a second thought, shielding Qin Feng in front, facing off against the other side. Run quickly, run quickly. The commotion between the two sides also attracted everyone's attention. The scene of an imminent fight caused the diners to quickly pay their bills and leave the inn. They're really men who came to cause trouble. Yu Rong hid her head and muttered to herself, I can't see you, I can't see you. The innkeeper hurriedly ran out and smiled apologetically. It's my fault for not serving you well, disturbing you all. It's okay, we're old friends. Qin Feng smiled and waved his hand, signaling the tens of thousands of troops to relax. The innkeeper breathed a sigh of relief when he heard old friend. They were just doing a small business, so it was good as long as there was no fighting. At this moment, Princess Nanfeng scanned her surroundings but did not see any of the experts of the Yin Yue dynasty. This meant that the reinforcements of the opposing side had not arrived yet. This was a rare opportunity to capture Qin Feng. But Qin Feng was not afraid at all. He smiled and said to the innkeeper, Serve the other table, another chicken. Put it on my tab. Princess Nanfeng angrily slammed the table, gritting her teeth as she glared at Qin Feng. Everyone was puzzled. Congratulations to the host. While the Son of Heaven's Chosen was away, you fabricated and framed the woman that the Son of Heaven's Chosen loved, receiving 50,000 villain points. Dung tilted her head in confusion. She recalled that after Qin Feng helped her detoxify the poison in the fragrance of the sea, Princess Nanfeng had thanked her very politely, behaving like a true princess. But now, she had changed completely completely, as if she were a different person. She also found it very strange. Why did Qin Feng know that the princess liked to eat chicken and was not picky? Could it be that they had been together before? Yu Rong suddenly opened her eyes wide, as if she had discovered a great secret. Princess of the Great Xia, a saint of the Yin Yue. It really was like a plot in a novel. But the princess was too tough, and the saint was too domineering. Two such strong people would find it difficult to get along. As for her, a delicate fairy, she could moderate Qin Feng's domineering personality. When the two of them clashed, I wonder if I'll be dragged into it. She secretly glanced at Qin Feng, afraid that he would suddenly come over and kiss her, intentionally provoking Princess Nanfeng. If that really happened, she wouldn't be able to resist him on her own. But if this matter were to spread, for the sake of the honor of the Divine Valley, her master would definitely marry her to Qin Feng. But they didn't have any feelings for each other. How could Qin Feng force himself to marry her and then be indifferent to her, and let her watch him flirt with that little third wheel, Nanfeng? At that time, wouldn't she tear that little third wheel apart? Or should she just let time develop her feelings for Qin Feng? Compared to being forced into an unwilling marriage, she still preferred to let her feelings develop slowly. She couldn't let them win. Yurong stared at Princess Nanfeng 
full of resentment. It was just eating chicken. If you didn't like it, you could just order something else. There was no need to be so angry. Both Qin Feng and Princess Nanfeng felt their anger rising, almost losing control of themselves. Oh no, I was too reckless. Yu Rong hurriedly put the bowl of rice on her head, crouching down like a turtle. At first, she just wanted to create an excuse for both sides to back down, but she didn't expect to add fuel to the fire, further provoking the anger of both sides. Master, quickly save your disciple. Otherwise, your disciple will be sacrificed. Meanwhile, Lin Tam was very happy at this moment. Before, Qin Feng always stood by and watched him fight others. Today, it was finally his turn to eat popcorn and watch the show. Just then, an old man next to Princess Nanfeng took out a portrait, signaling the princess to look at Lin Tam's table. Princess's breath suddenly stopped. She hurriedly compared Lin Tam with the portrait. It was indeed Lin Tam Tianxin Cheng. He was the mastermind behind the fraud against the ancient forces. Capture Lin Tam. Princess Nanfeng ordered the attack on Lin Tam, not Qin Feng. But Lin Tam. Lin Tam was completely confused. Why did I get involved just by sitting here eating? Don't worry, Brother Lin. I'll help you. Qin Feng shouted loudly. His aura exploded, and a sharp sword energy quickly gathered. A dazzling sword light suddenly appeared, making the air cold. Both Lin Tam and Qin Feng felt embarrassed. When Qin Feng was in danger, he only thought about sitting and watching the show. But when he was in danger, Qin Feng forgot about his previous help. Having you is truly a blessing for me. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the Son of Heaven's Chosen. You have received 50,000 villain points. Thank you, Brother Chin, but this is my business. Let me handle it. Lin Tom stepped forward, and a surging aura emanated from him. The sound of breaking wind filled the air, and countless sword energies, carrying a sense of softness, shot out, tearing through the space. Take it easy, Brother Lin. Qin Feng sat down to watch the show. Meanwhile, Yu Rong continued to sit and eat the food on the table. With such a large pair of grapefruits, she needed a lot of nutrients. As the person who understood Lin Tam the most, Qin Feng realized that among them, only the old man beside Princess Nanfeng could defeat Lin Tam. The soft sword in his hand twisted like a snake, drawing countless sword illusions that headed straight for Lin Tam's two arms, aiming to cut them off. Lin Tam's face turned solemn, and the sword in his hand burst into a brilliant light. His sword clashed with his opponents, and the sound of metal clashing reverberated throughout the inn. The violent sword energy swept through the inn like a storm. This is really bullying the innocent. The innkeeper burst into tears, feeling cheated. My inn. Qin Feng hurriedly pulled the crying innkeeper and Yu Rong, who was running away, and escaped from the inn. Then Qin Feng looked at Yu Rong with great sarcasm. Yu Rong blushed and muttered, so he still likes weak girls like me. Maybe he'll talk to me and kiss me. Should I agree? At this moment, the entire inn collapsed under the destruction of the two sides. Everyone rushed out into the street. Seeing that there was a fight, a curious crowd quickly gathered around. He's really a warrior who is wanted throughout the ancient wilderness. He's only at the Tao initiation realm, but he can fight on par with a nascent soul. If Lin Tam reaches the nascent soul realm, he'll probably be able to kill nascent souls like dogs. Princess Nanfeng's face turned solemn, and she finally remembered who Lin Tam was. Be careful, he has comprehended the righteous Qi. Princess Nanfeng hurriedly warned. She didn't dare to underestimate Qin Feng and Lin Tam. Both of them were rare warriors, and even though they were only at the Tao initiation realm, they couldn't be treated like ordinary people. A violent storm of spiritual energy erupted, and the sword emitted a dazzling light that tore through the sky. He did not choose to die, but took the initiative to attack. Sharp sword energy burst forth, and together with the thrust of the sword, it enveloped the entire street with a righteous aura of justice, as if heaven itself was dispensing justice. Enough of this nonsense. It's my turn to make a move. The old man beside Princess Nanfeng whispered and extended two pale fingers to block Lin Tam's sword strike. The sound of metal clashing reverberated through the sky, but the old man's wrinkled fingers were unscathed and even clamped down on Lin Tam's sword. Lin Tam's expression changed as he sensed the terrifying power of his opponent. Unlike the old man that he and Qin Feng had faced before, both of whom were at the Fu realm, this old man was clearly much stronger than the previous one. His frail appearance and beardless face suggested that he was a eunuch from the great Xia Imperial Palace. At this moment, Qin Feng had successfully combined the martial ultimate sword, invincible sword heart, natural law pearl force, and the first form of the divine body of heaven. All buffs, everyone was shocked 
terrified by Qin Feng's madness. They had spent their entire lives begging for a single buff, while Qin Feng easily possessed so many. Why was the gap between them so great, even though they were both experiencing being human for the first time? Heavenly Slaying Eightfold Sword Technique Qin Feng quickly drew the sky-piercing divine sword and disappeared from sight. His target was not the old eunuch at the eighth layer of the realm, but the nascent soul guards beside Princess Nanfeng. All of their attention was focused on Lin Tam, so no one noticed him. Oh no, the guards panicked. They had not expected Qin Feng to attack them. Sword light flashed, and a series of miserable cries rang out behind Qin Feng. Everyone swallowed hard, feeling a chill run down their spines. They really didn't understand why Qin Feng was so ruthless. A single sword strike had killed dozens of them. Congratulations to the host for severing their lifelines and receiving 1,000 villain points. I didn't expect you to be so shameless. Princess Nanfeng was so angry that her chest heaved. After all these years, you're still as ill-tempered as ever. Princess Nanfeng's face turned red with anger, and she gritted her teeth at Qin Feng. If looks could kill, Qin Feng would have died a thousand times over. Boom! The old eunuch beside the princess suddenly unleashed a terrifying aura. The two fingers that had been holding Lin Tam's sword let go and then flicked the blade with lightning speed. The flick produced a loud bang, and a terrifying force spread out from the blade, creating ripples on the street. Lin Tam was caught off guard, and he spat out a mouthful of blood and flew backward dozens of meters before coming to a stop. Brother Chin, are you helping me or challenging me? Lin Tam smiled. It was clear that Chin Feng could have assassinated them from the start, but instead he had only severed their lifelines. Congratulations to the host for successfully helping the Chosen One challenge and receiving 100,000 villain points. Of course I'm helping you, Chin Feng replied, his eyes filled with sincerity. At this moment, the old eunuch unleashed an unparalleled aura and charged straight at Qin Feng. He curled his fingers, creating a deadly suction force. A sharp aura surrounded his fingers, creating a piercing pressure that could penetrate anything. But Qin Feng suddenly disappeared. He widened his eyes. Where did that guy go? You shameless bastard. The old eunuch couldn't help but curse. He sensed that Qin Feng had appeared behind him. The old eunuch's eyes widened in horror, and he felt a chill run down his spine. Not giving him a chance to react, Qin Feng wielded the sky-piercing divine sword, which emitted a dazzling light, carrying with it the will to destroy the heavens and the earth, and charged forward like a bolt of lightning, tearing through space. The old eunuch's voice rang out, and he hurriedly summoned an energy shield to envelop himself. But the sword light was still unable to penetrate it. The energy shield of a cultivator at the realm was indeed not easy to break. But it was time to end this. The sky-piercing divine sword spun rapidly, concentrating its power at a single point and piercing through the energy shield. A deafening explosion reverberated through the area, and the dispersed energy sent the surrounding houses flying. Why do these men like to fight so much? Yurong hid in a corner, terrified. The surrounding people gasped, their eyes wide with shock as the dust settled. The old eunuch was disheveled and looked extremely miserable. Sensing his injuries, the old eunuch let out a maddened roar. A terrifying energy began to surge from within him. Suddenly, Little White took advantage of the moment when the old eunuch's attention was focused on Chin Fang. Little White snuck up beside the old eunuch and jumped up to deliver a critical kick to him. At the same time, it stuck tape over his mouth so that he couldn't scream, interrupting it. Little White also grabbed onto the old eunuch's belt so that as long as he still had some dignity, he wouldn't attack it. The old eunuch fumed, but the terrifying aura around him gradually dissipated. Everyone, listen up. Little White's voice rang out. The bunny has kidnapped Lin Tam. With that, it gave a flick, and Lin Tam, who was tied up like a roasted pig, fell to the ground. Everyone gasped when they saw Lin Tam lying helpless on the ground, with Little White stepping on his face. Cough, cough. Little White let out a villainous chuckle. Princess Nanfeng, you don't want Lin Tam to die, do you? Brother Chin, what's going on? Lin Tam was completely confused as Little White trampled on him. He still didn't understand what was happening. I don't know that rabbit. Chin Feng turned away, refusing to acknowledge the rabbit. This is my last warning. Put down your weapons, or the bunny can't guarantee the safety of the hostage. Little White threatened and continued to stomp on Lin Tam. Everyone around was baffled by what they were seeing. Kidnapping a teammate, threatening the opponent. What kind of nonsense is this? 
Princess Nanfeng said coldly. You have no fighting spirit left. We have the absolute advantage. Do you think you can threaten us? Little White held a knife to Lin Tam's neck. You dare lecture me? And then it slashed the knife across Lin Tam's neck. Oh my god, it actually did it. Lin Tam only felt a burning pain in his neck, and his eyes widened in disbelief. Slap. Little White slapped Lin Tam hard. What are you looking at? Never seen a professional robber before. The crowd shivered and retreated even further away. Feeling the chill in his pants, the old eunuch froze. After all these years of keeping his secret, it had finally been exposed. This world was truly cold. He decided that he would be reborn in another world. Lin Tam lay on the ground, crying his eyes out. He never would have thought that the rabbit was even crazier than Qin Feng, and he had no choice but to accept the fact that he had been kidnapped by a rabbit. Princess Nanfeng quickly tried to stop it. She realized that Little White was truly a professional. At present, Lin Tam held 80% of the immortal crystals. Whoever obtained that amount and turned them into benefits would receive an immense amount of power. On the other hand, if anything happened to Lin Tam, and he lost 80% of the immortal crystals, the consequences would be severe. Princess Nanfeng sighed and asked in a low voice, What do you want in exchange for releasing Lin Tam? Confident in its hostage situation, Little White said arrogantly, Without 10,000 top-grade spirit stones, I won't release him. 10,000 top-grade spirit stones. The crowd gasped in shock. Everyone looked at Little White as if it were crazy, unable to believe that it had kidnapped a teammate and then demanded 10,000 top-grade spirit stones from the princess. Princess Nanfeng was afraid that things would become more dangerous if she delayed, so she agreed without hesitation. Compared to 80% of the ancient immortal crystals, 10,000 top-grade spirit stones were nothing. Furthermore, Lin Tam possessed many secret manuals, so she had to get him back quickly. The crowd was stunned when the princess actually agreed to pay 10,000 top-grade spirit stones to redeem a teammate from the enemy side. But then the princess said, At the moment, I don't have that many spirit stones. I only have a precious sea trading pearl. A sea trading pearl? The crowd buzzed with excitement. The pearl in the princess's hand was as big as a baby's fist, and it shone with a dazzling light. I agree. Little White's eyes lit up, and without hesitation, it sold out Lin Tam immediately. Congratulations to the host for betraying the Son of Destiny and receiving 200,000 villain points. Princess Nanfeng didn't waste any time and threw the sea trading pearl into the air. Little White stepped on Lin Tam's face and kicked hard, kicking Lin Tam towards the princess. Then it jumped high into the air, preparing to catch the pearl. Rabbits are still rabbits, always greedy for sweets. Princess Nanfeng smiled smugly. She had no intention of trading with Little White. She admitted that it had threatened her at the time, but given the weak state of Qin Feng and Lin Tam, could it really have taken the sea trading pearl and gotten away? The old eunuch, who had somehow obtained a belt, immediately understood what was going on and released all of his energy. Die! However, the old eunuch's attention was completely focused on Little White, and he didn't notice Qin Feng. Seeing his chance, Qin Feng crept up behind the old eunuch as he felt his spiritual power returning. But suddenly, Little White appeared in front of the princess and used its tiny foot to kick her hard in the chest. Little White's eyes remained unchanged, and it quickly dug out the sea trading pearl. From the moment it appeared in front of the princess to the moment it took the pearl, it all happened in the blink of an eye. Before the princess could react, Little White took advantage of the elasticity of her chest and jumped far out of her reach. As soon as it hit the ground, it dug a hole and burrowed into it, escaping quickly and without hesitation. At this moment, Qin Feng's brilliant sword light also stabbed the old eunuch, accompanied by a deafening explosion. The sword energy ravaged the city once again, causing the terrified citizens to flee the city. It was as if immortals were fighting, and mortals were suffering the consequences. Who would dare to cause trouble here? Hundreds of figures flew out from all over the city, searching for the culprit who had released the sword energy. At this moment, the city lord, who was in seclusion, suddenly woke up. Who dares to cause chaos in my city? No matter who you are, you will pay the price. I have been the lord of this city for a long time, and it has never been ravaged like this before. Not long after, everything gradually returned to normal. When the dust settled, the old eunuch was revealed in a sorry state. But unlike last time, his strength was now much weaker. It's a pity, such a pity. The old eunuch looked at the devastation around him and laughed out loud. If you had reached the seventh level of the great perfection realm, this old man would not have survived your first sword of the heavenly gate. Come on, attack this old man. 
attack. Faced with this strange request, Qin Feng could only shake his head. He took out tens of thousands of immortal crystals from his space bag. What are you going to do? Bribe me with tens of thousands of immortal crystals. Is that enough? Suddenly, Qin Feng sucked in the energy from the immortal crystals, absorbing the spiritual energy from the immortal crystals and condensing it into spiritual power. His aura began to rise steadily. Although the spiritual energy in the immortal crystals was very pure and easy to absorb, absorbing tens of thousands of immortal crystals at once, wouldn't he be afraid of exploding? Boom. In just a moment, tens of thousands of immortal crystals were sucked dry, turning into dust. From within Qin Feng's body came a sound like the unlocking of wisdom. His aura was like a river bursting its banks, reaching the seventh level of the Tao initiation realm. He called the system to exchange for a foundation establishment pill. Congratulations to the host for exchanging 600,000 villain points for a Tao initiation realm foundation establishment pill. After taking the foundation establishment pill, Qin Feng's foundation was immediately solidified, and his speed of absorbing immortal crystals was even faster. Princess Nanfeng was completely desperate. Kill Qin Feng quickly. She called the old eunuch to act quickly. A terrifying aura like a tidal wave erupted from the old man, transforming into a black shadow that charged towards Qin Feng. Unexpectedly, the old eunuch was pushed to the ground by a hand. His internal organs were crushed instantly, spitting out a pool of blood. He had already been seriously injured, and now he was injured again, his aura growing weaker and weaker, like a lamp about to go out. A seductive laugh rang out. Who dares to harm my master? A young woman in a red dress appeared, wearing red embroidered shoes. She gently stepped on the old eunuch, seemingly deliberately showing off her slender legs. The old man turned around in shock to see a beautiful girl in a red dress with a graceful and charming smile. Who dares to obstruct the great Xi'a imperial dynasty? The old man raised his voice, hoping to intimidate the other party. Qin Feng and the army of thousands were stunned. If they hadn't sensed the mark of the immortal slave, they wouldn't have believed that this was the myriad transformations demon lord. Before he exuded a cold aura, but now he was feminine, similar to the aura of the old eunuch. It's the myriad transformations demon lord. The two of them opened their eyes wide, scanning him up and down. The heavenly soldiers couldn't help but swallow their saliva. Just his figure and face could make men grit their teeth and endure it. Dong Fang knelt down and bowed respectfully to Qin Feng. Apart from the irresistible respect, she was also extremely grateful to Qin Feng for giving her a chance to be reborn. Originally, with Dong Fang's aptitude, reaching the great emperor realm was still a long way off, let alone surpassing the profound immortal realm. Princess Nanfeng realized in despair that she had failed completely. With her right-hand man, the old eunuch, who was seriously injured at the eighth level of the life and death realm, how could she be a match for him? The old eunuch was shocked and hurriedly shielded the princess. Princess, be careful. She's a profound immortal expert. Qin Feng glanced at her, not knowing whether to congratulate Miss Dong Fang on changing her name. But now was not the time to talk about that. He would wait until they returned to the green bamboo peak to hear her story in more detail. At this moment, the army of thousands rushed over to serve Miss Dong Fang. Miss, take it slow. Qin Feng looked at the three people interacting harmoniously and felt a little out of place. The sound of the wind whistled as hundreds of figures figures descended. Leading them was the city lord who had brought his troops to arrest the troublemakers. Among them were many nascent soul and life and death realm experts, and the city lord himself was a profound immortal realm expert. I am Princess Nanfeng of the great Xia imperial dynasty. The city lord was startled and hurriedly bowed to the princess. Although this city did not belong to the great Xia or the Yin Moon, but with the influence of the great Xia, a small city lord at the profound immortal realm like me could not afford to ignore it. Qin Feng followed suit. I am the emperor of the great Xia. Why don't you bow to me? The crowd couldn't help but gasp. Their eyes were still working fine. How could the great Xia emperor only be at the seventh level of the Tao initiation realm and still be chased by Princess Nanfeng? Hearing this, the city lord was stunned. What the hell? Is this young man crazy? Daring to impersonate the great Xia emperor. Isn't he afraid of death? Qin Feng said seriously. What do you mean? Do you suspect that I am lying? If you don't believe me, just ask Princess Nanfeng if she has ever called me father. Everyone looked meaningfully at Princess Nanfeng, curious to know if that was the kind of address she used. 
The city lord stepped forward to mediate. May I ask who you are, esteemed guest? Why are you causing chaos in my city? If you don't give me a good reason, I will execute you on the spot. Feng shouted, Injustice! I was just resting in the inn and kindly treated Princess Nanfeng to a chicken. Who would have thought that she would attack me for no reason? I was completely acting in self-defense. I can attest that what the young man said is true. The innkeeper stepped forward to accuse Princess Nanfeng of destroying his inn. After the innkeeper finished speaking, Qin Feng stood up and condemned Princess Nanfeng in a self-righteous manner. The eyes of the people were shining brightly. Princess Nanfeng, you can't escape today. Princess Nanfeng gritted her teeth in anger. Qin Feng, don't cause trouble. I will not let you go today. Then she turned to the city lord for help. Please help me. After a moment of contemplation, the city lord decided to help. Receiving the order, the nascent soul and life and death realm experts drew their weapons and charged towards Qin Feng. Your opponent is me. Miss Dongfang was not afraid of the overwhelming force. A terrifying aura erupted from her body, tearing the sky and creating ripples that stirred the space. The thunderous roar made it difficult for people to breathe. In the eyes of the myriad transformations demon lord, a fierce killing intent appeared. Her small and delicate hands gently pointed out, and countless beams of light pierced through the space, upsetting the sky. Pools of fresh blood blossomed in midair. The beams of light inadvertently pierced through the bodies of the nascent soul experts, causing their bodies to fall like snow. In just a blink of an eye, hundreds of people died like flies. Instead of continuing to kill the nascent soul experts, Miss Dongfang charged straight at the city lord. Only by killing the city lord could she completely resolve the situation. The terrifying aura of the profound immortal realm was revealed, spreading like a spider's web throughout the land. The space was torn apart and twisted, seeming like it would collapse at any moment. Seeing this, the city lord's expression changed, and he hurriedly raised his hand to strike. Boom! The two sides clashed briefly to test each other's strength. The energy surged like a storm, covering an area of 10,000 square meters. The city lord's face was solemn, sensing a sense of familiarity from his opponent. The space reverberated with thunder that seemed deafening. The shockwaves wreaked havoc like a storm. Is this a battle between two profound immortal realm experts? Everyone hurriedly turned to look. The two sides were engaged in a fierce battle, each collision sending out terrifying ripples, the space trembling as if it was about to collapse. The two sides continued to clash and then retreated a short distance. The city Lord asked hesitantly, Finally, I recognize the aura of the myriad transformations demon lord. Damn it, you still recognize me. Miss Dongfang gritted her teeth, glancing at him with a venomous look. That's right, I am the myriad transformations demon lord. Now my name is Dongfang Ya. Qin Feng and Lin San were also preparing to attack. The two of them then didn't need words. Just a glance was enough to understand each other's intentions. Knowing who would take the initiative and who would support, the wind tore through the sky, and the sword energy surged like a tidal wave, resounding everywhere. The two of them almost simultaneously released two golden sword beams. The terrifying energy caused the heavens and the earth to tremble violently. Boom! Qin Feng and Lin San attacked together, aiming straight at the old eunuch. Two swords merged, unleashing the heavenly sun purple pupil technique. The old eunuch hurriedly put up a defense. Destructive ripples like a storm engulfed the heavens and the earth. The terrifying power far exceeded the sum of its parts. Run! As Princess Nanfeng panicked, Qin Feng and Lin San charged straight towards her under the astonished gaze of the old eunuch. Princess, be careful! The old eunuch rushed forward to shield the princess, using all his strength to resist. With his life and death realm cultivation, he could see through Qin Feng's sword move. If he could kill him, that would be great. But if he let him escape, there would never be peace in the future. The two swords merged. Qin Feng and Lin San were like angels of justice, carrying earth-shattering sword beams as they struck the old eunuch. The sound of swords filled the sky, the terrifying shockwaves enveloped everything, and the entire city was blown away like the frosting on a cake being scraped off, leaving only bare land behind. After an unknown amount of time, the sword storm stopped. Princess Nanfeng hurriedly checked the old eunuch's injuries, only to find that he was dead. After being assassinated twice by Qin Feng, and then taking a direct hit from the combined sword attack, the fact that he was still able to protect the princess in such a critical condition was nothing short of a miracle. Silence fell over the area, broken only by the heavy breathing of Qin Feng and Lin San. Congratulations, master. You have successfully schemed against the Son of Heaven, causing his lifespan to rapidly deplete. You have received one million villain points. Lin San smiled bitterly. He still didn't understand why he had to fight. 
Chin Feng encouraged him from the side. Brother Lin, don't be pessimistic. We can use the Twin Swords Union. We are invincible in the world. If we can't do it once, we'll do it twice. If we can't do it twice, we'll do it three times. If we can't do it three times, we'll do it four times. Lin San just wanted to punch him. At this moment, several powerful auras began to appear around them. They were all attracted by the terrifying power of the Twin Swords Union. Those were two extremely powerful sword energies. They must have been created by two swordsmanship masters working together. Not swordsmanship masters, but two Tao integration experts, one at the fourth level and the other at the eighth level. They all coveted the legendary treasures in Lin San's hands. Swallowing it would not only increase their own strength, but also elevate the status of their clan or sect in the ancient era. Surpassing the great Xia and establishing the number one empire in the ancient era was not impossible. Brother Lin, don't worry, I will protect you. Qin Feng held the skyless divine sword, standing in front of Lin San, showing his determination to protect him. Not far away, two groups of people were hiding. One group was a group of swordsmen, led by the young master of the famous sword villa, Yi Jian. The other group was the people of the Yan Yun Great Desert, led by the leader of the Yan Yun Great Desert, Mo Dao. They were attracted by the loud noise just now, but they hadn't had time to gather their troops, so they could only hide and observe. Yi Jian couldn't help but be shocked. He remembered how Qin Feng had cut off his little brother, and his self-confidence began to waver. He had to give himself a pep talk. I can do it. I can definitely defeat him. Mo Dao and the others said seriously, Brother Chin is so amazing. Tian Tian's eyes sparkled with hearts, looking at Qin Feng through a filter of admiration. He's so strong. Why would he need my help? Mo Dao sighed sadly. Are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Tian Tian teased. Mo Dao turned away awkwardly, no longer paying attention. Suddenly, they heard a small sound of movement. Everyone's hair stood on end as they heard the sound of a fast-moving object cutting through the air. Mo Dao quickly glanced around. He saw a man appear in the distance. It was the Seven Star Scattered Shot, the legendary golden arrow. Everyone turned their heads to look into the distance. A handsome young man was holding a dragon bone bow and a quiver of arrows on his back. A disciple of the famous sword villa asked curiously, the golden arrow, why are those rogue cultivators so excited? Yi Jian looked at Bai Ri in disbelief, unable to believe that he had become the golden arrow. He had also heard about Bai Ri's situation. Not only had he been expelled from the Bai family, but his cultivation technique had also been destroyed. By all rights, Bai Ri should have given up. So how could he have had such good fortune? Princess Nanfeng also wondered anxiously why a golden arrow had suddenly appeared, completely upsetting her favorable situation. If she had known earlier, she would have reported it to her father, instead of being greedy and doing such risky things. Now, even if she wanted to retreat, it would be difficult. Meanwhile, Bairi's eyes were as cold as ice as he looked at Princess Nanfeng. Chin Feng hurriedly stopped Bairi. Don't kill her yet. Can't you see that I'm having fun with her? He walked up to Bairi, and everyone thought they were going to have a private conversation. Unexpectedly, Chin Feng said loudly, Let me tell you, she's very cute. As he finished speaking, Chin Feng glanced at Princess Nanfeng with a meaningful look. Seeing this shameless villain's actions, the princess wanted to tear him apart. Suddenly, a loud explosion rang out and a shockwave surged out. The main city was knocked to the ground by Miss Dongfang. The terrifying energy caused the ground to shake violently and ferocious cracks spread out. The city lord felt a sweetness in his throat and coughed up a mouthful of blood. Looking at Miss Dongfang pressing down on him, the city lord couldn't help but ask loudly, why are you suddenly so strong? With your aptitude, how could you possibly reach the profound wonder realm? The city lord couldn't understand why the Hundred Transformations demon lord had suddenly become so powerful. Miss Dongfang smiled charmingly. Of course, it's thanks to my master. He allowed me to enter the legendary Six-Way Earth King Pill, which helped me change my fate, change my aptitude, and reach the profound wonder realm. As for the city lord, you are running out of time, and the only way to increase your strength is to burn your lifespan. A terrifying aura of the profound wonder realm erupted. The ground spread out like a spider's web. City Lord struck out with a palm, forcing Miss Dongfang to retreat. Don't think you can trifle with me. You'll soon know my true strength. Miss Dongfang smiled, not taking the City Lord's burning of his lifespan seriously. Another loud explosion rang out. The space was filled with bloody blue chrysanthemums. Azure Demoness, everyone exclaimed, recognizing the familiar technique. Legend has it that tens of thousands of years ago, there was a demoness with the body of a man 
and the heart of a woman with an exquisite appearance and an imposing manner who dominated many sects. Every time she made a move, her spiritual power would transform into blue chrysanthemums, which is why she was known as the Azure Demoness. The city lord opened his eyes wide and collapsed to the ground. Miss Dongfeng had inherited the legacy of the Azure Demoness. Miss Dongfeng smiled charmingly. You guessed it right, I did indeed inherit the legacy of the Azure Demoness. Furthermore, she has upgraded the Azure Chrysanthemum to a higher level, turning it into the Crimson Chrysanthemum, which shows that I have a chance of reaching the position of great emperor. The chance to become a great emperor. Everyone was amazed. It turned out that the Six-Way Earth King was not a rumor, but Miss Dongfang's expression suddenly changed. The sky darkened, and a series of crimson chrysanthemums swelled up, shooting out laser-like beams that swept away the city lord's underlings. The city lord himself was the main target, and dozens of beams of light pierced straight through his body. A terrifying energy surged, causing the entire space to tremble violently. The city lord spat out blood and was knocked to the ground. The city lord struggled to his feet and asked, who is the owner of the Six-Way Earth King? Miss Dongfang licked her lips, seeming to recall the taste of something. Why should I tell you? Not far away, Yi Jian suddenly asked loudly. Did Qin Feng tell me that Fang Chang has the body of the Six-Way Earth King? I thought he was talking nonsense before. But it's not easy to get the position of Earth King. How did you know? Miss Dongfang inadvertently revealed a flaw. She hurriedly covered her mouth and said softly, No, the person with the Six-Way Earth King is not Fang Chang, and I'm not forcing anyone. But her eyes flickered, clearly lying. So it's Fang Chang. Everyone was completely surprised. Qin Feng didn't lie to me. Yi Jian stared at Qin Feng, regretting that he hadn't believed him. If you had believed me earlier, we could have taken Fang Chang back to the famous Sword Villa and added five more great emperors to the sect. Throughout the history of the ancient wilderness, whoever had the honor of being the Six-Way Earth King, Fang Chang, congratulations to the host for continuing to design traps to harm the Son of Heaven, making the other party's situation more dangerous, and receiving two million villain points. The corner of Qin Feng's eye twitched. He felt that this time the villain points were a bit unfair, because he hadn't said anything or even shown any attitude, but had simply let everyone reveal Fang Chang's secret on their own. Congratulations to the host for repeatedly harming the Son of Heaven, causing the other party's halo to drop to legend, and receiving a chance to draw a lottery. That's right, I did it. I specialize in digging pits for the Son of Heaven. Qin Feng suddenly admitted solemnly. Russell. Qin Feng couldn't bear to spend the night with the lottery chance, and immediately called the system to open the lottery wheel. Familiar, the roulette wheel began to spin again. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super god level sword art, Heavenly Beyond Immortal, increasing real combat power. Another sword? Qin Feng was petrified. He didn't understand why he had such a fate with swords, but his swordsmanship was already good enough. A gentle breeze blew across the ancient wilderness, carrying Qin Feng's clothes and hair. A melodious humming voice rang out, as if it had a strange magic power, heavenly beyond immortal. One sword breaks seven stars. At that moment, a huge amount of information flooded into Qin Feng's brain. He suddenly felt darkness and lost consciousness. When he woke up, he found himself in a completely different place. Qin Feng was in a world of white snow and ice. The snow-capped mountains were as white as jade towers piercing the sky. Like a jade dragon, it gracefully soared through the azure sky, coiling over the beautiful land. It was a beauty that could not be described in words. At this moment, a young man in white clothes appeared, his aura heroic and imposing. He drew his sword, his clothes fluttering, the sound of the sword sharp and clear, carrying a loneliness and desolation that made people's hearts heavy. It seemed that the whole world froze in that moment. A sudden sword strike, unexpected, as brilliant as a shooting star, as graceful as a flying dragon, gorgeous but not cumbersome, graceful but not lacking in majesty. His figure in the sky was like an immortal descending to the mortal world. With a swing of the sword, feathers flew, the clouds drifted away, and the figure of the swordsman was deeply imprinted in Qin Feng's mind, making him unable to look away. Too beautiful. Qin Feng could only think about the swordsman's appearance. He immediately called the system to exchange for the great perfection. Strength and weakness are matters for the system, but beauty and ugliness are matters of a lifetime. Congratulations to the host for spending two million villain points to exchange for super god level great perfection. Congratulations to the host for using the super god level card. Heavenly Beyond Immortal has reached great perfection. Sword energy erupted violently. Qin Feng. 
How can you be so talented? Lin San's eyes were filled with shock and amazement. When Lin San was still complacent with his one sword breaks 10,000, Qin Feng had already comprehended his own swordsmanship. One sword opens the heaven's gate. When Lin San thought that after using one sword breaks 10,000 a few times and then went into seclusion to cultivate, he would have his own swordsmanship. Qin Feng had already mastered another sword technique that was on par with the super god level one sword opens the heaven's gate. Two swords Sword techniques were completely different in style but of the same level, and their lethality was terrifying. Could it be that Lin San could only resign himself to being beneath Qin Feng, with no hope of fighting back? Congratulations to the host for crushing the self-confidence of the Son of Heaven and receiving 200,000 villain points. Lin San has increased the price? Qin Feng's eyes lit up. It used to be 100,000 points each time, but now it has jumped to 200,000 points. It seems that Lin San is about to give up and will kneel down and beg for mercy. Brother Lin, don't be discouraged. Comprehension is just a matter of time. Merge with me again, and I will let you experience a different Qin Feng. Do you think everyone is as perverted as you? It's unbearable. Lin San couldn't help but glare at Qin Feng, crying out for mercy in his heart. Tian Tian glared at Mo Dao uncomfortably. Her brother had come to collect the debt from Lin San, but now he only dared to hide aside and watch the show. Meanwhile, Qin Feng had been fighting all the way and had not lost a single battle. Compared to Qin Feng, Mo Dao was really just a useless person. You said I'm useless? As a man with a high self-esteem, Mo Dao couldn't bear to have his sister say that about him. He roared and was ready to rush forward and kill Lin San to prove his ability. His two subordinates hurriedly held him down. Now those monsters had arrived, while their companions had not yet come to their aid. To go out and fight for Lin San is suicide. Moreover, compared to Qin Feng, Mo Dao really is like a useless person. At this moment, the sound of swords resounded everywhere. Everyone's sword energy began to vibrate slightly. It was the seven great sword slaves of the famous sword villa who had appeared. Everyone exclaimed in shock as they saw seven sword lights tearing through the sky. Even from a distance, they could feel the sharp aura of the seven great sword slaves. One sword's face was solemn. The seven sword slaves are here. Have you heard of the seven great sword slaves, the elite force of the famous sword villa, who are the reason why the sect has been able to survive in the ancient wilderness? According to the feeling from the sword energy, they have they have probably reached the ninth level of sword intent, just one step away from having a sword domain. Just after the seven great sword slaves appeared, there suddenly came a series of earth-shattering roars, causing the entire space to tremble violently. It was the 18 cavalry of the Yan Yun tribe who had appeared. The 18 cavalry of the Yan Yun tribe were equivalent to the 13 guardians of the Qin tribe. They were all the great generals under the command of the leader of each generation and the mainstay of the clan. It is said that each member of the 18 cavalry has tamed a great demon-level beast as a mount, and when the 18 of them are dispatched together, even the great Shia has to be alarmed. I wonder how many members of the 18 cavalry the Yanyun tribe has sent this time. Everyone looked up curiously. They saw 18 giant creatures blocking the sky, each with a person riding on its head. Mo Dao was overjoyed, transformed from a clown into a big brother, and now he could not only collect the debt from Lin San, but also also forced Qin Feng to rub the ground. Mo Dao glared at Qin Feng, knowing Qin Feng's character very well. If Qin Feng didn't do anything, it wouldn't be Qin Feng. Judging from everyone's realm, it was safer to be with Qin Feng than to hide in a pit. So cool. Qin Feng looked at Xiao Bai's majestic appearance with envy and then glanced at his own useless rabbit. His mood was very complicated. Why do others have such majestic mounts while I have such a shameless one? Why do I feel like they're charging towards me? Lin San's hair stood on end feeling that he was in danger. They are indeed charging towards you. Chao Bai said directly, What? They're really charging towards me? Lin San was stunned on the spot, not understanding why they were targeting him. Before, Princess Nanfeng had also seen him and her eyes had lit up, hating that she couldn't separate him from Qin Feng. Fortunately, Qin Feng didn't abandon him, so he escaped from her hands. But he was just an ordinary resident of Tianxin City, without a single item on his body. He didn't understand why everyone was rushing to find him. Don't tell me that he's so talented that they want to recruit him. Don't be silly. There are many talented people. But compared to the vast number of ancient races, the number of talented people is not small. There is absolutely no need to target him in particular. In fact, some forces even look down on his talent. That's right, they're here for you. 
Qin Feng immediately got into character, his expression as serious as it had been at the Fragrance and Color Sea in the Kunlun secret realm, when he had discovered the immortal spirit mine and attracted the ancient forces to come and exploit it. In the end, he had been trapped and not only lost the mine, but also all the treasures he had found. But what does that have to do with me? Lin San was about to defend himself, but suddenly he was startled and said, Why did you say that? Don't tell me they suspect that I'm the culprit. Of course I know that you didn't do it. Qin Feng continued to act, but they insisted that they saw your face and your belongings. Lin San hurriedly defended himself. How could they slander me like this? It's really unacceptable. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the chosen one's feelings, receiving 100,000 villain points. Qin Feng continued to act, saying that it was because he knew that they had bad intentions towards Lin San that he had been following him closely all this way. I just want to protect you so that you know that you are not fighting alone. Even if the whole world is against you, I will still protect you secretly. Lin San couldn't hold back his tears any longer. From the healing incident seven years ago to being hunted down by Tianxin City because of the immortal spirit mine and now becoming the enemy of the entire ancient wilderness, Qin Feng's faith in him had never wavered. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the chosen one's most sincere feelings, receiving 200,000 villain points. Just understand this. Qin Feng suddenly drew his divine sword of the void and put it to Lin San's neck and shouted for all to hear. If you want Lin San, then do as I say, but you must agree to three. No, four conditions of mine, or don't blame me for changing my mind. Lin San was stunned. He didn't understand why he had become a hostage. Where had their deep brotherhood gone? Why had he sold him out in an instant? Qin Feng put forward four conditions. First, prepare five million top-grade spirit stones for me. Second, prepare 5,000 sets of divine-grade cultivation methods for me. Third, prepare 5,000 immortal spirit treasures for me. Fourth, prepare 5,000 beautiful women who have been married for me. Yi Jian's eyelid twitched. My God, if they had those things, they would have gathered their troops and conquered the world long ago. Why would they need to rob Lin San? 5,000 married beauties. Tian Tian tilted her head, not understanding why Qin Feng needed married women. Mo Dao's face remained calm. Qin Feng, the men of the desert value loyalty. For Lin San, you dare to face the whole world. We will cooperate. You alone cannot protect Lin San. Now no one can protect him unless you pay those immortal spirits. Without waiting for Lin San to defend himself, Qin Feng spoke up for him as if he had never doubted him from the beginning. Lin San was so moved that he shed tears. To have such a brother in his life, there was really nothing to regret. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the chosen one's most sincere feelings, receiving an additional 200,000 villain points. Just then, Qin Feng suddenly felt goosebumps all over his body, and a chill ran down his spine. He knew that something was wrong, and Qin Feng quickly rolled away to avoid it. But he only saw a young man in white appear behind him, who didn't care about his background or talent. With a wave of his hand, he sent a terrifying surge of energy into Qin Feng's waist, sending him flying away. Lin San didn't even have time to react before he was grabbed by the neck and lifted off the ground. Dongfang Xiaoxiao and Bai Ri broke out in a cold sweat. Not only had they not detected the enemy, but they hadn't even had time to react. But seeing Qin Feng being sent flying, the two of them were filled with anger, but their opponent only released a small amount of energy, and the two of them didn't even touch a hair on his head, but were pushed back by the terrifying force. Qin Feng coughed up blood and struggled to get up from the ground. Qin Feng checked his clothes and saw that the dragon scale armor inside, which could withstand the full force of a single blow from the end, had been shattered. This meant that the opponent's blow had been aimed at his life. If it hadn't been for the dragon scale armor and the fact that he had cultivated the ultimate creation before, the blow just now would not only have caused him to vomit blood, but would have taken his life. The other party looked at Qin Feng and was also surprised. He clearly hadn't expected Qin Feng to be able to withstand one of his moves. Qin Feng slowly stood up, his eyes narrowed, and his gaze filled with endless coldness. I didn't expect Senior Tianxu to be so ruthless. Tianxu's eyes were filled with killing intent, and he appeared in front of Qin Feng, clearly intending to eliminate the future trouble. The energy of heaven and earth surged and poured into Tianxu's body. He raised his hand and slammed it down on Qin Feng. Qin Feng spat out blood and laughed maniacally. Big Brother Feng, be careful, Tianxin shouted in panic, but it was too late to stop him. Boom, 
a figure suddenly appeared, blocking Qin Feng. He collided with Tian Xu, and energy surged in waves. Tian Xu exclaimed when he realized who it was that had blocked him. He was one of the four ancient sages like Tian Xu. Senior D2, I never expected to meet you here. Qin Feng was very surprised. He had thought of the moon god, the sixth Tao emperor, and even the blue demon, but he had never thought that D2 would be the first to appear. What happened just now? Both D2 and Tian Xu looked serious. In the seal, they seemed to sense a dark aura, like a monster that was sealed in the endless darkness, about to break the seal. Qin Feng quickly smiled to cover it up. Just then, a deafening bell rang out from within Lin San terrifying energy poured down from the sky like a silver waterfall, surging and overflowing. D2 was shocked and let go of Lin San's neck. Lin San immediately retreated to separate himself from him. Do you have another trump card? Qin Feng's eyes twitched, and he cried out in his heart. After so many battles, Lin San still had a hidden card. The Chosen One really didn't play fair. Luckily, he hadn't used the red hair card yet. Otherwise, he would have been completely deceived by Lin San. Where do you think you're going? Tian Xu's eyes flashed with a cold light, and he reached out to grab Lin San. 80% of the secret of the immortal crystals was within his reach, and there was no way he would let Lin San escape. The scene changed, and an old teacher appeared in the middle of the misty mountains. From afar, the sound of celestial music could be heard. A figure stood on the mountaintop, as if it were transcendent, ready to fly away into the endless clouds and mountains. That brat Lin San is in trouble. He has even used the energy that I left in his body. Well, that's good. It's time to bring him back to cultivate in peace. The figure muttered to himself and disappeared. Brother Lin, don't be afraid. I'm here. Qin Feng rushed forward, his sword pointed straight ahead, protecting Lin San in front of him. Qin Feng's willingness to confront the whole world for Lin San's sake moved him deeply. Congratulations to the host for deceiving the sincere feelings of the Chosen One, receiving an additional 200,000 villain points. The host's loyalty has moved the system, and the space in the bag has been doubled. If you want to die together, then I'll grant your wish. Tianxu's eyes were cold, and he charged at Qin Feng at high speed. Tianxu, after all these years, you're still so despicable. D2 solemnly stood in front of Qin Feng, deeply despising the other party's tyrannical actions. Do you still think you're the D2 from 100 years ago, who could trample on me? Tianxu's eyes flashed with a hint of fanaticism, and he charged forward with vigor. I've cultivated hard for a hundred years, and today, I will definitely crush you beneath me. Boom! The two sides collided with a loud bang, and energy splashed everywhere. Itu stood firm as a rock, blocking Tianxu's fierce attack and preventing him from advancing even half a step. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Tianxu's eyes widened in shock, unable to accept the truth. He turned to verbal attacks. Ditu, even if you can block me, what good will it do? You have relations with the demon race and are a traitor to the human race. Moreover, you even killed your own son. Rumble, a deafening explosion rang out. A bolt of lightning tore through the memories that had been buried in Ditu for a long time. The ancient memories came flooding back, causing him to lose his balance, and he staggered back a few steps. As he looked around at the crowd, he saw the scene of being despised in the past. Ditu suddenly clutched his head and screamed. His body changed color, alternating between light and dark. It was a symptom of demonic possession. Everyone couldn't help but sigh, pitying the tragic fate of the martial artist. If only the events of a hundred years ago hadn't happened, today, D2 would have ascended to immortality, and he wouldn't have ended up like this. As for Tianxu, he really has no qualifications. Unable to defeat him in battle, he resorts to digging up the other party's past. Qin Feng clutched his head, his mood very complicated. He had thought that D2's appearance would turn the tide of the battle and allow him to witness his former glory. Who would have thought that it would turn out like this? Tianxu curled his lips slightly and continued to attack D2 with words. D2, don't think that just because you hid for a hundred years, the world has forgotten what you did. You will be despised for eternity. D2 fell to his knees and screamed in pain, about to succumb. A clear sound rang out, stunning everyone. Qin Feng stepped forward and without hesitation, slapped D2 hard in the face, interrupting his demonic possession. Everyone looked at Qin Feng in astonishment, as if asking why he had slapped him. Qin Feng asked, are you a human or a demon? D2 was dazed and didn't understand. Pop, another slap. Are you a human or a demon? Didu held his left cheek and replied in a daze. Human. Pop. A third slap landed on his right cheek. When you were one of the four ancient sages, you must have had countless beauties around you, right? Didu held his right cheek. That's right. Pop. The fourth slap landed on his left cheek. That demoness, was she very powerful? Didu held his left cheek. Yes, pop. 
The fifth slap landed on his right cheek. Did you intentionally let the female demon go, or did she escape on her own? She escaped on her own. D2 gritted his teeth, growling angrily. Chin Feng said righteously. Everyone heard it clearly. The demon race intentionally sent the female demon to entrap the human warriors, wanting to take advantage of our good genes. They planned to cultivate a new generation of demon kings, and even used father-son relationships to let the future demon king continue to grow stronger. Fortunately, Senior D2 saw through this plot. For the sake of humanity's dawn, he dealt with the little demon on the spot. It's a pity that the main demon escaped, and he himself suffered alone rather than defending himself. His spirit of sacrificing himself for the greater good isn't it worth learning from. Everyone was stunned. At first, D2's image was that of a corrupt man who killed his own son for the sake of fame. But now, after being repackaged by Qin Feng, his reputation had skyrocketed. It was as if he held high the banner of human justice, all for the greater good. D2's anger dissipated immediately. He felt that he was innocent and that he had only done it for the greater good. Qin Feng continued to instill righteous thoughts into D2. In his opinion, the current situation was entirely due to the poor public relations of the Yin Yue Imperial Dynasty. It's useless to just talk. As long as you know how to talk, that's enough, Tianxu retorted. He was only doing it for his own reputation and not for the sake of the countless people of the human race. Even if you say it out loud, it won't change the truth. Didu's eyes grew dim again, as if he was about to fall into a state of demonic possession. Pop, Qin Feng slapped him again, asking him, did you do it for people to praise you? Ditu replied in a daze, no. And why do you care what other people think? Qin Feng said with great seriousness, do you know that slander is a form of jealousy? Those people are jealous of you. They are stupid. Who are those people? Tianxu asked. Seeing that Qin Feng was about to ruin his plan, Tianxu immediately appeared in front of him, determined to not let him say another word. He wanted Ditu to continue living in pain. Qin Feng couldn't help but curse. Abusing one's power is one thing, but colluding with a murderer is truly despicable. Your actions have disgraced the cultivation world. We really can't accept this. Everyone narrowed their eyes, and a chorus of curses rang out in their hearts. This guy is so shameless. He even dares to despise others for their lack of martial arts. Boom. Diu stepped in front of Qin Feng again, colliding fiercely with Tianxu. A terrifying energy erupted, creating ripples in the void. This time, Ditu looked very different from before, his eyes sharp and no longer filled with despair. Thanks to Qin Feng's six slaps, he had accepted the righteous ideology and overcome the obsession with perfection in his heart. His mood was relaxed, his thoughts clear. Tianxu looked into his eyes and saw the D2 of the past who had trampled on him at will. Your slander is nothing but jealousy. D2 couldn't help but laugh out loud. A terrifying energy erupted from D2 as if he was releasing the pent-up emotions of the past 100 years. This was the D2 of the past, the madman. In this life, I will definitely crush you under my feet. D2 roared, just like he had a hundred years ago. D2 had never put Tianxu in his eyes. Impossible. I don't believe that my hundred years of suffering still can't surpass you. Tianxu screamed. A terrifying energy erupted from his body. He absolutely could not accept that he still could not surpass D2 like he had 100 years ago. Boom, boom, the two streams of energy collided violently. The heavens and earth shook, and the void was filled with waves of energy from the two men, spreading everywhere. At this moment, Qin Feng was hiding behind D2. Seeing that the two old men were too tense, he immediately activated the destructive power of his right eye of destruction, aiming straight at D2's life source. He was not someone who held grudges, and he would avenge any wrong immediately. D2 D2's heartbeat suddenly slowed down. An unprecedented sense of danger struck him. He only saw that Chong Zhong's eyes had locked onto his target, and everything in his field of vision began to fade away. Faced with the eyes of life and death, Tianxu had never felt so terrified. Tianxu was horrified when he felt a chill run through his body. He did not expect Qin Feng to be so crazy as to ambush him while he was fighting D2. Ditu was also shocked and was shocked by Qin Feng's recklessness. The difference in their cultivation realms was too great, so it consumed a lot of energy. But fortunately, the ray of destruction finally wiped out Tianxu's little brother. Tianxu screamed in pain at the loss of his brother, and then entered a state of madness. Boom, a terrifying energy erupted from Tianxu Hengfu. The earth shook and the mountains moved. The ground cracked into deep ravines, and the void shook violently as if it was about to shatter. Qin Feng spat out blood and was pushed 
pushed back. If it weren't for Ditu standing in front of him and blocking most of the energy, he would have probably flown straight to heaven. Heavenly soldiers and myriad horses, the two of them were extremely surprised, trying to endure their injuries to support Qin Feng. The seven great sword slaves and the eighteen Qi Yan Yun saw the opportunity before their eyes, and their eyes lit up. But they did not forget their original purpose. Taking advantage of the moment when the two old men were fighting, they rushed towards Lin San. Lin San was horrified and retreated. Let me go. I have to go save Brother Lin. Qin Feng struggled to stand up, completely ignoring his own injuries. Congratulations to the Master for deceiving the most sincere feelings of the Chosen Son of Heaven and receiving an additional 200,000 villain points. The deafening explosion caused Lin San to panic and dodge. Brother Lin, I'm so useless. I can't protect you. Qin Feng cried as if he was in great pain and fainted. In fact, he just wanted to rest for a while. Fighting for so long made his spirit tired. Heavenly soldiers and myriad horses also acted well, wailing and kneeling beside Big Brother Qin Feng. Big Brother, Big Brother, don't leave us. Without Big Brother, how will we live? Little White threw away the carrot in his hand, wiped his claws clean with Qin Feng's black shirt, tore a piece of white paper into a mourning cap, and put it on his head, then also lay face down on Qin Feng's chest and sobbed. Master is gone. What will become of the little rabbit? Little White cried miserably, really professional. Heavenly soldiers felt that it was not real enough, pinched his own leg to create emotion, and hugged Qin Feng, tears streaming down his face. Boss, you left your family behind. It's so heartbreaking. It makes me want to cry. Brother Qin, are you dead? Lin San exclaimed in panic. Suddenly, the seven great sword slaves rushed in front of him, their eyes full of joy as they reached out to grab him. It was you who killed my brother Chin. Lin San suddenly roared in anger. The terrifying energy sealed within him erupted. Thunderbolts boomed in the sky, and the entire universe of yin and yang changed. The five elements' spiritual light flickered, and the ancient golden lotus illuminated the entire sky. Boom! The seven sword slaves were horrified and flew backwards. Because they were standing closest to Lin San, they were unexpectedly hit by the golden light. Seeing Lin San's face full of resentment and distortion, a terrifying aura of destruction emanated from Lin San. In particular, a seven-story golden tower appeared above his head, solemnly rotating the yin and yang of the five elements, and ten thousand golden lotuses illuminated the sky. Yu Rong crawled out of the pile of rubble and ran to check on Qin Feng. Seeing that his pulse was very weak and his body was covered in dangerous wounds, she was still glad that there was a strange energy in Qin Feng's body that was rapidly healing his wounds. In order to speed up the recovery process, she took out a silver needle and inserted it into the acupoints on Qin Feng's body. Do you still have a conscience? Qin Feng jumped up, angrily thinking to himself that he had either heard crying or heard thunder, and now he was being pricked with needles. Little White stopped crying in shock and secretly took off the mourning cap on his head. Heavenly soldiers and myriad horses looked innocent, right? Hey, wait a minute. So my acupuncture skills are so good that I can save a seriously injured injured person with just a few needles? Brother Chin is not dead? Lin San's eyes twitched, and a squirrel-like growl came from his heart. He had risked his life for Brother Chin, but now he was told that he was still alive, and he didn't know whether he was being presumptuous or deceived. The experts mocked Lin San for overestimating himself, and simultaneously released a terrifying energy that shook the heavens and the earth. Thunderbolts boomed, and the world seemed to be on the verge of destruction. Lin San spat out blood, clearly reaching his limit. Congratulations to the Master for deceiving the feelings of the chosen Son of Heaven, causing Lin San to commit suicide and receiving an additional two million villain points. The Chosen Son of Heaven is running out of time, and if no one saves him, he will receive a great reward. Qin Feng was startled and looked up at Lin San. The two of them looked at each other, and the world fell silent. Lin San's eyes were filled with disappointment and regret, while Qin Feng's eyes were filled with nostalgia and gratitude. The two of them had first met in a violent way at the Qin family, and then met again by chance and traveled together. From fighting to joining forces, memories flashed through their minds. Over the past seven years, their feelings for each other had not faded. Now they were facing the world for each other. Goodbye, Qin Feng. Qin Feng cried, tears streaming down his face as he watched Lin San fall. Qin Feng hesitated for a moment, then shot forward like a rocket, flying straight towards Lin San. Seeing this, Dian Yun 18 Qi and the monsters in the sky looked serious. They had worked hard to defeat Lin San, and if Qin Feng saved him now, they would not be able to deal with the person with the divine weapon. Quickly stop Qin Feng and don't let him get near Lin San. 
Their shouts awakened the fighting spirit in everyone's hearts. They all flew over to fight for the seven-story tower and Lin San. At this moment, a cold voice resounded throughout the heavens and the earth. Who dares to harm my disciple? Thunder exploded, and a vague figure appeared in the lightning. The Taoist master was dressed in green, his body radiating a sacred light like an immortal god, making everyone want to kneel down and worship him. Everyone's eyes widened as they stepped back. This was Shen Tu, one of the four ancient Tus, and also the most terrifying incarnation. How did he get so badly injured? Shen Tu was annoyed and appeared beside Lin San, then transferred his energy to him to restore his vitality. The chosen son of heaven was saved, and the countdown stopped. Another two? Qin Feng thought to himself that he had cried so hard, but no one had died. Boom, Tian Tu was knocked to the ground. He too stepped on him. Even if it takes a hundred years, I will still be able to keep you under my feet. You two useless fools. Shen Tu glanced at them with disdain. I know you're jealous. D2 laughed mockingly, and Shen Tu couldn't help but laugh out loud as if he had heard a funny joke. He was born in the immortal creation star, one of the three great ancient sacred lands, and was taught by a good master since he was a child. At the age of 12, he went down the mountain to cultivate, and at the age of 15, he was already famous throughout the ancient wilderness. People called him, and the other three Tus, the four Tus of the ancient wilderness, but the other three were just throwing away the title and could not compare to him. They were not even worthy of carrying his shoes. When he challenged the heavenly sect realm, they were still in the Tao initiation realm. That's right, you're jealous. D2 was very serious. I know how to refine pills. You don't know. I know how to draw talismans. You don't know. I am proficient in hundreds of martial arts. You don't know. I am good at chess, literature, painting, and music. But you don't. That's why you're jealous. D2 was so confident. Shen Tu didn't say anything, just looked at him with the pitying eyes of a disabled person. He admitted that he didn't know the things that D2 mentioned. But the problem was that even though D2 had studied so many things, he was good at them, but none of them had reached the peak. 